I thought this shit started in six minutes. It turns out it started almost an hour ago, am I right? Yeah, am I right, boys? Is, is that it? Uh, I, I can't fucking believe it. Yes, it did. Why did they have to start so early? What is this, bro? Why? Oh my god. Okay, alright, let me get on. Gentlemen, sup y'all, it's me, it's your boy Asmongold. Today we're gonna watch some of the trial stuff, we're gonna go through some other stuff, and uh, in general, we're just gonna have a little bit of a time, man. I'm ready. I'm not sure what we're gonna do later yet or not, but uh, McConnell and I are gonna be starting the uh, Elden Ring playthrough pretty soon, so that's probably either gonna be today or tomorrow. So uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get into it and uh, get shit started. Uh, let me go back over here and double check this, and uh, we're gonna go over there. All right, and let me pull this up, and let's see here. Uh, let me make sure I've got everything else ready to go. I think we should be fine. Yeah, all right, good. And so let's go ahead and do this. And there we go. All right, that should be good. And all right, boys, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go to work. All right. Let me pause this music and let's get started. Uh, good morning. Yeah, good fucking morning. I know. I can't believe it's this early. All right, let's do this. Actions in it, what he understood my actions were, and my interpretation and what I'm trying to say to him is, look, I can only do my best to respond. I was in pain. I was scared, and I can't promise you that when I'm scared and in pain, and I won't react thinking I know very well what our situation is and what's gonna to happen to me should I not react. Thank you. So let's, I'm gonna play another clip from that same discussion and your honor will be plaintiff's exhibit depths five, 356B. Okay. That, and it would be from Turn one it up. I think I got it, right? Nine, colon 27 to one colon 30 colon 07. And I'd like to move the admission. All right. It's fine. I'll turn it slightly. No objection, Your Honor. All right. I mean, it shouldn't really matter either way. Thank you, Your Honor. Michelle. I cannot promise you that I'll be perfect. I can't promise you I won't get physical again. God, I fucking sometimes get so mad. I lose it. I can fucking promise you I'm going to do everything to change. I promise you, I'm not going to throw around divorce. I will not say divorce unless I leave you. Unless it's it. And then I hope you leave me. I'm not going to give me to. I will leave you. It's fair. I can't do it, you know? And I think, honestly, if we hold each other accountable to that, it's fair. Please explain she to the said jury she what can't promise if she can't hit him? Discussion. Uh, Why are they playing this the audio for her? Conversation um, where Why? I am, as I was accustomed to doing, I'm taking as much responsibility uh, as I had to oh. in those interactions. I have to, you know, in my relationship with Johnny, and as you have to, and somebody will not and cannot take any accountability for anything they do in a fight, as Johnny couldn't and wouldn't. Of course um, not. I took on as much as I could for myself. Um, you know, I had the whole relationship been blamed for everything, for his drinking, for him hitting me, for everything in between, blamed for walking away, blamed for staying, and I blame myself as well. Um, blame myself for my part in it, wait, blame myself for staying, blame myself for putting up with it, and frankly, at a certain point, it's easier to take the blame, feels easier. It's, so she's it the martyr. It almost feels better to take the blame for something than to yeah, accept the, subtitles are wrong. I'm the senseless off. nature of the violence. You can't change. You know, there's almost, it's almost more reassuring to take accountability for it than to accept the senseless nature of the violence that you can't change no matter what you do. No matter what I did. No matter what I did, it still hit me. Yeah, I bet. I'm going to take you to October 5, 2015, and you're on her plaintiff's exhibit, Deb's exhibit 393A. It's another recording, 2 colon 40 to 3 colon 43. Move the admission. Bad acting. Yeah, it's like, why Perfection is she talking five. like that, 393A, man? 393A, plaintiff's It's so weird. What matters, Johnny? They don't know. None of your friends 
But whether they saw a tiny fraction, that was the tip of an iceberg. A tip of an iceberg. That was my reaction to yet again this happening. That is the tip of the iceberg. And if you want to use that as some sort of like mental excuse or validation of, of whatever, of telling your friends or whatever they think or whatever they think about me or whatever, fine. But they only saw a tip of an iceberg. None of your friends Let me ask you and a question. none of this team have actually been there for one of our fights. They've never oh, actually that's seen. Not, that's oh. Have they been in the hallway? Yeah. They've have they it. seen? Baby, that is absolutely not true. They have not heard everything. Nathan because could fucking you, quote us. Great, he can quote a part of it, but he has not been there. No one has actually been there for a, a, a fight in its entirety. No. Right, so it's her no, word against exactly. his. So stop using that as some sort of excuse. Like, they see it, they know. They work for you or they're your friends. That Please explain to the jury what you were discussing in that conversation. Um, yeah, she's trying to set it up, you know, because she's recording this, that not him. That's funny. Paid employees, his How convenient staff that is. Would back him up in fights, and that they would he would constantly threaten to call them in to validate him. They threatened to call them to come into the room mm -hmm. to have them back up him and say that it was you know that my yelling or that I'm, I'm at fault that I'm in the wrong that it's all me and he would do that in in that, almost all of our fights especially at 2000 is my audio out of sync speak, for anybody else friends and you call his staff in to to back him up um so that I knew and would accept that I'm at fault and that okay I'm at, so it should I'm be it, it's and on me was, you know what I had to agree okay, to. Okay, let me fix this over and over again. Just to even hope that we could have a conversation. It's gonna mute it for a second here, guys. Apologies. I have to make sure I restart my sound card. Uh, this is just an annoying thing I have to do. Give it a second. And let's see if it's gonna work. Uh, Thanksgiving 2015, we had friends. Uh, okay, that should over. be good. Uh, Johnny had Marilyn Manson over, and I had a few of my friends over. We had a yeah, I, I know how it works. And, it's just annoying. Um, maybe, um, some, maybe my father. I'm not entirely sure how long he was there. We had dinner together. Um, Johnny uh, was disappearing with Manson, um, doing coke. This objection calls for speculation. What is it? Well, I don't think that's spec I'll believe that, that one. How, how do you? Yeah, know I'll believe that one. Disappearing with Mr. Manson with Coke. Um, it, it, that's what I knew of their relationship at the time. And he objection calls for speculation. I'll sustain the objection. He laughed. Yeah. So Please continue with he got up for a longer period of time. Um, not the normal every five minutes to go to the bathroom kind, but like he just appeared for a long period, longer period of time. And at this stage, I was really um, dependent on recognizing the patterns of what he was. I was reliant on trying to figure out what he was on, what combination he was on, so I knew how to deal with him. It was incumbent, you know, on me. What is the a uh, mythic plus raid? My safety dealing with well, what affixes does, really does he have? Oh Dude my God! High on coke and and speed, meaning Adderall or some version of that, is different from the opiate Johnny, which is different from the booze Johnny or a different oh combination. And there was talk of quaaludes at the time, and Johnny was trying to get it from. Objection, Johnny. Your Honor, non-responsive. I'll sustain the objection. If you want to ask? Yeah, wrap so it up. So I was continued. So I I wanted to know what I was dealing with. It was important to my safety to know. Of which, course. Objection, non-responsive. I think I that's why I followed him. But, Okay. To, to, to All right. Your so, Honor, so yep. what did you I'll, do next? I'll sustain the objection. Next question. What did you do next? I went upstairs to the apartment, the main apartment, not the apartment mm -hmm. that we were celebrating Thanksgiving in, uh, to try to figure out what was going on. And we had an argument. It took place downstairs, and I said something to provoke Johnny. I went up the stairs ahead of him um, to get back to the party. Uh, he grabbed me at the top of the stairs, kind of through the stairs, actually, by my shirt. Um, uh, kind of flung me a little bit. But I, I just remember I went into the bedroom, kind of retreated into the bedroom. Are you throwing people around? Uh, I had a glass 
of wine in my hand at the time, which spilled yeah. everywhere and shattered. And I kind of retreated into the bedroom. Um, I'm sure Johnny there's a lot of cuts from that. That must be awful. There was this wow. um, heavy, like vintage style glass can, um, d decanter. Uh, he picked up the decanter and hurled it at my head, my face. Holy was, shit! Uh, thankfully, um, but smashed into a piece of art behind me in the bedroom wall. Uh, but it's bed. good dodge. I you gotta watch um, out for the Elven Lord. I got uh, past him. I think there might have been a, a bit of shoving. Oh I can't my really god! Recall the sequence of when that happened, but I went. I wanted to go back downstairs, and uh, I passed my closet. I had to change my shirt, Woman, thanks and for um, I went back downstairs to the party to finish the evening out. And I put on a, you know, a, a, a face, and we finished the evening with the guests, and then more fighting uh, happened after afterwards. Okay. So we talked about December 15, 2015, last. It's like Thursday. she thought, she, like she's uh, throw, he's throwing Bahamas, shit like that at her and everything. Oh my god! Um, but I, I did miss How one people gonna believe that shit? Can you bring up Defendants Exhibit 518? All right, let's see. It. Amber, does that accurately depict the scene portrayed? Yes, it does. Your Honor, I'd like to move the admission of Defendant's Exhibit Can I, uh, what's the other no one that, that shows the evidence? Defendants. The evidence you can publish. Um, this is from December 15, I believe. Could you just please tell the jury what Because, like, it depicts? doesn't show. Yes, it's, um, a picture of my Bruce Temple. NBC? Um, and Johnny Eddis. It will, they show it? it? Okay. Uh, on part of my face with my face down um they're showing since today and okay. um i was punching my head you know, i'm repeatedly punching my head that's what caused that bruise in my temple thank you now we went through the bahamas before and you returned from the bahamas sometime oh there it is late december early january correct? okay we've seen it yes okay. all right thank god i'm going to take you do to you guys january, see all the February damage there 2016. Can holy you shit describe to the jury what was going on with you and John? Oh my in this God! Time frame after this. You guys see it? I see it. Bahamas incidents. That's brutal. It, after the Bahamas. Um, yeah, that's a lot of damage. Johnny sobriety. Uh, oh my God! Apart, and there was just none of it. It was. Um, uh, so he stopped communicating with the medical team that he had hired. With those I rings on too, you know. Um, how do you know that? Jesus. Um, I was there. Um, they fired him. Objection. Objection. Calls for hearsay. I'll sustain the objection. Okay. okay. Um, without telling what the. She's lucky to be alive right now, guys. Tell what was going on with you and Johnny. Um, yeah, his, uh, his his mental health, for lack of what it looked like, his mental health was just falling apart. Is what it looked like. Objection. Calls for speculation. I'll, I'll, sustain, I'll sustain the objection. What did you observe that led you to believe? that his mental health was falling apart. He was objection, your honors. Calls for speculation. Yeah, she can say what she uh, I'll sustain the objection as to leading. Next question. What, if anything, did you observe about Mr. Depp's uh, state? He was hallucinating, auditory. Objection, calls for speculation. Uh, uh, he, I'll sustain the objection. Please, please tell the jury <laughs> the, the exactly lawyer doesn't even know what to say. You to believe he was She's like, uh, uh, objection uh, leading. Uh, sustained. What, if anything, was Mr. Depp doing that would have led you to believe he was hallucinating? Same S objection. Sustained. Uh, oh, my sustained. God. What, please describe what Mr. Depp was saying in January of 2016. Uh, he was talking to people who weren't there, meaning people who were not in the room. He was communicating with people and sounds and voices that weren't there. I know because I was sometimes in the room and sometimes on the phone with He's him. He's like, really? I didn't know that. And he would tell me I had a conversation with him that I did not have. He would say I said something uh -huh. that I didn't have. He would comment on somebody being in the room behind me that wasn't there. It was terrifying. It was terrifying because, you know, once he, he smashed a board right next to my face and it was unclear to me whether he was even mad at me or he was convinced that the guy he said he saw me with was in the room. I didn't know if he was in, if Johnny felt the man was in the room with us or not at that point. The fuck? Point. But I remember he, he put his fist through a, white, a whiteboard in the kitchen 
he hallucinated right in front of me and objection like, calls for speculation did you Don't take a picture of that just Sorry. describe what led you to believe your that. honor okay. objection. Objection. she's punching through objection. walls testify to what she observed please, please thank you oh this guy's insane you your honor may we approach okay okay yeah there we go what i love is like there are like all of these like graphic and like just brutal displays as i said it's like john johnny depp is like the elden lord if you just listen to her side of it i mean you would think <laughs> you would think that she's lucky to be alive you know what I mean? Like, really, I mean, she would be, she's lucky to be alive if, if this even could happen. Like, yeah, it's just scary. That's impossible. Please tell the jury what you observed. Multiple miracles. It's a miracle she's um, alive, yeah. I observed behavior from him that was erratic, irrational. And we'll catch up whenever they go to break. to the reality that we're in. Now, I'm going to take you up to the beginning of February of 2016, February 8, February 9. Please tell the jury what transpired then with respect to Mr. Depp. Uh-huh. Uh, around this time, uh, Johnny was, again, um, behaving in a way that was very scary. It was terrifying. Um, and sometimes he didn't know. Uh, Objection calls for speculation. I think she can describe what she's observing. What are you, are you describing what you're observing? Yes. Please, then please continue. Um, in these kind of discussions I would have around this time, early uh, February of 2016, uh, sometimes in the argument he would accuse me of something. Uh, some person in the room with me that had just walked out or I was hiding. Oh, he's crazy. Right. And sometimes he would hold on to that even. And that's why I'm sure he, he can't remember any of this down or come off of whatever bender he was on. And it was almost as if I had to confront what he what delusion he had or what belief he had or what accusation he made of me um, in a new fight altogether. You know, sometimes he didn't make it clear to me whether he was mad at me or he knew he was mad at me. It was terrifying uh, because I bore the brunt of it. And yeah, around I the bet. 8th or 9th, I got, we were in his suites or compound, the West Hollywood collection of homes that he has. Oh, and, the cul-de-sac. Uh, I got some cryptic texts from him. Th threw the dog the out the window. morning hours that scared me. I won't say what I said, but I, I came over to his main house i believe i'd been across the street and i slept on the couch okay. we had some interaction in the morning which made me fearful he didn't know whether or not i was fearful he was going why is she to dressed like dr evil was angry at me yeah, that's a good we question fighting i wasn't fighting with him i i had done nothing wrong but i was really worried that the momentum he was on was going to click into a direction of deciding that he was mad at me and I deserved it. Of and course I was terrified it is. that that was going to happen. So I was, I had an interaction with him and got really worried about that on the morning of the 10th. All right. Michelle, I'm going to ask you to bring up Defendant's Exhibit 638. It's already admitted oh, in evidence. Here we go. And this is from February 10, 2016. All right, boys. Y'all ready to see I'm it? I'm going to ask you to play it, Michelle. Oh, is this? Oh, it's audio. Okay. Oh, here we go. Okay. There's Johnny. What happened? So he kicked the microwave? He just doesn't want to talk to her. He's just ignoring her. Nothing happened this morning, you know that? 
No. So that nothing happened to you this morning. Yeah, you're right. I just woke up and you were so sweet and nice. We're not even fighting this morning. All I did is say sorry. The did fuck? something happen to you this morning? I don't think so. Um, no, that's the thing. You want to see Craig? Don't give me a call. Oh, this is the mega pint. Oh, you're crazy. Oh my god. Oh, you got this. You got this going. Oh, really? Really? So she can eat. She got shit on me. No, I didn't. You were smashing shit. So she's trying to record him without him even knowing that. Oh my God. Why did you videotape this, Amber? Yeah, good question. Because I knew he wouldn't remember. Objection. I answer speculation. Sustain. Rather than what you knew, you can say what you thought. Just tell us why you... I was afraid. It's scary. It's scary. I'm scared. I'm scared they wouldn't remember. Objection calls for speculation. Yeah, no, it shows a picture. Yeah, yeah it, it's like. All right. So no, John found out his friend and colleague so stole I'm millions of dollars now from him. Take you up to April twenty-one. Yeah, he wasn't even violent towards her at all. Party. He just grabbed um, her phone. Can you please tell the jury what happened that night with respect to in particular Mr. Depp um he <clears throat> he was pissed uh, yeah of course he was pissed at that time we had a like a fitting that day or the day before and he missed it and he was kind of disappearing at that time mm -hmm. um like at night um vaguely saying like meetings he had meetings but then he'd be gone for sometimes like two days I'm just not coming home and that sort of thing. Coming home after a bender. Make calls for speculation. Worse. And was she scared? She's laughing at him? I don't know about that. I, I don't think that calls for speculation. I'll, I'll sustain the objection. He's gone for two Yeah, days. true. Shut up. And I um, had my, my birthday was coming up. And was, I, or on my birthday, I said, well, you're, you know, you're going to mm -hmm. uh, make it to my, my birthday party. We had a dinner planned at, at our penthouse. I uh, said it would be important for me if you if you made it. Objection, hearsay. Is the morning his mother passed? The truth of the Jesus and, Christ! And she's and, recording uh, him for that. He uh, told me oh at some God. point that day that he had scheduled a business meeting or a, a money meeting. I think he said maybe uh, at seven, uh, which is around the time my birthday was planned for. It might have been planned for eight p.m. Um. He, uh, uh, of course, uh, once my party was starting, he wasn't there. Um, of course, oh sure. To let me know that he was going to make it, but that he was running late, um, and that continued throughout my party. We finished dinner, and um, we were cleaning up, and kind of everyone was delaying leaving because we were waiting for him, to give him an opportunity to show up before it was before everyone left. Um, and oh right! He, so it's his fault um, for not showing up to her let, birthday he party. He was there. Um, you know, I, I I tried to, without saying what I said, I tried to give him the impression that I wasn't going to get on him about drinking or anything. I just wanted him to be there. And uh, we had uh, a toast. We uh, did a, a celebratory toast. Um, and the guests left. So childish, yeah. And uh, later that evening, um, we were in bed, and um, I was I had a book, and Johnny um, effectively said, "What's what's what's your fucking problem now?" And uh, at the time, we were getting advice, yeah, from therapists without saying what they said. Um, it was important for me not to make him feel attacked we're good yeah okay uh, so i chose my words carefully i won't say what i said but i rem i remember being very careful about how i worded what i was feeling mm -hmm. um about 
my birthday and ha him having missed it. Uh, an argument um, followed that. Uh, I um, got up out of bed. Um, Johnny's side of the bed was closer to the door than mine. I, I remember him blocking the door, blocking me to get out and kind of shoving me down and we had a, you know, a verbal argument and then that became a shoving match. I tried to shove him back. Um, I kind of felt myself retreat into the, into the bedroom. At some point he um, picked up a, a, like a large, I guess it's a magnum size, not a normal size, a large size a bottle of champagne and hurled it at me. Um, this time I went through a painting and I loved this painting. Oh my God. Like right through the canvas, left a giant hole in it. Holy and, shit. Um, Magnum? Yeah, we're beyond <laughs> mega now. Um, and the, the fight, the argument, the fight continued yeah. into the salon area, which was outside of our bedroom at the top of the stairs. Johnny picked up my phone. I don't know why. Uh, I don't remember what he was saying when he did it, but he picked up my phone and threw it out of the open window of Maybe the he thought you were recording again. Area. That's what I would have uh, done. Out onto the street, out onto the downtown street. That, yeah, I wonder um, why. This window overlooked. Uh, in that moment, I, I, I went, oh, no, you don't. I saw his on the countertop and picked it up and threw his immediately, like two seconds later. Okay. Um, so this means he's about to do some really uh, bad stuff. Time, Alone. Because you've already set up the scale of uh, phone, which there's going to be no evidence already several times before this um, from Johnny. So I picked up his phone, threw it as well. Yeah. Um, and I said that I wanted to go stay somewhere else for the evening. I left that room. She's smiling. Went into the office. Of course, this is what I said um, before. We were still screaming names at each other and screaming yeah. at each other. And uh, I walk around the side of his desk, and um, the next thing I know, he has me by the hair. He pulls me down, and exactly. kind of hit the side of the desk. Yep. I remember things flying off of the side of the desk that that I hit with with my body. Yep. Um, I remember trying to fight him off of me. Of course. Um, at some point, uh, we're back in my my main bedroom, and uh, it's my. I believe I was getting my toothbrush out of that bathroom, and uh, when I came out, we had another shoving match. But this one, he kind of like—I remember he chest bumped me. Oh in shit! In this like broy way, chest bumped me. Broy way. Floor. And when I got back up, he kind of held me down by the shoulders, down oh on the side God. of the bed, kind of held me. Um, wrestled me down on the bed. I remember I got up once or hey, twice bro. before I ended yeah. up on the bed and he grabbed me, um, did this thing that he did sometimes when he taught me, grabbed me. What a the, scene. Um, no evidence, by the way. Bone. Both, both phones were out area. the window. Just, as best I can describe it is he kind of just pushed me down, held me down by it and kind of pulled me into it and um, was... Ask, he was asking me, kind of taunting me, asking me if I if I thought I was so fucking tough. I think you're such a fucking tough guy, huh? Are you so tough now? Look who's so tough. You want to be a man? Oh my tough god! Like a man now. This is that brutal. Ha happened for a, a bit of time. I I not quite. Holy sure. fucking um, shit! I think at some point he. Yeah, left. there's no evidence for this. At some point, shortly. After that, I, I remember he was still in the apartment when this happened, mm -hmm. but I remember yeah. kind of collapsing on the floor and being exhausted. It's just, I, I remember feeling exhausted and crying and kind of throwing in the towel, if you, if you will. I, I remember saying to him, just, can we not fight like this? Like, can we start over? Is there anything that we can do? Of course. Like, this is... Really messed She's up. She's so reasonable in trying to this, fix everything. Can yeah. Stop doing this. Just don't leave. It's my birthday. Let's just let's let's just call it tr couch. Let's call it truce and not have it end like this. I don't want to have it end like this. Uh huh. I was just so tired, hurt, and I remember crying and feeling ridiculous that after this I would be crying and saying these things. 
I'm embarrassed saying it now. Um, he responded uh, cruelly. He told me it's what I fucking deserve, and that I'd wake up every, I'd wake up alone, um, and that no one would ever love me because all of this pointing to my face or body, all of this was gonna go away. No one would ever love me. My tits sag. No one would ever love me, and I Jesus I'd get used to waking up alone. Oh my God. Um, and he said this is all my fault and what I did what I asked for. And he left. Voice box my phone. I heard yeah, it'll be him come enough. back in. Uh the downstairs That's brutal. And you can hear the door slam. And I remember hearing it open and thinking, Oh God, is this gonna happen again? What's going on now? Um and and, and then shortly after I kind of peeked around to the top of the stairs where you can kind of peer into the lower level. And I, uh, I just see him briefly, momentarily, and he just screams at me, "Happy fucking birthday!" Oh, that's and good. Out. That's a good little and scene to add in there. That's clever. And, uh, saw that he had also uh, yeah. left me a note to that effect. How did he leave a note for you? I, I was written on a piece of paper, as best I can recall, but I'm not sure. And. So then the next day, what did you We do? don't have the piece of paper, by the way. Um, it's not around. There's no piece of paper. I texted. Actually, I took, well. Yeah, there's, the, yeah, we don't know where that I is. I woke up this, uh, that morning, the morning of my 30th birthday. And um, I woke up to my best friend crawling in bed with me um, and putting her arms around me. And uh, I remember wondering how she got how she walked in. Yeah. Um, because there's a like glass on the floor. There's lots of glass. Okay. And um, oh wow. She put her arms around me and showed me a birthday video that all of my friends, my childhood friends, all of my loved ones made. That's of course, nice. Stupidly, the first thing I asked her is why Johnny wasn't in the video because it had been recorded before. It had been recorded sometime before. It was clear. Uh, and she always said, gotta um, bring it back to him, man. And she's yep. been asking for a few months, and Johnny. Objection, just, Your Honor. Hearsay. Uh, I offered to prove the truth. Yeah, all right, I'll overrule. Go ahead. Um, and so I, um, I, 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 we eventually we got out of my bed and um, grabbed a few things and uh, got the bat, got the dogs. Yeah, how isn't that um, hearsay? Left for for yeah, um, I, our plans, which our plans had been to go to Coachella, which is a music festival that happened. Yeah, I was just California. thinking that. Like, what the fuck? Um, and that had been the plan for a while. That that's how we would go and celebrate my birthday. And I'm I remember, <laughs> you know, um, as I it just got I'm by to doing just trying to Roman, move through, move on, and I remember in vain trying to put on a brave face and have a good time, even though it was impossible. Let, let me stop you for a few things. What, if any, plans were there for Mr. Depp to join you at Coachella? Uh, he w was um, supposed to drive down, have dinner. I bet um, he didn't go because those places are shitholes. In the room, maybe do some writing or something like that in the room. It, at Coachella? At Coachella, where we were. Coachella um, happens in a different part of California than we lived in. We yeah, lived apparently in it's just hot all the time. This happens about I wouldn't go either, hours. yeah two to three hours away. Um, so I finally got my car back and, um, and I drove with my uh, mm -hmm. best friends in, in, the, in the car. And I'm gonna stop you again because I just have a couple more questions before we go into that part. Okay. Uh, you said you brought the dogs. Who were the dogs you brought? Uh, Johnny's dog uh, at, at the time, Boo. Maybe uh, she could bring Pistol. them in for witnesses. They're teacup Yorkies, and I believe uh, Raquel, my best friend's dog, which is a my, oh, the one he held out the what window. Any issues or, sorry, you held out the window with uh, bathroom problems, if you will. Oh, here Objection we go. Objection leading and relevance overruled. All right, all right I want to hear um, this. She had eaten uh, Johnny's weed when she was a puppy, and had uh, bowel control issues. <laughs> for oh. her entire life, among some other issues. Johnny She's, abuses you know, we animals. We had to take her to the vet to try to figure out. He feeds animals weed. Well, what was wrong with this dog? He um, wants them to dog. die. 
was quite like this. Um, so she had some control issues. See, they're just like, they know, exa they know exactly what this shit is. She liked to burrow in the bed. She liked to be in the, you know, by the f foot of the bed underneath the covers. And it was um, customary that they yeah. slept in bed with us. But Boo, having the issues she had, we have to leave her in bed so that she wouldn't be encouraged to, to, to go to the bathroom, um, which would happen almost immediately once you put her down on the floor. And sometimes it happened in bed too. But, um, but yeah. So, so what dogs what anything do. Did you notice uh, about any bathroom issues in your bed before you left for Coachella? Well, but Raquel and I were both in in that bed um, with the dogs, and I didn't notice yeah. anything. But we left them in the bed while we packed a bag to go to Coachella. You know, so that they didn't, so that Boo particularly didn't lose control of her bath, or you know, didn't go to the bathroom on the floor. So you leave them in bed until you're ready to take them outside to the patio, which is their designated bathroom break area. Okay. And what if any plans were there? How often did you have housekeeping at that time at your house? Um, the housekeepers were there every morning. Okay. Or they came every day. As okay. As know. okay. Now, we'll, we'll get you to Coachella, but why did you tell Starling Jenkins? that you had been involved in a prank gone wrong? Objection, hearsay, leading. I said why, Your Honor, I didn't say what she said. I'll sustain the objection, next question. Okay. Um, a prank gone wrong. Did you commit any kind of prank? Absolutely not, okay. absolutely not. That's why she and, told the person that she committed why one. would that not be something you would do? What? First of all, I don't think that's funny. I don't what know kind what of a question is that? A woman does. I, I, I was not also in a pranking mood. I had my life was falling apart. I was um, at a crossroads in my life that was really serious, and I had just been attacked on my thirtieth birthday. Of course, by my violent husband, with whom I was desperately in love, uh -huh. and knew I needed to leave. It was uh, not really a jovial time, and I don't think that's funny. Period. That's disgusting. And what, if any, uh, understanding did you have of Mr. Depp coming back to your bedroom that night or the next morning? Objection. Calls for speculation. I, I'm okay. asking what her understanding was. No, I'll sustain the objection. Okay. Did you try to make a move with the poop? Conversations yeah. Conversations with Mr. Depp about him coming back to the house the next day? No, Johnny didn't come back to that house. That was my. That was my wait. That was you know, the poop. It, but that was my house when when we were having any sort of problem. In fact, that was my house just ninety percent. Wait, that was it because he just didn't come back. I didn't even know that was not a place that Johnny was going to be in. That Johnny it wasn't a prank in, because you meant it for real. Out on my birthday, and as per you're damn right, it wasn't a prank. Did, it was he would go and stay at his West Hollywood home, and I would stay at the downtown uh. places. He wasn't going to come back to the Jackson calls her Blame the dog. I, I think she explained her answer on that okay. one. Which Aren't is the Yorkies like this big? Okay, Thank you. All right. So let's take you to Coachella. Like, um, who drove? I drove. Okay. And who was in your Oh, my car? God. My sister, my friend, Savannah, I believe. My best friend, Raquel. Did they show it? Just no, my, my girlfriend said I typically surround myself with my girlfriends. It's my sport. Was there any occasion in which you were riding in the vehicle that Starling Jenkins was driving? He picked us up from Coachella in the evening when we, as a group, uh -huh. all were ready to leave. Um, that was the um, the day that we went, which was a um, which was the day that I took MDMA and mushrooms at the same time. So realized very shortly after what a horrible idea that was, considering the state that my life was in. I highly don't recommend that combination at the time. So I didn't feel like being in a crowd. I didn't no, I feel bet. like being at Coachella. I had intended to try to have a good time, despite what was going on in my personal life. And I realized that that was just not going to happen. And so I wanted to go home, I wanted, meaning to be in a bed. I wanted to be, you know, I just wanted to be held by my best friend and watch a movie. And that's what we did. I didn't feel well and wanted to leave. That's cute. Okay. And 
when you said you I bet I wouldn't either if I just shit on wreckage, somebody's bed. Just you or did you have other people? Jesus, it's awful. And when we left Coachella, it was my entire group. I wasn't ever alone with Starling. I certainly wasn't anywhere near him. I didn't have a conversation with him. I sat in the very back seat with my best friend. It was a dog. Yeah, a right. Thank you. Um, you're this. I, I don't okay. know. Which, this might be a good breaking. Point. All right, that's fine. Okay, ladies, let's go ahead and take our morning uh, recess. To okay, not discuss the uh, case with anybody and don't do any outside research. We'll take 15 minutes. Okay. It's like, how do you blame this shit on the dog, man? Like, I don't understand that. Like, how does that even happen? Like, yeah, it's a snuff snitch. I'll, I'm gonna go back over and, and we're gonna catch up with this because obviously a, a lot of this I missed out on and because uh, it started earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and start at the beginning real quick. I just got here, what did I miss? So basically she said, okay, so let me explain what happened. All right, we'll, we'll All right. come back then at 10.50. So, so the dog, what the dog did is Johnny accidentally because he's just such a fucking idiot right i mean you guys know johnny like he's just so dumb and he's like so abusive he's like basically a wild animal right and so johnny left his uh his weed out and so the dog ate the weed and somehow that makes the dog shit on the bed so the shit that was on the bed not only was not her shit but it was actually the dog who shit on the bed because Johnny fed it weed because he was so fucking stupid. You understand? So that's what happened. Yeah. And, and, and yes, that's exactly what it was. And, uh, of course, like, obviously this dog, she called it a teacup Yorkie. And I'm pretty sure, like, I, I know how big a teacup is, right? You, you like, have it like, so like teacups like this big. So like the dog can fit in a teacup. This is like a one or two pound dog that somehow nobody can tell the difference between how much poop comes out of a dog and a person. You know what I mean? Can we DNA? No, there's going to be no way to DNA test it. Realistically, that's not going to happen. It's just, it's smaller than that. Yeah, it's a mega poop. It, yeah, I mean, come on. It's crazy. Okay, let me go back Him to the beginning, okay? Advice from Laurel Anderson is Here we go. All right, let's see that. Let, let's start it from the beginning. And, and we're going to watch this and then we'll, um, then we'll take a look at the, uh, yeah, I, I, that's how I felt this morning. To be fair, this is one way I can relate. Yeah, this is fucking early. Why do y'all have to start this shit so early? I had to get up for this. Oh my god. My bad, yeah. I was I was fucking tired. All right, give me a second. Let me get this started. Okay, here we go. Let's see it. All nope, right. It would have been early two. Why is this lagging? Let me see why it's lagging. Uh, I'll see if I can start it again. It's the stream? Oh, okay. 2012, before he got sober, was... Here we go. It was really violent and chaotic as well. They'll fix it? Yeah, I got it. I, I, I'm embarrassed to say that. Now, you testified that the police were called multiple times. Other than the May 21, 2016, yeah. what other occasions were there where the police were called? Well, let's they find out. They were called in December of 2011. They were called in 2012. Uh, they were called uh, in 2013 in March by the landlord. Um, they, I had sought advice from Laurel Anderson as to whether I should call the police. Objection here, say. Sustain. Yeah. Okay. When you filed the domestic violence temporary restraining order, how many acts of abuse did you allege at that time? Oh, allege. Uh, the, probably, I don't know, 150 at this at this point, right? Yeah, I mean, at least 150. Like, you know what it reminds me of? is like if, if, if Johnny Depp had done all of the things that she said that he did to her, she would be in like, remember in Office Space? Um, let me see if I can show you the picture. Um, office Space um, uh, Party. Uh, I, I think this is it. Yeah, let, let's see if I can find this. 
Where's the guy? Uh, I, I think maybe it's this one where he's in, in like the full body suit. Where's the full body suit? Holy shit. Can I find it here? Uh, hopefully I'll be able to. I don't know if I can. Yeah, it's the copy machine. No, I just want to see. Oh my God. It's not anywhere here. Oh, that's too bad. Fuck. Well, okay. She'd be in a full, a full body suit cast, right? Jump to conclusions board. It's that guy, but it's not because of that. It's like she would just be in a, uh, it's the garage one. Let me see. Is it the garage one? I know it's not this one. Yeah, I'm like 90% sure it's not this one too. Yeah, this is not it either. Like you guys, man, y'all make that like that's guys. I saw this movie. But I can't believe I even questioned myself. I've seen this movie like 10 times. I, I know what it is. So look, anyway, all I'm saying is like she'd be in a full body cast. Uh, I gave the last couple, I believe. Uh, last two uh, incidents, maybe three. And why didn't you tell of all the acts of abuse at that time? Because it was just too many, right? I mean, she couldn't remember all of it. I mean, she can only remember it whenever she's on the stand testifying. Uh, like, what What do you mean you can't remember all of it? Oh, my God. Uh, it's just, it, it, it's so crazy to see this. Like, I, I wonder if people are actually believing this horse shit, man. I really do. Like, it's just, it's so crazy to me. It really is. What is this here? It looks so much to the jury. Yeah, well, of course she looks at the jury, right? Because, like, this is what she'll do, is that she'll say something that's, like, you know, very, oh, wow, you should feel sorry for me. I can't believe he's so terrible. And then she'll look at the jury. And whenever she's answering the question naturally, that's whenever she's actually, um, you know, talking to the lawyer. She did husk her testimony with the lawyers during the break? I mean, of course. I was following advice from my counsel. Yeah. Okay. How many instances of abuse were included in the U.K. trial? Uh, there were 14 acts of physical abuse and violence and three acts of sexual abuse. Violence. And why were those 17 included in the UK trial? Uh, well, I was not a party, um, a direct party. I was a witness, so it was whatever their counsel, uh, yeah. the Sun Council chose. Okay. When is the first time you were called upon to provide a detailed accounting of as many times as you could recall of physical and sexual abuse by Mr. Depp. Objection hearsay. I don't, that's not hearsay, Your Honor. I'm asking her when she was called upon to do well, so. Well, the objection is hearsay. Right, but it's not offered to prove the truth of the matter asserted, and it's just asking for date. All right, overruled. Thank you. Uh, a few months ago, February in 2022, this year, um, was the first time I was asked to to do so other than in well, I thought w wait a sec I thought I mean for every single account yeah sure but like I thought the police officer that testified said that she had uh th they said that they had asked her and there was nothing about it so the first time that she ever gave all the examples was a few months ago during the trial I mean I don't know man it's just Wow. A few months, yeah, a few months ago. Now, you know, Johnny's going to take an L on this one, but the whole point is the case is going to come out clean. I don't know if he's going to take an L on it or not, and, and that's honestly the truth. I'm really not sure. I, I think there's a chance that he could. I mean, of course there is. Like, this could happen. He could get got. But, like, yeah, she wouldn't cooperate. Exactly. Uh, like, yeah, it's it's possible, but, like, it doesn't really matter if he wins or loses because everybody has already decided that this girl's lost. Like, because I think any reasonable person, here's here's the truth, most reasonable people see this testimony and they think to themselves, hmm, wow, so he's uh, fucking uh, trying to, like, penetrate you with a broken bottle uh, multiple times. Uh, he's writing your name uh, 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 with uh, like on the wall with the finger that he cut off himself with his own blood like I mean what is this is this some kind of fucking horror movie I, I mean really like it, it's almost like every single one of these scenes that she's showing it's like a boss transition scene from Elden Ring 
It's like, you know, whenever the fire giant breaks off his own fucking foot, whenever Ludwig fucking pulls the sword out, you know, like it, it's like a, a phase transition and it's like, uh oh, now we're really getting serious. Yeah, it's Godfrey. And, and yeah, the Horaloo one was my first example, right? Yeah, Johnny cuts off his own finger. <laughs> and that's what he says. And, and yeah, these are like phase transitions in a boss fight. It's just nuts, man. And uh, Johnny, yeah, Johnny painted a blood dick with his cut off finger. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Amber said on on the record that Johnny took his bloody finger and painted a dick with it. And it's like, you didn't feel like this was... I mean, at a certain point, like, you didn't feel like this was worth taking a picture of to at least just demonstrate the absurdity of the event? To just say, hey, you know, maybe this is a little bit out of left field. Maybe this is a little bit odd. Like, maybe, maybe this is weird. You know what I mean? And then, yeah, she's dressed like, look at this. Where is it? Give me a second. I've got to find this. Um, what is this? Why did you wear this? Give me a second. Oh, wait. Oh, we've got... we've No, no, no. Sorry. Sorry. Let, let's go ahead and let's look. Look at that. Why? Why would you wear this? What are you doing? I don't... I mean, really, guys, look at this. Oh, and you want to know the other person? She, she looks like a little bit, too. Uh, well, let's look at the other one. Um... Kim Jong, there it is, there it is, oh yeah, let's see if we can get a good picture of this one, it's just so fucking nuts, man, let me see, is there, is there a good one, um, no, not quite, it doesn't have the same color, damn it, okay, I can't find, oh, there we go, yeah, it's like, of all the people, of, of 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 all the people that you would that you would go towards like I mean why why would you do this of all the things to do why would this be the thing that you do what a lineup yeah I mean really I mean this is absolutely insane it's just it's, why do you have three of the same picture on the screen yeah exactly man like Stalin I know man it's the same but different Listen, it's just so nuts, man. She's overcompensating to try and convince people she's a decent human being. Yeah, it's just, I love how, like, it wasn't enough for her to say that it wasn't her that shit on the bed. No, no, no. It actually was Johnny that made the dog sick by feeding it weed because he's so stupid. That's why the dog shit on the bed. That's really what it was. It wasn't the, anything else. That's what it was. What, do you have three of the same pictures up side by side? Yeah, exactly. All right, let's go back over. We'll, we'll look at a little bit more of this before they go off of the break, okay? It's going to be over in just a couple of minutes. Old in the deposition. Okay. And when you were asked to provide those, what did you do to be able to prepare that accounting, that full accounting? Well, I had the benefit well, of Well, she watched a lot of movies and uh, looked into some different stories, uh, played Elden Ring, played Bloodborne, and uh, then kind of took everything, put it together, and, uh, you know, uh, made it transformative. I oh, actually, did. no, she didn't. She copied the fucking lines word for word. Purpose, Objection, no. hearsay. So, uh, uh, Your Honor, she's not saying what the therapist okay. said. I'm just asking. I'll overrule the objection. Thank you. Go, go ahead. So, so, but you don't think it's so unimaginable that it actually happened? Uh, like, why make something up so hard to be believed? Um, I, I, you, the reason why is that I think that there's a couple of reasons why. Uh, I think one big reason why is because she, like, if you look at the the, tep, the deposition or the testimony or whatever from 2016, like, she looked like an unhinged psychopath. So, like, I'm assuming this is the same person. It's just that they have a better act of concealing it now. So I think that they're just saying this crazy stuff. Basically, it's almost like anchoring where like you you create a perspective that it's like it was so bad that there's no way you can refute all of it so she's hoping that people assume that she's lying but that it was still bad 
Do you see kind of what I'm saying? Or it could be that she honestly is just fucking crazy and this is what she remembers it as. But no, I, I don't believe that this stuff happened because if it did, I feel like she'd be in much worse condition. And she's already shown herself to be of the presence of mind to take pictures of evidence whenever bad things are occurring. And somehow all of these things happen and she doesn't have a single bit of evidence of the actual bad stuff that happens. Like the only thing is she has... Uh, uh, Johnny, who somebody said this was the morning that he found out his mom died. Somebody else said it was the morning he found out his friends had stolen money from him and colleagues had stolen money from him. I don't know which one it is. I don't know if either one of those is true. But the fact is that if you look at the context of it, he wasn't really even mad at her. He was just mad on his own. You see what I'm saying? It was both? Yeah, maybe it was both. Like, that's awful, man. So it's like, is acting like that good? No, it's not good. Uh, like, it is not. It's not good, and I'll agree with that. Like, you shouldn't have been acting that way. But his fucking mom died, and he found out his friends were betraying him. So, like, even in the context of that, and even in the context of him finding out that she was recording him during that, which is like, I mean, guys, that's pretty bad. Like, I mean, let's be honest. That's pretty fucking bad. Uh, he's literally just mouthing to himself. Yeah, exactly. Very fair reaction if his mother died. Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, he's being violent. Uh, what's this here? Towards her? Just being violent in general. Exactly. Yeah. Even in that circumstance. Like, think about how, mu how much lower can you possibly get than a morning where you wake up and you find out both of those things are true. Right? That's the worst. That's probably the worst day in your life. You know, one of the worst days in your life. And you're still not being violent. So, hmm, I wonder. Yeah, she knew this happened, recorded and asked dumb questions why he's angry. Yeah, exactly. A and then she was mad that she didn't go, that he didn't go to her birthday party on that day. I, I know if I, if it was the day that, that my mom died, I, I wouldn't have wanted to go either. Yeah, I would have been like, fuck that. I want to sit home and just be by myself, man. Holy shit. It's brutal. Yeah, same. No way I'd go. Absolutely not. Yeah, she knew, obviously. Of course she fucking knew, man. It makes it all seem preemptive. Well, what I'm saying is, like, this is the evidence that she's providing. So you have to take into consideration that anything that is less damning than this, where he implicates her in, an, in a recording, the odds are that um, she, already, uh, she already didn't submit that for evidence or it's deleted or removed. Do you see kind of what I'm saying? So like it's not just uh it's not just that. It, it's already been deleted or removed or something like that. Dimension of the demeanor and the jury here is there's not one in the video. Yeah, it's it's just nuts. Marita 46 months. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Um she didn't even care whenever his mom died. I mean, like maybe she never wait, no, she did meet his mom. That's right. Yeah, she did. Because that's where they uh that's where they got married, remember? And like so she did actually have a relationship with him. But like it's not like, oh, she had to have a personal relationship and be personally affected by like, you know, your significant other's mom's death, right? Maybe she just didn't know her that well, maybe she didn't like her, like whatever, right? But like it's one thing to not care, but it's another thing to goad the person who it's happening to into like some sort of a uh like a, a confession like a false confession while it's happening. I mean, that's like straight up like, that's like animal kingdom heartless behavior, you know, where like fucking the wolves get into the, into the nest of like baby birds and they eat the baby birds. Like, holy shit. Yeah, it's brutal. All right, let's, is sociopathic? Yeah, it's evil, exactly. If anything, as I said, I don't really believe in good and evil, but if I, uh, if there was something that was evil, that was evil, it would be this. This is the closest thing I can think to it. This is bad. She nitpicked her own recordings. Yeah. She laughs at the very end of the video, seems relaxed, even egging him on throughout. Yeah, because she's probably, probably, it's like an ego thing where like she feels like, oh, well, he's so popular and I'm not popular like this. And so it probably made her happy to see him in a bad condition because this is like a person that she's like jealous of or you know she wants to be in control of she was antagonizing him yeah exactly like it, you have to remember that like whenever you're dealing with somebody who's like that um everything that they do is to feed their own ego 
there's nothing that they do for other people and there are cases where like yeah of course she's like being like selfish you could maybe say or whatever but i think the pri uh the, the the primary thing is just that she's only doing what she wants to help and benefit herself she said she hit her ribs on the desk the next day she went to coachella no bruises check out her outfit online well i don't need to check out the outfit because like why would you even it, it's like okay so imagine like this is one thing i do whenever i read an article on like the newspaper or like any anywhere online right is that the moment that i find one inaccuracy i stop reading the article because i assume that there are a bunch of other inaccuracies that i just simply don't have access to All right, here we go. Let's see this, dude. Just like the Bible. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things like that. It's just, it's annoying, man. It really is. She's preparing to cry. I don't know about that. Think cross-examination will start today? I hope so, yeah. ready for fake crying we'll see what happens i i mean i feel like it's got to be soon because they're just like chronologically they're going through everything that's happened and this is it, they're getting pretty close to the end of it so hopefully yeah i hope so. god damn it mm. so i have bad allergies today uh, so that's what happened. Just got in. What did I miss? Uh, she was lying again. Yeah, she. I think she. I think she was lying again. Uh, that's what you missed. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, like we don't know for sure, right? I mean, some of this stuff could be partially true, but um, it, it seems as though it's probably not. Devin want Coachella, Coachella because a bunch of young people running around getting fucked up probably be annoyed by them. Yeah, you gotta remember, like he's like 50 years old. Like his idea of a good time was like sitting around with like a bunch of other 50 year old men and playing a guitar. Well, I'm I'm saying 50 at the time, right? I know he's 50, he's 58 now, but I mean 50 at the time, or closer to 50. Yeah, yeah, and doing drugs like that and getting drunk like that's it. That's what he wants to do. He don't want to go to the fucking party. Like, I, I, I've, ne I've been to, like, a couple of these raves, but nothing big like Coachella. Fuck that, man. Like, uh-uh-uh, no shot. No shot. Nope. Uh, three, on a teacup Yorkie that wouldn't sit where it sleeps, even if it was potty trained, that's what they missed? Yeah, exactly. Oh, my God. And that's a, isn't that a federal offense? Oh, I have no idea. I, oh, a lion? Yeah, but the thing is, like, you've got to understand, uh, uh, y you're, uh, guilty until proven wealthy until, uh, in America here. So, you're not really going to expect, like, she's not going to get in trouble for, for lying, right? Like, she's not, she's not really going to get in trouble. Like, that doesn't really happen. That happens to, like, poor people and, uh, basically other people that don't have money. Right, happens to poor people, people that don't have money, and people that don't have resources, right? That's pretty much where it, where it happens. All right, let's see. Could be perjury if it's a very serious lie. Yeah, uh, what do you guys think the odds of that are? Like, there's, it's going to be very hard. Like, I, I, I mean, maybe this guy right here, maybe he's going to get her, you know? Maybe he will get her in something that's, like, verifiably a lie. But then she has like all these, uh, I don't even think they're going to do that because she's already been dis diagnosed with like personality disorders and shit. What contact did you have with Mr. Depp during the period from April 21 to May 21, 2016? I want to make sure both of them. I had no physical contact with him. Okay. I'm going to take you to okay. May 2nd, 2016, yeah. the Met Gala. Um, can you please just briefly describe to the jury what a Met Gala is, where it is, and what's involved? 
it, it's arguably the biggest um, fashion, fashion show. Yeah. Kind of celebrity event. Right? It's where rich event people go to year. show off. It happens every year in New York City. And were you invited? I was invited. Um, typically, designers uh, will invite. Yeah, sounds fucked up. People in the public eye. Okay, to yeah, be it's, there. it's not on me. Um, They'll fix it know, in a guest, minute. And they will typically dress them, and it's a way for Flexathon? designers or yeah. fashion to kind of intersect with the there we go. a celebrity world, and and it's a big event held at the museum every year. And what, if anything, did you and Mr. Depp do to prepare for that Met Gala? Well, Johnny and I were, uh, we were dressed by Ralph Lauren, guests of Ralph Lauren, uh, and Johnny missed the fitting uh, in, because it was happening around the date of my birthday party in of Los course. Angeles. Of course. But we were planning on what going an idiot. Uh, together uh, as Ralph Lauren's uh, guests. Okay. And did you show up? I did. Of um, course. I didn't have a phone at the time. So because, responsible. Uh, I couldn't get it reinstated after jo Johnny threw it out of the window because no one on his team would would respond to me. Um, so I had no way to kind of reinstall it. I had. Um, it's no point in getting a burner phone if you don't know anyone's phone number. So I, um, uh, I, I wasn't sure really what was going on or when he would show up or if he would show up. No one would talk to me on his team. Um, no one would tell me. I didn't know. So I ended up going um, by myself. Um, frankly, I wasn't sure if he'd show up and, you know, on the carpet or if he'd show up at the hotel shortly before. Um, I, I had no way of knowing. And then did you attend the Met Gala? I did. I, um, I would have never expected I her got to out of the car not and walked miss out on that. By myself, escorted by somebody from Ralph Lauren's team. Um, and uh, I sat next to an empty play setting for Johnny um, that they they cleared as soon as we realized that he wasn't that he effectively stood me up on the carpet. Who, who did My you meet man. at the Met Gala? I did done the same I, thing. I uh, was standing in line um, right in front of um, a after gentleman. all that horse shit. Uh, it was Elon. Uh, I didn't oh, recognize him. Here we go. Um, until we we started talking. And uh, he had reminded me that we had met once before. He was with his mother. Okay. And did you strike up a friendship with Mr. Musk after that? Oh, we did. We, um, as I mentioned, we spoke on the on the red carpet, kind of on the waiting, in the waiting line, of the carpet. Um, he seemed like a, a like a real gentleman. He was really nice, and he sat next to me. Well, not next that to me. That poor he sat, man kind of in a nearby table and oh, we no. got to speaking that night and then eventually oh, became no. friends. Okay. I'm going to, Michelle, can you pull up Fuck, Plaintiff's dude. Exhibit 46? It's already in evidence. It's Aaron Falani's notes. And I'm going to ask you to go to page He seemed 30. nice, yeah. Okay, are they showing it? And I'm, I'm going to direct your attention to the entry for 5-11-2016, where, where it says... Oh, it doesn't show it at all. I can see. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's being shown. Let me, Sorry let me about that, I guys. Can do some reasonable highlighting here. How does this happen every time? They had a whole week to fix okay. this. Okay, it says, client laughed and also reported using illicit drugs, ah. mushrooms, and MDMA on 5-9-2016 at home with a high-profile male acquaintance. Court re client reported that her husband was not aware of the male visitor nor her illicit drug use. Do you see that? I bet not. Yes, I do. Who, who was the high-profile male acquaintance that was, visited your home on 5 9 2016? Uh, I don't recall even being in L.A. at that time. Ah. Where were you? I don't recall. Uh, I believe I, I was remember. in London at the time. Okay. Um, did you? I, it have wasn't a me, male guys. It wasn't me. Client at, at your home in or around five nine two thousand sixteen? Not around that date. It seems like it's a wrong date. Okay. And did you use illicit drugs, mushrooms, and MDMA with any high-profile client? Uh, no, I did that at the Coachella Music Festival and. That was the end of that. I learned the hard way that that was a terrible idea. All right. Well, what do you mean? You did it many times the, before. Um, 
uh, these same. Yeah, you've notes. done it many I'm times say, before. I'm what do you refer mean? Refer to the Coachella, which up, is up above, and it says it states she ingested mushrooms and MDMA simultaneously while also consuming alcohol, and states she vomited and was high for at least 24 hours straight. Were you high for at least 24 hours straight? N no, I was not. I, uh, uh -huh. I felt awful. Um, but I was at home feeling awful. Doesn't uh, RN stand for registered health, nurse? Uh, with my best friend in bed. Okay. Well, while I'm still on these notes, let's go. I know um, while Aaron Filati was t was uh, testifying. But we should we believe her, not the nurse. 521 2016. Oh, my God. Wasn't on here. Uh, you'd sent her pictures, correct? Yes, okay. I did. Then let's go to 526 Yeah, the nurse is lying. And it says, client reports having the hardest week of my life. Client states she oh. cannot deal with the negative media publicity she has received. Just um, ban and them in chat. If I can jump that up, Michelle, to the next page. Surrounding the divorce she requested from her husband, J.D. Just you ban them. I do. Okay. When did you go in for the DVTRO? May 27th. So that was this. the day after... Aaron Filati's note saying you just had the toughest week of your life? That's correct. Okay. While we are still on this one, let's go up to the first page for the client history. How does it, like they literally, the, the register. did you provide a client history to Aaron Filati? Right. History never, of substance abuse. When did you oh. first get assigned Aaron Filati? Uh, I believe September of 2014. Okay. Now it says here. That yeah, I'm being for stress. Client. Um, yeah, it's asleep. Reports a history of substance Ambien abuse, once. including an addiction to Twice, cocaine actually. and liquor. When did you have a substance, a history of substance abuse, including addiction to cocaine and liquor? I did not. There's a lot of mistakes in here. Okay. Did you ever use cocaine? I have. I used cocaine a few times when I was 18, 19 years old, um, but stopped using um, any drugs, including cocaine, when I got into a relationship with my ex-partner. She was very against that, and I'm glad for it. I thought that she said she was on it drugs. it also says here... Whenever Johnny that... brought her into the trailer. Remember that? Wait, I'm gonna keep but she up. said Here that... We go. Client admits to history of anxiety, eating disorder, attention deficit disorder, bipolar disorder, codependence issues, and occasional insomnia. When have Guys, you I had think she's lying. Disorder? I've never I... had an eating disorder. Okay. When have you been diagnosed <laughs> I, with bipolar I think she's... disorder? I've never been diagnosed with bipolar disorder. When have you been diagnosed with codependence issues? I have never been diagnosed with codependency issues, although arguably at the time from where I, well, at, from where I stand now, I can see that the relationship I was in with, with Johnny was certainly codependent. Okay. But I wouldn't have reported that at the time. I didn't know about that. What are you getting All sassy right, about? Can we move up a little bit more, Michelle? Thank you. It has Per report from JD, Debbie RN, mm -hmm. Dr. Kipper, client AH has reportedly been experiencing increased anxiety and agitation recently and has had several outbursts of anger and rage. Were you present is this for this true? being reported to Ms. Filati? No, this is the detox. Okay. This is Johnny's. And it also says your mood has been labile. What if any outbursts of anger and rage and labile mood did you exhibit during the detox none that she would have seen none i i was there for johnny's detox. wow this is what johnny was going through this is not me it wasn't me and it was at the time she's the detox, doing the shaggy was defense Aaron Filotti your nurse yet it wasn't no, me no her and she wasn't there okay she's just going Thank all the much. way you can take this down Michelle. the doctors are lying now, I'm going to take you to May 21, 2016. Play the song? Yeah. And I'd like you to describe for the jury what took place that evening in connection with Mr. Depp. Isn't it crazy how, like, all the records are the opposite of what she's saying? 
That's weird. Johnny and I had not seen each other for the better part of a month, or about a month. I was traveling. I had just shot a campaign in Italy. I spoke to him uh, around that time when I was in Italy. Uh, I had gotten a phone. Uh, My parents got a hold of me. After I spoke to my parents, I had communicated with Johnny. He, on that phone call, um, you know, I didn't know what was going on with him for those weeks. With his sobriety, I didn't know where his state was. I didn't know what state he was Turning in. Turning it around on and when him, I spoke to him again. He, oh my um, God! Was saying what I can only just—he was going on about um, again, bro, about scientists and DNA and uh, feces that he had had um, some some you know, scientific analysis done and DNA analysis done and that, you know, uh, as soon as I heard about this feces, he thought um, that was a prank and he was going on about all the, the, the scientists that he had conferred with, about the DNA results with, I was, just thought he was out of his mind and thought clearly the drinking and the the drugs are not getting better. Clearly, the delusions aren't better. So, Jackson I kind calls of, for speculation. It's, You're, it's not about uh, the truth of the matter. You're talking about. So he was talking to a scientist about it. Yeah. Please continue. So I. Um, they tested the poop. Uh, Wait, no I way. From that phone call. No way. Uh, assuming. No that shot. They, <clears throat> then spoke to him once. They once got the my DNA. Parents got a hold of me to tell me about. No Vegas. way. We made a plan, Johnny and I, uh, oh my God. to come over. Uh, he said he really needed his wife. Um, he, he had lost his mother and he missed his wife. He really needed his wife. He said it over and over again. Mm-hmm. I felt torn. I felt conflicted. I didn't think, obviously, the situation hadn't gotten better with Johnny mentally. And I was afraid that all the work and progress and distance, I had finally got on it, on the relationship for the first time. I had a month of distance on it, you know? Um, I, I didn't want that to be undone, but I also wanted to be, I was, you know, I was affected by the fact that his mother had passed. So uh, he said he wanted to come over then and why'd you talk record about him? that. And he said he needed his wife and we made a plan. Um, I, uh, we made a plan for, for him to come over during the day, thinking that that might mitigate the amount that he would be drinking. Uh. It was a little bit more dangerous. And uh, in the early evening hours, I get a text from him that he's uh, almost there or that he's there. I think it was around 7.15 or so. And he came over and um, we sat on the couch and at first kind of, yeah. it was relatively peaceful. I mean, I could tell he was inebriated but makes sense in my head it made sense it wasn't he wasn't like incoherent it was peaceful and then he starts talking about the feces again and this prank that he said one of my friends had left for him in my bed that he wasn't that's going to be at uh, and i tried to point oh. out how that didn't make any sense i'm not even going to be there i wasn't there and my friends wouldn't do that. That's not something a bunch of 30 year old women think is funny. What is he talking about? And he just kept going on and on about it. So I, uh, I text my friend that it's- Objection hearsay. Uh, don't, don't tell us, don't tell the jury what you texted your friend, but go to the next thing. What did it's you do not, next? Yeah, they didn't try to be funny. I, uh, they were trying to be crazy. My friend thinking that it would um, quell this, what I could only see as a delusion thought it was just a delusion he was having and i thought oh, of course I'll, I'll i'll calling him crazy you know that's quell cute. this by calling my friend to, to to if he hears my friend say that didn't happen she's 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 not offering the truth of it thank okay. you please continue uh-huh. so i thought if i could get my friend on the phone to to prove that this didn't happen we could move on and talk about the issues the I'm glad Johnny's pushing about, the poop you know, situation. Had, our yeah. marriage was over and I want to know about apart this. in front of our eyes. We hadn't seen each other for a month and his mom had just passed. I couldn't believe he wanted to talk about feces. So I call <laughs> this friend thinking that will 
take care of it. The friend doesn't answer. I call another friend who is someone else he claimed. I don't know how both people did this, but he was claiming that this person yeah. was responsible. So I call that person. And that person is on speakerphone. And tell I say, Tell us who that person is. IO. IO, tell it right. IO, tell it right. Okay. Tell it right. And then you put him on speakerphone with Johnny. Right in front He's of Johnny. He's about to tell it wrong. Okay. And what happened next? I, I allowed for an opportunity for IO to say why this is impossible. Objection here it's saying. not offered to prove the truth but of the it, matter. It had it's nothing to do Honor. with it's her friends. It had to do with her. That leads to the next she calls her act. friends? Your Honor. It's about it her, is not is her friends. We're not here, We're not here uh, uh, about no, no, whether uh, I owe. I'll, I'll sustain the, the objection. Back. Next question. Oh, my God. All right. Um, Johnny's drawing again? On right, this context? So I don't know what I was talking. Know why. You can't tell us what he said. Okay. Objection, Your Honor. Correct. May we approach? Okay. I <laughs> no, here we go. Here we go. Yep. So it's so weird because, like, obviously, I, I would assume that she was the one that shit in his bed. So she's calling her friends. And this is one thing that people do whenever they're lying to you is they will over verify things that they know are not true. So I was talking. We can't say what he said. What is the next thing that happens on your end with Mr. Depp? Um, it just made Johnny matter. Of course. Got more upset, grabbed the phone, and started screaming at Io. Uh, he just started screaming at the top of his lungs, said, you dyke bitch, you don't know what you're talking, you know, just screaming. Oh, he hates gay people. Insulting names. Um, and I see, I didn't know that I owe that he can have me and, you know, fuck off and it, it, just screaming at him. Um, I, you know, that's best I can describe it without getting into the details. He tosses the, the phone, you know, down on the couch and heads upstairs and I pick up the phone and, and try to, you know, apologize. For right, because he's so that my he's so crazy. husband at the time just screamed at yeah, my he's friend such an asshole, isn't call. he? Oh, um, I didn't want Io to think that's why I had called Io, you know, to just be screamed at and blamed for something that sounded yeah. crazy, for lack of a better explanation. It sounded crazy. Io um, said something to me on speakerphone, um, and. <sighs> Um, reminded me I wasn't safe. Oh. Objection on her hearsay. Your Honor, it's not offered to prove the truth of the matter. It's to show she wasn't what caused safe. Mr. Depp to be set off and come back. Imagine being I, I in mean, the same house as the, the Elden Lord, the Johnny He's Depp. Saying. It's not hearsay. In that I'll overrule the objection. Jesus. I mean, she's got to watch what out. Io said and what then happened with Mr. Depp. Io said, Amber, get out of the house. Get out of the house now. You're not safe. Get out of that house. I had been there after the cleanup or for the cleanup after December 15th, 2015 incident. And I objection, Your Honor, no responses. Right. That's where she threw the can of mineral spirits at him. Okay, so please, please continue. Johnny hears this when he's on the stairs. He made it up one flight of stairs, heard this, turned around, came bolting down the Phase stairs. Phase two. Phase grabbed two. Grabbed the phone from my hand and really, really started screaming this time, uh -huh. lit into IO, uh, called IO every, imaginal, uh, every imaginable horrible name that you can say to a LGBTQIA person for one and, and any person, any human being ever. I mean, just screaming like, <laughs> at IO. Um, like what? Some really nasty stuff, and he, when he was done, he says, "You know, you want to, you want to have, you want to have my woman now. You want to have my bitch. You can have you. You take her. You can have her." And he, with that, picks up, just pulls his arm back, with yeah, the phone and throws it at my face. Hit me right in my. It felt like my, my eye. Holy shit! <sighs> I put my. Head in my hands. Oh my God! And I immediately start crying. Um, yeah. I 
said, you hit me with the phone. Johnny, you hit me. And I'm sitting on the couch. I didn't even have time to react, you know? I, I didn't even have time to put my hands up. I was still sitting cross-legged in my socks on the couch. And I haven't seen him for a month. And last, you know, He shows times up and he hits I've you with the phone. He, keep, he won't He's stop talking me, about and shit. I didn't even have time to react to this. He comes over to me yeah. um, as I'm crying. Phase three? And he does that taunting thing to me. Oh, he my God. says, oh, yeah, I hit you, huh? I hit you, yeah? And he just we don't have feels like waxing me on top phone. of my head. Just this heavy ringed hand landed on top of my my skull grabs me by the hair. More evidence that he wears his couch. rings the whole time. To stand up. And um, I don't know if he was intending to um, hit me in the face or if he was just trying to grab my face, but he was making this um, gesture around my face to try to hold, to expose my face to him. And he was like, yeah, let me see how bad I hurt you. Let me see it. Let me see uh -huh. how bad I hurt you this time. What if I pull your hair back? What if I pull your hair back? Well, if you let us see. he yanks my hair back. I'm trying to Where's the picture? prevent him from landing the blows to my face. I'm trying to prevent my face from being exposed. And I just remember this mocking taunt he was doing with me as he is yanking me around the room. Uh, yeah. And then I hear my friend come into the room. Um, I hear her. Johnny hears her too. Let's go of me and turns and just tell the jury who your friend is. Raquel, my best friend at the time who lived in the neighboring apartment. Uh, she came in and uh, Johnny m moved towards towards her and she ran towards me. Um, Johnny looked at her, looked at me. Uh -huh. I retreated to the only place I had to go, which is the corner of the room the, where the couch was. I retreated kind of to the couch and Raquel uh, and Johnny both ran up to me. Uh, John, uh, Raquel got in front of Johnny. She kind of managed to get right in front of him in between he and I. She summoned somebody. And That's good for the I'll boss fight. Forget it, just very slowly calm very very in just a very yeah. slow but very concentrated very controlled slow way just put both of her arms her hands up like this and like i've seen people do with horses that's what it reminded me of she just went no no johnny no i will she solo just him got in front of us in between us put her both of her oh my god up. no johnny kind of squared off to her and ran into her arm and she just repeated subs. herself very slowly very calmly so very directly yeah. he hit both of her arms off of his chest like that and barreled towards me i instinctively oh my god curl up on the couch and i just feel her arms come around me next to me she was sitting on my left next to me on the couch and i just feel her arms around me and I'm just looking down at the carpet, feeling her arms. And that's when Johnny, who I can see partially and hear, is right in front of me and he's screaming at me to get the fuck up. Amber, get the fuck up. Amber, get the fuck up. Oh my God. Amber, get the fuck up. And every single time he said it, he's screaming it louder and louder and louder. Yeah. I think he screamed it probably about 10 times so loudly. The next thing I hear is boss, boss, and I realize that his two security guards had come into the to the apartment after Raquel. I see them, yeah. and he, or hear them, and uh, More Johnny summons. turns to them, okay. and I I see Jerry say boss, boss, and I get up off the couch. Jerry, and who's I dead, so we can't Jerry, testify. Objection, Your Honor, here say very convenient. Not offered to prove the truth of the matter. Yes, asserted. very oh, convenient. Sustain the objection. All right, next one. So don't tell us what you said to Jerry, just what happened next. This is the boss uh, fight. Yeah, he, he well, yeah, he literally is the boss. Something. Um, and uh, he it's an actual boss uh, fight. picks up the the bottle that I guess he walked in with. Uh, it was a this is Magnum. Mr. Depp or Jerry? I'm sorry, Johnny. Okay. And uh -oh. uh, 
starts smashing things off the nightstand, the, the right. uh, coffee table, starts screaming. Phase four. Uh, and they kind of, I feel them kind of corral him. I'm not making direct eye contact, but I can kind of just sense and feel and yes, sound and rage. hear things smashing as he exits the, the apartment, kind of knocking things off the countertops and uh, breaking things on the way. I, I um, realize he, you know, he's punching something. I, I assume it was the picture because it, it, it broke right after he walked past it. And he leaves that apartment. I hear him in the hallway, still screaming. I hear more doors opening, more racket. Eventually, Josh Raquel's uh, a husband comes into the room and uh, uh, brings me to safety, brings Raquel and I to safety. Oh, thank in, God. Um, in their apartment. And that's where I stayed for the He next punched few a hours. picture. That's right. So who called the police? I, I believe it was Ayo. Objection calls for speculation. Your Honor, this is not, you, we have to have the context here of somebody called the police because then yeah. the police come. So right. I think we have to put, I mean, it's not offered again to prove. Wait, is this whenever the police came just and she wouldn't talk the to them? Your Honor, the objection is not hearsay, it's speculation. Do you know who called the police? Yes, I do now. Wait. Sustain the objection. The All next right. Question. Did you have a convert, did you, were you present when there was a discussion about Oh calling my God. Objection calls for hearsay. I'm asking if she was present. Sustain the objection, next question. Did you call? I think, yeah. No. Okay. Did Rocky call 911? Objection you, calls for speculation. Do she's you getting know mad. Yeah. Rocky called 911. I do know whether she did. And did she? She did not. Okay. Um, all right. So, what happens? When did you learn that the police had been called? Uh, roughly an hour. I don't. At some point, shortly after uh, Johnny and his security guards left. Okay. And what did yeah. you do as a result of knowing that the police were coming? I, I felt panicked. I, I, I didn't know what to do. You cleaned um, everything up. I didn't know what they were going to do when they saw the state of the place. He'd also smash up the other apartment yeah. and all my things. So I didn't know what they were gonna do. And I nothing, I because nothing happened. Um, I called the only lawyer I have, which is my um, entertainment lawyer. He does like my movie contracts and stuff. And I asked him for advice. And then what, without telling what he said, what happened next? I called a domestic relations attorney Mm -hmm. after that conversation. And had you known this domestic relations attorney before then? Well, wait a minute, what no, happened with not. the cops? Did you get that name from your well, entertainment well, attorney? Yes, I did. Okay. What about that? And when you called the domestic relations attorney without uh, do we just skip the head said, here? What did you do as a result? Well, I told the cops the officers who arrived that I would not Objection, your honor, hearsay. I cannot offer to prove the truth of the matter. What cops? Asserted. All right, I'll overrule She's speed running the story. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? I repeated to the officers, yeah. I refuse to cooperate at this time at the advice of my attorney. Okay. That's not what the officer Did you said. Call your publicist that night? No. Okay. That's not what the officer um, said. Hmm. Now, I'm going to ask you to take a look at some pictures, but before I get there, I want to just ask you a couple of questions leading up. What were you doing when the police officers arrived? Okay, here we go. When, at that time when I, after I learned that they were coming, uh, my what? best friend took pictures of me. Uh, we Thank took God. pictures of the house and okay. my face. All right. Okay. I'm going to, and did your All best right. friend take any pictures while the officers were there? We took pictures before and while they were there and after. Okay. We took pictures throughout. Okay, great. Okay. 
Let's see so it. So I'm going Here we to go. take you now. Michelle, can you bring up Defendant's Exhibit 706? All righty. I think we can do the native on this one. Yes, thank let's you. Let's take a look at it. Let's see. Let's see where this evidence uh, is. Does this accurately depict the scene portrayed? Yes, it does. Your Honor, I'd like to move the admission of Defendant 706. Okay, boys, let's go. Let's see the proof. No objection. 706 in evidence. Probably. Because the police investigated this. And would you please describe to the jury what this is a picture of? This is um, my face after Johnny threw a phone at it. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to now, Michelle, ask you to pull up Defendant 708. I don't know. I, I, I don't know about that. Must have been a big phone. I'm not and sure. Does this accurately depict the scene portrayed in this Okay, picture? here we go. Yes, it does. All right. And I also see that there is uh, a, a little I don't see it. metadata item on there. How, how do you get that on a picture? How does that happen? Can you uh, just describe briefly? Objection, Where is Your Honor. It? Uh, that's speculation. Lack of foundation. You, you want to approach. Yeah. It's, it's not even on there. Like, where the fuck is this shit? That's annoying, so they don't show the picture? That's so annoying, bro. Oh, my God. It's nothing because nothing happened. Like, I don't know about that picture. Like, in my opinion, I think if somebody threw a phone at you at, like, full force, like, it, it would do more damage than that. Like, I don't know how it hit her or whatever. But, like, if it hits you on, like, the edge right here, like, it would be bruised, like, fucking crazy. It's too graphic, maybe? Maybe it is. Maybe it's too graphic. A black eye? Yeah. It hit in her eye, and her eye isn't damaged at all? I don't know. It would bust it open? I think it would. Like, it, it's... It, at least, though, like, with this one, there's at least evidence that maybe something happened. I'm not really sure. Amber said failed to hand over the photos from metadata examination before trial, as they should have. Police testified under oath that there was nothing on her face. Exactly, yeah. And, and so, like, the police testified, and they said, remember, because that was the one police officer, I think she was the one that was wearing the mask, and she said that the uh, th they, had, they had done an investigation, Johnny Depp wasn't there, and there was nothing to be Can seen. Can you please explain how this they said particular... That item on here got onto the pictures um it's a it's a feature that was on um i photos you know where the where your pictures are stored on your phone typically you just push info and and okay. was that pushed in this, these instances i pushed pictures? info and that's what came up okay. over photos Your Honor, is the admission or of defendants 708 the Why am I, not Your Honor, I would just ask the picture be redacted um on hearsay grounds um your Honor, I, I, for the metadata, okay, if you want alleged to metadata. Okay. Alleged metadata, there it is. Yep, let's go, let's hear it. Because I think you can change metadata as long as you change your system's information, right? Like, I don't know. I mean, that's a lot to do. Yeah, like, yeah, I, okay, so I thought so. So it's like, it's not even a guarantee that that's the case at all. I, I, I don't know, man. It's just, it takes five seconds, yeah. Like, I, I see the picture. At least there is a picture. But, like, again, do I want to trust the... Like, because the, the police officer saw her. So, like, the police officer said there was nothing, but then there's this picture. Well, I'm going to believe the police officer. I am. I'm going to believe the police officer. They've got no... Uh, they've got no stake right, in the moment. story. Right, there's no reason for them to lie. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, especially against her. All right, I'm going to move the admission of uh, 708. Well, even the at the time. Okay, and the objection to that. Um, there still needs to be another redaction at the top. All three of, of them, yeah. Okay. We'll get it. You can clearly see uh, her put under eyes okay. something to make Thank her you. cry, substance makes burning sensation. Oh, I don't know about that. If the police saw that, they would have made a report. Yeah, yeah, like absolutely, they would have made a report for that. Okay. There's no Thank way. You, Your Honor. And I would also like the record to reflect that we um, we're, we're publishing this to the jury. Yes, no objection, correct? Okay. okay. Yes. There we go. 
Okay. I would like the record to reflect that this was the photo that was shown mm -hmm. to Officer Signs and Officer had Objection, Your Honor. 20, no, that, that is Your Honor, we couldn't put him in because Honor. we hadn't identified him. Now the jury should be entitled to know which photo Your Honor, was shown. Your Honor, we ask that we approach. That okay, we can approach. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Now they're getting mad. All right, let's go. Zero swelling. Like, I don't know, man. Like, if I, the thing is, like, if I did, like, this a lot to my face, right, or whatever, like, I, I guess, like, her eye, like, maybe, like, right here, it's a little bit swollen. Like, I, it's, it's really hard to say. Yeah, I, I don't know. It looks a bit swollen. Yeah, it, it does look a bit swollen. It, to me, it so does. For the record, this particular photo was shown to Officer Signs and Officer Haddon okay. as Exhibit 24 in both of the depositions that were shown earlier where the pictures were not uh, allowed to be shown yet because they hadn't been admitted. Amber, will you please describe for the jury what, what is depicted in this photo? Yes, that's a picture of my face. Um, taken um, that evening, um, shortly before 9.30, um, after Johnny hit me with the phone. Okay. Now we can take this one down and let's go to Defendant's Exhibit 709. Okay. And based on the court's ruling, I'm going to ask if you can I don't, react to that, Michelle. I don't please. know. Nice makeup. It's... It's like the swelling above the eye was the only thing that I would think maybe that maybe that's a thing. But like I'd have to see like a comparison and really look at it thoroughly. Remove the admission of 709. All right. Any objection? Not with redactions. Right. Thank you. 709 with redactions and evidence. You can publish. If it could be published to the jury, Your Honor. Thank it you. Is. And Your Honor, for the record, this is the photo that was shown to Officer Signs and to Officer Haddon as Exhibit 25 for both of their depositions. Mm -hmm. Amber, could you please describe for the jury what's depicted here? Uh, that is my face after okay. um, after the phone incident. Okay. That's that night. All right, let's uh, bring defendant 710, please. All right, so we've seen a number of pictures of this. But why did the cops not report this then? Why did the police officer not report it? I, I don't understand. And Your Honor, I'm going to move the admission of Exhibit 710. The redactions have been already placed right. on it. Any objection? No objection. All Thank right. you. Like it just it makes no sense to me. If we could publish, Your Honor. And for the record, this a photo was shown to Officer Signs and Officer Haddon. It was Exhibit 26 for both of their depositions. And please describe for the jury what's depicted here, Amber. Uh, that is my face mm -hmm. in uh yet yeah, a different <clears throat> light um that same evening after johnny hit me with the phone okay i mean her other side of her face is a little bit red too but the, i mean i i don't know are they arguing that the officers lied and not spoke about those pictures i think that's what they're trying to say yeah i mean pretty much which is wild man Absolutely fucking and wild. I'm going to move the admission of uh, 711, Your Honor, with the redactions. All right. Any objections? No objection. All right. 711 with redactions and evidence. Publish. And for the record, Your okay, Honor, uh, for the jury's purposes, this was shown to Officer Signs and Officer Haddon as Exhibit 27 mm -hmm. to both of their depositions. And could you describe what's de depicted here, Amber? Yes, that is another angle, another lighting of my face okay. uh, after the phone. And that when, evening. And when you say angle or lighting, what, what did Rocky do in, in taking these pictures? Objection uh, calls for speculation. I said, what she do? To overrule. Thank you. Uh, Raquel. Google um, image Botox bruise? Took pictures of my face in various um, places around the pen. I'll look at something else. The, I'm, I'm the apartments this. have really different lighting, you know, uh, really dark in some places. Um, anyway, so we just took pictures in different lighting so that... Um, we had an accurate portrayal and depiction of what okay. had happened. And why did you take the pictures? 
uh, Raquel did it to protect me because the cops were coming and um, we knew we or that we, we knew that the Wait, police so she took these I th before I the cops point, came we, they were already here they were with us but we weren't maybe this was right before I'm not quite sure without seeing the timestamp but we weren't sure what was going to happen what the police were going to say what they were going to do um, we didn't know what Johnny was going to do what he was going to say so she wanted to protect me okay uh -huh. so, sure uh, let's go ahead and bring up 712 bro like oh look I'm gonna show y'all something all right now move the admission of 712 your honor all right any objection no, thank you, Your Honor. Right, 712 with redactions. You can publish. That's whenever thank I hit Honor. my head. And please describe. Literally, like what three seconds in. after. Uh, three fucking yeah, seconds I after I, I hit my head. I remember that? My face. Okay. Uh, taken around the same time. Okay. Uh, you remember, remember that? 713. That shit swole up. Look how bad that is. That's, that's within 30 seconds. Bro, like, move the admission of 713, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. She got hit no by objection. a Nokia. Oh. No objection. All right, 713 with redaction. She'd be dead. Published. And for the record, this one was shown to Officer Signs and Officer Haddon, as well as Exhibit 29 to both of their depositions. And just describe briefly to the jury what this is. This is uh, another picture of bad a lighting. Face you shouldn't have submitted this one. It makes it look fake. And in the same location as the other one, just with one of the lights turned on. Or an additional light turned Look on at that. in the previous one. Look at that. Okay. Let's go to 714. Right there. Immediately it happened. Immediately, bro. Move the admission of 714, Your Honor. No objection. All right. 714 with redactions. And. Please tell the jury what this depicts. This is um, another angle of my face or another picture of my face taken at a different time. I don't know if this is um, later or before because I can't see the time on it. Okay. If you take that down, let's go to 715. Okay. This is a scratch. I mean, I, bro, like. As it looks different every time. Well, it could be a different time period, right? Because she said she took them before, and during, the and after. Of 715, Your Honor. The police. Uh, no objection. All right, 715 with redactions in evidence. You can publish. Thank you. And uh, for the record, this one was shown to Officer Signs and Officer Haddon as Exhibit 17 for both. Okay. Um, please describe for the jury what's this, what's depicted here. Uh, that is a picture of my face. Um, some point later on in the night, it looks like that was taken in Rocky's apartment or in the apartment that she was staying in. Okay. Okay. And let's go to 716. Why would someone keep taking pictures randomly unless they're trying to prove a lie? Well, because they were trying to get Maybe evidence. I think that's fair. 716. I just happened to a friend of mine. That's what I did. No objection, Your Honor. All right. So yeah, that's fair. Evidence. That part's fair. And Emmer, could you please tell the jury what this picture depicts? This is uh, the business yes, it's card. The business card that one of the police officers left for me uh, in case I changed my mind. Remember, this is the one that talked about it. Okay. And uh, with the pictures that we have just seen before this, were they taken before the pictures of the? Uh, police card, the card that was left after, or do you know? Action compound. It's not. And calls for speculation. Your Honor, compound oh, is over, only. Over, over, Thank you. Uh, they, we took pictures before, during, and after. Okay. And the question I had for you is the pictures you've seen so far, were those taken before? At the time, probably of all this, of the above, before right? Before this card was presented to you and you took the picture, after or do you know? Uh, 
Some of them were, but without seeing all the timestamps, I can't tell exactly. Okay, that's fair. Thank you. Yeah, it was probably okay. all during because of different ask lighting. You to take this one down and go to seven seventeen. So that the cops saw this and they gave you a business card. Uh huh. Yeah, that that must be what it was. Without seeing timestamp, yeah, exactly. Seems like I can tell you trauma of the body's instant you, response. Ms. Wong uh, happens almost right away. Yeah. On. Any objection? No objection. All right, 717 is redacted in evidence. Published. Thank you. And please just briefly describe to the jury what this is. Uh, the two officers that um, first responded left me that card. This is the front of the business card they left. Okay. Um, can you tell the jury, just explain what the interaction was that you had with the police officers, um, just describing what you observed uh, as they came through. Uh, I did not want to speak to them. I asked that Raquel's partner or husband ask them to go away. Can't the cops speaking. just have caller and, and ID so the jury to see who, who called? Judge, who, who was Raquel's fiance at that time? The fuck? Um, his name is Josh Drew, and he and Raquel lived in the apartment at Johnny's Invitation across the hall from us. Um, Raquel had keys. We kind of shared keys. It was... Refuse report, they yeah. They neighbors, but had keys to our house. Okay. So why didn't you want to cooperate? The person demanded they were anonymous. I see. Very convenient. Because I, I, I wanted I to protect shouldn't... Johnny. I didn't want him to be arrested. Oh my God. I didn't want him to be in trouble. I didn't want the world to know. I didn't want this to come out. I didn't want him to be in trouble. I didn't want this to be. She's looking out for him, guys. She's trying we'll to help him. Johnny. Let's uh, go to uh, Defendant's Exhibit 1374. Oh, my God. She wanted to protect him. Yeah, it's just like, are you fucking kidding me, man? Hmm. That's 1374. Why is provide too many details whenever they tell the stories and it's clear your case? Like with the socks on? Yeah. All right. Three 911 calls in total. Hey, thank you. Oh my right. God. Move the admission of 1374A, Your Honor. Says so she didn't cooperate because the lawyer told her so? No objection. Yeah, I think that's fair. 1374A in evidence, in evidence. sorry. Th thank you, Your Honor. Um, and Amber, what is this? Uh, it's another picture of my face uh, after Johnny threw the phone at it. Okay. And then let's go to 1493T. Okay. Let's see it again. Here we go. Let's get it. And move the admission of 1493T. No objection. All right, 1493T in evidence. And what does this depict? Um, this is a picture of um, my eye, my face, after that incident. Perhaps by the lighting, it looks like it might have been taken the next day, but I can't be tell. I mean, I can't tell for sure. Okay. And then let's go to 1493S. Okay. What are you looking at? There's a little bit of brown, like right here, but I, I don't know. And move the admission of 1493S. It, if anything, it was probably the next no day. All right, 1493S in evidence. And what does this depict? Uh, I, and this is another picture of my eye and uh, side of my face. Now, How do professional actors not take also better pictures? pictures taken of the property that you described, Mr. Depp, like, uh, destroying or damaging? Yes, there were. Okay. Michelle, can you bring up Defendant's Exhibit 700? I, I, I don't know. It, it's and like... Based on Your Honor's rulings, we will uh, take off the metadata. Why, wait, wait. Why would they withhold the metadata? What? Move the admission How's of defendant's exhibit 700. 
No objection with redaction. 700 with redactions. You can publish. It can be manipulated. Please describe for the jury okay. what's depicted in this photo. Yes, um, my friend had, was preparing for a bead show and had displays to show these bead necklaces she made. Okay. And uh, she needed some counter space in order to kind of set up the displays that she was going to use Got the it. next day. Makes sense. So she asked me earlier in the day if she could use the free counter space in that penthouse, penthouse five, to kind of set up those, those display racks. They were set up um, in that room um, when Johnny went in there to destroy things, as he does. As he does. Uh, and That's good. That's good. Adding that in right yeah, at the end. The as he does. Let him in, even though I had asked Objection, Your Honor. Not to. Speculation. Uh, I, I don't think that was speculation. And lack of foundation. Oh, my God. Oh, you, I'll sustain it as a foundation if you want to. Okay. Um, so how do you mad this? So Amber what, has to rely on her own account to qualify. And what's the damage that, that was done? Well, because Johnny would always smash up my things and destroy my property when he was mad at me. Um, yep. I had asked that they not normal let behavior him of the elder so that he could do that. I mean, the only purpose to let for him to be let into Penthouse Five in that state, he doesn't have property in there. The only way for the only reason for him to go in there would be to destroy it. And they, of course, let him into Penthouse Five. Objection, Your Honor. So that he could go. Yes, Lack of foundation. All right, I'll sustain the objection. Next question. Just tell the jury what he did here that's depicted in this. This is just a, a one corner of the room that shows the destruction. He just went in there with this bottle swinging and it just looks like something them. fell down. Objection, Your Honor. This is speculation. Like I he really like that she was there. Like my couch oh, has more I'll shit on it than that. Foundation is fine. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, this is you not yeah such devastation. <laughs> objection, Your Honor. Cause for speculation. So I'm to lay the foundation. Here we I'll sustain the objection. Next question. Well, let's do this. Oh my God. Never mind. We'll, we'll let somebody else tell who did it. Okay. What about your um, horse shit? Just all I'm asking here is what, what is the damage? What has been done that's depicted here? This is just one of something Raquel's fell down that he. Um, objection, smashed. Your Honor. Speculation. Okay. I'll sustain. Objection. All right. Let's go to 701. Okay. <laughs> this is whisper something to him. Oh my god. No proof? Yeah. Move the admission of 701. I think the uh, fact that they're still smiling no through all of this it kind of goes to show how they feel about it, you know? Thank you. Amber, can you please describe what's depicted here? Um, yeah, it is our bedroom and penthouse three, the main penthouse. Um, looks like he was just um, throwing things. Objection, Your Honor. Calls sustain, for speculation. Sustain the objection. So, just describe what you see here as opposed to what you say he did. Can I see a bunch of art um, tossed on the bed. Okay, where okay. was that art before Mr. Depp was at your house on May 21, 2016? Oh my um, God. Hanging on the wall where it belongs. Oh my God! To, Michelle, can you bring up Defendant Seven O Two, please? Oh my God! He did that. He did that. Oh my God! Lock him up. I like he he perfectly stacked them to where like the wood wasn't hitting the uh, the the uh, oh, glass honor, in the middle. On the last two, perfectly on top of each other on the bed. That was shown He's to just throwing it with such it devastation. Nine to both of theirs. And Exhibit 701 was shown to Haddon only, and that was Exhibit 30 in his deposition. I move the admission of 702, please. All right, any objection? No objection. All right, 702 with redactions. Thank you, Your Honor. And let the record reflect this was also shown to Officer Haddon as Deposition Exhibit Number 40. And can you please what describe is this? for the jury what's depicted here? Uh, yes, it is uh, broken glass from one of the bro broken um, pictures that were hanging on the wall. And where okay. is this physically? This is in Penthouse 5 on the stairwell. The broken okay. pictures that were Let's, perfectly Michelle, stacked on top of each other. Let's bring up Defendant 703, please. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. 
Yeah, it's like, where's the broken picture? Move the admission of defendant 703. Remember, the cops no, walked through the whole penthouse and saw no destruction. Yep, the cops Thank went you, through Honor, the whole area. The record, let the record reflect that this was shown to Officer Signs and Officer Haddon as Exhibit 41 for both of their depositions. And Amber, please describe for the jury what's depicted here. Yep. Uh, it's another photograph of this stairwell. There's a little bit uh, right in there. In the same apartment. Down at the bottom five. there. And, Which and is the apartment where I kept my things. Y'all see that? Okay. And is that glass on the stairway? Uh, yes, from one of the broken uh, picture frames on the wall. We had a lot of picture. I had a lot of picture frames on the. How the fuck did it the, get on the um, stairway? Walls. And um, uh, many, if not most of them, were smashed. Okay. Uh, let's take this but one down and go to seven oh four. Why were they all defendants? perfectly stacked on the bed so, then? Thank you. What the hell do you, what the fuck? What in the fuck? Move the admission of defendant 704. Where's the picture of the broken picture? No, Nobody knows. Right. 704 with redactions, publish. Thank you, and let the record reflect that this was shown to both Officer Sines and yeah, Adden as Exhibit 34 to both their depositions. It's live. And Amber, please describe for the jury what, what's depicted here. Uh, just another piece of glass it looks like the base of a wine glass um that is in penthouse three the main apartment okay and when you okay. say wine glass did you see this particular uh, glass there were glasses um in the kitchen and uh, always and cops never Johnny saw any of this out, yep i saw him myself um and they, they did a the thorough investigation bottle, around yep uh and i could hear glass breaking uh and things falling okay thank you Michelle, can you bring up 705, please? Okay, let's see it again. At least now we have evidence. I'm glad that we have pictures that we can look at, not just her story. This is more interesting. Okay, here we go. Let's see it. Move the admission of 705. No redaction. No, excuse me, no objection. Okay, let's go. And let 705 in evidence. We'll Thank you. Down. Thank you. Go ahead. And let the record reflect this was shown to Officer Haddon and Exhibit 36. Something of his fell deposition. down, okay. Amber, can you please describe for the jury what's portrayed here? Uh, things knocked over on the kitchen uh, countertop, yeah. and I see p pieces of broken glass on the countertop as well. It's hard to really see that. Let's I'm not go to sure. Because that one thing that the lid, it was a lid. It was like one of those jar lids that you open it, and like it has like the uh, fucking like a uh, vacuum seal in it. My cat did that once? Yeah. Uh, it, it's just like... I, I don't know why it just randomly went mute. I have no idea. But uh, it's just like... It, it, it's so weird. My cat did, did it with a cat? Yeah. I feel like none of these images... Like, the one... What I find to be kind of, like, compelling is, like, that her eye... Sorry, what's depicted ...was, here? like, swollen a little bit, like, right this here. This is the hallway leading... Um, out, but I don't know what it looks like normally. The apartments. I have to see uh, it. So this is the hallway that connects all of the apartments. It's kind of an indoor, outdoor. Yeah, same true. Yeah, um, not the bottom. Hallway, the bottom, meaning it's covered, uh, that, that but be it's, it's exposed on the far ends of both. My um, carpet looks like that. To the elements. So this is not I carpet. Mean, I, it's like a, a, it's like a plasticky. Uh, okay. I don't know how to describe the material. It's like a plasticky kind of. Um, um, netting, not netting, it's difficult to describe, but it's a kind of an outdoor sort of carpet. All right, and what's depicted there? Uh, one on the floor and a little on the wall, it seems. Okay. okay. Let's go to 718, please. Yeah, that's the poop. No, it's not the poop. That's not the poop. And like, yeah, can't we get back to the poop thing? No objection. All right, 718 with redaction. Yeah, I, I want to know what happened with and that. let the record reflect this was shown to Officer Signs and Officer Haddon in Deposition Exhibit 31 for both of them. Oh, my God. Amber, please describe for the jury what's depicted here. It's um, another another photograph on the floor, not the oh wall. Oh, my God. Uh, this one appears to be remarkably unbroken. Oh okay. God. Let's go to 719, please. Holy shit, bro. Like, wow. There's a, there's a picture on the floor. How would it even get there? It's not even near a wall. Uh, uh. 
Move the admission of Defendant 719. Uh, no objection. Right, Remarkably, yeah, it's just it's incredible. Thank Remarkably you, unbroken. Let yeah. The record reflect that this it was, was the other ones that got signs broken. and Haddon in their depositions, Exhibit 35 to both. And Amber, please one just describe the jury what's depicted up, thank here. Uh, okay. It's one corner of the kitchen in Penthouse Three. Looks like um, one of the one of the things that was knocked off of the kitchen island when Johnny. It's left. like a bananas and shit. Okay. okay. Let's go to Defendant 720, please. Threw down the fruit basket? Yeah, he threw the fruit basket on the ground. He said, fuck that shit. I ain't got time for that shit. Yeah, that's right. Lock him up. Move the admission of Defendant 720. No objection. Right, 720 with redactions. And let the record okay. reflect, Your Honor, this was shown to Officer Signs and Haddon. Deposition Exhibit 43 to both. Uh, Amber, right. could you please describe to the jury what's depicted here? That's um, my office. It's a corner of my office. Uh, and Show that me your movie is, star. Um, you sit in that chair. A box oh. of like sentimental things, things from my childhood or things that are important to me. Keepsake box that um, has been dumped uh, out, it looks like. Okay. Okay. Let's go to def let's go to defendant seven twenty one. Uh, let's see, farmer chair. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. Like it's just dumped out. What does that even mean? I mean, obviously, okay, like it could have been pushed off. No objection, Your Honor. Seven twenty one with redactions. Publish. Thank you, Your Honor. Federal? And let the record reflect All this was shown I'm to Officer Signs and is awful. in Deposition Exhibit 44. Imagine for sitting both. in this chair. Amber, please describe for the jury what this depicts. Um, it's a, again my office. Different, same thing, different angle. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Let's go to 722. <laughs> like, I would never want to sit in a chair like this. Why are they rejecting metadata? Um, I'll talk about it whenever we get a pause, but. Um, People say it's so she would have to remember it on her own without the uh, Move the admission of defendants uh, without the prompt from the metadata no, for whenever it happened. Right. 722 with redactions and evidence. Thank you. I'm, I'm not the sure record though. Reflect this was shown to Officer Signs and Officer Haddon as deposition exhibit 42 to both. Okay. Amber, please describe to the jury what's depicted here. That's a picture of my friends and I. It's um, cracked. When we were at that you guys London can see. House. Um, it, it's clearly fucked yeah, up. Yeah, Johnny punched. You saw him punch this? I heard it. Okay. All right, let's go to 723, please. Okay. What a reach? I don't know. Uh, I mean, like, that, that's a broken picture. 723? Sure. Any objection? No objection. All right, 723 redacted in evidence. The cops, the record the cops this was shown to Officer Signs and Haddon in their depositions, Exhibit 38 for both. Amber, please describe for the jury what's reflected. Um, um, one of the, um, um, it looks like a magnum bottle of wine. Um, that is oh, this is the mega bottle. Empty or spilled on the floor. Can, can you tell where that is located? Um, um, looks like it would be penthouse five. Okay. Okay. Let's go to seven twenty four. Completely intact, no spillage. Well, there's a little bit of it. It was probably empty at the beginning. Yeah, I I, I don't know. I mean, like Move the admission of defendant seven twenty four. It's just. No objection. All right, 724 with redactions. Thank you. And let the record reflect this was shown to Officer Signs and Haddon as their deposition exhibits 33. Amber, please tell the There's jury. There's wine on the floor. This is um, more wine that Johnny was spilling as he was using the um, using the bottle he was holding as a, you know, a bat of sorts. Also, wait, so Johnny did this. Johnny did this. And so wouldn't he be in charge from, like, escaping a crime scene? We're almost done if they had found months. something? Promise. Yeah, isn't that like, yeah, running away from like a crime scene? Move the admission of defendant 725. No objection. Right, 725 no, maybe. Objection. Let the record reflect this was shown to Officer maybe I, Signs and Haddon. It was his property. Deposition exhibit 37 to their depositions. 
Amber, please tell the jury what's Let me, ex here. I'll explain what I mean whenever, um, whenever we get a pause. on the floor. This looks like uh, penthouse five. Okay. Yeah. And the last but not least, Michelle, please, defendant 726. He owns the place, it's a crime. Well, I'll explain afterwards. Like, I, I, I'll explain. Okay. Uh, move the admission of. No crime happened. Well, um, what what the implication is? You no see objection. what I'm saying? Okay. The implication is not only did he assault her, but he ran away from the, the scene of the crime. Oh, okay. Thank you. Do you see what what I'm getting at? We will, we will get a tissue. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's the Thank implication you, of what it is. I know that. Right, no I know that. 726 with redactions. Thank you. All right, and let the record reflect that this one was shown to Officer Hines and, and Haddon as Deposition okay. 32 exhibit to their There's depositions. There's some, uh, I guess, like and we're fluid on the floor. The what's depicted here. Uh, more spilled wine on the floor. Penthouse, three appears. Okay, thank you. Now, this term no crime base when on the this property is no crime. Yeah, I know there. that. I'm looking at it from her perspective. Did either of them take you, you aside saying? by yourself and talk with you? Yes. <laughs> Which one or both? Uh, the male officer I did not have much interaction with. The female officer asked to, said she needed to speak to me by, by myself, pulled me aside. Uh, we went into yeah. penthouse three, the main penthouse. This is the one we talked to. Uh, to speak I there think. because I had been in penthouse one, Raquel and Josh's um, apartment up until that moment. Okay. And then what, if anything, did she ask you? Uh, she asked me if I would make a statement, if I would yeah. cooperate. She kind of indicated to me, I don't remember if it was a, what word she said, but she kind of gestured t to my face and. Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. Uh, I, I think I'll she could, if she gestured, she gestured, gestured towards, towards your face. face. I'll, I'll sustain, I'll sustain, I'll but sustain not enough to write time. it down. And it's also not offered to prove the truth of the matter. I'll say, okay. okay. So, so, so she's implying that the cop acknowledged the damage to her face. I, uh, how, how, let's do this. How long were you with the officer when she took you aside? Uh, a few minutes, um, if that. Yeah, she's calling the cops a liar. And yeah. As a result, the nurses and the cops are liars. No, I did not. But she's but telling the truth. Uh, it was my understanding that I couldn't stop them from walking through the apartment, which is what they indicated to me. Okay. And were you with them when they walked through the apartment? Uh, no, Josh. Well, in I was with them at the beginning of Penthouse Three. Josh, uh, Raquel's partner um, everybody is lying there except for her that's right around the house you didn't know that up yeah. through penthouse three that's how it which works. connects on the top floor to the neighboring apartment penthouse four and then on to penthouse five they all connect on and the your top cops level are liars. so josh walked not when it doesn't benefit them. the officers through the through the house okay and what if anything did you say about the identity of mr depp Nothing. Were you asked? Yes. But you refused to tell them? Objection uh, leading. Sustained. Okay. Uh, why did you refuse to tell the police officers Mr. Depp's identity? Because she talked to the Because I did not lawyer. want them to arrest Johnny. I did not want this to happen. I did not want any of this to happen. I didn't want to get him in trouble, uh -huh. so I said, well, I, can't. I, I just refused to cooperate. Okay. Now, after, how, approximately how long were the police officers there? I don't recall exactly, maybe... Then why was she collecting evidence? Uh, I'd no, this part of it hour. makes sense. I, I really don't know exactly. Uh, I can explain it whenever we're on, we're on break. At all. Okay. Now, after the police officers left, what did you do? Um, we cleaned up a bit uh, because there was broken glass and we had dogs. So we tried to clean up the, the mess and especially the glass and um, 
Josh, Rocky, Liz, and I, we kind of Bro, just Johnny hates dogs. And eventually, Feeds um, them weed, holds them out the window. They just tried to comfort He wants me. them to walk on glass. He does what that to dogs, did man. What have that there was going to be a second what set the of officers fuck? coming later that night? I didn't know that. God. That surprised me. When did you learn that a second set of officers were coming to the, the penthouse that night? That's I brutal. I think I learned about it when they were there, when they arrived. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, and we've seen the the body worn video um, on that. Is there anything that you recall outside of what was reflected on Officer Gatlin's uh, uh, body worn video? I couldn't see much of of, of what was on that video. I just uh -huh. uh, I remember being surprised that they were there, not really knowing why they were there. I assumed it was because I was encouraged to make a statement by the first set of officers. Objection, like, Your Honor, hearsay. All right, just I'll just keep going forward. Objection. Okay. And I was sitting on the couch. It was uh, some time, hours, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe between an hour, two hours, maybe more. I, I don't really recall, but we had cleaned up and we were resting and they were comforting me when they came and how um, nice. They didn't seem to, they didn't do it the first set of officers did. They um, just kind of came into the apartment, confirmed that it, we, that, that I was okay or that we were okay. They didn't really seem to be that concerned. Um, and they didn't demand to do a walkthrough like the first set of officers okay. had. Um, and they left. Okay. And what, if any, cooperation did you give them? Well, I didn't need to. I didn't really cooperate with them. I didn't talk to them. I didn't. I don't. I didn't even get up off the couch. I was speaking to them from a, a, a quite a bit of a distance, like between you and I, and maybe more. And I didn't really say anything. I just kind of acknowledged that they entered and that I that that was it. Okay. Did you provide them with Mr. Depp's name? No way. Did they ask? No. Okay. All right. I'm going to take you to they didn't the ask? next day. Wait, what? Uh, May 22. Um, and I'm going to, they, Michelle, can you bring up Defendant's Exhibit 772? The cops what didn't ask the did name. What Mr. Depp make to reach out to you the day after this happened? Well, he so a second he visit probably made maybe several efforts. Immediately, he kind of reached out and lashed out. Okay, um, here we go. Again, kind of going on what seems to be a slightly delusional thinking that just because he saw all my friends' beads out on the countertop, that it had become a workshop or a studio for her. So he seemed angry about, you know, this perception that this bead display that my friend had set up was evidence of her running some sort of workshop and he also accused us of having or me of having invited someone else to live there who who the wasn't fuck are you there, talking about yeah um, who was just in the, the apartment hell is this? when johnny stormed in so he just kind of lashed out and then the tone changed in the days that followed and let, let me stop you there so i'm going to ask you to take a look at, at defendants exhibit 772, uh, and is this a text message from Mr. Depp to you? Yes, it is. And it's on 522 at 1223 a.m., so it's early morning hours after 521. Would that be fair? Yes. Your Honor, I'm going to move the admission of Defendant 772. No objection. All right, 772 in evidence with the identifiers redacted and published. Thank you. I don't know, Thank man. You. All right, and trying uh, to have cops wouldn't recognize her. She joined up pictures throughout the house. This, Amber. I don't know, um, but it says, "Okay, uh, I'm an idiot." PH five is Rocky's studio. You are shameless. Do you see that? Yes. Okay. Was that what you were talking about with him thinking you were already ready yes. to strike? What about that? Uh, and then. Obviously, we can read that he says, I tried to make it work. You just turned more and more into a spoiled brat. All you wanted was to make me fucking miserable. Well, I'm finally there. Uh, I'll never be able to understand how I fell in love with you. Damn. You're not her. I loved you more than anything. I did everything that I could, but you never fucking loved me. I was merely convenient for you. 
I oh my the God! Goes as quickly as possible, and that it is as painless as possible. So sorry you were as unhappy with me as you were. Obviously, the purity of whatever was has been gone for a long time. I will miss the moments of beauty and truth. Goodbye, Amber. What the fuck was I thinking? I wish you all <laughs> yeah. merit. All you merit. The former him. Um, what if any discussions did you have? What with Mr. the Diff fuck was I thinking that night? That is a good question. Uh, we and remember, this is right after she uh, shit in his bed. Had a discussion about that uh, that evening. We didn't have time. He was um, obsessed with dog poop. Okay, that's what he wanted. To dog talk about. poop. Oh. All right, let's take this down and let's go to because he's so crazy. Seven seven three. Yeah. Dog poop. That's what it was. Yeah, I, I, I thought so. I think that the, her shitting now, in his bed, this is a text that was the end. a between you and Mr. Depp. Okay, here we go. Uh, it starts with Mr. Depp on 521 at 658 p.m. just saying here. Does that refresh your recollection of when he arrived at your penthouse on May 21? Uh, Post yes. shit clarity. Okay. Yep, there we go. And then the next series are on 522. They start at 513. Conveniently for men. Yeah, didn't mention that and you were ready to strike. You're part. discussing yeah. talking. You said, sorry, I'm just leaving Amanda's birthday now. Do you see that? Yeah. Yes, I do. All right. And then he responds to that, correct? Yes. All right. So you're going to move the, the admission comes of from? defendant yeah. 773. Your Honor, if we could just have a minute to review sure. this exhibit. Yes, ma'am. Is it just this page? Uh, no, there's three pages. Three pages. I'm just reading Michelle's hands. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, it, it's just a dog expert to examine it? Yeah, exactly. Like, uh, dog poop? Yeah, she just said, bitch, me blaming the dog. I can't believe it. Really? I mean, she says the cops are lying. The psychologist is not lying, is not telling the truth. Because you remember whenever she said she didn't have an eating disorder? And then even her, like the, the super feminist person, uh, literally said that she thought that Amber Heard had an eating disorder, or she like implied it very strongly. I forgot exactly what the language that she no, used Jackson, was. Right. Yeah, everybody is lying for except for her. Jackson, Where's the dog here? Thank what? you. Let's put the dog on the stand. Oh, here we go. And if we could zoom out. Okay, we've got it published to the jury. So let's go to the top, Michelle. And okay. So it starts out with, with him. This is the five twenty one six fifty eight p.m. saying yeah. he's there. Correct. Yeah, but I think he came in later than that. Took him some time. Okay. And then if we move up, the next one is you uh, at five twenty two. Uh, yeah. At five thirteen p.m., correct? Yes. And then you say thank you, and then can we still speak in a min? What do you recall of why you sent those texts? I, I believe we had spoken on the phone. Or they? I can't uh, control this. Correct the screen. Uh, I, I don't know. We what can I give you control. Yes, maybe we should do that and clear out my purples. Okay. I just don't know what was sent right before go, this. Go ahead. Go ahead. You're on a computer. She can't get... scroll. She's oh. asking to scroll. Okay, Michelle, <laughs> let's have you scroll if you can. Okay. Just, just go ahead and scroll through just slowly so she can read the whole thing. Of course. That's Johnny Depp saying. Okay. Uh, okay. That makes sense. Um... I want you happy. I have zero harsh feelings. They're so dramatic. Yeah, procedurally generated story. I, it's just like, I, I look at this, it's just buying time to make up the story. I don't know. I'm just trying to look and see for myself. Why are her chats cut out? I don't know. Something gets, gets submitted into evidence. It's something the jury sees that influences, that, that can influence their, uh, uh, their perspective on the case. Right. That's what Does it that means. Does that help refresh your recollection? Uh, yes, I believe that 
uh, they skipped the message um, him saying I where he was scared he had apologized yeah of course to me after the phone incident i had commitments that i had to attend the following day uh on the 22nd so the beach show i referenced i mentioned to you i had to go to i would also had to bring a cake to a friend's birthday party so i had things i was i unfortunately had to do that day and yeah. i remember there was communication with johnny um both by phone and by text uh where he was uh telling me that he was clean that he was sober he um was clear mind it wasn't the monster and that he was so sorry um but i um i had already committed to filing for divorce and um eventually i have to um let him know that it's not just not just saying it in the anger in the fights that like we had done you know both yeah. and i did that okay uh, at times in some of our fights, especially towards the end of our relationship. And so uh, I let him know that I, I was, I was um, serious about filing this time and that I had had enough. You after best start the, believing in fabricating stories, you're in one. Okay, overruled, go ahead. All right, uh, I'm going to draw your attention to the bottom of the page, Defendants okay, 773. Let's see and this is at 5.22, so this is 6.19 p.m. Do you see that, 5.22? And he says, just let me know when you have a minute and I'll give you a call. Nothing I have to say, you should elicit anything but a sense of ease. Do you see that? Yes. And then he says, all my love and profound apology. Because what he means is what he's sorry he for beating the shit out of you, right? That's obviously what, what he, he means. For? Speculation. Your Duh. Objection. Okay. In his That's phone why you call emphasized you, it. Tell you what he was apologizing for? Yes. Oh my God! Say? How disingenuous! He reacted the way he did. How is that not speculation? He didn't mean to hurt me he didn't mean to hurt me. If he really hurt me that bad, he's sorry. That he just he didn't mean to. Oh, of course not. Michelle, if we can go to the next page. Oh my God. Up to the green, please. I'm sad, I'm scared, and I'm broken. And he says here, I'm sad, I'm scared, and I'm broken, my sweet Slim. And then he says, I want you happy. I have zero harsh feelings. I am clear and I am me. What did you understand him to mean by "I am clear and I am me"? Probably Objection, sober. Your Honor. Calls for speculation. I'm assuming. I, do you do you? I know what he meant. Okay, but Your Honor, did he use that phrase with you? I'll, I'll hold on. I'll sustain that objection. I'm trying to get to the yeah, next one here. Then you can ask your next question. Thank Go ahead. you. Do you did he use those phrases with you during your marriage? Yes, he did. What did Mr. Depp mean when he says "I am clear and I am me"? Objection. Calls for speculation. I, I think I established the foundation. Overruled. Go ahead. Thank you. That he had sobered up. Yeah, of course. That he had sobered up and he was not the monster again, that he was him. Oh, I've heard this before. he was the good guy I loved. Yeah. The one that I trusted. That's good. Let's let's be emotional. Okay. Like, why are we emotional um, now? Ask. Like, what about whenever he, like, down beat down the shit out of you? Oh, my God. 771, which is already Okay, let's admitted. see it. Now, those text exchanges like, were... Did the Why six o'clock range? I don't know. Seven o'clock range. And here it's okay. five twenty-two. It's now eight o'clock. Correct? Yes. And he's telling you, "Sorry if a bit. Please know that my hurt towards you is over. My apologies are eternal and belong to you. Okay. Solid. Do you see that? Yes. Okay. Uh, and was it your understanding he was apologizing again? Objection, Your Honor. Calls for speculation. All right, I'll sustain the objection. You know okay. what I know what everybody Was knows. Was there anything of... else he would have been apologizing for that he had done? Objection. So, calls for speculation. I'll sustain the objection. Okay. So, I'm going to give it to you? Like, yeah, what is that? So, tell the jury how you felt in that week. Okay, May here we 22 go. May 22 through May 27 and what you 
decided to do. Uh, at the time, it felt like the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Uh huh. I had worked so hard to try to make this relationship work. Mm -hmm. I went to therapy and went to Al Anon. I got help. I read books. I did everything it's I could anonymous. possibly do, and it didn't work. And um, I find I was I was conflicted. To answer your question, I was conflicted. I knew after he threw the phone at my face that after all that that month of not seeing each other that not getting better not getting clean and sober there wasn't even i didn't you know the 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 the, the all, it, it was falling apart i knew i had i knew i had to leave him i knew i i wouldn't i knew i wouldn't survive it if i didn't so i made the decision to wouldn't survive it Oh, that's good. To file for divorce. It was hard because, um, you know, I loved Johnny so much. I loved him so much. Did he just yawn? I thought, and, and I, yeah, I almost yawned. Like, for divorce? She's, yeah, she's a survivor, guys. She just, she barely made it out of this alive. That I knew if I didn't, I'd likely not literally survive. I mean, Britain, I'm so scared that it was going to end really badly for me. Uh-huh. And I, um, I really didn't want to leave him. I loved him. Pre-watch? So you much. know what people are going to say. I wouldn't have done anything, but I, I couldn't, I couldn't do that one thing. I couldn't stay. The, the promise and the hope that I had, I had become less and less regular and more and more rare. The monster had been this thing that was now the normal and not the exception. The violence was the now the The beast has taken over. The exception and... It was um, this so is the beast. Hard. Yeah, that's right. It was so hard. It was so hard, but I knew I had to do it. And when it I believe he would have taken it too far. And I wouldn't be here. Why did you ask for a domestic violence temporary restraining order? I wanted to change my locks. <laughs> I wanted to change my locks. I wanted to, a good night's sleep. His security would always let him into the house no matter what I asked I them. You've got to remember, no there was more I, money on the line here than there was on Aquaman. When he was coming over, so no matter how sense, much I begged him not to let him in when he was mad or drunk or high. And I just, I couldn't sleep. I'd wake up in a panic. Yeah. I was losing hair. I was losing weight. I got really sick. I had shingles. I couldn't sleep. I'd wake up in a panic attack. I had panic attacks all the time. I was falling apart. Yeah. And I was scared. Yeah. And very conflicted because the person I was scared of is also the person I was in love with. It's really, really tricky. And I, I was thinking one step at a time. You know, I was thinking very myopically. I wanted just to get a good night rest, a good night's sleep. I just wanted to change my locks. I thought it'd be healthier if I got some sleep and I could think about what to do or how to handle this. If I just could sleep and just convince some dumb people, only the when ones I that did, work I at newspapers. That that wasn't enough. That he could get in any way. That the building wasn't going to stop him from getting a locksmith and coming in. I knew that he would do what he wanted. Objection, Your Honor. Calls for speculation. That's good. Overruled. Thank you. He can't be stopped. Okay. 
So did Mr. Depp show up for the hearing on the DVTRO? No, he didn't. Did you? Yes, I did. Okay. And why did you show up? Because I had to provide testimony for why I needed a restraining order. You can't stop the elbow. What if any warning uh, did you give Mr. Depp about obtaining the DVTRO? Um, we gave him warning. Um, my counsel and his counsel were in communication and we let them know. We had to. It was mandatory. Okay. It's my understanding of it. I'm not a lawyer. Was there any confusion surrounding whether Mr. Depp was going to file suit as well? Objection, Your Honor. Calls for speculation. I'm asking Lack of her. foundation. Right. I'll just say this to it's foundation. not even Horolu right. yet. Yeah. Did, did you have any confusion as to whether Mr. Depp was going to file as well? I don't know. So I, um, I filed for divorce uh, on the 23rd, I believe, and I thought that uh, when I went in that Tuesday, we, or when we filed for it, remarkably, it managed to stay under the radar. You know, these filings are not private. You can't make them private in California. And remarkably, it had flown under the radar. Uh, it, 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 no one picked up on the fact that I had filed. And uh, as limited as it sounds now I just wanted as much privacy as we could have okay. you know, one day at a time I wanted as much privacy as we could possibly get no one cared yeah and m the filing had been missed by TMZ and you know these paparazzi outlets and stuff but um, between uh, the communications between our council I realized that Johnny was going to file in retaliation objection hearsay. Uh, I'll sustain the objection uh -huh. um, she gets cry? No, no, okay, it, that's not until so later. So, um, without saying what the council said, what were you? What was your understanding, and what was your concern? Objection concern, hearsay. You know, sustain the objection. What are you doing? Right, what well, are you doing? Talk on. at let's, shit. Michelle, can you bring up defendants' exhibit eight hundred? How do you even have these questions if you know they're bullshit? Because uh, you know she's reading them off a list. Move the admission of defendants exhibit 800. Oh, here we go. Any here objection? we go. Let's see it. No objection, Your Honor. All right, 800 in evidence. Publish. All right, all right, let's go. I'm ready. Amber, can you describe for the jury what this picture is? It's a picture of my face while I'm sitting at the courthouse. And were you wearing any makeup? I was wearing nothing, not a stitch of makeup. Michelle, can you bring up 801, please? What happened to her eye? Move the admission of 801. Like, it, it's just like, yeah, what, like what happened? Like, because more of the damage was in her eye. Like, how's the eye healed and, and like Amber, the face isn't? Tell the jury what this oh, is. Oh, maybe it is a little bit? I don't know. It's hard to say. That's me while I was uh, obtaining my uh, restraining order. Okay. It's me in the courthouse. Okay. Botox? And, and what, if anything, I, I don't did know. You do while Wouldn't you that be on both courthouse? sides? Did you testify? Oh, I, I provided testimony and sat there and cried. And okay. Did you obtain a domestic violence re restraining order? Temporary restraining I did. Order? Uh, job, maybe. The court granted me a restraining order at that time. Okay. When you left the courthouse, what did you experience? <laughs> uh, I walked into the courthouse, it was quiet. First thing in the morning, uh, no one knew about my divorce, so I thought it was going to stay that way, and I walked out uh, to a sea of paparazzi and cameras. Yeah. Photographers. It was, I, I, to that point, had, I mean, at that point in my life, had never seen so many photographers, and they just surrounded me as I walked out of that courthouse. That'd be and, crazy screamed at me, screamed horrible things at me. I feel like they should make it like I, on the real. I think I'm they should make that like illegal, like paparazzi shit like that. Makeup and then we'll. Uh, how's that not okay, harassment? That, 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 yeah, that'll be right, a good you. breaking point after the makeup. You yes. said that you didn't testify. You uh, it's like that's a that's some weird that shit. Day. We've heard all kinds of things about makeup in this case. Could you please tell the jury what your uh, regular routine was with respect to makeup. Uh, yes, I get up they have and a wash my face. 
like most of us, um, and I put on right away uh, a moisturizer that has um, tinted foundation in it. And then I put another foundation on because it has sunblock in it. I have a skin condition that I, my skin reacts to the sun in, in a bad way. So I have, to, I have to wear sunscreen or sunblock every day. Anyway, so I put on both of those. I put on concealer uh, and I, um, I do that before I, I leave my bathroom in the morning. Okay. That's so where are all the pictures of her now, with this on her when face? When you had bruises or cuts for from all the issue, pictures, what would you do uh, about those? Would you try to cover them up? Would you try to just leave them showing? What would you do? Joshiana leading. I, uh, I was, yeah, I ruled on that. Go ahead. Uh, well, I'm uh, typically I uh, am typically photographed in L.A. when I leave the house. Okay. Uh, paparazzi type of photograph. So uh, I always I'm you know somewhat aware of that anyway. Um, and preemptively explain no why there's no pictures. Yeah. The bruise on her face. Uh, so if I do have a bruise uh, on my face or someplace visible, you know, the main thing is yeah. you have to ice right away to reduce swelling because no amount of makeup can, can fix swelling, but it's very manageable if you ice it really soon. Um, Arnica is also a, a great uh, remedy, Arnica cream. I, I don't uh, understand and if you this. cover up a bruise, um, you obviously put foundation first, concealer, and then on top of that, um, I used a, like a, a bruise kit, not a bruise kit, it's a theater makeup kit, a color correction kit, but I use, I called it my bruise kit. And, and let me, I, I use this, I think, an opening statement in its defendant's exhibit. I, I don't understand you this. Mic microphone, please. Oh. Just, to, we can't hear you. Um, there you go. May, may I approach uh, the witness to... Well, let that's what you just show counsel. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, like, how is it that, like, she had that picture taken at the courthouse and then right afterwards they took uh, all yeah, these this pictures? this is what I was talking about as a color correction kit. This is not obviously the exact one I used to carry, but I used to carry it with me I'm so time. confused. Sometimes this pink is sometimes a little bit more purple of a hue, and sometimes the kits are three colors. You can get them in three or four colors. Sometimes they have even more. But the yeah. idea is that you want to counteract whatever color you're working with on the bruise. So the first day of bruising, in, well, the immediate is red. Red is what shows That's up right true. away. So you want to go with the opposite on the color wheel by dabbing on a bit of the green or something to counteract the red. After a day or two, you get more purple in a bruise. Um, yeah. So you'd obviously have to go with more of the red tones, the, the orange tones here. Um, Day two for me was always the trickiest because... What if you wanted um, to put on a bruise? Day two just, I feel like, well, day one and day two are hardest for me because that's when you get the most blues and purples and you have to deal with the sensitivity. Bruises don't like to be touched. That's the whole point. Yeah. Um, so that's the trickiest part. But um, after a few days, that becomes more of a... a uh, that blue becomes more of a um, a, a brown, yellowish brown, like a, a you know five seven days in becomes more of a yellow green, uh, and then fades into a brown, and then into your skin. And you, whatever color you're working with in the bruise, you want to go opposite color on the color wheel. That would make sense. Uh, so uh, the opposite. I mean, so in the first couple of days when you have more of the typical bruise color, the blues yeah. and, and the purples, you want to go more of the orange uh, on the on the color wheel as opposed to the greens that you start with. Absolutely. And then it, move, it progresses from there. I also noticed that um, bruising on your face uh, t tends to heal a lot faster than, at least for me, it was faster healing than bruises on my body. It was the opposite it for me. Like that to me. And um, yeah, that was the opposite. Much, um, unrecognizable after a day or two, depending on how much you ice it. Uh, lips are the hardest because they crack and bleed, of course. Uh, but it's easy to hide with lipstick if you're a woman, or you know, if you wear a lipstick. I what suppose. a coincidence! Yes, it is. Now, we heard some testimony of people uh, in the week of May 21st to 27th uh, saying that you didn't wear a stitch of makeup. Oh, was that true? Objection hearsay. O overruled. Uh, they just don't know what they're talking about. I always wear makeup. Okay. 
You always wear makeup? I mean, it's part of my bathroom routine in the morning. You know, wash my face. I put on moisturizer. My moisturizer has tinted foundation in it. And I'm certainly not going to walk around L.A. with bruises on my face. Okay. I, I think this All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and take our lunch recess at this all time. Boys, Again, do not do any boys. outside right, research. Right, do not discuss right. the case oh with anybody. God, I'm ready. We'll see you in an hour, okay? Oh, I'm Thank ready. You. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. Okay. Thank God. Session, I've been waiting so on this. Be I've been waiting on this. Thank you. Thank God. Okay. Holy shit. Like, shit's a pop off. I'm about, we about to go in here. We about to go really in. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I just, what she goes to court with bruises. Like, I'm about to, I'm about to maul, man. I'm about to maul, like, really hard time. But right. the thing is, like, all right. And again, Ms. Richardson, since you're still under, uh, under oath and testifying, you cannot discuss this case to include with your attorneys, okay? In your testimony. All right. Let's come back then at 1.40. Okay. All right. Thank you. Sounds good. Okay. Okay. We are. We've got. We've got to get to the bottom of this. All right. Let me go ahead. I'm going to refresh this. I'm actually going to open up. I, I'll, I'll keep this for now. So, here's where I'm at. Right. It is like I don't understand how she could have all of this bad stuff happen to her. She could have. It's like also like multiple times she's mentioned and like this sounds like kind of like a stupid thing, but like if somebody hits you and they have a ring on, wouldn't it have an indention where the ring would be? Like if I put a ring on and I punch myself in the face, there would be an indention from where the ring is. Like you guys remember that King of the Hell episode where he pisses the guy who won the Super Bowl off and the guy punches him in the head? Do you guys remember that? Yeah, and so like, and like, obviously, this is not really evidence, of course, but like, it's not. A, but like, it makes sense, though. It, it does. It makes sense. It cuts from any edges. Yeah, the skin would tear too. It'd split your mouth open. Yeah, and so it's it, it's just weird. Or in Ace Ventura, I don't even remember watching that. Um, let me just give me a second. Uh, it's just so. I don't even know where to start with this. Uh, I think let's start. Let, let's go back. We're gonna look at the um. We're going to look at the very beginning, and I want to look and talk about like each individual thing as it happened uh, one at a time, okay? So let's talk about number one. How is it that the police officers thoroughly investigated the entire area, and then somehow there was never any evidence whatsoever of this violence? It's like the police officers were lying, and then it, it, the assumption, like the implication of what she's saying is that Johnny Depp assaulted her, and Johnny Depp like hit her multiple times and destroyed the house, right? Destroying the house is not really against the law, it's his own fucking house, he can do what he wants, but he did assault her. So what she's implying here is not only did Johnny Depp assault her, but he also fled the scene of a crime. Do you see what I'm saying? Like he committed a crime, he committed a crime and he ran away. Like, if what she's saying is true, that is the implication of it. Am I wrong? Yeah, yeah, and and so, yes. Only picture she had were spilled wine. Uh, rings typically cut the skin. Exactly. Rihanna got the shit punched out by Chris Brown, and she canceled her TV interviews for two weeks because no makeup can hide it that well. Well, that's one thing that I also find to be very odd, is that, like, if you go and you look at... Let's go ahead. I'm just going to go... And uh, let's see here. How do I want to handle this? I'm going to open up a third tab. This sounds stupid, but I'm just going to do that. Where is it? There it is. So let's look at a few of these Sorry, pictures goodbye. here. And uh, we're going to see what all this is. So this is what's so crazy to me about this, right? Is you look at this. This is a text from Johnny Depp. The last encounter forever. You were already ready to strike. How is it that the lawyer doesn't even highlight that at all? Like, obviously, you can mean strike as, like, a metaphor. You can, you don't necessarily mean that, like, oh, actually strike somebody. But that would be the main thing that I would assume. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I mean. Um, to, Rihanna was almost killed by Chris Brown. It wasn't just a couple of punches. Yeah, and what did she say? Yeah, what did she say? Exactly. Rick James less unity on Charlie Murphy's forehead. The club never forget. This is Rick James, man. Maybe, I, I don't know about that, actually. Uh, her lawyer is asking questions, not Johnny's. Uh, Amber Heard, I didn't have a stitch of makeup on at the courthouse. Also, Amber Heard, I always wear makeup. I'm not going to walk around L.A. with a bruise. 
contradiction much. Well, and this is another thing, right? Is so this was a picture of her whenever she was at the courthouse. Was this correct? I just want to make sure that we're all on the same page here. Uh, this was her whenever she was at the courthouse. And then directly after this, that she leaves the courthouse, this is where the paparazzi mobbed her down with more cameras than she had ever seen in her whole life. This was the, this was the progression of events. Am I correct on this? So where are the pics on Google? Where are they? Bruce is on a different location? Uh, yeah, it kind of is. Well, uh, well, well, Google Amber Heard Divorce Court, you'll find the photos. Uh, let, let's see if I can find it. Um, uh, Amber, Amber Heard Divorce Court. Okay, so let's look and see this ourselves here. And I'll see if I can find a good picture, and uh, we'll go from there. So there we go. All right, so we're going to look at this in just a second, and uh, I'll be right back. I need to take a piss, and uh, then we're going to get through it. Pop up, see photos exist? Yes. through here Ugh. is that backhanded hint so let, let's look at some of these pictures okay I think this is a good way to look at it so we've got this one right here and that's a, about the same kind of uh, the eye is like really kind of hard to say let's see if we have another one um, there's the one right there so this is, yeah, so this is the same day, and these were the pictures that were taken. And it, there's obviously a mark on her face. Uh, as we can all see, wash your hands, say a thing. Why well, don't wash my hands? I got a clean dick. Johnny's right-handed. Well, I, well, he threw the phone at her face, right? That's what she says that it's from. So we'll look right now. And so there's the, uh, there's the mark from her face, and let's see what her face looked like. Uh, originally whenever this was thrown at her so let me go back and double check right here I think this is good so we see this right here and then we have this right here what do you guys think what, what do you guys think I, I mean it looks a little bit different yeah there's swelling it's a little bit here's kind of like, I, I, didn't, he, didn't she say her wounds heal in one day? She said it was on her, on her eye in the testimony. It would make sense that there would be more damage to the eye area. You see what I'm saying? It, it would definitely make sense that it would be more damage to the eye area. Let me see if I have any more here. And there's that one right there. That looks about the same. And let's see if I can find it here. There's that one as well. Uh, this one is just like, I mean, I can hardly even, like, I, I, I can't even see anything here. Like, I, I can't see anything. What is this? It looks like it's not a whole lot of anything. So, uh, Aquaman Healer looks like a Botox after effect. I'm not sure. And so, like, let's go back. We'll look over here and see if there's any more of these photos. Uh, God damn it. Okay, there's that one as well. That shows a small little mark of where it was, kind of. What do you guys think? Yeah, Aquaman healed her. I don't know. 
Um, look how Rihanna looked after Chris Brown, and you can compare them side to side. I'm not going to do that because Rihanna absolutely got fucked up by Chris Brown. Like, Chris Brown beat the fucking shit out of her. And the reason, yeah, it's literally TOS. Like, I, there's no way I can show the way that she looked because she actually got the shit beat out of her by Chris Brown. And, like, I don't understand how, especially, like, Chris Brown, as far as I know, doesn't wear a bunch of rings or anything like that. Maybe he does. I'm not sure. And uh, it just shows that, like, how is it so much different between two different people? Why is it TOS? Because it's fucking gore. Yeah, it, it's gore. Amber has a skin condition? I don't know. She just showed um, that she's an expert in bruises, progression, and makeup. Isn't, isn't that a self-report? Knowing about something doesn't necessarily mean that you're lying about it. No, that's not really a self-report, but it's very obvious that, uh, you know, this isn't the first time that she had done this. You need to go back to the part where she twists the recording against hitting Johnny. After that, it's nuts. Uh, I don't know where that one is. Chat on Rock was saying three hits, uh, like the amount of punches changes how bad Rihanna got beat. Well, yeah, you're definitely right. But like she said that like Johnny Depp was just literally like holding her down and like punching her right whenever she was on the bed and he was on top of her. Like that's exactly what she said. She said she applies foundation, then her bruise kit, then quickly corrects. So she said bruise kits. I mean, like, I I don't find that to be a uh, I I don't find that to be incriminating. I, I, I don't because it's just a turn of phrase, you, you know, like they have like they have rape kits too at the at the fucking police station. That doesn't mean that they use them to rape people. Like that does not this is not a this is not an a, an a Freudian slip. It could be, right? And it could be. I'm not saying that you're wrong. I'm saying that it is that it is not a guarantee. And here's how I look at it. Bruce kits literally are a real thing. You need to watch this YouTube video. Woodworker attorney debunks Amber Heard's broken bed testimony. Uh, I can look at that maybe, but uh, we'll see. Even though no matter who punches harder, Johnny Depp has several rings. Shouldn't Amber's bruises be more significant? Yes. The recording regarding hitting was today, probably before you started streaming. Okay. Um, let's go back over the Amber Buckhart Twitter post about faking data. If you guys want me to look at a Twitter post, you have to actually link it to me or tag me in it because if you don't do that, I'm not going to be able to see it. Uh, that's just, you know, it is how it is. And so let's see here. Uh, apparently color correcting is done before concealing. She described the process wrong. I have no fucking idea. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Shouldn't the eye have a hemorrhage in it? That's the way it would seem to me. I mean, I, I, I'm not sure. Let me go back and look at a few of these and uh, and double check here. Um, okay, so here's one of them right here. And I'm not sure, like, what do you guys think about this? So this is something people posted. Uh, one of these are from the horrible injuries alleged by Johnny Depp in 2016. The other is 2018, long after Johnny and Amber divorced. Huh. That is something, man. Yeah, that really is something. Look up Botox bruises. Well, the only reason why I'm not saying it's probably a Botox bruise is because it's only on one side of the face. It wouldn't make sense for them to do it on only one side of the face, right? The doctor exposed her for Botox usage in that area is where she would get injections. Well, it's also like... So a bruise kit, what's this here? Um, is she really used to create bruises? Look at Johnny, it has an amazing aim in the same places. Yeah, from two years later, it wasn't even around her there. I don't know how therapists made up the entire patient history and Amber said that she never said any of it. Well, that's what's also really weird is that, yeah. Uh, remember the, the, the fucking like super feminist lady, she said that Amber heard uh, had used drugs before. And she also said that Amber Heard had a dis eating disorder. So there's like all these in inconsistencies. There's all of these inaccuracies, etc. He has a bunch of other inconsistencies. Let me see here. I'll, I'll look at his uh, at his tweets and I'll see for myself. Amber Heard testified to serious facial injuries covered with makeup, but oops. Cornelius Harrell at front desk testified about seeing her the next day. 
If she had makeup, it was very light because she was very refreshed. It didn't look like she had a lot of makeup on. It didn't look like uh, she was going anywhere. So I have ha so I have a lot of girlfriends who wear makeup. Uh, I would say she has bare minimum because she was living in her everyday life. Did she appear to have any injuries on her face? She did not. Hmm. And that was one of the first times uh, I had seen her physically other than the cameras uh, being like, this girl's beautiful. Uh, okay, so it's fair to say you didn't see any bruises on her face from May 22nd. And he says that is correct. What about any cuts or scratches? I didn't see any of that either. God damn. So they have pictures of her the next day. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but let's see here. I do special effects makeup and uh, am clumsy and look at bruises and wounds a ton. I don't see any broken capillaries because that would cause the bruising. Maybe I'm an opinion, Andy. Here's what my, like, I have a very, very personal, uh, a very personal anecdote for this, right? And so anyway, uh, so I want you guys to look at my forehead here, and, um, we're gonna just scroll down, and I want you to look exactly of how this looks, right? So my forehead is perfectly, you guys know my skin is just perfectly clear, there's literally no blemishes at all on any of my skin anywhere. Uh, because I'm basically a vampire. I don't know why this happened. But um, anyway, so you can see very clearly that I uh, I have nothing on my forehead, right? So watch. Right there, immediately. Literally fucking immediately, man. It was not even a second. A and that shit happened. No stress, that's why. Yeah, exactly. Let's see here. So then I looked. I'm like, how bad is it? How bad is it? I'm going to look at the camera because it's on my second monitor. Oh my god, it's really fucking bad. And that was just me slamming my head onto the desk. And like, I just did that for fun. Like, I didn't even really do it that hard. But like, it was a little bit too hard. And absolutely. So yeah, there it is again. And let's look for a second. And uh, then I had to put on the hat because it looked so fucking bad. It was obvious that it was bad. So like, whenever I had this happen... It immediately showed the damage in like a second. So show your toy car. Yeah, so I'm very used to hitting myself in the head. Uh, if you get punched and get swelling, you can minimize the swelling, but never completely. I don't know. It just, it feels weird that like that's what it would look like. Like I, that, that, you see what I'm saying? Like it doesn't look that way to me at all. So let's look at a few more of these and see what this guy's saying. It did get worse the next day. It did. It actually got a lot worse for me the next day. And that's why I didn't stream for a couple of days after that because of how bad it was. Uh, Amber Heard wanted security, but the next day, Elon Musk, who she was not having an affair with, no, offered her 24-7 security. Her response, all of that is irrelevant to why I stopped talking to you. Wait, what? <gasps> Wait a second. So this was the information... Wait, Rock is Rocket Man who I think it is? Oh my god. Yes, it is. All right, this is her text with Elon. For such a smart man, she capitalized such. I would think you wouldn't need to investigate any further than you last text to me before such radio silence commenced. So she's damn, no wonder he said fuck that shit. She's being nasty. Okay, well, I'm just glad you're okay. You talked about Johnny being violent in the past and still having keys to the apartment, so I thought something might have might have happened. I did, but that's irrelevant. I had the locks changed, legal divorce filing tomorrow, restraining order, all that. He says, what the fuck? <laughs> says, what the fuck? <laughs> Um, but you're okay, right? Is there anything I can do? I'm happy to engage 24-7 security for you if you'd like. That'd be utterly confidential. All of that is irrelevant to why I stopped talking to you? What a fucking bitch! What a fucking bitch! But like, Elon's like really trying to help her out. But like, Elon's simp? No, this isn't simp. That's not being a simp at all. This isn't being a simp in any regard. He, he sees that somebody was getting abused and he tried to help out. Like, that's like, what a fucking bitch, man. That's crazy. 
Uh, I know, uh, and the offer would stand even if you never wanted to see me again. Anyway, sorry for being an idiot. The radio silence hurts a lot. It only matters because I really like you. Yeah, hence why I was so affected by your text the other night. Look, some things are hard to text. I'm saying I'm here if you want to ring. Will do. And then there's the phone call. Okay, so we don't even know what that is. So, uh, look at the the timers. Let's see here. Five. Um, oh, he doesn't message her back for like another hour. Um, let's see here. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the rest of this is. Pretty chill for billionaire? Yeah, entitled much. Exactly. Elon said he was trying to be nice? Yeah, he was. And and that is such a nice thing to do. Like, he's not going to try to fight her on this. He knows that she's being abused. Yeah. And, and she called him Rocket Man. Like, that's the fucking... <laughs> These fucking names, man. Oh, my God. Okay, let's see here. If I can find the rest of this. Uh, Amber wanted security, but the next day, Elon Musk, not interfere with, um, uh, arrests, all that is irrelevant to why I stopped talking to you. So she straight up ghosted him. Is that kind of like, I, I mean, is, that's the implication, right? The silence hurts a lot? Yeah. Damn. Woman moment? I, I don't know about that. I think there's a lot of women that don't act this way. Yeah, that's not what it is at all. Because it's an affair. He said something she happened. Let's look at the other ones, okay? Um, 2016 deposition of Amber Heard's best friend, Rocky. What a messy crime scene. What did he smash? They have a big kitchen island in the middle of the kitchen on there. There's some candles like fruit, you know. Oh, there's the fruit. And the jars and vases like that. And he was just hitting everything with the wine bottle, just smashing it all off. So there was fruit on the floor and baskets and, you know, glass bottles and flowers. Okay. Uh, I don't really know how much that's supposed to mean, but okay, that's fine. We have the balls posted on Twitter since he has, he's the owner now. Well, like, there's nothing. The thing is, like, I don't even think that Elon Musk would be in the wrong for hooking up with her. Because, like, she obviously talked to him about Johnny Depp being abusive. And he just, like a normal person, believed that this is what happened. So, like, from his perspective, this is a girl in an abusive relationship, and he's going to hook up with her and see what happens. You see what I'm saying? Like, so, sh so she painted a picture. Like, I think that's totally fine. Yeah, absolutely. He had no reason to doubt her. Yeah, why would you doubt her exactly? And uh, a short of crying addicted. Well, no, it's not even any of that. Google image, Botox, cheek bruising. Okay, sure, I, I will look at that. Give me one second. He can fix her. As I said, um, uh, Botox, cheek, bruising. See if I can find it right here. Okay, let me just make sure that everything is fine. Uh, god damn, bro. Like, I cannot imagine doing this shit, man. Like, oh my god. Like, put Botox on your face. Like, oh. I just, oh man, oh no. Uh, let me see here. Here we go. Take a look at this shit, right? So you've got a, a there's one like this. Uh, there's that one right there. I mean, I, I, I mean, like. I, I, I mean, look, I, I mean, like, I, I, like, I mean, look, hey, you know what I mean? Like, it, you know what I mean? Like, it, that's, the, it, it's just, here's, the, the way I look at it is there is, in my mind, like, no one singular point of reference that you should look at and say, this proves it. Because, like, you don't really know what happened, and it's like, uh, all, all of it really, in, in to some regard, is, is hearsay. Like, we don't really know. But, um, it's like all of the different points of difference, right? Where she called the police, the police investigated it, they looked around, they gave her a business card, and then on top of that, she indicated, and what she said 
uh, on on the stand a minute ago was that the police officer, and this is not very strong, but th th this is something that she said, that she motioned towards her face. And also, then the police officer in their deposition said that even if the person doesn't want to uh, have a report done, they have to file a report even against their will if they find out that there's actual evidence of domestic abuse. Because do you remember that? You remember that, right? So, so yes. So, you remember that. So, so clearly, how could she motion towards Amber Heard's face and then at the same time ask if she wants to file something and then not file something? Do you see kind of how this comes together? State of Canada would press charges. Yes. And, and so it, it directly contradicts. Yeah, domestic abuse pamphlet. Yeah. So, the, so it's basically the police are lying. And like, listen, I think the police lie all the time. Uh, absolutely. But there is no reason for the police to lie about this. Uh, uh, Fulati, her nurse, confirmed Amber Heard received surgery for a cyst on her eye and revisited photos showing some bruising on her face from May 21st. Tag me on that. Yeah, tag me on that. Uh, I've dealt with uh, for domestic violence many times in Southern California. It's true to a degree. My father was never charged, despite California having that. So you think maybe the police are lying? Well, yeah, therapist is lying. And, and like, that's kind of, that's where I'm at, right? Is like, it's not just like one person is lying. It's like everybody is lying. Uh, you know, the therapist is lying. Obviously, Johnny Depp is lying. All of Johnny's friends are lying. Uh, the nurse is lying. The medical records are lying. Uh, the press is lying. Uh, let, let's see. Oh, her ex-wife who said that she abused her is lying. Like, everybody is lying except for her. It's like some gigantic mass conspiracy where we're living in Final Destination where all of the things that happen to be evidence against Johnny seem to be removed and all the things that happen to be evidence against her seem to be evident. It's just like, how can anybody believe this? I can't believe it. I, 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 I just don't understand this at all. Um, would it be for the cops or the judge, uh, for instance, if they made a choice not to press charges? I think that they would still have to report that something was done. Like, that there was violence that was indicated. But do you see kind of what I'm saying? Is like the, uh, the lady there that investigated... Clearly, like, she either saw it and ignored it and lied, or, or Amber Heard lied. And it's like, really, what does this come down to? Am I going to believe the police officer, or am I going to believe Amber Heard? Well, Amber Heard's already had a history of lying with a bunch of stuff. So why would I believe her? You see what I'm saying? It, it, it's like, yeah, it's uh, the makeup company, uh, Miami Cosmetics, posted a video on TikTok that appeared to contradict the narrative of Amber Heard's uh, attorneys. Well, give me a link of it, and I'll, I'll take a look at it. I'm medically trained in the state of California. If law... By law, if you suspect there is evidence of domestic violence, by law, you have to report it or include it in the report. Well, it, who has something to gain with a lie? And and that's where I really go with. Like, whenever I look at is somebody lying in a circumstance, the certainty that I have of somebody lying or not lying is built off of who, who gains out of the lie. Do you see kind of what I'm saying? So, like, if somebody doesn't have anything to gain from lying, I will assume that they're less likely to lie. But if somebody has a lot to gain from a lie, then I will be more likely to assume that they're going to lie because it's beneficial for them. What about incompetence? That's possible. Uh, like, there's a lot of things that are possible. Uh, well, let's see here. Amber asked security not let Johnny uh, Depp in a penthouse vibe, but I thought she was being hidden and protected in penthouse one by Rocky and Josh. If Amber Heard was injured and getting worse as the night went on, why try to say that you showed the first set of, of, of officers' pictures? Wouldn't they see the alleged industry, in, in, injuries if they existed? Knowing she took uh, too many drugs and drank too much, trying to play it off jokingly, as if something almost adorable that she did, after testifying multiple times that she didn't have a substance abuse problem. A and that's another thing. Let me see if I can find, uh, find that information over there, too. Let me go back over here and see if I can find it, because it's a lot of text. I'm not sure if I can get it here or not. I don't know exactly when this was. Was the, the nurse's testimony before or after this? I think this is... 
Maybe it was before. Yeah, here it is. So this is what registered nurse uh, visited uh, visited CT at our home in downtown uh, Los Angeles. CT is provided. Uh, let's see here. C is CT is uh, is Amber Heard, right? Is this is this correct? What is it? client? Oh, okay, got it. So this is the registered nurse. Uh, I, I didn't know what that was. As a mega bitch, someone found documentation proving Milani had incorrect in their proof uh, video of release a year, so it isn't remotely credible. Okay. Uh, client admits to uh, drug use during the trip and states she ingested mushrooms and MDMA while also consuming alcohol and also states that she vomited and was high for 24 hours straight. So she said that she didn't do any drugs uh, after she broke up with her first wife, right? That Tasha girl. But then later on, she said that she was doing drugs with Johnny, and that's whenever he took her into that, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, and she said she even had done drugs, just not cocaine. Do you see kind of what I'm saying? Is like, these are just not, uh, there's mandatory arrest, uh, for policy for domestic violence, not mentioning evidence that would protect the officers of, uh, dereliction of duty. Yeah, and that's what I'm really saying here. Burden of proof has to be on, has to be beyond a doubt. She also said she would never do MDMA uh, after the plane incident, and now she does MDMA at Coachella. Uh, uh, also, in earlier statements, Amber Heard lawyer stated that makeup was the exact one she used. Now, Amber Heard stated that it was not the one she used, but it was something similar. Who now rings Johnny wears, it'd be like getting hit with brass knuckles. You'd see that? Yeah. I mean, like, look at this, right? So, like, let me see if I can find it here. Um, does there, like, a picture of him, like, touching his face? Look, look at his hand. Well, he's like, literally, like, I mean, those are not just, like, normal, small, you know, this isn't, like, something that you buy at Diamonds Direct for $300. Like, these are massive fucking rings. Look how much bigger, look how, look how much of an indention that is from his hand and, and like, the actual ring itself. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's like, the, the nurse lied, too. The makeup company said cream was not invented at the, con at the time. No, uh, tag me in it, and I'll look at it myself. Uh, that's why he threw the phone and not, that's why she said th she th he threw the phone and not hit her. Yeah. There's a good interview of former actor who became friends with Miss Heard discussing her coke and MDMA usage. Uh, when she was telling the phone story, she gestured at the other cheek when she said the phone hit me around the eye. I don't know about that. I mean, like, I I'm not going to use that as evidence. I wouldn't say, like, that's evidence, but, like, look at that. Bro, I if somebody... If somebody wearing, that's three rings. Look at that. Bro, if you punch somebody with wearing those, that would fuck them up. A am I wrong about this? Like, I feel like this is a, it's a 100% true. Like, yeah, a absolutely. Watch Legal Eagle video about this? I might. She'd have been hospitalized if he beat her ass like that. True. It's like, I know that, like, if, if I hit myself in the face with this phone, it would fucking hurt, man. Like, it, it would. Absolutely. Like, it... I'm trying to think, like... Yeah, this would fuck me up, man. Because I've never... I've never hit myself on the phone, but if somebody threw the phone at me, and they hit me with it, that would hurt, man. Yeah, 100% chance to crit? Exactly. The rings would do more damage than your halibird and Elden Ring. If you repeated punch them in the face with those rings, you really changed their face. Yeah, you would just completely, like, completely fuck them up. She's a monster, bro. She's strong as fuck. Ain't no ring gonna hurt her. True. It's like, I want you guys also to see a, a little bit of a demeanor change, okay? Give me a second. Um. So, watch this. Like, look how much different she acts here. Versus, um, Amber Heard admits to kicking a door into Johnny Depp's head. What? That's some wild animal shit. What the hell are you talking- 618 p.m. We're back on the and just a clarification, we're not going to invoke the Fifth Amendment privilege, so you can re-ask that question if you like. Which question? 
In this article, you, you guys have to link it to me. violence against Johnny Depp? You guys say don't watch it? Why do you not want me to watch it? Yeah, wait a second. Yeah, what? Well, why? Is, is, it, is there something bad on it? It's fine? Okay, I was about to say. Any time prior to May 22nd, 2016, did you ever commit an act of domestic violence against Johnny Depp? Calls for a legal conclusion and irrelevant, but go ahead. Do you understand what I'm asking you? No. No? Yes, I understand what you're asking okay. me. And prior to May 21, 2006. What is that? Yes, I understand what you're asking okay. me. And prior to May 21. Oh my God. Oh, look, 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 watch this one real quick. That's some, that's some weird ass shit. No? Okay, here we go. Please tell Ms. Hurd, did you send a text message to Jerry Judge on May 24, here 2016, telling Jerry Judge, quote, I'm desperately trying to reach Johnny. It's extremely important. Please tell him. I remember sending the text message that is in front of me right now to Jerry. Uh, and I would like, I remember sending this because I wanted to tell Johnny or have him told by Jerry or someone who knew him or was close to him. Basically, I didn't want him to find out online that I had or was about to file or I had already filed for divorce. I wanted him to know verbally. So I was trying to reach him through a third party to tell him. When I say reach, I'm specifically saying I would like him to know information coming from me or coming from Jerry, from me. Okay. So that he finds out about the divorce filing or my intention to do so from some other source other than TMZ, which was alerted. Ms. Hurd, it, does that mean, does your most recent answer mean that yes, you did send a text message to Jerry Judge on May 24th? Well, they were alerted of it? I mean, like, who alerted them? What is this? Watch this. So that he finds out about the divorce filing or my intention to do so from some other source other than TMZ, which was alerted. Ms. Hurd, it, does that mean, does your most recent answer mean that yes, you did send... That's weird. Like, that is, uh... I mean... If I had to guess why that happened, it's because she probably looked at... Because you remember, like, the, it, we had watched part of this video before, and her lawyer was was sitting right here. So she clearly made eye contact with her lawyer whenever I think that she realized that she said something she didn't mean to say. Now, I don't know that. I'm not sure. But if I had to guess something, that would be what I would guess. Pray for me. One more so again. he finds out about the divorce filing. One more again. Or my intention to do so. From Speculation, some other it is. Other than TMZ, which was alerted. Other than TMZ, I mean, TMZ, which was alerted. That is, uh, I mean, I, I would, you, you, you know, like I, what's that move? Yeah. It's like, uh, she named TMZ and looked at her lawyer. Yeah. I, I mean, man, that is, that's a damn, I fucked up. I feel like that's a whoopsie as well. I, I do. I mean, like, yes, maybe that's not the case. Maybe it's not, but maybe it is. There's also that possibility as well. Okay, let's see here. Uh, let me go back and look over this way. Um, okay, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to see a few more of these, uh, these tweets people have made. Uh... And I just want to make sure there's nothing else there so we don't miss anything. Okay, guys, give me one second. Makeup kit uh, debunks Amber Heard's claim. Uh, what is this video here? Is this taken down? It looks like the video is not available. Oh, here we go. Let's look at this right here. 
and I'll, uh, I'll I'll watch it myself. Uh, makeup brand debunks Amber Heard's claim. Here we go. Okay. This is what Amber carried in her purse for the entire relationship with Johnny Depp. She's an actor. Do you honestly think she would have left her apartment ever without makeup? Do you think that she ever would have wanted other people to see her bruises and her cuts? This was what she used. She became very adept at it. You're going to hear the testimony from Amber about how she had to mix the different colors for the different days of the bruises as they were as they developed in the different coloring and how she would use these to touch those up to be able to cover those she also used uh -huh. concealer foundation you'll hear from her makeup uh, person that amber didn't even leave her bedroom without having foundation on and one of the people that was at the building testified he said she had makeup on and it would have covered that bruise okay Okay, that was Amber Heard's defense attorney, Lane uh, Breithoff, during opening statements talking about the makeup kit that Amber allegedly carried with her at all times to make sure her bruises stayed hidden. Now, recently, yeah. however, the company that manufactures the makeup kit posted a video on their official TikTok account. Damn. Contradicting the claim, revealing that the makeup kit Hold up. in question wasn't released Hold until up. 2017, which is the year after the couple's divorce. Take a look at what they posted. Wait, what? There's one thing you can expect from me, and that's the unexpected. Pause. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's read it real quick. It says, pause to read. I got to go back a little bit. Pause to read. Milani Color Correcting Concealer Palette. Take note, alleged abuse was around 2014 to 2016. Got divorced in 2016. Makeup palette release date, December 2017, which is almost 2018. Uh, she didn't say that was the exact kit. You're right. You're absolutely right. Maybe it was another one. You see what I'm saying? Like, maybe, oh, this was just an example of what the kit is. And there was another kit that was the exact same that was released before this. She said that was the exact kit. Did she say that in this video? No? Okay, I'd have to see. The lawyer said this kit. Uh, let's go back real quick, okay? with Johnny Depp. This is what Amber carried in her purse for the entire relationship with Johnny Depp. I mean, I would assume that whenever she says that, it would mean that is the thing that she carried in her purse. You know, like, I mean, I that's, that is what I think a, a reasonable person would assume. She's an actor. Do you honestly think she would have left yeah. her apartment ever without makeup? Do you think that she ever that's literally would what have she wanted said. other yeah. people to see her bruises? I mean, maybe she's using it as an example, but I mean, here we go. There's one thing you can expect from me, and that's the unexpected. Cause I'm an international super spy. Uh oh. It's blowing up on social media. Yeah, that's about what I was thinking too. He's like, oh, you know, hey, oh, oh. you know what I mean? Like, oh, you know, <laughs> what a surprise. The music's so cringe. It's TikTok. What do you expect? Uh, look, uh, Houston, we have a problem. That's a free ad. Yeah. With all those rings, wouldn't it look like she get hit by brass knuckles? Yeah, of course it would. Ignoring that Amber said it wasn't the exact kit, but it wasn't like that. Did Amber say that it wasn't the exact kit, but one like that? Because if she said that, oh, I, I don't know. Yes, she did. Well, then maybe that's not the exact one. She said that today. Maybe she used another one and this is only an example. She said that today, but the lawyer said a kit like this. 
Opening statement, the lawyer states she's an actress. Do you think she ever left out makeup? Appears on court for, for restraining order, not wearing makeup. Uh, she said it today. She said it after the TikTok. So you think that she saw the video and then she said that? I think that's likely. I, I do. I, I, I think that's likely. Why does it even matter? Because I'm assuming that she made that. Well, I, okay, so the reason why it matters, let, let's talk about why it matters. Uh, the reason why it matters is because you already have, like, does anybody think that Amber Heard does not have a pattern of lying to a, 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 a largely reasonable degree? I'm not saying she's lying about everything, but she has a pattern of lying and making things up. Yeah, so the credibility is very, very low. What do you think the odds are that somebody didn't tell her within the entire week that the trial was on pause that people saw that she was using a makeup and she used one for an example that was not proper. That was not the right one. Like, I would guess this. Like, th that's what I would assume. Isn't it? Is it? Yeah, with all due respect, what's this here? Uh, if Johnny Lewis is going to start. No, the thing is, uh, what's this? She has an answer for everything. And she already says that was the kit, so it's likely that they clarified. Well, don't you find it odd that they clarified something after... Uh, they clarified something after it got blown up. I don't know, man. And again, like this is kind of what I'm saying in general, right? Is that there's not like, like, oh, she's a liar because of this. No. But like, what about like everything? Like, let's. It's like let's put everything together. Like, what is the what is the sum total of this? You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, Amber slipped. Uh, she used a bruise kit as well. That's what SFX call kits for faking bruises. She was still on stand. She was not allowed to. What do you mean? So you think that she would... Wait, so, so you think that she would respect the proceedings of the trial? Even after she literally said that, like, nobody would believe it? Like, do you really think that she respects the court so much that she would never even think to do this I mean it's a it's a 10 second TikTok I believe she was allowed to watch social media just not discuss it yeah I mean I, I don't believe that she didn't see it by the way let's bring in court TV legal correspondent Chanley Painter to help us understand what this all means, what do we know about this? It's Milani, right? Is the company Milani Cosmetics? Get us to yes, the bottom of this controversy is. tonight. <laughs> this has a blown up on so online social media. It's a cosmetic. You can buy it. Walgreens, CVS, Ulta yeah. Beauty, Sephora. It's a compact, but again, not made until 2017. Here's what we How know. Convenient. We know that the abuse between Depp and Heard, allegations stemming from 2014, yep. really 2013, all the way to 2016. They got divorced, Vinny, in 2016. The makeup yeah, palette release date, said. according to that company, December 2017, way after this couple broke up and their divorce was finalized. So... Her attorney, real sure in that opening statement that she had that particular compact with her all at all times to help cover up the different phases of bruising and coloring. As a woman, I'm very familiar with the different coloring of concealer and cosmetics, Vinny, here. Uh, but this is huge. Uh, I am anxious to see where her case goes and how they follow up on that. Yeah, well, just so folks know, I've got my own makeup here as well. Each one, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a concealer and a powder all in, it's, it's it's foundation and a powder all in one. You can go wet dry, but that's another story for another day. That's great. Okay. Um. So anyway, just to make sure. Uh, man. Yeah. Well, the thing is, like, no. A, a lot of times, like, I've even had they even put makeup on me because uh, I'm so greasy that they uh, they made me wear makeup whenever I went on stage for like something. I forgot what it was. 
Uh, I've had this happen like two or three times. I'm such a, a a greasy, shiny, shiny boy. They've got to put something on to, you know, pat things down. So it's it's just like here's how I see it. Check Twitter for uh, notifications. Yeah, I will in a second. Let me explain what I think the chain of events was. Okay, uh, I'm going to explain the chain of events. Okay, so chain of events. And I'm going to go ahead and just uh, zoom in on this so you guys can all see it. Copy. So uh, first thing that happens, um, uh, Amber Heard lawyer uh, says uh, this is what she used, right? Like, let's just, I, I don't know about quotes. Uh, well, let's see. Yeah, this is what she used when referring to uh, makeup. Okay, so I want you guys to just, I want to put everything together here so you guys can see where I'm coming from, okay? And so, that this is number one. Uh, then, uh, people find out that the one used, for example, wasn't made till 2017, right? Uh, are, are we still, I have 12 minutes? Yeah. So, so are we still following? And then... Amber Heard sees, this is my assumption, sees this on social media. A Amber sees this on social media, right? So she sees this. Then Amber Heard go, uh, is on stand, explicitly mentions this is not the exact makeup. I feel like this is a pretty fair chain of events. Do you see what I'm saying? Like this is a pretty this is a pretty fair and easy to understand chain of events. Uh woman know the exact makeup they use. I find it hard to believe that she got the makeup wrong and didn't clarify until after being exposed. Uh I don't know. Now there are possibilities. Amber Heard's lawyer might have misspoken. Um, like that's absolutely true and and like yes 100% this could happen but maybe maybe not it's hard to say but like again it's, I agree it sounds pretty plausible no decent lawyer would argue plainly against the idea of a woman using makeup to hide her scars and a jury can't even look at outside sources so this whole argument is totally relevant argue plainly against the idea of a woman using makeup to hide against her scars I, I don't know what you mean by that sorry uh, and the jury can't look at outside sources. The whole argument's irrelevant. It's not irrelevant. Let me ask you a question. Do you think that she cares about how she's seen in public? And by the public? Because if not, then why is it that she fired her PR team? I think that she absolutely cares. I think Amber Heard, like, this is my opinion. I don't really know this, but I, I, I probably assume this. I think that she cares more about winning in the court of public opinion than winning the court case. Straight up. Uh, like, uh, she seems like a massive narcissist. She seems like uh, basically a, a, a fucking psycho. Uh, they've said this, like, like that's what Dr. Curry said. It, it looks this way to me. Uh, a lot of the times where she got emotional in the first beginning of her testimonies was times where she felt embarrassed or, you know, her ego was at stake. So it's like, that's what I believe. Yeah, that, that's what I believe. Lawyer work is not misspoken. Everybody makes mistakes. Considering she got her PA uh, to buy newspapers each week to check if she was in the paper. Yeah, of course. She basically lost the actual case. She admitted several times that she wrote the article about Johnny. And instead, she will win in the court of law and lose in the court of public opinion, which is better for... I, 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 that, I think that's better. Court of public opinion is what matters a lot more. The truth is. Let, let's see what else the rest of this is. Because this is what she said right after all this stuff happened. I disagree. I think she's crazy enough to not give a fuck about what we think about her. She just wants the money, but I also have no idea. Um... <laughs> I, per I I disagree. I think that she does care what what, what people think of her. I, I absolutely do. I, I absolutely do think so. On 2016 or May 22, 2016, is it your testimony that you never committed any act of 
what would be considered domestic violence against Mr. Depp. Calls for legal conclusion and irrelevant to these proceedings. I did my, I, uh, no, I did my best to defend myself and not, not, um, not, not get seriously hurt or be a doormat to whom this happens to all the time. Isn't it true, Ms. Hurd, that you previously confessed and apologized to Johnny Depp for committing domestic violence against him? I'm going to object. Calls for legal conclusion, argumentative harassing. Isn't it true that you had previously told Johnny Depp that you had uh, hit him? I'm going to object. It's a different question. It, it's it seems pretty fair. Vague and ambiguous, Vegas to time. Um, many times when we fought, um, well, not many times, uh, he hit me um, for a very long time before I ever um, I'm gonna picked up my arms. I'm going to check non-responsive and move to strike. Ms. Hurd, I'd like you to listen to what I'm about to play. Okay. Would you do that? Here we go. Here we go. This is from 2016. Do you recognize the voices on that tape? Mm -hmm. And who are the people on that tape? It's Johnny and I. Okay. And uh, is Johnny describing an act where uh, you She's uh, eating? Yeah. made a door a go deal. into his head? Mm. Objection, harassing, argumentative. What's she say there? What's I, she say there? Mm. Objection, harass. You uh, made a door go into his head? Mm. Objection. I felt like. I don't know. I mean, she could have made that noise because she was eating, but that sounded like an mm-hmm, you know? It, it did. It sounded like that. Harassing, argumentative, vague. I, um, I was trying to escape from a room uh, where Johnny was attacking me. And in order to escape, I was trying to get onto the other side of the door attempting to close the door, and he was attempting to get in despite my attempts to try and escape an assault. Isn't it true that on this tape that was just played, you tell Johnny Depp you're sorry? Yes. Okay. And then you I, I can remember hitting you as a response to the door thing. Did you just tell Johnny Depp in that recording that I remember hitting you as a response to the door thing? Yes, as he was trying to get into the door, I was trying, into the room, I was trying to escape in. He pushed the door. The woodworker me, attorney? I'll look at that. I was to hit him by getting, out of, getting him out of the door to stay in the room. Yeah. And you told him in that tape recording that you hit him, correct? Uh, I, don't, I, I don't know what words I used in that. You can play it back if you want, but I don't remember exactly how long. If you wouldn't mind, if you'll continue to Yeah. Listen. Okay. Sorry about hitting you with the door or hitting you in the head. I mean, I don't know. I feel like that seems like, uh, that seems like she hit him with the door. Like, I, that, that's, like, that's what I would... Like, if I had to guess on, like, you know, what like what this really means, like, that's probably where I would go to. That That's the conclusion that I would come to. Did you tell Johnny Depp at that time you were speaking to him that you were really sorry for hitting, you, hitting him with the door, hitting him? I was, I think in that recording I made it very clear that I was sorry that the door hit him while he was trying to get into the room. I was escaping or attempting to escape. You see, like, this is what I'm saying, right? It's just like all of these, like, it, it's like you're at like a nine or an eight out of 10 for certainty for all of these things. You, you know what I mean? 
You have like a, a like a, like that. That's like my certainty level that like this happened is like you know like a, a nine or you know like an eight or a nine somewhere around there. Like I'm I'm more certain than not, but I'm not completely confident because it's like it's not su it's not super cut and dry, right? You you don't really know. The door hit him. Um, she didn't hit him with the door. I will mark. Yeah. Uh, 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 um, excuse me. I'd like you to listen to the following tape. This is punched, and we need to have. Are they being marked as exhibits? Yeah, mark as exhibit. We just mark P as the one we just played, okay. correct? Yes. Okay. Okay. Marking have... the next thing that I'm going to play to you uh, as Q. Would you listen to this, please? All right, here we go. Let's see it. Let's She's lagging. Is court done for today? No, uh, it's about to it's about to start in a minute. She was a possessed person. You should see the other one that we watched a few days ago. Like that shit was scary, man. Like, it's like if a person acted like that around me, it, like, it made me uncomfortable just to watch. Uh, it, it, it did. She prevented them from closing the door by sticking her foot in the door. Yeah, that's kind of like w what I think happened. And uh, the Harley Quinn laugh clip? I have no idea. Uh, the case is definition of abuse. Amber is trying to say it's not liable by claiming what she said was true. Uh, no, exactly, right? And that's what I mean. Uh, the case is defamation, not abuse. Well, that's what I mean. Exactly. Okay, give me one second. It's live? Alright, we're gonna get back to it. Sorry. Where is it? There we go. We good. Alright. It live. I know. We got it. We got it. We good. We good. We got it. All right. Not just fine, but her body language in here tells me that she's innocent because she seems relaxed and maybe eating. I'm wrong. Um, I, I I never listen really to like body language unless it's like an overt action. Like I I'm not really much of a like I feel like a lot of the body language type stuff, etc. Is right. uh, are we ready for the jury? It, oh. it, it's like we have things. Okay. It could be a wash. Yes. Looks restless, yeah. I think it's kind of a pseudoscience, yeah. That the doors want to hit him? It's like saying, hey, I didn't shoot you, my gun did? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. All right, let's see it. Here we go. Of course, crazy person's relaxed. Well, I think back then, like, also, like, back then, she probably felt like she was... Like, I, I don't know. Like, I, I have no idea. But, like, maybe she thought that she was going to win, so she was more confident and she acted that way. There's a known body language expert. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, like, being a body language expert does not mean that you know what people are doing whenever they exhibit certain body language. You're just making an inference based off of your experience. And and, and this is not a... um. It's not like this is not like body language is not uh, used in a court of law like, oh, well, he scratched his head whenever this happened. That means he's lying or something like that. Like th these are just not like this is not used in a court of law because it's not it, it, it's not real. Yeah, it's not legit. Yeah, it's not exact. So I, I wouldn't really take a lot of time to uh, get 
get, get involved with that. Missed 5,000 bits. Holy shit, did I? Uh, let me see. Can I scroll down? I don't know if I can even see this. Uh, Satifix with 5,000 5, bits. Thank you so much. I'm sorry I missed that. I am. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Not definitive for be to be sure. Yes, it is not definitive, but I think that, again, you know, whenever she put her hands over her face, etc., again, it's not about one thing. It's about a confluence of events. Are we ready for the jury? Mm. Okay. Here we go, boys. Here we fucking go. All right. I'm watching this. It's on YouTube. Why did they not show the jury? That's a good thing. It's a good thing they don't show a jury. Because then those people will get harassed. Remember whenever the jury got leaked for... Was it the George Floyd case? I'm pretty sure it was. And uh, then everybody said that like the uh, the ruling was going to be like uh, bullshit or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So I, I think it's a good it's a good idea to like not show who the jury is in these cases. Because uh, it, like it influences the outcome of the case. You think of the Rittenhouse? Oh, really? I, I forgot which one it was. Okay, here we go. All right, thank you. Seated. All right, your next question. It's cross examination, like to not today. It of could be. Exhibit 155. Okay. All right. The, uh, right to evidence. Makeup palette. Okay, oh, okay, here we go. Any objection to that? No objection. All right, 155 in evidence. Do we have it? Let's I, I see it. There. We had pictures for. All right, thank you. All right, 155 in evidence. 155. Yeah. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. Michelle, uh, can you bring up uh, Dep Exhibit Number 357B as in boy, plaintiff's exhibit, and it is a tape recording from June 2016. The time stamps are 4 colon 47 to 7 colon 52. Okay. Let's see it. Is that in evidence yet? Or? I'm going to move the admission of it. Okay. Thank so you. was that going to be for the whole 357, or is that 357A, or is that's that just B, B? I have that as B. B as in boy. I think there was a portion. That okay. 357B. Any objection to 357B? No, Your Honor. All right. She wearing Doctor Evil's evidence. outfit. Thank you. Um, I can just tell you the basic yes. fact. Yes. Like, it was private for days after I filed. You did not have to file. That's not moves that one, that other, that, the other party has to make. Okay. And it's just not. Okay. That, and you did. Okay. Well, you're a team there. Okay. And then, within five minutes, it was private in TMZ. You just do the math yourself without any other thing. And if I, it's very clear. Okay. And I, I, I don't know if you knew that. No, I didn't know that. And, and if that's the case, I'll, 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 I'll acknowledge it. <laughs> you know, um, and if you, you say you approve, yeah. then I'll acknowledge it. Look, I, I, it doesn't shock me. Yeah, it Attorney would do something like that. It doesn't, you know, um, yeah. it doesn't yeah. shock me. But I'm telling you now, if, if, if we go, if, if I file, if, if they file the fucking papers tomorrow, which means I, the, the shit I got to file before we go to court on Friday, mm -hmm. if they file <clears throat> those papers. First of all, it's, it's, it's very bad for both of us, okay? Mom, you're, he's going to file anything that they can get bad for you, trust me. No, you're, 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 what you're saying, you you got to do something to protect yourself, which means throwing me under the bus for the... Some it's going to be bad for you, not, damn! Not me, I have to respond. Legally, I'll have to go and, and pursue the... No, I have to pursue the whole course of action because here's what you don't understand if if we do this and if well basically well no because my i called my lawyers and i said why aren't we negotiating more? what is going on why where are we and they're like everything is done in our court why is he never they, screaming no, they on the won't settle. Now. your agents won't your your, your lawyers and won't settle baby i'm telling no, you no we 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 want to mediate we even have a mediate we even found mediators and and, and everything like that was all worked out so the thing that Laura didn't agree to was she did not want to agree to a mutual gag order. 
And that's the problem, that she doesn't want the gag order. Why, Johnny? Why? Why wouldn't she? Why wouldn't she want both parties to not talk about this in the press? By the way, just talking about the press, not even talking about the court. Okay, i tell you what, Amber, let, let me get on that right now. I'll fucking get on it right now. And, I, and I'll, I'll get a message back to you somehow. Just, uh, uh, you know, uh, but I'll, I'll, get, I'll get on it right now. I, I, just want, I, I just want you to know, I, I've not doing anything and have not been doing any moves. Let's look it up, timeline. Nothing was on the offense. Everything has been a defensive move because I'm being called a liar and a gold digger. And I'm not lying about any of this shit and I am not after a dime of your money and she recorded this keep in mind do you remember when you had this discussion again that's whenever she gets aggressive about it when was that I believe that was um, June of 2016 so after the divorce uh, that's why she's getting defensive it's like because people are talking about her remember oh she doesn't care about her reputation Uh uh-huh gag order at that point Gag order is where you can't talk about stuff. I, I'm asking. It's her, also a talent for warriors. Overruled. Uh, I was, um, I was trying to, um, I was trying to get Johnny to stop the um, mm-hmm. smear campaign. Uh, Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. Lack of foundation. What if any discussion did you have with him about a smear campaign? Johnny told me that he would ruin me, um, that no one would ever touch me, meaning in, <laughs> professionally, no one would ever work with me again, uh, that I'd never work again, that I'd be selling, uh, depends is what he said. Uh, and that uh, he'd ruin because my career. Because of the poop. And uh, he <laughs> refused to um, not engage uh, with up until that point, he refused to not engage with the press. I, oh my God! Uh, can, Objection, you know, Your Honor. Calls for speculation. I'll believe that. I, I, this is what he's wow. telling her, correct? Right. Okay. All right. I'll, she's going to be selling depends. And up until that point, um, I was trying to, you know, uh, get him to call the dogs off, call call it off, because it was. Um, it was forcing me into a position where he was calling me a liar, and he was forcing me to prove it. And I knew yeah. that wasn't going to be good for him. And I, I, I kept saying, don't make me, don't make me prove it. I don't want to. But he was calling me a liar and having a really sophisticated, very, very well paid, very sophisticated PR uh, machine. Objection, Your yeah. Honor. Calls for speculation. I'll sustain the objection. I'll move on. Um, let's go to Dep Exhibit. That's Plaintiff's Exhibit 357C. That's 12 colon 30 to 16 colon 30. I'm going to move the admission. Any objection? Ain't no objection. No objection, Your Honor. All right, 357C. All right, right, let's see it. All right, Michelle, if you complain. Selling I'm depends. Not, it's not about that. It would not be about. Bro, that's cold. Oh, you know, my it God. Would be, it would be released through documented people coming on the record and having the protection to do so that haven't had yet. It would be eyewitness statements. It would be evidence, tons of it. And it would be through years. And it would be unbelievable, unbelievable um, to imagine that either I'm in A, a secret fake club, or B, I've had- um, A secret what? I've had a secret fight club. Or that I have been plotting to do this for the you know for three years, and while well, taking pictures of it and documenting it, just saving it up for the right time when I'm not asking for any money and have nothing financial to gain from it. But no one is going to believe that. No one is going to believe that one of the two alternatives. Either I'm in a fight club, or I've been getting going through hair and makeup or going through makeup through all these years where I have corroborating text messages between people that match those dates of those timestamp validated photos of of I would either cooperation between people hearing us or uh-huh. cooperation of next day, you know, um Whitney text message to Kevin Kinley. So you don't talk about fight or you know the kind of stuff like between 
uh, uh, me and people in your life. Uh, it is insanely co uh, co cooperated, Ben. It, it is a plan. I'm going to put makeup on myself and take pictures throughout the years and just sit on it for years. That, that, while, while having this like imaginary life run parallel to it, you understand that I, the pictures I have match with like text messages to my mom back and forth about it. You know, and text messages between, say, Raquel and my, my mom, or my, Raquel and my dad, or, you know, um, between my two friends. Or there's a text message where I tell Jody the night before I had that James Corden night show thing, where I say, hey, Jody, uh, I've had an accident. Um, I think I may have, a, I have a busted lip, I may have a busted nose and, and um, two black eyes tomorrow because I don't. But we saw the pictures. I don't know how. I'm icing it. I'm just going to let you know in the morning. You know? She laid it on. Yeah. It doesn't matter. There is nothing there. Nothing. Nothing And I will. And all of that won't be me throwing you on the spot. Remember, she recorded this. She recorded this. I will have, it will be criminal as well because I cannot go on Friday and file without filing a police statement first. And the only reason I haven't had that police statement, which has been used against me by the Johnny like, recorded this one? And the only reason I won't do it, I haven't done it, is because I don't want to hurt you and that means it goes out of my hands. And every, you know, the third party guy, uh, third party prosecutor comes and, um, and a criminal lawyer come and they went like, problem is hearing from you, like your biggest struggle is that this is just, this, it's such a, it's the most solid evidence case of domestic violence I've ever seen. And if you give this over to them or present any part of it, it's, they will prosecute him. And I felt like, I was, it's I was, most solid uh, ever. Please explain what the context of this was. Yeah, what is this? What is this? I was begging Johnny to not make me prove what I've had to sit on the stand in front of all of you and prove and talk about. I was begging not to do this and have to sit where I'm sitting today. I didn't want this. I don't want to be here. I didn't want to be there then. And I was trying to point out something to somebody who I thought did not have a firm grasp on reality. Objection calls for speculation. It's Overruled. Thank you. I was trying to point out how absurd, how absurd it would be for him to keep making me prove this by calling me a liar. I was trying to get him to not call me a liar because everything that I had said to date and everything I've said to date now is the truth. And I was begging him not to make me prove it, that there were photos, that there were witnesses, that there was my testimony. There were years of me with injuries on the dates where we were fighting and they were documented. I mean, pictures from 2012. So I was trying to say to him either, you'd suppose that people would rather believe this is a hoax, elaborate, well-orchestrated, year-long campaign for what? Yeah. Or that, what? It just seemed crazy. And I thought no one was advising him in yeah. his best interest. I thought no one was telling him the it's truth. pretty much about it. I know he's surrounded by yes men, yep. and I thought nobody was saying to Johnny, this is crazy, don't do this. And I didn't want to hurt him. I didn't want to hurt him. I loved him. I loved him so much. I gotta write some of this stuff I, down. That's why I'm explaining to him why I didn't file criminal charges. I didn't file a police report, even though it was being used against me. I didn't want this to go to a prosecutor. I didn't want this to hurt Johnny. I don't want this to hurt John. 
Michelle, can you bring up DEP Exhibit 357D as in David? Uh, and that is 17 colon 25 to 17 colon 37. I'm going to move the admission, Your Honor. Here we R go. Objection. No objection. All right. In evidence, 357D. DEP unfazed? No, because he's bullshit. Liar. Baby. 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 Amber, I didn't call you those things. I didn't call you those things. I'm, I'm going to go on now to, uh, can we go to Plaintiff's Exhibit 357E? Patton, thanks for five seconds. And this is 21 colon 47 to 22 colon 37. So she's mad at him. She's mad at him because of something that people on. said in the press. No objection. 357E. Thank you. Where'd that finger go? I can't believe you just lost it. And I never think about myself that way. I never defend myself that way. I never see myself as a victim. It's too fault, you know? All right, yeah. And I, when they came, I did not cooperate with them. It has been used against me, not by the media, by your side. And what are you referring to there? That I don't want to call myself a victim. I don't like to think of myself as a victim. And I don't want him to think I'm attacking him or blaming him. I'm pointing out I didn't cooperate with the police. That I didn't want to get him in trouble. That I didn't want to hurt him. I don't want anything from him. Just don't call me a liar. It's all I said. Just don't call me a liar. What? You call me? But you called Just him an abuser. This isn't real. Because I'm the walking proof of it. Well, if what you said was real, you wouldn't be walking. To bring up plaintiff's exhibit, Dep exhibit 357F as in Frank, 24 colon 04 to 24 colon 48, and move the admission. All right, any objection? No objection. All right, 357. Let's be honest. I have said only this from the very beginning. Go. I only have my integrity. And they, the unfortunate thing is... What about mine? They need to step further. What about mine? They keep taking... They keep taking... That's what it keeps... I'm trying to say to you, literally, in words. I'm out, out of my mouth that's what I'm trying to say to you. Every step of the way, I have said to them, the thing is, they're hurting Johnny by this because every time that they call me a liar or they say this is not true or see that this text message does not actually happen or that uh, uh, your security guard, which by the way was a follow-up to your security guard thing they never saw abuse happening. The same security guard who, by the way, have said to me multiple times that I was going to get killed. Where's the evidence of that? The security guard saying you were going to get killed. What are you talking about there, Amber? Where is that? Even though Johnny told me that his guards would say whatever he needed them to say, that they were the same guards who had told me that I would lose objection, my life this way. Objection, hearsay. All right, sustained so objection. It came in through the tape, so that's all right. We're fine. Um, let's go, Michelle. Your Honor. Yeah, if we could approach, please. Not nah, here we go. Time out. Uh, I want you guys to notice the fact that, like, you know, a lot of this is, uh, like, w what is she really upset about? She's upset about her integrity getting ruined. When is she getting emotional in here? Uh, I I'll talk about Michelle, this more. Can you bring up exhibit it's all about her fucking G. ego. Like, that's it. 357G, and it's 26 colon zero zero to 26 colon 28. That's when she gets emotional. Oh, move the admission. I'm sorry. All right, any objection? No objection. So don't call me a liar? Yeah, exactly. 
They're going to have to say they didn't see it in front of me and other people that have heard them. You're going to have to do this under oath, too, you know. I will, because I, because the unfortunate part is, I can talk about all of this. Do you believe all this, Emma? Do you believe all this? You believe you believe I'm an abuser. You believe I'm an abuser. What were you referring to with the May, December, and April? Just listing some of the times in which he beat me up okay. and that he knew about. So I'm going to take you now fast forward into the July 2016 uh -huh. time frame. There was a mediation that uh, came about during that time. Um, what, if any, intent did you have to reconcile with Mr. Depp at the time of the mediation? Okay, here we go. I, I wanted there to be no animosity. I wanted to minimize animosity. I wanted to reconcile in the, that way. I didn't want to get back together with him, if that makes sense. Okay. Okay. Um, can you just briefly describe what transpired during the July mediation? I, uh, even though I had a, a TRO and I wanted to move on with my life, the campaign I mentioned earlier, the smear campaign, the article after article, the, the one that you wrote, me, the, you know, leaking fake objection, your honor, non-responsive. She, she uh, wrote the article. The objection. Okay. Please what, explain. But Please what explain. I was meeting with him about is because he had you know, put these things out in the media. It seemed like objection, your honor. Attack Calls for speculation, lack of foundation. All right. Did, did Mr. Depp discuss with you that he was putting these out in the media? Objection, leading. But, Overruled. I'll allow it. Yes. Okay. Please explain. This is smart. He right. told me he would tell his team to back off and to, to. Yeah, to back off effectively if I agreed to do certain things. One of which, you know, there was, uh, he wanted me to, um, like, drop charges. He wanted, or some version of that. He wanted me to um, get back together with him and go on tour with him in the yeah. tour bus. He wanted me to do certain things that I thought were impossible and that would definitely go against all, all of, all of, you know, everything that I stood for and, and, and had earned in getting my, my TRO, getting my restraining order and moving on. But I had to break the TRO in order to beg him to stop the, the machine, the press machine, because I was I, feeling like I couldn't live my life. I was being dropped from opportunity, commercial opportunities. People were turning on me. Uh, uh, a campaign I shot dropped me. I mean, it was just, I had never been inundated with that much press. Every single day, me and my family were and every witness, anyone who even indirectly supported me, got bombarded. And the objection media campaign calls was... for speculation. Well, that's foundation. pretty much true. I'll, I'll I mean, just the last, the last part of that. All right. Yeah, that, that's pretty okay, much next true. Question. Okay. Um, we heard Christian Carino testify <clears throat> earlier. Can you describe to the jury who, what your relationship is and was with Christian Carino? Okay. He was my commercial agent, meaning he handled things like campaigns. Uh, for a short amount of time and then uh, became Johnny's agent around the time of the divorce. Uh, he was a kind of mutual friend at the time between Johnny and I, and so he helped um, us kind of negotiate or mediate a time where we could meet, and my goal in that was to just beg Johnny to stop doing this. Objection, non-responsive. Overruled. That's right. What if any desire did you have to return to Mr. Depp after the divorce? None. Okay. Nope. Now, you heard Mr. White testify that he engaged in negotiations with you during the settlement process of the divorce. What, if any, discussions did you have with Mr. White? None. I, the first time I saw him was on, on the testimony screen uh, in the UK during the UK trial. So, I've never spoken to him. So he didn't negotiate your settlement? No, he did not. Okay. okay. What was important to you in the divorce negotiations? Being right in the eyes the, of the public. The, the statement. That was it. Yeah. The statement. I wanted a mutual statement, and I wanted him to call the, you know, get the press out of this. 
just make a statement that he was and, wrong and, and you were and right in that statement clear my name i wanted to clear my name it's all i have yeah uh, you know I, I i said this to him too and he, you know he knew this all i have is my name i come from nothing all i have is my integrity all i have is my name and that's exactly what he promised to take from me Why what were you going to do what were you going to take from him as your settlement I didn't care about the money. I was told if I didn't agree to a number that it could be overturned, that this would never actually set, it would never get complete, it would never settle. Jackson, what about, about his? What right, was your oh, understanding? Go ahead. What was your understanding? Yeah, why is he not in if Pirates I didn't of the agree Caribbean then? To a number, it would be well, overturned. That happened. So I took That's far weird. less than what they were offering and what I was entitled to. And, and why did you donate it to charity? You didn't. I promised the entirety of it to charity because I was never interested in Johnny's money. But? And in the divorce, I just wanted my safety. I wanted to move on from my life. I wanted my future. And then he started compromising that, calling me a liar, making it impossible for me to move on mm -hmm. by doing so. So that I wanted the truth. I wanted him to clear my name and to leave me alone. I've been saying that since 2016. So why did you donate 3.5 to Children's Hospital and 3.5 to ACLU? Well, I pledged the first half or 3.5 to Children's Hospital because I've been working there as a volunteer for Didn't this well not happen? A decade. Uh, she well, she the pledged well. it. I'd worked there with another she didn't um, nonprofit it. is how I got she affiliated with it. them and I knew they could use the resources. I was familiar with it. And what about the ACLU? She didn't do it. She, uh, and then ACLU because I was a supporter, because I believed in the work they were doing. I believed that they were doing good work for people who deserve it. She donated it like three weeks ago? Why did you make the donations over a period of time as opposed to just a lump sum? Um, two, two reasons. The short of it is because I was receiving the settlement in installments. I was receiving the installments over time. Second of all, so I could get the tax benefit of paying over time. You know, it's my understanding that's how you pay these like large sums. You pay it over time. That's true. She's right. Did you make any payments towards these donations? I did. Okay. Uh, approximately how much? I um, allowed for the first installment, which is a hundred thousand um, to each. That came straight from Johnny in 2016. I followed up with uh, 350 thousand. Uh, that year, um, 2016, uh, 2018, I did another. Oh, and I also donated to 250,000 to Art of Elysium, which is the affiliate I was just speaking about um, that does the work in the Children's Hospital. Uh huh. It was not going to count towards my overall pledge, but we're going to look into too. this during the break. And then I did another donation to each in 2018. And then Johnny. She said, didn't mention the amount. It's probably because it was very small. Before we get to that, she would have mentioned uh, the amount if, if it wasn't. Did anyone make donations to the Children's Hospital or ACLU on your behalf? Oh, this is the period? Elon. Thing. Yes, Elon. Also, uh, Elon, who was my boyfriend at the time, uh, had his own charitable contributions that he had that he made. Um, he made five hundred thousand to both in my honor in my name. Um, in 2017, I believe. And have you completely fulfilled your donations to the ACLU and the As Rocket uh, Man. Children's Hospital? Yeah. I have not yet. And why not? Because Johnny sued me for $50 million in March of 2019, and I have spent over $6 million. Objection, Your Honor. This is a motion in limine. Shouldn't have written the article, huh? Once you come forward. Shouldn't have gone and done that article. Ain't that really something? So she hasn't done it. No, the thing is, like, I, I understand that. Yeah, sure. But, like, it still should be noted very, very clear and plainly that that's the case. Yeah, she spent $6 million already. I, I would believe that. Yeah, sure. I mean, absolutely. Man, it, it's like... Like, I really, like, obviously they're not going to get Elon Musk on the stand here, but, like, I really wish that, like, just for, like, five minutes, like, just to get, like, what is his perspective on, like, this whole thing, you know? Like, what, 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 what is this?
Yeah, what would it possibly be? She got sued in 2019. She had years to pay the pledge and didn't. What a load of horse shit. Well, it's because she hadn't uh, she hadn't won the case. I think it's very obvious, right, is that she probably doesn't have a lot of money. Like, it's not like she's like, like she has, she has like hundreds, she doesn't have hundreds of millions of dollars. So like being sued for $50 million is a lot of money. So I, I think that she just wanted to keep the money for herself. That's what it was. I remember I got, I got paid with some John. He donated in her name, meaning she didn't pay it. I know that. Yeah, I, I know that. Uh, it's not like she has any major roles in Aquaman. Yeah, but she got paid $10 million for Aquaman. Yeah, but like think about like that. That's 10 It's like one-fifth of just this. Like, that's a lot. Ever heard net worth $8 million? That's not a lot of money. Like, I mean, you compare that, like, you're donating $7 million, being sued for $50 million, 8 doesn't seem that big anymore, does it? You see what I'm saying? Like, it, it's... Yeah, I, I see what you're saying here. Man, being held accountable sucks, doesn't it? I, I feel like if somebody... The, the charitable contributions and stuff like that, I, I think as long as she admits that, like, that's what it was... I, I would only really dislike it if she tried to play it off as if it was anything else. Do you see what I'm saying? Uh, he's going to litigate her into uh, the poorhouse so he wins either way? Maybe, yeah. Just let's wait tables at a small restaurant to pay the bills? Yeah, sure. Uh, that's her only pass. Yeah, I mean, she just said, like, listen, well, I didn't know if I was going to have the money for it anymore. It's like, okay, all right, that's that's fair, right? It's the same thing with taxes. Like, you didn't pay it all at the, all at the same time because of taxes. Okay, that that's fair and reasonable. And I think that's what, like, I mean, obviously, I've done charity donations before in the past, right? So, like, I, I know this. And, like, this is something I've talked with accountants before as well. So, it, it that that part is actually reasonable ironically the charity thing is probably the most reasonable perspective out of all of this but does exemptions were in her name but paid by johnny dude uh effectively yeah any part you think she's telling the truth i think she's telling the truth with the charity thing yeah sure but she's gonna go donate the six so million away but she didn't do that didn't that, happen then, yeah could you afford to continue making payments to the aclu and okay Children's here we go Hospital? no Okay. What, if any, intention do you have to fulfill your pledges and donations to these organizations? You get I still <coughs> fully intend to honor all of my pledges. <coughs> you can't write a blank check. I would love for him check. to stop suing me so I can. What, if any, deadlines are there on your pledges and donations to the ACLU or the Children's Hospital? There are none. They understand. <coughs> Okay. Of course they would understand. Now, let's, uh, I don't let's like how she said that because the implication of how she said it was that they admitted. shared her point of view and they sympathized with her. I don't like that. That was misleading. Now, I'm going to just direct your attention to paragraph 27 where it says, Neither party has made false accusations for financial gain. There was never any intent of physical or emotional harm. Okay. Amber wishes the best for Johnny in the future. <coughs> what, if any, significance did that have to you? That was everything to me. That was what, that was the most important thing in, in the separation agreement between us, is that he acknowledged that I hadn't made a single false claim that my allegations were not false. Not a I single thought that one? Just because he signed his name to it, he'd honor it. I mean, he signed Damn. his name to it, and I thought it would mean something. Talk about a blank check. He yeah. acknowledges that I never did it. I mean, I never made a false claim, and I didn't do it for financial gain. And that's what I was being called at the time, a gold digger and a liar. Okay. Emphasizing again on the we ego. Can take this down, Michelle, and I'm going to now take you to... Yep post-divorce and your okay. career please Here we describe go. for the jury how your career evolved after the divorce which i think was final in february 2017. definitely is a gold digger i i, I don't know i i had to fight really hard to keep my career uh i you know in after i got my tro i, I lost opportunities i got canceled from jobs i got dropped from campaign i'd shot i yep um, was told I was going to be dropped from... Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. Oh. 
sustained I, objection. I, I fought to keep my job in um, in a movie opportunity, the biggest movie opportunity I had Just Aquaman. to date, which was what. Uh, it was Justice League um, with the option to become Aquaman. It later became Aquaman, um, but I had to fight really hard to stay even in Justice League because that was right around the time of the divorce. Right. Can Can you tell the jury what Justice League was and what your role was in that? It was. Uh, it it was not as good as the Marvel uh, movies. Franchise, uh, DC action Besides film. Besides Aquaman, and because it of Jason Momoa, not my character, you. Uh, and. It provided uh, the base for the Aquaman spinoff that followed it, but mm. that was not a reality at the time of shooting Justice League. All right. And then you you were able to be an Aquaman, is that correct? Yes, I, I uh, kind of showed up to work months early and stayed really late to fight to keep the job. I managed to keep it. Um, and managed slowly to kind of crawl, to gain through this kind of hard work and goodwill I was able to foster. I was able to keep and make other jobs and eventually made a, a movie called Aquaman. And Aquaman was very successful. I think it was yeah. the most successful DC film. It should have been. Um, by its release. And we, you know, I was, I was getting my career back, even though it was... You know, it took a major hit when I, when I got my restraining order against Johnny. So let's talk about Aquaman for a moment. Okay, here we uh, go. I think you said it was the highest grossing film of uh, DC films, is that correct? Yes. Okay. When did that come out? Uh, December of 2018. Well, it was sent for Amber at the start of the studios a couple of years ago. And what was your role yeah, in Aquaman? Yeah, of course Aquaman? you do. I play Mira. And was that a lead role? Uh, yes, it is uh, one of the leading roles. It's the oh. female lead opposite Jason Momoa's character of Aquaman. Okay, so you were his mate? You could say that, yes. I was <laughs> his um, love interest. The, the female, I was a female lead of the movie. Okay. So in December of 2018, as Aquaman's coming out, why did you agree to participate in the op-ed? Well, because I... Believed Agree in some to of participate the causes that the op-ed was seeking to advance. Uh, there were uh, there was a lot of attention and energy around um, gender-based issues, gender-based violence issues in general. I'm trying to I catch had just the trend. Become an ambassador for the ACLU. I was proud of that ambassadorship, and I was looking forward to the opportunity to lend my voice to what I thought was a great cause, which is just a, a conversation around women's issues and gendered issues that oh, I think that's the whole why. country was having at that time. Not to you know, clear your name. Political conversation and cultural so conversation at the time. And I was uh, happy to lend my voice if I could. I'm Who drafted sure. the first draft of the op-ed? The ACLU. Did you initially want to include Mr. Depp by name or reference? No. What were you trying to accomplish by the op-ed? What about the second draft? I was trying to raise awareness the final uh, around draft. some of the issues that I just mentioned. What about that? There was some uh, legislative reform, uh, Title IX being one of them, uh, and there was just a greater cultural conversation being John, thanks for had hours. around uh, gender issues. True. And, um, and I was happy to weigh in um, on what I saw as a, 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 the you know unique phenomena that women uh, and t typically women experience in our culture when they come forward against somebody more powerful uh, uh, when they speak up about gender-based violence and okay i thought i could lend my voice to that conversation i thought i had something to say about that were you trying to boost your sales for aquaman since it was coming out in that same time frame no she's trying to boost her own credibility <laughs> uh, it doesn't work it, like that. I don't think any. Yeah, she's just trying to boost her own I mean, credibility. A major ma motion picture, a major franchise like that. That's is all. Not aided by the publication of a, a an op-ed in the Washington. She already Post. got paid for Aquaman. Aquaman. Why the fuck but would she care? The other way care? around can be said. You know, I was wanting to lend my name at that specific time um, to um, potentially advance the causes within the op-ed. Yeah, absolutely.
because of your success as Mira with Aquaman? Yeah, yeah just the publicity yeah. of the movie and the Thank success you. of the movie would hopefully, um, in best case scenario, um, only add and lend itself uh, to, would lend attention to the issues that the op-ed aimed to address. What did you do it's a fucking once article. the ACLU had your agreement to be the spokesperson for the op-ed, to put your name to it? I sought the advice of my attorney. And why did you do that? Hi, Izzy. Well, because I, I, you know, I didn't want to get into any sort of legal issue. Um, I didn't want to have any sort of legal problems um, uh, for for talking about what happens to women when, or people when they come forward and speak about these sorts of issues, especially when they come forward against someone more powerful than them. Uh, and oh, here we that go. backlash, the retaliation that people face when they come forward is exactly what I was writing about. And I didn't want Johnny to retaliate against me uh, and quite literally prove my point. And and so, so she, who was the counsel that you hired to review the op-ed? Oh, my God. I, I, his name was Eric George. Where is he located? Uh, I, I'm about, to, I'm about to pop off. How did you know Eric George? I'm getting ready to pop off. Uh, Eric George is the attorney who represented me uh, in a different litigation against those produ the producers of London Fields, the movie I mentioned earlier about yeah. having a body double and sex scene that I didn't approve of. What was your understanding of Eric George's experience and skills to be able to review that op-ed for you in the context of, of your concerns? Objection, speculation. I'm asking her understanding. I'll sustain Eric. the objection. Next question. D did you have knowledge of Eric George's abilities at that time? I did. I thought he had an excellent reputation and would give me great advice. Okay. And what, if any, experience, what was your experience with him in representing you earlier? I thought he was a fantastic attorney, very smart, and uh, I trusted him. Without uh, going into the content of it, what, if any, uh, of Eric George's advice did you follow in the context of the op-ed? I took all of his advice. I made all the edits he suggested. I took all of his advice. And what, if any, of Eric George's advice did you ignore? None. Okay. He's my lawyer. I, I listened to him. Okay. I'm going to ask you if we can pull up Michelle Plaintiff's Exhibit 1. Now, this is the online version of the op ed, and it has this title Amber Heard, I Spoke Up Against Sexual Violence and Faced Our Culture's Wrath. This, that has to change. What, if any, role did you play in this title? None. What, if any, role, to your knowledge, did the ACLU play in this title? None, to my knowledge. Oh, it okay. just happened. That's uh, crazy. Are these exact words anywhere in the article? No. It just showed up no, here. No, they're not. When did you Where first did this become come aware from? of this title being included in the online version of the op-ed. I think in this litigation is the first time I realized that. Wow. Okay. I'm going to now ask, Michelle, can you bring up Plaintiff's Exhibit 2? And this has also already been admitted into evidence here. Yes, ma'am. Okay, um, a transformative moment for women. This is the, on the, the paper version, if you will, of the Washington Post uh, with your editorial, and if you go to the second page, this one has a title, A Transformative Moment for Women. What, if any, role did you play in that title? Uh, I didn't. Okay. None. Um, okay. Now, do you recall seeing this version, the newspaper version, at the time? Yes, this is the version I saw. I'm very proud of it. I had it framed. You had the newspaper version, not the online? I did. I had the newspaper framed. Okay. Uh, and now I'm going to ask you to turn to, uh, Michelle, can we pull up plaintiff's exhibit number three? Okay. Oh, I've got, I've got a, I, I wrote this down so I don't forget about it. 
And do you recognize this document? Um, yes. Okay. Your Honor, I'm going to I'm going to move to admit plaintiff's exhibit number three into evidence. Any objection? No objection. All right, three in evidence. If we can publish it to the jury. All right, Thank let's you. see it. Now, is it fair to say this is a tweet? Yes, okay. it is. That is fair. And can you explain to the jury what a tweet is for those who are not as social media oriented? A tweet is a, a posting on a social media network called Twitter. Okay. Okay. Now, did you send this tweet? I think so. I must have. Okay. And what, oh. if any, control did you have over whether the title given to the op-ed online was included in the tweet? You don't have, con you don't have control when you're retweeting something. It, you, I mean, it's my experience that you don't control a title when you're retweeting something. You don't get a chance to re-editorialize someone else's title. That's true. Okay. And, and at the time you sent this tweet, did you ha did, do you remember even noticing that title? I do not. I don't. I don't think I. Yeah, it's her article. It. Why would she notice ha the title on it? Have you ever typed the words from that title? No, I have not. Okay. Now I'm going Why to Why are ask they specifying you, type? Is it because two, it was decided two. on the phone? Why would you type that? Why would you say go, that? Why would you make that I'm clarification? Going to ask you, to avoid perjury, maybe? What if I don't know. I find this that interesting. Op -ed was incorrect. Nothing. Every word of it is true. And I'm going to direct your attention specifically, and if we can blow this up just a touch. It's not a retweet, uh, though? And move up just a touch, Michelle, if you can, so we get to then two years ago. Then two years ago, I became it. a public figure representing domestic abuse, and I felt the full force of our culture's wrath for women who speak out. Was this true or false? It's true. Okay. What, if any, thing did you do about speaking up about domestic abuse two years earlier? Well, I went and got a restraining order against my then husband and walked out to a sea of media and endured, to that point, two years of vitriol from the media and from um, Johnny Depp supporters and, in, and, in retaliation for having done so. And I guess you're really answering my next question, which is, and I felt the full force of our culture's wrath for, for women who speak out. Is that what you were referring to? What a bunch to of for horse that shit next? that is. Yes, because at the time, um, I thought it couldn't be worse. I uh, obviously, now from where I sit today, no, it got a lot, it gets a lot, a lot worse. And then, Michelle, if we can move this up a little bit further. Bunch of horseshit. Yeah, like, what the fuck are you talking about? Well, actually, that's perfect, Michelle. Then I don't have to use my purple again. And then you said, oh I God. had the rare vantage point of seeing in real time how institutions protect men accused of abuse. Is this true or false? True. Okay, and explain to me what you meant uh, by that and, what, and how that was true for you. Uh, I got a restraining order. I had to prove to a judge that I needed one. I had a bruise on my face. I got a restraining order. I showed pictures. So I that means he's getting protected? Proof. And yet everyone, the media, the, the, the studios that, you know, both Johnny and I worked for, they were ready to support him. They made statements in support of him. They were ready to fire me. They attempted to fire so because they, right, let's they let's didn't the assume section. that he was um, guilty, they're protecting him? What, if anything, did you what? Uh, witness with respect to institutions? Meaning the people that we work for, the institutions we work for, the studios we work for, decision makers in my industry, filmmakers and 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 powerful people and decision makers within my industry whom I had not ever even met, who didn't know anything about what happened behind closed doors in the marriage of Johnny and I, were making comments about me, statements about me. Every I was dropped from campaigns. I, it was hard for me to work. I was harassed. Um, I'm harassed on a daily basis, death threats. And just the, um, the fact that that wasn't, uh, there was no parody. Uh, you know, the, the, the studio, Power retweet stuff and, that mean what you're retweeting? Uh, these decision makers and such were so ready to support him and um, 
eager to to objection your honor hearsay i'll sustain the objection all right so what well, if i've got a lot to say or bad intentions did you well, i've got a lot to say. or intend against mr depp by assisting in writing giving your name to this op-ed assisting in writing it. none it's not about johnny the only one who thought it was about johnny is johnny it's about me. It's about what happened to me. It's after not about Johnny. Johnny? Then why'd you just use him as an example? I escaped my marriage. It was about me. Your marriage and my with who? Life and what I endured once I moved on and got a TRO and moved on with my life. It was about what happened to me after. The only one who made it about him, ironically, is Johnny. She just said. I'm going to, um, we can take that down, Michelle. I'm going to turn to something about electronics and transparency. You have you've testified about and we've seen photographs and audio recordings and are you kidding text messages emails etc How do you what say that have you done to cooperate in the authentic Authentication of all of these things objection your honor May we approach sure? So she retweeted the online version. And if she retweeted the online version, because she's not talking about the print version, I'm assuming, then she would have known what the title is and it wouldn't have been changed uh, retroactively uh, by the retweet right, I'm link. I'm going to turn to your counterclaim. You that wouldn't have, have happened. You counterclaim against Mr. Depp in this case, correct? That's correct. And it's based on three statements that Mr. Mr. Adam Waldman, Mr. Depp's attorney, made correct. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask. Uh, you can't retweet if a paper. You can pull up Defendants yeah. Exhibit 245. Yeah. When was the time of the retweet? Retweet? When, was the, when, when did this happen? Do we have? It's already in evidence. Uh, Your Honor, if I may approach, if we may approach okay, just sure. real quickly, because I think we can move this along. Yeah. It's not about John. Yeah. This How is this time? not about him? Like, it's like at that point is like you have to be aware of it. at some point your PR would have at least made you aware of what you retweeted. Well, like she also didn't make a clarifying statement. Like, for example, like remember how Blizzard had like that stupid diversity chart thing and then everybody got mad about it. Then Blizzard made a statement the day after and they said this isn't what we were trying to do. That, that like w like this isn't what we meant so like she never even and like no she said that she made the tweet it's not like she had a publicist that's running her account that made the tweet she said she made the tweet so what would i want to what would i i think what really would would determine it to me is when did the tweet happen like how do you not even look at the link of the article that you posted like how do you not know what the title is of the article that you posted. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, how is this even possible? A and also, like, even if that's true, she literally said in the article that she felt the wrath of people whenever you speak up against this and that they protect people in institutions of power. And then she explicitly used the restraining order against Johnny Depp. And then she has the audacity to say that the article wasn't even about him. How is, how is anybody... How can anybody be so stupid to even believe any of this? This is un unreal. Like, I, I, yeah, she said Johnny Depp supporters. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's just, it, like, I just can't believe it. Uh, they're claiming the title isn't hers, so the financial loss from the article is not on her. Yeah, but it, you don't even, the title, the title could be Amber Heard's personal story. And it would still implicate Johnny Depp. Like, what do you think happens? It's like, I use this example, right? It's like, so let's say somebody, let's say she, you know, for, for this case, let's say she shits on the floor in the bathroom in the company office. And then the boss brings everybody into the conference room the next day. And he says, we have a surprise. We're going to have a seminar about uh, bathroom cleanliness and bathroom hygiene. Well, Everybody knows why. It's because somebody shit on the floor. 
they're not going to say that. Maybe not necessarily. Not going to say in, in in writing like, "Hey, somebody's on the floor. We've got to talk about this." No, no, no. Because they're a little bit above that. So they're going to talk about, "Well, we just need to have a conversation about hygiene here because obviously it's bad." Yeah, yeah, true, exactly. So like everybody knows what this is. Everybody knows what's going on. Like it, it, it's so intellectually dishonest to claim otherwise. Okay, it's we're going to start by bringing up defendants 1245. Right. Hers. Uh, she is from on Twitter. She gave five and evidence. Thank uh, you, Your Honor. I got more to say. And this is an article that was in the Daily Mail. Okay. On 8 April 2020. We see that. And then, Michelle, if you can move that to the next page and Perfect. It says, Adam Waldman, Depp's lawyer, said afterwards, Amber Heard and her friends in the media use fake sexual violence allegations as both a sword and a shield, depending on their needs. They have selected some of her sexual violence hoax facts as the sword, inflicting them on the public and Mr. Depp. Do you see that? Yes, I do. Uh, is this a true or a false statement? True. False. True. And why is it false? Because you're lying. You don't have to use. And it's true. To to use what I've lived through and 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 what I've survived, calling it fake, saying that that I'm I'm harming Johnny with this. I'm harming the public with this. This is what I've lived through. And to, to say that it's a hoax, that these aren't even real things. Yeah. I, I, I mean. That's pretty much it. <laughs> after everything I've, Ego I've is being and attacked. survived. And also, I hadn't even spoken about she the sexual abuse within my marriage. I hadn't. I have been protected. What are we doing here? Why are we doing this shit? Why are we doing this shit? What is this? Does this happen to anybody else? Active of that. Oh, there we, we want go. to talk about that ever. Adam Walton. What the fuck? Woman was the one who put that out in the world. As remarkable as that is, I hadn't, I, I protected that. I had to go to another country to give testimony and thankfully they allowed me to do so with confidentiality and some protection. And then Johnny, through his lawyer, not only uses that against me, but says it's a hoax. Well, no shit. Well, obviously, you. that's what you now did. Now I'm going to ask if we can bring up, and it's going to be 1246A. I'm going to refresh right now. And I think I'm moving this into right. evidence and as well. No objections. Is this on me or on them? And this is an article that was it's on published okay. on the 28th of April, 2020. And Michelle, if we can, thank you. What is this? And this one says, Depp's lawyer, Adam Waldman, said, quite simply, this was an ambush, a okay. hoax. They set Mr. Depp up. Bro, this shit's crazy. Like, what is this? Like, why is it like By this? By calling the cops. But the first attempt okay, didn't here we do go. the trick, he told DailyMail.com. And let's keep going. Okay. This is a black ops cyber team to shut me down? Yeah, true. So Amber and her friends spilled a little wine and roughed the place up got their story straight under the direction of a lawyer and a publicist, and then placed a second call to 911. Do you see Damn, that? Damn, he's just yes, calling it out. False. Couldn't be more false. Holy shit. And why is that? <laughs> Every part of it is false. I, I didn't call 911. I didn't call the police. Yeah. I refused to cooperate with them to protect Johnny. I protected Johnny. No, you didn't. I you didn't did call them once the and I didn't call them you. twice. I didn't rough up the place. I cleaned up the place. I didn't even know the second cops were coming. 
If I wanted to get something from him, if I wanted to hoax Johnny, why wouldn't I cooperate with the police? Wouldn't I say something to the police? Wouldn't I do more damage to the house and, uh, than just knock over the things that you saw pictures of? It makes no sense. And to do it in online when there's no fact checking, there's no authorities, there's no one able to, you know, I can't respond, I can't, I can't fight this and use these sorts of media leaks and these comments to yeah. re-echo over and over and over again online with a network of people that are intent on helping Johnny through a sophisticated PR machine. Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay, over over speculation. I'll sustain the objection. Next okay. question. She mad. All right. And, and so what, in fact, uh, did you do that night? I cleaned up. I protected Johnny. Yeah. I refused to cooperate with the police like so many other people do. I tried really hard to keep it private even so after that, told even you when I was committed that. to filing for a divorce. Because that's what he said to after. I tried to protect Johnny. I tried to protect the history of what we had. I tried to protect him. Yeah. And did the opposite. And I didn't, I didn't even have a lawyer. I didn't call my publicist. I, I, I called my contract attorney to, to get me another lawyer who could give me advice on how to protect Johnny. Every bit of this was to protect Johnny and to protect the secret that I had fought really hard to keep. She's trying really so hard years. to protect him. Like, why? Just, that behind closed doors, things were not what it looked like. Let's see if this is using a lot okay. of memory. Michelle, can you take this one down and go to defendants 12? I might have to close this a minute and see if I can fix it that way. All right. I know there's no objection. 1247 in evidence. Wait. Oh, I got the task manager out. It got afraid Remember, and started this working. This is another daily a mail online, yep. and this is published on. Yeah, see, it, it's not that shit happened. It's, it's like, wait up. I'm not. I'm, I don't mean to do that. I'm not trying to make me. And then if we can go okay. further. And this one says. Depp's attorney, Adam Waldman, said, we have reached the beginning of the end of Ms. Hurd's abuse hoax true. against Johnny Depp. True. Is this true or false? True. False. Nope, true. And why is it false? Because, unfortunately... Because it's not going to end. We're going to keep doing real. it. And what I mentioned earlier about how preposterous it would have to be for this to be this elaborate hoax, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't fathom one day that that would actually be legitimately the position that he, through a lawyer, would take, albeit online, where he could get away with it for some objection. time. Objection calls for but speculation. Sustain the objection. Right. She's and, and mad about why, those comments online. So she does not like them. Because Johnny and I lived this. We lived through this. I lived through this, and I narrowly survived it. But I survived Just it. Just barely. And uh, you Just know, I have fucking barely Ooh. mountains of evidence, mountains of proof, and yet it 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 wasn't it, it won't be good enough for people who are seeking to make money off of Johnny's success. Objection, Your Honor. Yep. Calls for uh, speculation. No, sustain the objection. That's fine. Okay. So survive the Elden Ward exactly. The damages that you've suffered as a result of these statements by Mr. Waldman on Mr. Depp's behalf. Please tell the jury how you were doing reputation. Objection. That's, that's a legal conclusion, Your Honor. I'm, I'm sorry. We move to strike counsel's testimony. Come forward. Oh, here we go. All right. They're going to have to go into this shit. Well, here's the thing, right? Is like uh, to show Rihanna photo. I'm not going to show the Rihanna photo. Like, you guys can look it up. If you guys want to see the Rihanna photo, look up Rihanna after she got beat the fuck out of her with Chris Brown. Like, you're going to see somebody that actually uh, had to endure domestic abuse. Someone that actually barely survived. Like, that's the thing. Is like, uh, it, it's just not striping record. Yeah. YouTube's lagging. Yeah, yeah. YouTube's lagging. Uh, from the record, we'll disregard that question. I don't know why right. that's happening. Your next question. What was your understanding of on whose go, behalf Mr. Waldman was making those three statements? Objection, lack of foundation, calls for speculation. If you want to approach again, that's not what we Here we go. Yep. 
And like you can tell she's like whenever she really gets like emotional and upset, it's whenever she talks about the influence that it's like people talking about it about her. I, I feel like she she put that article out after Aquaman came out uh, so she could kind of clear her name and hopefully start over. That that's what that's so my opinion. We'll move forward to my other question here. How were you please tell the jury how were you doing reputationally before these three statements were made? beginning april 2020 april 8 was the yeah. first of them objection your honor i'm going to object on lack of foundation she can talk about her reputation uh, overruled all that it took uh, hard work uh, it, mm -hmm. it you know it took a lot of hard work um on my part but i was able to work get my life back on track um i was taking care yeah. of my you know, myself emotionally, uh, my career was working really hard. I was able to star in a major success. Um, I worked on a TV series that I had been attached to for a very long time. I became uh, an ambassador for several nonprofits that I deeply care about. Uh, I was doing a lot of really, you know, it felt really good to be, be doing the social work and the charity work yeah. that I was doing. And I was also filming and working do and you, planning on- Do you guys want uh, me to restart? I was awaiting a, a schedule from- Do you guys uh, want me to Warner restart Brothers or what? For Aquaman 2, the sequel. Um, and I had wrapped on that TV series- Because I heard it was everybody else. I was waiting to start doing publicity Yeah, bad it. lag. They're saying it's lag. And There's I lag with the oh, It's uh, not me. Uh, a, yeah, the chat saying it's not me. Campaign uh, as a spokesperson for a, a major beauty brand. So things were, you know, okay. The trajectory yep. was was positive. So how how did things change after these statements were made? I remember around the time. Um, uh, uh, unfortunately, I lost my mother uh, around. The, I mean, on the first of April. And I remember it was uh, when I was grieving her that I uh, yeah. got a, a call that I w should be expecting a script uh, for my role in Aquaman. Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. It's not offered to prove the truth. Of the no, matter. Overruled. Go ahead. Um, so I was waiting. I was waiting a schedule uh, and a script for that. Feeling concerned that you know I wouldn't have enough time to to grieve before having to get back into work. I had a pre press schedule to promote the TV series I was yeah, doing. Yeah, would suck. And uh, I was uh, shooting things for this uh, beauty brand. And then... Uh, no, I can I, understand that, absolutely. I, I, I remember yeah. at that time, um, the beauty brand uh, had to suspend posting what I had what, what I just shot for them because uh, they were getting bombarded. Uh, Objection, Your Honor, this is hearsay. I'll sustain the objection. Okay. I, I would assume right. that so they, it's true. They said no, I mean they suspended what I had shot. Objection, and... Your Honor. Were you were you actively involved in campaigns for L'Oreal before these articles? I was. Were you actively involved in campaigns with L'Oreal after these articles? No. Were you with the stand? You were talking about the TV series. That was the stand, correct? Yes, the TV series that I had already completed. All right. Okay. And were you actively involved in publicity for the stand prior to these articles? Yes, I were was. You, were you actively involved in the publicity after these articles? No. The shoots were canceled. Things okay. were canceled. So that was uh, it. That was done. With respect to Aquaman 1, uh, Aquaman 2. Aquaman 2. You'd already starred in Aquaman 1, right? Just so we're, and they called it Aquaman at that time, but now there's an Aquaman 2, just right for. That's correct. Okay. So were you actively scheduling, uh, timing for filming and scripts for Aquaman 2 before these articles? Yes, I was. Were you actively scheduling after these articles? No. The, the communications stopped. Um, at that point. All right. I'm going to, uh, Michelle, can you bring up Defendant's Exhibit 1258? Yeah, so that was it. That was done. They were done about that. Yeah, exactly. The petition worked. Yeah. I'm going to show you what has been. I hope they're able to fix it. As 
Defendants Exhibit 1258 I'd hate to see everybody that worked September on the movie lose money just because of her. Do you recognize you know? this document? No, it sucks. Yes. Okay, what is it? It is uh, the Justice League. Aquaman contract. Okay, Your Honor, I'm going to move the admission of Defendant's Exhibit 1258. Any objection? Uh, yes, Your Honor. May we approach? Oh, sure. Okay. Yep. Here we go. She's only in it for supposedly for like 10 minutes. Yeah, it, it's like that's whatever. It is what it is. Uh, they just do reshoots. Uh, they can remove her if need be. I, I, I think that's fine, right? I just, as I said before, it just sucks. Like, because... Like, I thought Aquaman 1 was a good movie. I, I did. I actually thought it was a good movie. And uh, it, it would suck to see, like, all the people, not just the actors, right? But you got to remember, like, there's people that fucking, you know, they they uh, they, they run, like, the, the, the set. They, they, like, deal with costumes, makeup, and, like, sound, and all of this shit, right? It's like all of those people all get fucked because of her, you know? Like, that. that's disappointing, man. It is. Yeah, it, it's fucking disappointing. Uh, you did it for Grindelwald so they can do it for Mara? I mean, that's actually true, though. I mean, yeah, you're right about that, for sure. All right, let's see here. Let's see here, and uh, what's this here? Uh, one second. Uh, Aquaman was terrible. Well, I don't know. They get paid. Yeah, I just hope they do. Did you watch the movie after the head bruising incident you referred to earlier? Uh... I, I don't I don't know actually I have no idea whenever the movie came out but yeah I, I thought Aquaman 1 was was good I, I did I I, th I thought the movie was good yeah I mean sure union contracts are robust that's a good point she's out of Aquaman 2 I think she's like only in it people say for like five or ten minutes I'm not really sure yet when's cross examination I'm not I don't know Oh, what's really terrible about the case is Amber really has a point. Uh, she get punished for talking about the abuse. The trial and their general craziness will put a taint on women doing the same and make it even harder for abuse victims. Well, yeah, I, I, obviously so. I mean, it, it's like, the thing is, whenever, like, for example, like, whenever Rihanna came out about the thing for Chris Brown, nobody was getting mad at Rihanna. You, you know what I mean? Like, nobody's getting mad at her. So, uh, Amber, can you explain to me how that the contract structure was for Justice League okay, here we and go. options. Just explain to the jury, please. It's um, structured like a, a three-picture option. You, I signed on to uh, do Justice League, where my character was introduced. Um, the fee is, you know, small relative to what it will become if and when you do the other options or movies in that um, under that umbrella. Okay. So it was the contract for Justice League, which could then become Justice League 2, or it could be Aquaman, or it could be some other right. uh, movie within the DC universe. Uh, and uh, the second picture ended up being Aquaman. Okay. Uh, and then the third picture, Aquaman 2. Each Makes time it, it, the fee goes up. but Objection, Your Honor. This is calls for speculation, lack of foundation. Overruled out loud. As far as the contract is concerned, that's what the contract says. DLC, right. Aquaman and 2. And if we go to uh, page 6. I don't six. give a fuck about uh, Justice League 2, unless it's the Zack Snyder one. So what was your fee going to be uh, for Aquaman? And what was it for Aquaman? It made $10 million. Uh, $1 million. Okay, and then was there also oh, like was some office bonuses, opportunities? Yes, I believe. Okay. Yes, there are okay. box office bonuses. Uh, if it makes a certain amount in the box office, you um, you get a uh, a bonus. Okay, and it that's says not that much. Number two, uh, at the time you entered into the contract and and uh, with uh, on Justice League, did they know what what the picture would mm -hmm. be? No, as I mentioned before, when you do the contract, objection calls for speculation. All right, I'll sustain that objection. Okay, so ultimately, what was picture number two? Aquaman. All right. This is Justice and League then, and Aquaman. Uh, I get that. What was it for picture number three? It hadn't happened. The Aquaman, Aquaman two. two. Yeah. Okay, and what was the fee under the option agreement at that time? Two million. Okay. Um, now, did you have contracts with L'Oreal? Yes, I did. Okay. Okay, and. 
Can you just describe for the jury what was involved with L'Oreal? You talked about being involved in campaigns and then not. Just just explain that to them if you can. All right, let's as see. As a spokesperson, her. I'm just involved with the brand as a representative and uh, a certain amount of commitment you have to do throughout the year um, on social media and on red carpets promoting various products mm -hmm. or... Um, you know, causes they're advancing. Generally, it's just like a brand ambassadorship. It's a hashtag okay. ad. And did you, um, well, let's go, let's pull up 1262. And this is dated as of April 25, 2018, correct? That's correct. Wait, was that your first contract with L'Oreal? I believe so, yes. Okay. Okay. How much did and she get? Did, was that for a term, a specific term? Yes, it was. Okay. Was it for two years? Yes, it says two-year contract, and that okay. sounds right. Okay. How much? Right. How much? And I want to know. I'm going to ask you to turn to twelve sixty-four. How many money? And that's April twenty, twenty twenty. And what, if anything, did L'Oreal do with regard to extending your contract then? They extended it. Um, they chose to extend it with the option to kind of. All right. And did they extend it just an additional three months? Okay. Uh, that... If you look at paragraph one. Let's see. Fifty million. I'm. I'm curious. I actually. I am. Yes, I'm curious. Did. Okay, and what, if any, work did you do for L'Oreal after these three statements were made? Uh, I have only been able to participate in, I believe, one live event that they also couldn't promote or use the material from because of... Objection, Your Honor. Calls for speculation. Because of you. Okay. okay. Now let's go to 1265. Yeah. Because of why, I wonder. And this is, as of November 15, 2021, this is uh -huh. another extension with L'Oreal, correct? She was paid in defense. Yes, it is. And if you look at the second option term Spokes under paragraph one, depends. it's an extension of 20 months, is that correct? Oh my God. That is correct. Okay, and what, if any, work have you been able to do for L'Oreal since this, since this contract? As I stated, I, I believe I've only done one in-person event with them, and they couldn't use the material. Okay. Okay. Now, I, I, let's talk about the stand for well, a minute. Well, we don't get pirates. Can't compare that. Yeah. And this is dated July 3, 2019. Okay, here we uh, go. And I believe you indicated that you had already filmed it by the time these statements were made in April and June of 2020. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. And what, if any, marketing opportunities were you participating in prior to those articles? Uh, we had um, appearances, talk show, um, press, the normal kind of group cast press junket, uh, promotional material, Commercial photo shoot. Diapers. Oh, no. um, and I was, uh, I had um, various publicity engagements lined up, like magazine, a magazine cover, um, that that sort of thing, to promote the film. I mean, to promote the series. And what, if anything, were you able to do with marketing opportunities after the three articles were published? Uh, none. None. What if any uh, covers were you on after that for the stand? They pulled the offer for that, so okay. none. Okay. And while while we're on this uh, agreement, if you look at the second page, how much were you paid for the stand? It's at six uh, C. Two hundred thousand. Oh, two hundred thousand an episode. Okay. Now let's That's pull it? up Defendant's Exhibit 1266. That's it? Have you been able to get any work since that time? I have done uh, one small independent film. Okay, and tell okay. the jury what that is. Uh, I shot a film in uh, Guatemala. It's a small independent. 
uh, meaning it doesn't have distribution or, you know, yeah, it doesn't have distribution or anything. It's a lower budget film that I've been attached to for many years called Into the Fire. Okay. And okay. Uh, 1266 has as of January 13, 2022. Do you see that? Yes. Okay. When did you actually film for this in Guatemala? Uh, March. Uh, I believe it was March of this year. Okay. And do you recall what your compensation was for that? Oh. I don't off the top of my head. I'm if you sorry. can look at ALH one seven six two. Okay, here we go. I want to know. It's paragraph six A. Yeah. Oh, uh, sixty-five thousand. Okay. And have you participated in Aquaman two? That's not a lot. I have. And tell us about that. That is not a lot at all. Uh, I fell had to off. Fight yeah. To I fought really hard to stay in the movie. They, okay, here we go. Um, didn't want to include me in the film. Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. I'll sustain the objection. Okay. Fuck um, yeah, I'm going to see Aquaman did too. You ultimately, were you ultimately able to get to film in Aquaman 2? Uh-huh. A very pared down version of that role, yes. Okay. What, if anything, changed in the script? They took away uh, a lot of objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. I think she can lack of foundation. Like Overruled as the script. Yeah, yeah. I want. I want to know. I um, was given a script and then given new versions of the script uh, that had taken away scenes that Smart. the that that had action in it that had that depicted um, my character and uh, and another character uh, without giving any spoilers away you know they, they're two characters fighting with one another and uh-huh they they basically took a bunch out of my role they didn't yeah they just removed a bunch oh and what if any leverage did you have to negotiate a higher salary beyond the two million objection speculation uh, leverage is the objection. yeah what leverage is obviously speculation to negotiate a higher salary for your participation. Okay, yeah, there's a fight I in the movie, guys. It's spoiled. My contract. And why not? Objection. This calls for hearsay and speculation. Do you know why? <laughs> Still the same objections, Your Honor. I'll sustain the objection. Yeah, I can't believe that shit happened. They removed her character's violent um, acts. All right. Oh, I won't make that joke. Amber, I'm going to ask you to describe to this jury the emotional uh, impact it's on you. It's because they're paying her for acting. Uh, she wouldn't even need to act, so why would they pay her? That we have talked about these three counterclaim statements. Please describe how this has impacted you. Um, mm -hmm. These statements are used yep. over and over and over and over Here again we go. online to reverberate, re-echo, uh, and re-energize. Objection, Your Honor, this is not responsive. Lack of foundation. Yeah, and a little bit. Said, she gets to give her consent for it. Well, her emotional, the question was, what your emotional impact of these statements? Okay. Well, obviously upset the her. impact it has on me is every time I look at it, uh, which is every day. I am set back. I have to relive it. I have to, to ha have my, the worst, most painful things I've ever gone through, painful memories I've ever had, you write the the things article? I've narrowly survived at times, embarrassing, intimate details that I but you, never wanted but you wrote the article. to be known, never wanted to be public ever, and to have them used every single day to call me a liar. Yeah. I have to relive this every single day that I have to address those claims over and over and again. And what about him? Intimate, embarrassing, deeply humiliating and personal things that I've survived are used against me every day. Yep. Over and over again. It's torture. It's so, I'm in so much pain emotionally. 
I'm, I'm, I just wanted him to leave me alone. I wanted to move on with my life. And he won't let me. By making statements like this, he won't let me. I have to be move here on. today. I have to you be made the article. reliving it every single time. He, with these statements, with these, these, these leaks, these comments, once again, makes me have to speak to the most horrifying things I have lived through. It's torture. It's torturous. Why don't you have to do that? I want to move on with my life. I have a baby. I want to move on. I want to move on. I want Johnny to move on too. You want him to move on. on? You want him to clear your name? Thank you. That's not what no you want. Questions. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, it's probably a good time to go ahead and take our afternoon recess. Thank based God. On that. So okay. go ahead and uh, do not talk, discuss the case. And, Thank God. Uh, All right. Do any outside research. Okay. We'll see you in 15 minutes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Please, court is still in session. I need it to be quiet in the gallery. Thank you. She says, shut the fuck up. All right. All right. So she immediately stops crying. Yeah, obviously. Right. It, like, here's the thing, right? It's like, you've got. Well, I'm, I'm gonna mute this real quick. Like, you've got a lot of things. I gotta talk about this motherfucking bullshit, right? Uh, is that don't discuss the case with the judge? Yeah, exactly. So, like, here's the thing: is like she. This is what I think. This is what I think happened, right? And this is my opinion. This is, you know, I'm not. Uh, I don't really know. This is my opinion. I think that she had the uh, the movie coming out. She felt like she was getting a lot of clout out of the movie. And she thought that now would be the best time with her, uh, you know, her position in society being elevated because she just has a movie coming out that she could bring out an article and hopefully clear her name. Now, that's what I think happened. The idea that she had no. So, like, what's the uh, the phrase for um, like, I'm trying to remember, like, what this is like, the, the, like you have the it's not right of first refusal. Uh, it's something that you have to have that you can ask an editor for or ask any publication for that you get a chance to see the article before it's written in the exact way that it is written. Uh, I, I forgot exactly what it was meant, but uh, cross time, it's getting pretty close to that, right? The final cut, that's not what it's called, but uh, it, it's something like that. Uh, it's like first proof of read or something like that. So any normal person would usually have this if they're writing an article to make sure that it's not um, it, it's not basically editorialized or changed away from what they've written, right? That's basically what I'm trying to say. So she retweeted, and also, like, was this even a retweet to begin with? I don't even fucking know, because let me refresh this. Let's look at the tweet. Uh, where is it here? Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull it up. Uh, where is the tweet? I can't find it anywhere here. What is this? Why is it not working? Yeah, I, I I don't know exactly. So anyway, like, well, what I mean is like, we don't even know what it exactly was because like, I didn't see, let me, yeah, I'll just Google it. I think that's a good idea. Um, Amber heard tweets, uh, article. Okay. So let's just see right here. Images. Okay. Um, God damn it. How the fuck am I not able to find this? Like, it's not even here. That's so annoying, man. God fucking damn it. Okay, well, anyway. I should lose six million and go direct to us for inconveniencing us with this hearsay. True. Johnny Depp gets the cut of his finger cut off. He can buy a gold-plated surgical fingertip attachment with diamond encrusted bits. Yeah, I guess he can. And uh, let's see here. You have a Windows update? I hate doing Windows updates. The way I look at it is that if I do a Windows update, it can only get worse. That's always been my perspective on things. Uh, let, let's see if I can find it maybe a little bit farther into here. No, that's just bullshit. Well, anyway, I don't even know for sure if it was a retweet even to begin with, right? Like, that's what I'm really trying to get at is I, I don't even have any idea. So you look at this and you see, like, her making a tweet about this. Now, here's what I think happened, okay? Uh, I think what happened was that she made a uh, – she wrote the article, and I think that it was very evident and very clear – that she was referencing Johnny Depp in the article. She even says that whenever she's explaining what the context behind the article is. 
Isn't that weird? ACLU wrote it? No, she, they said that somebody else did the first draft of it, and then they didn't say anything else besides that. So that meant that she actually looked at it until, uh, until otherwise. And also, they asked if she confirmed it in text what the title was, which implies that what really happened is that it was done over the phone. Like, they kind of talked about it, and they came up with a, um, with a name that they both agreed on uh, in general, right? And so, is this it? Let me see if I can find this real quick. Real Ember Heard. Okay. So this is the. Um, okay, so this is the uh, this is the article right here that was written, and uh, so we actually found the tweet itself. Okay, well that's great. That makes things way fucking easier. Uh, thank you very much. My mods are gods. Today, I published this op-ed in the Washington Post. From college campuses to Congress, we are balancing the scales. So she did not retweet it. That's not even what happened. She just tweeted out that, like, she did this article. That's all there was to it. It's a link. Yeah, she just literally posted a link. And it even says right there, I, f I spoke up against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath. So... Whenever she made this tweet, it was December 19th. When did the uh, article come out? Let me go back and see when the article came out. Uh, it came out on December 18th. So if I remember right, so the article was published the next day. So I am assuming that this article came out uh, on 328. So the article was probably published on the 19th. So that means that she linked the article at the time that the title for it was incorrect. So you have to either assume that she did literally no fucking, uh, n uh, like no, what's the word for it? Uh, like no fact checking here. She didn't even look at the article that she was retweeting or not even, sorry, retweeting the article that she was posting and she just put it out there. She didn't even read the title, even though whenever you include the link, it will automatically fill in what the title for it is. So like, for example, if I want to make a tweet, it will automatically fill in what that tweet is going to be. Watch, I'll show you. So let's go ahead and uh, we're going to just do twitch.tv slash asmongold. Um, let's see here. And it automatically fills in. So as you can see, you can immediately know what it is before you even click the tweet button. It automatically fills it. So it, she's just full of, she's fucking lying. Yeah, she's, she's fucking lying. And it's been like this for years, by the way. Because in 2018, I was also still posting that my I was going live. Yes, it was like that in 2018, and I know it for a fact because I've always posted a link on Twitter that I'm going live, and it auto-filled every single time, even then. And it also does it on the mobile app. Let me show you right here. So we're going to go ahead and go on the mobile app, and uh, we're going to look at it. Um, Twitch.tv uh, slash Asmongold. And so uh, let's go look right here. So it automatically filled in, as you guys can see. It automatically fills it in. Uh, this is on mobile, and it's also on uh, uh, it, it's also on on the fucking computer. So facts hurt. Well, the thing is, like, it's just it's it just it's it's always what it's going to be, right? I mean, like, yeah, they, they just don't know. Where did they update the headline in the first paragraph? I don't know. I think that it probably snapshotted it, and that's why it didn't change. And also, like, um, this is this is the original title right and so like uh go on wayback machine i can't really deal with that I, i'm not sure how much is Depp's legal team paying me not enough i think that they should i think that's a much better idea so let's go back over here we're going to look at this uh at this other stuff right so i think any reasonable person because let's look at the five points of defamation and i i don't remember this exactly um, number one for defamation, and like obviously this is there's it, it it's not a, a certainty with this, but like this is generally what it is. Uh, number one is that you have to publish and say that something is untrue, right? So that's number one. Um, number two is that you have to publish it with malicious intent. I feel like it, it was very obvious that she was posting this to damage his reputation 
and to do it to where it would repair her reputation at the expense of his own. Do you see what I'm saying? And so that's number two. Um, number three, uh, fuck, I have to, somebody fucking, I, I've got to leak it up and, and see for myself, right? Uh, I think those are the, it's basically the main two, right? It's like, it has to be, it has to be malicious, it has to be untrue. Oh, they have to be able to prove a loss because of it, right? So it has to have caused tangible impact. And also another one, I remember this now, uh, is that it had to actually be about that person. So like Amber Heard saying, oh, it wasn't about Johnny Depp. I think she's only saying that because she's able to, because that's part of defamation. Is she can claim, oh, it wasn't about you, but it very clearly is because she uses him as an example when referencing each paragraph of the article and how it relates to her. So it was very obvious that it was about Johnny Depp. Like everybody knows this, that's all there is to it. And, and on top of that, difficult to prove these. Yeah, exactly. Would you post that link? Uh, as a public person, would you post that link without reading it, saying it's yours and saying I agree with everything under that link, I rest my case? I would not. Uh, I don't think hardly anybody would. Now, is this an honest mistake? Um, maybe it is, but I think that she read the article, and obviously she had some form of impact on this article. It's not like it was written and then just put out in her name, because if she didn't have any impact on it, she probably wouldn't have framed it on her wall because she didn't even do it, so there'd be no sense of personal accomplishment for writing the article in the first place. So I think by the nature of her saying that she put the printed uh, version of it on, the, uh, on her wall, it would imply that she actually did have a direct relationship with this article and it was not like a ghostwriter situation. Now, obviously, this is a little bit of assumptions here, but I don't think that I'm wrong. No, I don't think so at all. And uh, she framed it. Yes, she framed it, and she's framing herself in doing so. So uh, she tweeted the Twitter for Wii U where she links behave differently, so your argument does not hold. She tweeted from Twitter for Wii U. <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right about that. Uh, I, I don't know. Print version on her wall, online version on her Twitter wall. Yeah, exactly. She could be that delusional, though. You are right about that. Uh, this trial can set a new precedent for the term defamation. And there's that, too, right? I mean, like, these rules are not always set in stone. And so it's, uh, I, I think that a lot of cases in this, in this whole case and everything, I, I feel like the biggest thing that you can tell many times is that whenever she starts to feel like her ego or her position socially is at risk or uh, diminished, that's the main time that she gets emotional. Like that, that's whenever she's really getting emotional about things. Like that's the, that's whenever it really happens. It, it's not even really during some of the abuse stuff or anything like that. It, it's whenever her ego is at risk. And I think that's clearly why she posted this article is that she thought that she'd be able to, uh, to get out from under this because she had this movie coming out, etc. But yeah, I think clearly what happened was that the article was posted uh, and then it was posted online and then the day after it was posted in print with a different title. So the title was clearly changed uh, to, I'm assuming, because the the uh, the, uh, the magazine or the, the newspaper didn't want to be implicated in a defamation lawsuit that they didn't really understand fully. So I think that makes perfect sense. What was the print title? Uh, the print title, I honestly don't remember what the print title was. I'd have to look and see for myself. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, go on the internet and check on what histronic personality disorder is. I, I'm not sure. If accountability truly didn't belong to her, why isn't she suing Washington Post? Uh, that's a really good point. That's actually a really, really good point. Yeah, because like they, they misrepresented her. That that actually that's a very good point. Because like yeah, uh, basically what they did is they put her in a position, and, and they yeah they made her look bad. You know, defamation's hard to pull off. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, I think so for sure. But like, you guys see what I'm saying? Is like, you write an article like that, and there's no way it's not going to be about Johnny Depp. Like, everybody knows it. You know it. I know it. Everybody knows it. That's why Elon bought Twitter. It's full circle. Yeah, I guess so. I, I think it's kind of funny that like, Elon in general, like, it's the same with Johnny Depp. Like, almost everything that like, all the exposed logs and everything like that, actually just make them look like good guys. That's what I find to be kind of ironic about all this. It's like she literally ghosted Elon and he still said that he'd have security hired for her because he was worried about her safety. He's being a nice guy. Mm. Elon got played hard though. Not really. 
he just got in a relationship with a crazy bitch and it turned out she was crazy and he moved on. That's the way it goes. Sometimes you, uh, sometimes you have that happen. Uh, that's all there is to it. Yeah, it, it's, you know, he, he met her somewhere. She's really hot. He's like, all right, this is great. And then he gets to know her better and it turns out she's crazy. He's like, wait up, hold up, wait a minute, I'm done. I think that seems pretty fucking fair. Like, that's the way it goes. Yeah, you want to chat. I feel like anybody that thinks that he's fucking stupid should look at this, right? You think he's dumb. Elon Musk is dumb. At least he fucking figured this shit out. Yeah, he got the hell out of there. That's a, yeah, good idea, Rocket Man. There he goes. This is good. Two years ago, I became a public figure representing domestic abuse right after the divorce. How does this not apply Johnny Depp? Exactly. Johnny Depp's account is banned on Twitter. Well, who knows why? I mean, it could be somebody impersonating him. I have no idea. Also, with public figures, the burden of proof falls on the public figure uh, themselves in defamation. Yeah, and here's the thing. And uh, watch a minute and a half video. I tagged you on on Twitter. Okay, I'll, I'll look at a few of these videos on Twitter. Sorry, I know a lot of people are trying to send me stuff, but... um. Uh, I just want to make sure what this is. Okay. Let me go back and, and double check on this one here. And what is this? Uh, how much time do I have here? Uh, two minutes. Okay. Never saw this version of the title with the Washington Post op-ed until the litigation, but she retweeted a quoted tweet with the title of the op-ed. Huh. Yep, there it is. I mean, it's it's literally right fucking there. Like, I don't know what else to say. It's it's just, it's right there in front of you. I mean, I, how can you possibly deny this? Uh, let me go back over, and I'm going to look at the rest of these here and just make sure that I didn't miss anything else. Uh, let's see here. Uh, High-quality video. Is here what's being said. Just give me a second. Uh, what's this? Okay. Yeah, it's just... Th this whole thing is just fucking ridiculous. Fucking clown. Yeah, I know. Like, it's really worrying to see this happen. But, I mean, the thing is, w what I find to be funny is, like, she always talks about the damage that it has to hi to her reputation. But, like, what about the damage that it has to his? Like, she's not even thinking about him and, like, her coming out and saying all of this stuff and how it would affect him. Me poo? Yeah, <laughs> there you go, dude. There you fucking go. So, like, that's what I mean. Can a truthful statement be defamation? I assume that it could be in certain uh, extreme circumstances, like as if it was completely misrepresented in a way that it was intentionally misleading. Uh, but I think this is like a 1% situation and the 99% are whenever it's just a false statement. Uh, that's what I'm kind of assuming. And so, yeah, sure. Don't worry, the American justice system will never fail us. Well, I know the American justice system isn't perfect, but there are very few, few things in the world that are. I mean, that's just the truth. Uh, she could have just gotten a divorce, and uh, what's this here? Uh, and taken millions from divorce settlements, but instead she turned it in all this shit. Well, I think the reason why is that she wasn't coming out ahead in the eyes of the public. And I think that's what really matters the most to her, is that she looks good in the eyes of the public. Uh, just got word, cross-examination is supposedly next. Just got word, what, from who, Johnny? Did he, did he message you? Yeah, we'll see what happens, okay? Uh, I'm, I'm waiting, and I'm ready to see it. And if it does happen, I'll be, uh, I'll be excited. But uh, I don't know yet. I guess we'll find out very, very soon. Defamation or defecation? She used the divorce money for publicity to pay the pledge donation. She also fabricated evidence with her own recordings, saying that she didn't care about the money from the divorce. Well, it's obvious that she did. I mean, like, let's be real. No idea who this was. Any publicity is good publicity? Absolutely not. Uh, the idea that any publicity is good publicity is something that's spoken only from someone who has never gotten bad publicity. Like, that's just, yeah, it's just simply not true. Uh, like, do you think this is good for her? Absolutely not. People are going to hate her forever for this. Uh, yeah, I mean, all of that. Bill Cosby, yeah, was that, was that good for Bill Cosby? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, many, many other people. O yeah, O.J. Simpson. Many of these. Yeah, it's the dumbest quote. The reason why people make a quote like that is it's something that sounds like, you know, pessimistic, but it's true, you know, and people always love harsh truths. So it gets repeated a lot. Uh, is this the last trial? I think this is it. Well, it's not it today, but I think this is the last one. I don't know if they're going to have another one. I was quoting Devin Nash. Well, there's a lot of people that say that. Uh, I think that it's very obvious that many, many types of publicity are absolutely bad publicity. Goodbye, Aquaman. Well, it's sad that we're going to lose Aquaman because of this, but I think they'll probably just go back and, um, 
you know, or maybe recast somebody else. Like other people have been recast in movies before. Like they recast Dumbledore in Harry Potter. Uh, they recast uh, Dario Naharis in uh, Game of Thrones. And, and yeah, it was a little bit awkward for a couple of episodes, etc. And, and they re recast Grindelwald, right? Now it's, it's, uh, it's being played by somebody else. So uh, I don't think Spartacus. Yeah, I think so. Spartacus is another one. So it's not impossible for it to happen. Chris Brown still has a career. I am astonished by that every single day. I am. And you're right. But I don't think he has a career because people started talking about him beating the shit out of Rihanna. I would argue that he doesn't have a career. He would have a bigger career if that didn't happen. Okay, here we go. Let's see it. Oh, they're, they're not even back and they're already walking up there. You can't recast Jack Sparrow, though. The thing is, like, we've had so many Pirates of the Caribbean movies. I feel like we've kind of fleshed out the character of Jack Sparrow. It's enough, right? Like, it's okay. Like, move on. Let's do something else now. Uh, you, you, like, yeah, true. Like, it's, I feel like it's a good character, and it's been fully fleshed out. The story is over. I think a lot of people always have a... Um, uh, they have a, a, a propensity or they have a, a, a want to just keep going with things. It, it's people like Bloodborne 2. Uh, we don't need a Bloodborne 2. Bloodborne 1 was enough. That's it. Story began and it ended. That was it. Uh, I, I don't think we need... There's not... not every, Everything... There are some things that deserve to not have a sequel. Uh, in, in the best kind of way. Bloodborne cart. Yeah, exactly. And uh, what's this here? Arthas, weren't they going to do a good story for him? I don't know. He got turned into anima. It's not going to happen. And uh, Johnny has 22 million reasons to disagree with you. Oh, no, I, I think so. But I, I here's the thing is like it, it's my personal opinion. All I'm saying is that I think that he's going to reprise better roles in the future. And I think that it, there's no real reason to worry about losing Captain Jack Sparrow because we've had a million episodes of, of him, right? Let's let's see let's see what's going to happen and what's going to be new after that. That's all I'm really trying to say. It, it's not like uh, it, you know, I, I think it's bad. Your ban was your first viewer boost, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, I got banned. Uh, I got banned, and then I got a lot of viewers after that. But it was also because I changed times. Uh, like I was streaming in the middle of the night, and then I started streaming in the early morning. And I think it was a confluence of events between those two things. So it wasn't just one thing. It wasn't just the other thing. It was like kind of like both things put together. Uh, it's Fast and Furious movies. They need to stop. Yeah, exactly. Fast and Furious is a good example. It's known as Man with a Thousand Faces. I think he'll have more great roles. Exactly. So, yeah, I mean, that, I, and I think that does happen, right? It's like people get banned on Twitch, and uh, then they get unbanned, and they are more popular. I, I think that's more true on Twitch, because people usually get banned for things that nobody gives a fuck about. Like, oh, wow, ST Peach showed too much of her ass in, like, uh, in a clip, right? This happened, she gets suspended for that. Yeah, I think that's going to probably increase the viewership, right? Um, let's say, uh, who else has gotten suspended for, for stupid things like this? Somebody gets suspended, like Forzen gets suspended for the horse stick thing. That's just a meme. Nobody really cares about that. Uh, I think that good publicity is, uh, like, just because a platform or, like, a group of people deems what you're doing is bad, it, it, that doesn't mean that it's bad. Bloodborne, you enjoy a lot of my takes with Bloodborne 2. Uh, one is way, way too far, man. We need that shit for sure. Um, I, I would be fine if they did something that was like in the same universe, but I just don't think they should continue the story, if that makes sense. So yeah, there's degrees of bad. Yeah, yeah. And what I mean is like getting banned on Twitch for something stupid doesn't really matter because the public doesn't care about the Twitch TOS. Like, this doesn't matter to you. Like, oh, wow, somebody broke the rules, the imaginary rules on this website. Like, who gives a fuck? But if somebody actually did something really bad, then, yeah, I think that people would lose a lot of uh, a lot of their audience. Like, a good example for this is Arcadum. Uh, that's not the jury. Um, uh, yeah, it's like Arcadum. Arcadum is done. Yeah, like, he's not, like, people aren't going to make content like, uh, but yeah, it's like Carson. I don't know about Carson. Carson stopped making content, so it was a little bit different. And uh, I think there's other people too that have uh, you know publicity go on them, and then it actually is very harmful for them. 
uh, like Wings of Redemption? You know, do you guys think that all of the different videos or, or DSP, uh, for that matter, do you think all those videos uh, are, are in their benefit? Do you think those videos are helping them? No, I would argue that they're not. Athene, yeah, there's another one. Do you think everybody talking about how Athene is a cult leader and everything? Do you think this is helping Athene? Uh, I would argue that it's probably not helping Athene. Giant Waffle, I don't know how he's doing. I have no idea. So I, I can't really speak to that. Yeah, but like Lupo, for example. So like Dr. Lupo uh, goes into uh, Ninja's chat and he says, sit on my face. And he got hit with a seven-day suspension by Twitch. Dr. Lupo had that happen. And, uh, like, uh, of course that's going to be beneficial for him because nobody cares about that and everybody thinks it's stupid. So, like, yeah, it's, like, uh, people don't really respect a lot of the, uh, the rules that, like, these websites have. It's just all fucking bullshit anyway, right? Uh, Dr. Hooper said, fuck Twitch and depth. Well, it was, it, yeah, I think they did this in retaliation to that. Well, not in retaliation. The good old scam OG. Well, think about, like, think about, like, Josh OG would probably be way more popular if that never happened. Because th this is something that, that's going to follow him forever, and will he still be able to make a living? Yes. But I think that like a good example of this is that it it lowers the ceiling. It lowers the ceiling as, as, as how high can you go because people will eventually, like once you reach a larger and larger and larger audience, those people have more and more uh, demands on your personal behavior. So, like, you're going to have a good amount of people that don't give a shit about him being a scammer, right? Or whatever, or, you know, like one of these other people, whoever. Uh, they're not going to care. Like Method Josh, for example, right? He's like, Method Josh, if he came back and he streamed again, people would still watch him. Uh, even though he's a, a rapist who's talking to, like, uh, multiple underage girls, uh, people just don't give a shit, right? Like, that's the truth. Like, I'm just telling you, like, the honest to God fucking truth. And I think that's the truth. And uh, not sure about that? I am. I'm sure. Uh, I've seen this happen many times. And, uh, yeah, right, but yeah, yeah. And, uh, I, would his viewers be higher or lower? I think probably lower. And I think he would never, uh, he would never get to the point where he was like successful on like a massive level because of this, right? It's like something that keeps you, uh, like, for example, I, I've seen this used like in, in politics, like different things keep you out of like there's senators who have like, uh, uh, they have scandals that happen uh, that, you know, are I think it's it's referred to as like keeps them out of the White House. I think Ted Kennedy was one of these people. And uh, basically, you know, you can still do what you're going to do. You, It's not like your life is ruined, but you can only get so high. You can only go so high. And, and that's what I'm really saying. Yeah, disqualified. Yeah, that's what I mean. Senator Armstrong, we're going to play that game. Uh, yeah, we are. Look at Kevin Spacey. Yeah, Kevin Spacey. How, how'd that PR work out for him? Not too fucking well. Uh, how do you keep your originality versus people demanding standards of behavior? It's always a balancing act, isn't it? Nowadays, scandals get you into the White House. Yeah, it seems that way. Uh, it, just like some people say, I don't care what the singer dig, did, I uh, I only want to listen to his music. Yeah, exactly. Your Fedmeister's career. Well, the, the reason, like, here's the main reason why people like lose credibility and they lose uh they get canceled it's because they stop making content like for example i think every single time yeah artesian builds how'd that work out for them man everybody was talking about artesian weren't they like that was crazy like everybody's like, artesian artesian this artesian that man look at all that good public any publicity is good publicity oh i don't know about that eh, i don't know about that at all so, uh, Channel 5 guy in the audience? No, I didn't see that. Uh, is, uh, is Andrew there? If, if Andrew managed to get in there, that's fucking funny. Uh, no, I didn't see that at all. Uh, what's this here? Uh, didn't all the uh, people who accused Kevin Spacey die? I have no idea. But, like, all I'm really trying to get at is that people... No, it's not... Okay, it's just somebody that looks like him. Okay, great. Yeah, I see what you guys are doing. Has Johnny's team been able to question her yet? No, they have not. And I think everybody is waiting for that. Uh, yeah, that's what a lot of people are waiting for. 
uh, uh, didn't she lie about the first time something happened? Wasn't left a tattoo. I understand. So his first time during a wedding honeymoon. There are so many of these things. It's hard to keep track of all of them. Wonder what they're talking about. I don't know. They're probably talking about the fact that like they've just had her up on the stand asking questions uh, without any sort of confrontation for uh, maybe three days now. And like, when's this going to be over? That's one thing I'd be wondering. Absolutely. They're eating up time. Yeah, sure. Uh, Johnny's ready for that dub. It's unlikely that it'll happen. Um, do you think it's fucked up that a case like this gets so much coverage, but Gilslane Maxwell gets none? Uh, oh, the Jeffrey Epstein girl? Uh, no, of course not, because, like, nobody really, uh, people don't know who she is. Nobody gives a fuck about her. Like, it, it doesn't matter. Like, people know who Johnny Depp is. They know who Amber Heard is. So especially people know who Johnny Depp is. So people are more emotionally invested. With her, they don't care what happens with her. And I think also people just assume nobody's going to go to jail. Important. So why would it even matter? Yeah, so that's what it is. It's way more impact. Yeah, people are more emotionally invested. Uh, that's the reason why uh, it, it, was a, it was a federal case. It couldn't be televised. Yeah, it sounds stupid to me. Uh, didn't Amber Heard herself say the shit in the bed was a prank before and now it wasn't? Am I crazy? I think that she referred to it and she laughed about it with her friend, but I never watched the clip, so I couldn't verify that for myself. Mm. Uh, what's it, what's your take on the Buffalo mass shooting? That sounds like a bad time. Like, I mean, what do you want me to say? Like, I, I said this before, right? I guess I'll talk about this just for a second. Uh, is uh, like, what what what? It, yeah, what is there even to say about that? Guy's a piece of shit. I mean, the guy live streamed it. Yeah, of course he did. Like, uh, that's what these people want is that the, these losers want to get attention for what they're doing. Uh, they they want to get they want to be noticed for what they're doing. So it's like a bad time. Yeah, it does. It is. And uh, stop naming them. I, as I said, I made a tweet about this. I think we should have the mass shooters instead of naming them like the Zodiac killer and stuff like that. Name it like the um, like the, the balding gun guy. Or like just like the uh, the pussy ass school shooter or something like that. Like never actually give them a real name and always make the name that they have something that's an insult. Yeah, uh, yeah. It, it's just yeah the Twitch bit. Yeah the Twitch bitch. I love that. Yeah that's perfect. The dumb fuck. And uh, yeah, don't use their names or anything like that. Because people always bring out their manifestos and then discuss the merits of, of their manifestos and like how legitimate they are. I find this to be very annoying. And um, to be honest, there's a lot of crazy people that have crazy things to think. And, uh, you know, it's, it, it is what it is. Stop selling guns, stop the shootings. I, I, I mean, no shootings happen in other countries. I, I'm not going to get into the gun control stuff, right? Uh, I do find it to be very annoying that uh, people are implicating Twitch in this. As if it is Twitch's responsibility to proactively be able to stop a stream. Uh, I, I find that to be very frustrating. Uh, very annoying to see this. And uh, I hope that... Uh, I, I hope that... And also, people are mad. They're like, oh, Twitch should come out and say something about this. Like, no, they don't need to. Like, they, they don't need to say anything about it. Like, it's not their fault that somebody goes on their platform and uploads content onto it. It's not like Twitch let this happen. And to be fair, like, the guy had, like, 20 viewers, right, number one, and Twitch banned it immediately. Meanwhile, there's videos about this still up on Facebook. I think Twitch did an incredible job. And you guys know that I'm not, like, I, I, I don't go and say uh, Twitch did make a statement. They, oh, they have by now. Okay. Uh, watched the guy all yesterday and went down a rabbit hole. Dude's a piece of shit. Yeah, he is. And, uh, yeah, there's plenty of stuff. Twitch did a great job at handling that. Twitch deleted it in two minutes. They did good. Exactly, they, they did. Like, yeah, people are, are getting mad about that. I think it's so unfair. And, and so, yeah, it's just... For example, what you can do is call Amber Turd. Yeah, there you go. The broadcast was stops a few minutes after the shooting started. Uh, no one cares about the, the YouTube because they can't tell a shit till it's over. Yeah, I mean, I think so. Implicating anything other than a person committing the crime or influencing them to do the crime is a, is a joke. Well, I think obviously people get radicalized online like this happens. Uh, are, are shootings like this a reason to remove people's freedom of speech online? I would say no, they're not. 
Uh, I think that like this is a multifaceted problem and there's no real solution for it in general. Uh, I, I don't want to have, a, you know, I don't want to be protected. I, I don't want to have a, a group of people tell me what, what they want to protect me for. And I don't think that's going to help. Uh, two bags, thank you very much to the five gifted community subs. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Spent too much time on conspiracy websites, websites and it radicalized them. Well, I think also like there are people that are just prone to that and people that are not prone to that. Like, for example, there's a lot of people that are just simply not prone to that kind of stuff. And so it never happens. Uh, I think that's generally what it was. Just because someone pooped in a pool doesn't mean you can't have pools. Yeah, it's basically it. Sure. And uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you streamed. The important part is the action itself. Yeah, I just saw like I think the guy in New York, like the mayor or the governor there or something like that, said it was Twitch's responsibility for this. I thought that was so stupid. It was just so fucking stupid to try to do that. And I think also like you're going to have a lot of bad things like that happen. Um, you're going to have a lot of bad things like this happen just in general. And people always want to find a... Uh, uh, they, they want to find like an excuse like who they can blame it on and who they can say like oh well this person's at fault and if this person had done something right uh, then nothing bad would have happened but the truth is that in a lot of these cases I mean you know people that are pieces of shit uh, they exist out in the world and they do bad stuff and sometimes you can't always pr protect yourself and and be careful all the time and it, it's scary that that happens. Government's just government's just mad that he let it happen and wants to blame Twitch. Oh, I think he is mad that he let it happen because they did let it happen. The guy was picked up on the uh, like the FBI found this clown over a year ago, and uh, guess what? They didn't do anything about it. Now I also thought it was really fucking annoying whenever I made a tweet about this because I said that he was a racist, and then people told me that it wasn't sure. They weren't sure. Well, we don't know if he's a racist or not. Well, he literally has the N-word with the hard R painted on the front of his gun. I mean... I, I don't know. I mean, that... Like, that, that kind of... That... That kind of wraps it up for me. Uh, it, it does. It wraps it up. Like, that, that... There it is. It's done. Seems pretty cut and dry. Yeah, that was an easy one. But, uh, you like Tupac? Who doesn't like Tupac? Yeah, come on, man. Uh, the FBI was uh, most likely into Discord with him. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Tire Manifest was love for racism and nationalism. And he did not shoot the white guy. Well, he, I think he did shoot two white people, to be honest with you. Yeah, uh, I think he did. But uh, my understanding was that he went to the uh, that place in Buffalo because there were a lot of black people there. Like, just straight up. That's what he did. So, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, he did two white women. Yeah. Uh, I, but, like... The majority of them should spared the cashier. Maybe he did. It was manipulated by the feds. That's a possibility. Uh, it is. I, I don't know if that's true or not. But I think that a lot of people try to ascribe some greater control over things. This is like my own personal opinion. So people could disagree with this. But this is, uh, I think this is a manifestation of how people think. Is that people are always looking. And this is why people like conspiracy theories. Is that conspiracy theories order the world in a way that is un it's it's unorderable there are sometimes many cases i see him now uh that's not him by the way there are there are many cases whenever crazy terrible horrible things happen and there is no grand illuminati at play there is nothing that really is causing this on a grand scale this wasn't you know like some evil thing set into motion by the government uh this was just simply something bad that happened and that's it and i think people don't like to admit and acknowledge things like that because it gives them a sense of powerlessness that how can we possibly stop something that we just can't even know is real uh, until it happens i think that's what happens a lot uh that that's that's my opinion i don't know like what do you guys think you guys agree with that or not yeah you talk for so long yeah well so can i so it's fine don't worry about it corruption is far less organized than people think well, you don't need corruption whenever uh, interests converge. That's what George Carlin said. I agree with that. And the Earth, what's this here? Earth being flat's not a bad thing happening. It's out there in the open and no one acknowledges it. Yeah, true. You tear down echo chambers for one. Um, I think you're never going to be able to tear down echo chambers. And also, like, do you have the right to tear down somebody else's echo chamber? I don't think that you do. I personally do not think that you have the right to tear down somebody else's echo chamber. And I think that as soon as you, like, as soon as you, you start getting into the mindset of doing that, 
the way that that would be done is so obviously an, uh, like an, an affront to people's privacy, it's ridiculous. Yeah, people are allowed to be fucking stupid. Terrorist cells? Well, I think there's a big difference between somebody an ISIS cell and a bunch of dumb people thinking that the Earth is flat. Like, I don't know, guys. I feel like these are two different things. I think one is a lot worse than the other. And, uh, that's just what makes sense. Yeah, it's crazy. And, uh, what, do you let them build the churches? They can have their echo chambers? Exactly. Yeah, sure. You have one minute delay. It should be fine. They're about to be done, it seems, because he's just, like, his, you know, his body language is indicating he's about to walk away. So, uh, we'll see what happens. And, uh, discusses, uh, the guys from ISIS. Yeah, it's like the same thing as, oh, who gives a fuck? Let's talk about it. Here we go. All right. I'll we'll talk about more about the shooting maybe after this, but I want I want to watch this. Okay, here we go. Please do cross exam. I think it's going to be coming up real quick, real quick. All righty, boys. She's dressed like sci-fi villain. Yep, we know. All right. Thank you. Oh, we know. All right, be seated. Cross examination. Good afternoon, Miss Hurd. Oh, here we go. All right. Mr. Depp hasn't looked at you once this entire trial, has he? Not that I've noticed. No. Oh. You've looked at him, though, many times, haven't you? Yes, I have. You know exactly why Mr. Depp won't look back at you, don't you? I do. He doesn't look at liars. He promised you he would never, you would never see his eyes again. Isn't that true? I don't recall if he said that. One of the last times you ever saw Mr. Depp was when you met oh him Oh my God, she's going July, straight for the throat. Right? That was the second to last time I saw him, yes. And this was after you had publicly accused him of domestic violence. I got my restraining order before that, yes. Mm -hmm. And this is after you had obtained the domestic violence restraining order against him. That's correct. Let's please play Plaintiff's Exhibit 1229. Oh my um, God. She's just going in on her. Holy shit. I'm going to ask that it be admitted into evidence. All right, here we go. 1229. Let's yes. see it. All right, one two two nine. You want to introduce? I'm fucking entirety? ready for yes, this. Please. Okay, one two two nine entered in its entirety. Go ahead and play your section. No. Oh no, a hug will save it all. All this, this, all this, everything. I just, everything wanted, we just, I, I just wanted to touch you. Just say, really, after all the shit you just said. I just wanted to give you a hug. I just yes, yes, me up, yes please, touch me. please stop me. Please stop. Please, I just wanted to say fucking nuts. No, because I'm nothing to you. And I will always be nothing to you. Come on. Come on. Please just No. No, it's always your fucking heart. No, we'll never see each other again. Yes. We on the neck don't take my fucking glasses off. Yes. You know, like fucking looking at not my fucking eyes, you will not see my eyes again. That's you and Mr. Depp in that recording. Damn. It is. He had enough and of that shit. When you and Mr. Depp met in San Francisco in July of 2016, right? Yes, that's what it sounds like. That was yeah in the hotel we met once after that as well this is after you publicly accused him of domestic abuse uh, yes and got my tro yeah. and he tells you you will not see my eyes again doesn't he uh yes he does in that recording and he kept that promise hasn't he as far as i know he cannot look at me he won't look at you right miss heard he can't 
<laughs> He's like, yeah. One of the first questions yeah, the council sure. asked you on direct is, why are you here? Do you remember that? I do. Damn. Let's display plaintiff exhibit 357A, which is already in evidence, Your Honor. And for the record, it's 2122 through 2140. Like, he can't. Oh, my God. And see what the, see what the jury judge thinks. Tell the world, Johnny. Tell them, Johnny Depp. I, Johnny Depp, man, I, I'm a victim of domestic violence. And yes. I, you know, it's a fair fight. And see how many people believe or side with you. That's your voice on that recording, right? Yes, it is. Wow. And you were speaking with Mr. Depp? Yes. And you said to Mr. Depp, quote, you can tell, you can please tell people that it was a fair fight and see what the jury and the judge think. Tell the world, Johnny. Tell them, Johnny Depp, I, Johnny Depp, a man, a victim, too, of domestic violence. God and damn, that's, that's bro. Said, she's right? not pulling any punches. I'm saying it to the man who beat me up, yes. I thought it was preposterous. And the man you beat up. Numerous times. Right, Ms. Heard? I could never hurt Johnny. You're here in this courtroom because Mr. Depp finally told the world that he is a victim of domestic violence. I know that he is suing me. Um, yes. And has sued. Jesus Christ. Other people or corporations that have said that as well. You didn't think he would tell the world he was a victim of domestic violence, did you? I found it hard to believe that he could or that he would do that, considering the relationship he and I had. I, I thought it would oh, be crazy. Oh, I'm sure that's crazy why. For him to do so, knowing what Absolutely. I know we lived through. Or, as you said to him in that recording, who was going to believe that Johnny Depp, a man, is a victim of domestic violence, ah. right? <laughs> With all due respect, I wasn't saying it because he's a man. I was saying it because he was a man who beat me up for five years. Mr. Depp is your victim, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> and once he left you, you continued to abuse him publicly. Damn. By calling him an abuser, didn't you? He is an abuser, and... You can look either of us oh my online god and out who's being abused online we're gonna have <laughs> hours of this holy shit mr depp wears rings on every finger doesn't he miss heard that's my experience yes and they're not delicate rings are they uh, no they are not yeah every one of his fingers is adorned your words big chunky rings isn't that right uh-huh that's my experience of him and mr depp is always wearing rings right miss heard that's my experience of him. And you've never known him not to wear these rings. Uh, that's my experience, as he normally wore rings. Yeah. That's my experience. So Mr. Depp was wearing these big, chunky rings on every finger, every incident of abuse you've described to this jury, right? I can't say for certain it was in every single incident. But, but... you've never known him not to wear rings, right? In general, uh, oh, my experience in general. is that he, will, he wears rings almost all Almost time. all the time. Yes. Ms. Heard, do you recall giving testimony in a deposition in this matter in uh, January of this year? I do. Can we please play? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Day 2, 512, page 512, lines 11 through 15. Here we go, because you know what she's asking. He said he hit you, and he wear he he was wearing rings, right, Miss Heard? So he hit you with rings on every finger. I don't know if I've ever known Johnny to not wear rings. Yeah. <clears throat> ah, ah, there it is. Miss Heard, you testified to an incident in March of 2013 yep. where Mr. Depp hit you in the face multiple times. Do you recall that? That's correct. And you testified, quote. You don't know how many times he hit you in the face. That's correct. Yep. So Mr. Depp hit you in the face multiple times while he was wearing rings on this occasion, correct? Which occasion in March are you referencing? Oh you my God. The testimony Specific. that you gave. Jesus on day Christ. Of this trial, March of 2013. You weren't specific as to the day. There were several incidents. 
the one where he hit you several times in the face. Uh, there were, there were, so, um, sorry, just so I understand. Oh there, my there were God. several incidents in March. Which one are you asking me about? The time that he hit you several times in the face wearing rings. Well, he pretty in much March always. March of 2013. Right. What are you asking me? I'm sorry. He was wearing rings on that occasion. I pretty much always knew him to wear rings. Okay. Let's please pull up defendant's exhibit 170. A, is this going to be a picture? Evidence, Your Honor. There's no way. This is, is this going to be a picture? You testified that this is a picture you took after that incident, right, Mr. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yes, that was yep. the where he grabbed me. Uh huh. He hit you in the face so many times that you don't remember. Yep. Isn't that correct? That's correct. Let's see it. And there's no injuries to your face in this picture, are there? Not that this picture shows. How convenient. And there's no medical records reflecting that you sought treatment after this alleged incident wow. either. I did not seek medical treatment at this time. I so wonder no why. There's no medical records reflecting any injuries to your face after he, he hit you several times. I did not need to go to the doctor at the time. Despite hitting you several times that so you lost count with rings on, your on his fingers. You didn't need to That's go to the correct. doctor. I did not seek medical attention other than my therapist. Uh huh. You testified How to convenient. in March of 2013 13, where Mr. Depp hit you while he was wearing a lot of rings. Do you remember that testimony? Oh my God. Yes, ma'am. And you testified you felt like your lip went through your teeth and it got a little blood on the wall. Oh my yes. God. I remember that. There isn't a picture of you with injuries after that alleged incident, is there? I don't know if I've seen one. Um, I, ha I can't recall. There are a lot of pictures yeah you didn't produce any photographs after that alleged incident did you? i, I don't know if i took one or if it's included. i wonder why I'm not, I'm not quite sure which ones you didn't show any pictures to this jury after describing that alleged incident jesus that christ teeth your lip went into your teeth you don't remember that right I, you didn't I show any pictures to this jury after describing that incident right? oh my god i don't believe i've seen that picture admitted i wonder why maybe because it doesn't, doesn't exist, exist. I, I don't know which one you're talking about. There were Jesus we had pictures from March 2013. Yes. The only picture that you've produced and shown to the jury is the one that was just put up on the screen. Yep. Where you said he hit you multiple times in the face, and you appear to have the bruise on bruise your arm. On your arm, correct? Uh -huh. I believe this is the only picture that's in evidence right now. That's Qualifying the, only picture the you've statement. shown to the jury from March 2013, correct? I believe so. Because the only one that exists. You testified about an incident in Russia on or about Jesus June 26, 2013. Do you remember that? Uh, yes, that's correct. Oh, my you testified God. testified that Mr. Depp, quote, whacked you in the face. That's correct. And you went to the bathroom after that, right? I did. And then, according to your testimony, when you came out of the bathroom, Jerry Judge, Mr. Depp's security guard, who's passed away, pointed out that your nose was bleeding. Ah. Right? He did that in the hallway. And he gave you, you the tissue. You said you hadn't known that your nose was bleeding until Jerry Judge pointed it out to you? Yes, that's correct. I was unaware until he brought it up to me. I didn't see it when I was in the bathroom, but I wasn't looking. Uh huh. So, so it's your testimony that you went into the bathroom and didn't look in the mirror, which I assume was in the bathroom, to notice that your nose was bleeding? That's not why I went into the bathroom. <laughs> I went into the bathroom um, crying. I, I don't even know if I paid attention to the mirror. I certainly didn't. Of course to not. Any blood. And you didn't take any pictures of your bloody nose either, did you? I did not. But pictures were taken of you in Russia, though. Oh Isn't my that God! Yes, that, that's correct. That in was. Russia. Let's or see them. Dinner. Um, let's please pull up plaintiff's exhibit one two four eight. Oof. Here we go. Let's see the picture of her. Miss Heard, this is a this picture is... of you and Mr. Depp in Russia. She's getting her ass beat harder than Johnny correct. ever could. <laughs> this is awful. All right, no objection. One, two, four, eight in evidence. You can find it. Holy shit! And this is you and Mr. Depp in Russia for the Lone Ranger premiere, correct? It was a dinner function, I believe, for in promotion of. Wow, the movie. look at her nose. It wasn't the premiere, if I recall. You don't have any visible injuries to your face, do you? None that you can see. Nah. How convenient. Um, let's look at plaintiff's exhibit one, two, four, nine. Okay, let's see this one. 
Jesus Christ, this, this is, is a brutal. Of you, isn't it right? That's correct. I'm gonna move to exhibit. Admit. Exhibit. Objection. One, two, oh, three. yeah, here we go. Give you thanks for five subs. Ah, look at that. This is also a picture from when you were in Russia for the Lone Ranger premiere, right? Wow, that is correct. look at that. And you have no visible injuries to your face. Do Nothing you? at all. None that you can see. That's incredible. Even though Mr. Depp whacked you in the face so hard that your nose bled? Uh, he did. I can see that. While wearing chunky big rings, right? That's correct. Wow. The pause. You also testify that Mr. Depp, <laughs> again, walked you in the face after the Met Gala in May of 2014, right? Jesus that is correct. Christ. It's just, oh my you God. You testified that you thought he hit you so hard, he broke your nose. That's correct. But. You said your nose was, quote, swollen, discolored, red. That is correct. I took a picture of that. And here's the picture. You testified you took a picture of your face after this. Here we go. I did. But you didn't show that picture to the jury, did you? I would like to. But you didn't show it, did you? That's not up to me. We understand you were under an obligation ah. to produce all photographs after any alleged incidents of violence, right, Ms. Heard? I produced everything. You didn't produce any photographs after the Met Gala? I produced everything. You also understand that you're under an obligation to produce all medical records reflecting any injuries you allegedly sustained from Mr. Depp, correct? That's correct. And you haven't produced any pictures or any medical records reflecting a broken nose after the Met Gala in May of 2014, have you? I have given everything to my lawyers, everything. I've turned over literally everything that I have. Is it your testimony, Ms. Heard, that you sought medical treatment after Mr. Depp allegedly broke your nose after the Met Gala? Not after the Met Gala. I did not seek medical attention, no. You also attended an event after the Met Gala in May of 2014, didn't you? That is correct. Oh, my God. And you went to Bro. the all-star comedy tribute to Don Yeah, she's bringing her own lawyers. Yep. That was the next night after the Met Gala. That is correct. And there were pictures of you taken at this event. Yes. Let's see them. Pull, please pull up Plaintiff's oh. Exhibit 1252. Yep. Oh, we're going to see it. Oh, we're going to see it. Let's see it. Here we go. This is a picture of you, Miss Heard. Oh yes, my it is. God! At that event. Yes, it is. The night after the Met Gala. Yes, it is. The night after Mr. Depp allegedly broke your nose. Uh, I'm not sure if it was broken, for the record. But yeah, you should see what it looked like underneath the makeup. Okay, he let's see so what it looks like with the makeup you on. Thought you had broken your nose. Exactly. Right. Um, permission to admit this photograph. All right, one, two, five, two. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here we go. Wow. Look this is at a that. Of you, Mr. Depp, and Don Rickles, right? That is correct. Damn. Let's please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 1253. Look two, at five, that. Three. Ooh, I saw it. Yep. This is another picture from that evening, right, Ms. Heard? Yes, it is. Permission to admit exhibit uh -oh. 1253. I saw it. Yeah, th th this picture is right, just so like out one, in the public. Five, three, this is brutal. Holy fuck. Oh, wow. Look at that. This is a picture of you and Mr. Depp. Look at that. At the event, the night after Mr. Depp allegedly whacked you in the face so hard you thought he had broken your nose. He did whack me in the face, and I did think it broke my nose. I can see and that. This is you the night after. Yes, it is. Wow. Let's please pull up. Please I love the pauses. One, two, five, four. Jesus Christ. This is also a picture of you at the same event, correct, Ms. Heard? That is correct. Move That's to brutal. Plaintiff's exhibit one, two, five, four. All right, one, two, five, four in evidence. Destruction feels okay. nice. This is just, oh my just God. Just now that the jury can see it. This is a picture of you We've got the, hours event, of the this. night after Mr. Depp allegedly whacked you in the face so hard you thought he broke your nose. Uh, this is a picture of me yes. um, after he did whack me in the face. I could see the that. After, we can right? all see that. Yes, it is. I believe it was the night after, yes. Holy fucking shit. Your nose doesn't appear to be injured in any of these pictures, does it, Miss Heard? 
I'm wearing makeup. Your nose doesn't appear to be injured in any of these pictures, does it, Miss Heard? That's why I'm wearing makeup. Right. And makeup covers up swelling, right? Makeup will not cover up swelling. <laughs> Ice will, though. Ice will cover up swelling? Ice reduces swelling. Normally, the swelling ah. after that kind of injury is not as bad as you might imagine. And for me, it wasn't that bad. I have a picture of it underneath the makeup. That's how I know how to reference it. A picture you haven't produced or shown to this jury, right, Ms. Heard? I have, so I've produced everything. But you haven't shown it to this jury? I would very much like to. Uh huh. It's not my job. It's someone else's fault. It's your legal I'm team's really fault. Yes. Can you believe the legal team threw, uh, like, they threw her under the bus like that? Wow. So the legal team is conspiring to make her own lawyers are against her. Wow. That's nuts. Can you fucking believe that? Holy shit, this is fucking brutal. Oh my god. Like, the best part about this is, like, this is only the fucking beginning. Like, this is only the beginning. Oh my god. After the PR team, like, this is just... Oh god. Oh my fucking god. This is, like, this is the end of her, man. This is only... Yeah, this has been going on for, like, ten minutes. <gasps> Holy fucking shit. I'd quit right then and there. And you know that they might try to settle, but there's no way that Johnny is gonna let him settle. Like, he will take this all the way, and everybody knows it. Because his reputation is on the line, and he's going to do it as much as he possibly can. <laughs> yeah, I won't be surprised if tomorrow she turns up with a new legal team. I wouldn't be surprised either. Holy shit. God fucking damn, man. She's staring at a jury like you better be intimidated and taking it to my side or, or else. Yeah, of course she is. It was worth the way the boring ass testimony with all of emotional manipulation. Yep, that's right. Uh, it's just... I, I didn't expect it to be this bad. Like, I'm going to be totally honest with you. Like, I did not expect it to be this bad. I thought it was just going to be like, ah, you know, whatever, right? And they're just asking your questions and making it look like she's like, this is fucking awful. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> she deserves it? I think she does. I, I definitely think so. Absolutely. I think it's funny. I think it's hilarious. I uh, heard about, about SDF to lawyer questions in advance so she can rehearse. Holy shit. Anyone else knows John wasn't wearing rings in a picture? Uh, maybe he wasn't. I don't know. They literally woke me up. Uh, holy fuck. They're about to go on full on beast mode. I just, this is just, it's like how many of these bullshit lies are they going to go through? It's got to be like a dozen of them. I would bet. I would bet. And after cross examination, her self hired psychologist knew it was going to be good. Longest 10 day wait ever. Yep, that's right. Uh, man, Amber's lawyers don't want to show the pics because it's so bad for Amber's case. You're probably right. It were like she does have a picture of her nose, and her nose is like this. It's like that. There's like a little bit of red on her nose. Like, yeah, it's, it's about like this, and, and it's like, man, like, this is after Johnny beat the fucking shit out of me, you know? Like, Johnny just fucking took me to task. Like, yeah, your nose is broken. Like, oh, God. Her makeup must be amazing. Yeah, I know. Dude, you just broke your nose on stream. Aren't you worried about getting banned? Yeah, exactly. This cross-examination is like the Elden Ring Tree Sentinel coming at the beginning of the game. Well, if anything, it's like, you know the thing where he jumps up in a horse and he just slams the fucking thing down? That's exactly what it's like, yeah. It's only phase one right now. I just, oh my fucking god, man. Big chunky rings, by the way. Very true, you can't forget about that. Holy fucking shit. Uh, is she just gonna have a nose like Pinocchio soon? Yeah, apparently. Um, love you. wow. Uh... Ember's like, why do I hear boss music? Yeah, this is just fucking, like, it's just, what's funny to me about this is that there's nothing really about, uh, about this. Like, everybody saw this, and it was so evident, and you had people just like, I'm so glad somebody says it. You know what I mean? It's like, whenever, it's like, it's something that, like, everybody can obviously fucking see, and then nobody's saying anything, and then finally they just drop the fucking hammer down, and they're like, wait a minute, hold up, look at these two pictures, does anybody else see this? And everyone's like, yep, we see it. 
and that was it. That was fucking it, man. Holy shit. Uh, it's like my cousin Vinny is telling me it's lost physics supply everywhere but your face. Our team did not show the picture because it's photoshopped badly and will incriminate her even more since they photoshopped swelling. I don't know about that. I, I, I have no idea. Maybe that's the case, maybe not. Holy fuck. Oh, man. It would be great if uh, she breaks down and cries for real. I think that would be funny. Yeah, it would be funny. <laughs> Holy shit. The pauses were brutal. Yeah. Like just not saying anything for a few seconds and just letting that sit. Uh, I think that's just, that's just fucking savage. Here we go. Wow. Miss Heard, you testified that in January of 2015, there was an incident in Tokyo before uh, Mr. Depp's Mordecai the film Mordecai's premiere. Is that correct? That's correct. And you told this jury that on this occasion, Mr. Depp was kneeling on your back. Jesus. That's correct, in the closet. Wild and You animal. also told this jury that you wore a backless dress to the Mordecai premiere that very same night. I did. And you testified that you were checking for bruises in the car on the way back, on the way to the event to make sure that there, there were, quote, no visible marks, right? I was checking on my phone um, after the event to see to make sure that nothing. Wait, couldn't see. Anything. You checked after the event. Your testimony what? was that you were checking in the car on the way to. Yeah, the why event would you check on the way out to make sure that there were no marks? Why after on your back? Uh, perhaps I misspoke or I misunderstood. It was on the way back from. It was after I was concerned after you know, concerned that there would be marks in any photographs since we were what? being photographed at Johnny's press event. And you didn't show this jury a picture of you in that backless dress, though, did you? Um, I don't know what she, you mean. She's I'm about sorry. to have one. You didn't show evidence. this jury she's about a picture to have one of you at the Mordecai you know premiere what? I know what everybody wearing knows a backless it. dress, did you? Here we go. I haven't had the opportunity oh, to. here it comes. I assume you have it. I do. Yep. Um, let's please pull there it up is. exhibit one, here two, we five, go. six. I assume you haven't seen, like, she knows what's going on. Yep. All right. This is a picture of you and Mr. Depp, or the back of you, at the Mordecai premiere in Tokyo, correct, Ms. Hurd? Mm. That is correct. Your Honor, I move to admit and publish this picture. All right, one, two, five, six in evidence. Okay. Wow. That's... This is you in the backless dress at the That's Mordecai horrible. in Tokyo, right? That is correct. Oh my god. No bruises or visible marks on your back in this picture. No, not that I could see. That's interesting. That's very, very I'll show interesting. You one other photo. If we could please oh, have good. exhibit one, two, five, seven. As if this wasn't enough. Holy shit. This is a front angle picture of you and Mr. Depp at that premiere, correct? That is correct. Let's see admit, it. Plaintiff's exhibit one, two, five, seven. Oh my God. Five, two, five, seven, it's called back. Yeah, it's back makeup. Yeah, somebody did makeup on her back. <laughs> I'll show you one more picture. Plaintiff's exhibit okay. one, two, five, eight. Yeah, that looks like somebody that just got the shit beat out of him. Absolutely. Yeah. And again, Miss Heard, this is you and Mr. Dapp at the Mordecai premiere? Yes, it is. Move to admit let's see plaintiff's it. exhibit 1258. Yeah, let's see it. All right, 1258 in evidence. Publish. And that's the backless dress, right, Miss Heard? Wow, from correct. the other angle. That is interesting. You also told this jury about an incident in Australia in March of 2015. Yes, that's correct. Another one. You testified that after this alleged incident, you had cuts on your forearms, right? Yes, that's true. And you testified that you had cuts on the oh bottoms my God. of your feet as well. Oh my God. Yes, that's true. And you testified that you had a bruise across your jaw from when Mr. Depp, quote, clocked you in the face. Yeah. That's true. The Elden Lord. You didn't take any pictures of these injuries while you were in Australia, did you? I don't think, no, I don't think I took any pictures. That's convenient. You just took two pictures of Mr. Depp's writing on a mirror. Isn't that right? I believe so, yes. Yeah. So you had your phone on you, right? At some point I did have my yes. phone. Yes. And your iPad? 
I had my She's eyes, calling her out on exactly what I said. You testified that you were also raped with a liquor bottle in Australia, right, Ms. Heard? Yes. You testified you bled from your vagina as a result of that sexual assault. Ooh. Yes. Oh. There aren't any medical records reflecting that you sought medical treatment for any of these injuries, are there? I did not seek uh, medical treatment after Australia, no. How not convenient. No. I did How not convenient. Not for the cuts? No. Not for the injuries to your face? I didn't need to. Oh my God. I didn't need to. You also told the jury about an incident on December 15, 2015, right? Uh, where? I'm sorry. December 15th, 2015. Where she threw, yes, that's, that's where correct. she threw the can at him. You told this jury that after this incident, you had a broken nose. Again? It certainly felt like Bro, it. how does she even have a nose at all at this point? Sir, do you recall She'd be looking like Voldemort if this shit was true. In this trial. Oh, here we go. Uh, let, let's, here we go. You yes, I do, right? Yes. Oh my god, more broken noses than most boxers? Hey, it is what it is. Holy fuck, man. This is... Okay. Like, Alright, we'll, we'll get it. God fucking damn. Because, like, I bet she's gonna show some paparazzi photos or some shit from whenever they were in Australia. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure, but we'll see what's going to happen. It's not looking good for her. You know what? I think about the same thing. Yeah, it's TOS to show a public execution. Yeah, I know. Isn't it great? <gasps> oh, my God. Here we go. Let's see it. May I approach the witness, Your Honor? All right. Yes, ma'am. Would you like a coffee? Yes, please. please. Okay, here we go. Let's follow along. Oh boy. Oh boy. If I can please direct your attention live live to the Johnny Depp on the live stream. Of day 16, you want people to know. Nine, three of the oh, jury trial here we go. transcript. Here we go. Here we fucking go. This is like a school test. Yeah, I know. We have to turn a specific page. Yep, that's right. Lines 8 through 13. On which page? I'm sorry. 4593. Yes. Starting on line eight, I thought I probably had a concussion and certainly thought, excuse me, strike that. Johnny, how would you do had, such a thing? I thought I probably had a concussion and certainly that I had a broken nose. There was a blood everywhere, blood Johnny. all over the pillows. My head was bleeding from the ripped out hair, chunks of hair on the floor, all over the place actually. Oh my God. So lines nine. I remember I her saying a that. Broken nose. Yeah. You recall giving that testimony, Miss Heard? Yes, exactly. I you had a broken nose. Yeah. Right? That's absolutely what I thought. And you told the jury that you had two black eyes after this incident, right? Oh. I did have two black eyes after Let's that incident. Let's see it. And you testified that you also had a busted lip from when Mr. Depp punched you. That is uh, correct. From December? Yes, that's correct. You testified that the lip wound kept reopening when you moved your mouth. Yes, she did. That's correct. Yes. You also testified that you had bruising on your temple. She's going to show some paparazzi photos. That's correct. I, I, I'm pretty sure. And bruising on your chin. And I bet she's not going to look like a raccoon. Correct. Guaranteed. You also testified that your head was bleeding from where oh Mr. Depp God. ripped chunks of your hair out. I remember, yes. Yeah. And that you had, quote, gross, pussy and quote, bruising around your temple. Uh, in my scalp, yeah. 
Now, for this incident, you did take pictures. Correct? That's correct. And we will look at some of those in a minute. But I first want to talk to you about your appearance on the James Corden show. Sure. Can I close this? Sure. Jesus Christ. You appeared on the James Corden show the day after this alleged incident, right? I did. Yeah. And that was December 16th, 2015? Yes, that's correct. Let's please pull up a clip of your appearance from that evening. If we could, Plaintiff's okay. Exhibit 35. And for the record, we will only be playing a portion of this, so we will call it uh, Plaintiff's Exhibit 35A. All right, any objections? All right, let's see it. 35A in evidence. I grew up. You know, in Texas, riding horses and... Oh, really? You know... Not shooting. a big ballet community out there in Texas. Mm, not, uh, yeah, no, no, not so much. Shooting guns, yes, but ballet, no. <laughs> so I wanted to train for it, and there were some ballet sequences that, that um, we wanted to have the option to, to incorporate into the movie, so I trained forever, and I have two left feet. I'm the most klutzy person in the world, and I have no, um, what do you call Race? <laughs> so I knew, Your Honor, I'm I so sorry, but it's not published to the jury. If we may have it, oh. please, published. Okay, thank you. Apologies. If oh. we can please start that over. Here we go, over. here thank we go. Let's watch it again. Wow. I grew up, you know, in Texas riding horses and... Damn, you know, look at that. Not shooting. a big ballet community out there. She got mm. fucked up. Yeah, no, no, not so much. Shooting guns, yes, but ballet, no. <laughs> So I wanted oh to my train God. for it, and there were some ballet sequences that, that um, we wanted to have the option to, to incorporate into the movie. So I trained forever, and I have two left feet. I'm the most klutzy person in the world, and I yeah. have no, um, what do you call grace? <laughs> so I knew, I knew I had to train for it. And what they don't tell you, I mean, I, in, I crammed about three months of solid training in, and I'm kind of like working my way up from the floor and learning the technical aspect of ballet. And I've got these dances down technically perfectly. I'm learning all the movements. But the last thing we get to are the hands. <sighs> And I haven't yet got to that point, but everything else is working. And I'm acting it up on my face, and I'm selling the ballet. Just and, like the, and I just think like I'm the really courtroom. good at this point. Yeah, kind of nailing it. I get and it. So I send videos and and images to my friends to like get encouragement and look for their support. Except whenever and you get attacked. Everyone shoots back. What? with the claw hand. <laughs> and I look and I realize like all the stress and fear of performing and doing this thing, it just kind of like funneled out through the one thing that I hadn't yet like so what were your hands so doing? I'd, so I'd be doing this amazing, you know, I'd be doing like a, a jump with a back bend and uh -huh. you can see this like graceful falling oh, and my yeah. hands are like. <laughs> My face, though, is like I've got that you saw in the clip, like this beautiful 1920s, you know, ma wow. stage makeup on and ha like wow. flower look crowns at, look, and all this stuff. Uh -huh. Two and black my eyes. And my face. <laughs> and then my hands. <laughs> so I wonder why we're watching that. That was you on the James Corden show on December 16th, 2015. Let's right? find out why. That was. Let's please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 98. Oh, here we go. Here's another one. These are pictures of you on the James Corden show on December 16th, 2015. Oh, right? Okay. <laughs> they look like freeze frames, um, like screen grabs. Stills. They're not like a. It's not like a photo shoot. It doesn't seem. But on the James Corden show, correct? From that appearance, yes. Um, move to admit and publish Plaintiff's Exhibit 98. Any objections? All right, and Mr. Perdova, you could move the microphone and turn it on for you, so Judy and I are having wow. trouble hearing you. Wow! Sorry about that. All right, thank you. All right, ninety-eight. Look evidence. at thank that! You. Wow! Look at all that abuse! Holy shit! That's a photo of you opening your mouth. Oh my right, god! Right. That's correct. And again, a, a larger oh view of the same my photo god. on the bottom. That's correct. With a split lip. You've seen pictures of it without makeup. Yes. So you had a split lip when you I were sure moving did. your mouth that way. I sure did. In those photographs. Absolutely. Okay. We can see that. Yeah, we can see that, obviously. You did take pictures of your alleged injuries on, after December 15th, correct? And you showed those to the jury? I sure did, yes. All right, let's see them. Let's please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 516, which is already in evidence. It's like, how bad is it that they're using your own fucking defense against you? Like, that's bad. 
Holy shit. That's like somebody taking your own hand and hitting yourself in the head with your own hand. You testified that this it's is awful. a picture of you after the incident on December 15th, 2015, right? It was. And if we could also please pull up Defendant's Holy Exhibit shit. 517, which is also in evidence. Holy shit. Wow, look at that. Thank you, Your Honor. This is also a picture of you after the incident on December 15th, 2015. That's correct. If we could please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 409, which is already in evidence. New photos show Amber Heard's alleged injuries in another domestic violence incident. Wow. These pictures ended up in People Magazine in June of 2016. Isn't that yep. right, Ms. Heard? That's correct. Jesus. You gave these pictures to People Magazine after you publicly accused Mr. Depp of domestic abuse, didn't you? I didn't personally know. This was you protecting Mr. Depp after you got the restraining order against him, isn't it? No, this is him calling me a liar and me forcing to prove it, as I mentioned to you earlier. Uh-huh. So you did give these pictures to People Magazine? No, I gave these um, pictures actually to my lawyers and my representatives at the time. It's not uh, your fault. testimony, Ms. Heard, that your lawyers and representatives gave these pictures without of your their consent? client to People Magazine in the middle of a contentious divorce. I certainly did not personally give it. No, that's you. You. Oh my God. You lying bitch. Holy shit. After the December 15th, 2015 incident, don't you? A partial one, yes. Wow. You went to see Dr. Kipper's office a couple days later. That's right. He wasn't in the office. Can we please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 37, <laughs> which is already in evidence? <laughs> They're getting the evidence. It's like they didn't, yeah, she didn't do it. They did this it. This is your medical record for December oh. 17th, 2015, isn't it, Ms. Heard? Two days after the event. Two days. That's correct. And this record doesn't document any physical injuries on you, does it? Isn't that interesting? I, I, I don't think so, no. I, I don't think I spoke to Kipper. I didn't speak to Kipper um, that day. And uh -huh. you went I didn't, to Dr. Kipper's office and were seen, correct? I went to Dr. Kipper went to Dr. Kipper's office for a concussion check. Right. Okay. And this medical hey, record Fox is Fox. from that visit, correct? Partially, yes. Scroll down, please. If we could. Oh boy! Oh boy! The signature Kipper down below. This is the entirety of the medical record. Oh. Right, yes, what I meant by partial is I didn't uh, talk about what happened to me. I didn't get into my injuries. Down. I didn't get into what happened Jesus or um, ask for anything other than should I get some sort of scan done. Holy right, but this fuck. record doesn't document any physical injuries on you, does it? It certainly uh, seems like it, full, it does. But I, I don't know. Well, let's do that. Oh my Please God. Don't. Oh well, my. under skin on the second page. Yeah. It reads intact, normal color, moisture, hair distribution, texture, turgor. No signs of, oh, this is going to be hard. Cyanosis, mottling jaundice. Uh-huh. It also says I'm a well-nourished male. Right. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> I, I think this medical record's missing a lot of things. Yeah, but it doesn't document any physical injuries. Doesn't seem to be documenting anything. Yeah, you're right. Probably because there was nothing to document, right, Ms. Heard? Yeah. I disagree with you on that. <laughs> Probably because you don't there's have any nothing, medical right? medical records reflecting that you broke your nose during your relationship with Mr. Depp, do you? Uh, I saw an ENT after my relationship. Yeah. Years after. And you saw an E and it's your testimony under oath that you saw an ENT for broken noses that you sustained as a result of Mr. Depp? No, but the ENT told me I sustained objection. multiple fractures. No, I'm going to strike. I'll honest. sustain the objection. I'll yeah, shut up. Thank you. Ask your question, shut up. So again, just Oh my God. Try my question. 
There's no medical records reflecting that you broke your nose during your relationship with Mr. Depp. Is there a misheard? I don't know what made it in evidence, but I do know that I documented that um, visit and that everything was given to my attorneys. Ms. Heard, you never went to see any doctor. She's blaming or the attorneys again. To treat a broken nose during your relationship with Mr. Depp. Yes or no? I never sought treatment for broken nose while I was with Johnny. Or after you were with Mr. Depp, as a result of any injuries you sustained as a result of Mr. Depp. Afterwards, yes, I did. And you didn't produce those medical records in this case. I would object, Your Honor. She did. I did. Um, I, I don't know. All right. They have not been produced, Your yeah, Honor. They not only right, if you would do so. approach. Ah, uh, here we go. Holy shit, man. Dude, she's throwing everybody under the bus. Like, I mean, it, it, like, she's blaming her own legal team. She's blaming everybody. This is just, this is brutal. And the thing is, like, they're just in 2015. Like, there's going to be a bunch of other things. Because, like, you know what she's going to do, right? Is, like... The times where she doesn't have her photos, to, and she didn't take the pictures herself, there's going to be paparazzi everywhere. And the paparazzi are going to have photos of it, and you're going to be able to see it right there. Yeah, at least the paparazzi is going to have at least some use this time. Holy shit. How long until she throws the judge under the bus, you think? Oh, I think so. Uh, it, it's probably going to happen. Like, this is just... Some lawyers to dodge the questions? Using the protected communications to lie? You don't have any medical records reflecting that you required any dental work during your relationship with Mr. Depp, do you? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't recall. You don't recall one way or another seeking dental care for any injuries you allegedly sustained? Uh, you asked me about if I had produced records or if I had records, that's a different question. Did you ever see a dentist or an oral surgeon as yeah. a result of any injuries you sustained with Mr. Depp? Not about any injury I had from Johnny, no. And you don't have any medical records reflecting that you required any reconstructive work during your relationship with Mr. Depp, do you? Oh my God. I never required reconstructive work. How convenient. So there would be no records. Yeah, how convenient. What you do have, Ms. Heard, wow. are pictures of Mr. Depp sleeping, though, right? The jury saw a lot of those. Yes. Okay. Ms. Heard, let's take a look at Defendant's Exhibit 1090, oh. which is already in evidence. Here we go. Let's do it. Oh, my God. This is just, this is bad, man. You this is this photograph, fucking right, bad. That's correct. And you testified that this was taken in Tokyo in July of 2013, correct? Yes. Yep. So you decided to take a picture of Mr. Depp asleep on the floor? He was passed out. He probably was. And I took a picture of him because he uh, wouldn't remember. He claimed he uh, didn't pass out that way. And neither did the doctors. security would carry him like a baby into bed, get him changed, and he would be none the wiser. So I started taking pictures of it so that he knew that it was real, that it had gotten this bad. Let's take a look at Defendant's Exhibit 1091, which is already in evidence. You took this picture as well. What's wrong with that? Yes. And this is the picture that was taken in the Bahamas, the right? It's one of them, yes. What the hell is wrong with this? This is a picture of Mr. Depp taking a nap on his tropical island. He's just chilling. I believe he was on the nod, but as he would say sleeping on the nod they're, on his island they're very different in my opinion oh and yes he is on the island on vacation uh we were on vacation yes okay. let's also take a look at defendant's exhibit wow 1092, which that i mean like evidence. i mean you guys saw that picture i mean this guy i mean he really you also took this picture right miss Heard? oh my That's god correct. i did and this is I'm gonna have to show this to my Depp dad. Apparently, my dad's been chair. abusing me for years. No, he was. Um, I off. didn't know this. Uh, sleep is different when you're nodding off. Yeah. You're high on drugs. Look at he this. Even feel the cigarette in his hand. How could he do that? You know, been burning on his leg. Uh, it was cause for alarm for me. Wow. Naturally, um, because I cared about him. Uh, it's your testimony under oath that Mr. Depp is holding a cigarette in this picture. He had been. Oh, he had been. 
seem to really like taking pictures of Mr. Depp while he's sleeping, don't you? I hated it. I hated it. We can see Look that. At defendant's Exhibit 1094, which is also in evidence. No, no, no fucking cigarette anywhere. You took this picture of Mr. Depp as well, didn't you? I did. Yep. You decided to take a picture of Mr. Depp asleep with ice cream spilled all over him, right? He was nodding off and um, I was worried cream? about how bad the medications and the medication change and the drug use had gotten where he wouldn't even feel ice cream or a lit cigarette on him and it scared me. So you really. took a picture of it? That's yes, I, um, I wanted him to get help and Johnny's surrounded by enablers who clean up after him. Oh. Donner, I'm going to move to strike everything after yes that she took the picture. Everything after she yes is gone. The question was, did you take this picture? All right, I'll sustain the objection. Thank you, Your Honor. Oh my God. This isn't a very flattering picture of Mr. Depp, is it? No, it's no, not. it's not. You wouldn't agree that this is, or you would agree with me that this is an embarrassing scene, right? Ah, it's just Saturday night. Yes, I think it's a part of getting help. Is yeah. Looking at it. It's Saturday See? night. But you sent this picture what to one of your friends, didn't you? Uh, I what? don't recall. Um, if we could please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 252. Oh, no. Not the phone record. Not the phone record. I'll be looking at the portion of this document. So if we could please call it Defendant's Exhibit 252. She's sending it to our friends. Mm -hmm. And for ease, we've gone ahead and redacted it. Holy shit, man. Holy fucking shit. Yes, I was asking for support. That's correct. Oh, support. No question yet, Ms. Heard. So directing your attention, I'm going to move to admit... Um, exhibit oh, please. 252A. Let's see these logs. Let's see the receipts, bitch. Could you turn turn on? Could you turn your microphone? Oh please? my God! Supports him for being asleep. Yeah, Thank now you. she remembers. Yep, there it is. Uh, I, need to see I don't it remember. First, okay. I don't Why were you sending it? Oh, I've seen him. I've seen it for support. Oh, okay. So you do remember? And anything that's not misheard. Text messages. Consistent with hearsay. Oh my god. Dude, bro, she's getting her logs pulled. Oh my god. Yo, Neon, thanks for 20 subs, bro. I appreciate that. Thank you, dude. She's gonna get her logs pulled. Holy shit. This is the... Oh my god. She getting, she getting her ban appeal? This shit about to get denied. Oh my god. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh no. This is good. Intermission. Bro, like... I love how, because the thing is, how they get this shit, it's easy. Like, it's easy to get this shit. It's like, you can't lie. Like, honestly, it's hard. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> oh, my God. They're like, man, this is going pretty well, huh? Like, they ask her the question so she can lie and they can prove it as a lie. You see what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, it's like they're laughing her ass off. That's what I was saying before, right? Is like, they knew that, like... How, who would be laughing around while she's saying the kind of shit that she was saying? Only somebody that was 100% confident. And I can see why. I really can. I can see why. Oh, my God. Amber Heard's uh, tone completely changed. Yeah, I can see that. She has like 20 photos of Johnny sleeping, but zero of her bloody or broken nose. Sure, bitch. Well, no, we had plenty of pictures of her bloody and broken nose. Didn't you see it? It was in like all the press releases and all that, right? Uh, you know, like whenever they went to go see the, uh, you know, the people on the red carpet event, like you saw how fucked up her nose was. And so, yeah, obviously that's what it was. It was covered with makeup. That's right. Oh, my God. It's like the thing is, they're still so far back. That I don't even think that, that that this will take it will take hours to refute every single little thing, and I am ready to watch every single minute of it. I am so ready for this shit. It's so fucking funny to me to to watch this happen to her. I think it is hilarious. Uh, it is so fucking funny. Oh my god, makeup uh, made in 2018, she just in 2015. Yeah, not only, uh, you know, can she regenerate super fast, but she can also travel time. Yeah, can you believe that? That's insane. Uh, better than Netflix, actually? Yeah, it's like, the thing is, what's so funny about this is that 
this type of a thing would never happen in a TV show because the audience would never believe that a normal person could be this stupid. So, like, the willing suspension of disbelief would be impossible to achieve with a character like Amber Heard. So, it, they, this would actually not be in a TV show because it wouldn't be compelling because people would be like, this is fake. There's no way somebody would be like this. But actually, oh, here we go. Let's see it. Come so on. Just refresh your recollection. Hold you up. did, in fact, send this picture to this your This is what Rocky I've been Pennington. dealing with. Yes, I did. Wow. You sent it to her. On August 7th, 2014 at 11.24 p.m., correct? Wow. That is correct. This is what I've been dealing with. So you sent Miss Pennington this picture of Mr. Depp with ice cream spilled on him, right? That is correct. And you wrote, quote, this is what I've been dealing with, end quote. Did I read that right? You did read that right. That's correct. And this is you protecting Mr. Depp? That is me getting support from my best friend. This is you supporting uh -huh. Mr. Depp? This is me getting support from my best friend. I also need support. You weren't afraid the, the monster would get upset that you took this picture? This was um, Opiate Johnny. This is a different version of him. This is Opiate on the Nod Johnny. And you weren't afraid that Opiate Johnny or the monster, as you called him, would get upset that you sent this picture to your friend? Well, he wasn't going to well, know. All of those things. Of course he could get upset. Of course that's scary to me, of course. But didn't stop you from sending this picture to your friend, did No. It? Why would it? Yeah. Getting wrecked. It's she Johnny. <laughs> hand, right hand is in his pocket, right, Miss Heard? In this yes, picture? that's correct. Yeah. You also showed this jury pictures of cocaine. Do you recall that? Yes, that's correct. Let's please take a look at one of those. We could please pull up defendant's exhibit 167A. Oh my which god. Is oh no. Here we go. It's not like he was not gonna find out. Yeah. It's like what if her friend sent that to somebody else? That could get out so easily. Directing your attention, Ms. Heard to Oh, we saw this. A photograph. This is a photograph you took in March of 2013, right? That is correct. And this was taken at your apartment in Orange? Yes. And this is your breakfast table? That is correct. Cocaine for breakfast. And it's breakfast. your testimony that Mr. Depp left this breakfast Yikes. table just the way you took it? That is correct. So this is what the table looked like after Mr. Depp had been doing cocaine? Uh, well, clearly he has yet to snort these lines. Oh my god. There are four lines of cocaine on this table, right, Ms. Heard? In this picture, I see four lines. There isn't any cocaine residue around those lines, right? It seems as though there's not. Uh, I, not that I can tell. No. She's saying... Doesn't really look like anyone's been doing cocaine off that table, does it? With all due respect, I'm not sure you know how that works. I'm asking if you do. You've testified you've done cocaine. I have. Yeah. It doesn't really look like Mr. Depp or anyone was doing cocaine off that table, does it? Uh, I beg to differ with you on that. When you snort cocaine, typically it goes into your nose. And then it doesn't stay residue. on the table. There's residue from that cocaine when your lips and nose touch the table, right? Will the tampon applicator next to um, the credit, I mean, a ah. driver's license that you see is a device that uh, I believe my sister had taught him to use in order to oh put the cocaine it's something special uh, of course in your nose absolutely mr depp is a pretty heavy smoker right yeah he is sister and, under the bus and that's now a cigarette in the ashtray in the back there um back right yes it could you like even snort it with handles. something that big i don't know i've never done cocaine. no other cigarettes in that ashtray are there i see one cigarette the one that's not smoked that's correct. Yeah. There's no ash in that ashtray either, is there? Uh, not that I can tell. Oh in this my picture. God! The it's attention to detail. In this picture. Let's it's enhance. Like, yes. It's a pretty neat table. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I would say so. Um, that's very depends neat. Depends on what you would call neat, I suppose. No, it's and a you neat sent table. Sent this picture to your friend Rocky Pennington as well, didn't you? 
I sure did. And when you sent it, you said, quote, look at my morning or something like that. Is that right? Yay for mornings. So you have a habit of sending stage photographs to your friend Rocky, don't you? Uh, I had a habit of communicating with my best friend about what was going on in my life. Oh, sure. You don't have any pictures of Mr. Deb actually consuming cocaine, do you? I don't think I have a picture of him mid-snort. No. You don't no. even have any pictures of Mr. Depp with cocaine. What do you mean by that? Holding cocaine, standing next to cocaine. Um. Like Scarface. Sitting next to cocaine. I, I don't know. I don't know. Well, you haven't shown any of those pictures like that to the jury. I don't haven't. know. I don't know. Of course I, you no, don't. You would have admitted them if you did. And you were never able to catch Mr. Depp with cocaine on film either, were you? I never tried. Ah, how convenient. But you were able to catch him sleeping, right? Ah! Uh, I have seen him pass out in even more convenient. all sorts of places, yes. And you also captured a video of Mr. Depp in the kitchen that was played again for this jury today, mm -hmm. uh, beating up some cabinets. Do you recall that? Yeah. Sorry, say that again? You recall oh, capturing no. Mr. Depp in the kitchen of one of his homes? Oh, up some cabinets. Bro, yes. this is gonna be the kill Slamming shot. I'm pretty sure. Around, yes. So you took that video of Mr. Depp in the kitchen, right? Oh my I god. Did. I did. And you took it on one of your iPad devices? I took it on my iPad. You were deposed in August of 2016. We saw this. With your divorce proceedings from Mr. Depp, right? That is correct. And you will recall that the video of Mr. Depp in the kitchen was released online the day before your deposition in August of 2016, don't you? That's correct. You're the one who released that video. Incorrect. Isn't that true? Oh! That's incorrect. It just got I out. I in from another place at the time. I remember learning about it when I landed. It escaped. So it's just a coincidence that the video you took of Mr. It Depp just... was released the Woo! day before you were deposed in connection Internet. with the divorce from Mr. Depp. I absolutely had nothing to do with that. I wouldn't even know how to do something like that. Wait, what? You wouldn't even know how to do it? Why not? It, yeah, it you escaped. You divorce from Mr. Depp in August of 2016, right? Oh my God. That sounds right. And in connection with that settlement, you received a $7 million from Mr. Depp. You don't know how to Mr. upload Depp. something True? to the internet? That's correct. How can I? 6.8, exactly. Your settlement amount was $7 million. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. And then you released a statement in which you claimed you would be donating the entire $7 million to charity, right? That's correct. But... You stated you would be donating half of the $7 million to the ACLU. Yes. The That's others to the Children's Hospital. And you would be donating the other half to Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. That is correct. That's what she said. And you also stated, with respect to the $7 million divorce settlement, that money played no role except for the extent that you could donate the money to charity. Yes, that's correct. That is true Could and please real. Please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 1259. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my fucking God. It's over. It's done, bruh. Here we this go. This is an article entitled, Amber Heard Donates Johnny Depp Divorce Settlement to Charity. Read her statement in full. Okay. Is that correct? That's what the title says, yes. Mm -hmm. Directing your attention to the portion on the second page where it says, quote, read the statement below. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is that the statement you released, Ms. Heard? That is correct. Is she going to make her read it? Your Honor, I move to admit the statement and Ooh. the article Ooh. as redacted. Ooh. Objection, person. Oh, God. It's oh, her statement. no. It, it, this is not her statement. This Let's is see it, dude. Let's it. fucking see it. Statement. Holy shit. May I see the full... Uh, Everything else is redacted. Oh my fucking god, man. Okay, then I have no objection. Alright, 1259 in evidence as redacted. Yeah. She just done fucked up. Here we go. The statement reads, As described in the restraining order and divorce settlement, money played no role for me personally and never has except to the extent that I could donate it to charity, and in doing so, hopefully help those less able to defend themselves. How nice. As reported in the media, the amount received in the divorce was $7 million, and $7 million is being donated. 
This is over and above any funds that I have given away in the past and will continue to give away in the future. Okay. Did I read that correctly? That is correct. I don't remember that last line, but I have no... It doesn't stand out to me as wrong. Okay. There's nothing inaccurate in the statement. Not that okay. I recognize, no. Uh-oh. Now we're going to scroll down. Mr. Depp donated $100,000 of the divorce settlement directly to the ACLU. Is that right? Right at the beginning of the divorce settlement, he um, donated 100000 to each charity on my behalf or towards my contribution. It was $100,000. So $100, to each. To the ACLU. And to the Children's Hospital. Okay. And in response, you publicly demanded that Mr. Depp pay the divorce settlement directly to you instead of the charities, right? That was always the agreement, actually, is for him to pay me directly. It was not his money as per the settlement agreement to give away and reap a tax benefit from. I said if he wants to do it and give to charity all of a sudden, then he should pay the correct amount and not try to get a big tax break for it. So effectively for his tax bracket, he should be paying double that amount to the charity directly. And if he wanted to pay the charity directly, he could. He could do that was fine with me, but he would need to pay the adjusted amount. Okay. Ultimately, the rest of the $7 million yeah, divorce settlement subs. was paid directly to you, right? You. Over time, yes. And Mr. Depp didn't end up paying the rest of the $7 million divorce settlement directly to the charities you identified. That is correct. He paid the you, installments to me. You stopped that from happening, didn't you? I don't understand what your question is. I'm sorry. You stopped Mr. Depp from paying the charities that you had named directly. That is incorrect. I said if you want to pay the charities directly, pay the adjusted amount, or pay as per our agreement in the settlement or in the divorce, as per our agreement. You also and he chose to do the former. They'd both the be latter. in the same tax I mean, bracket. The other way around. You also publicly stated uh, that the $7 million divorce settlement should be paid to the charities immediately in full, right? If he wanted to pay it in the way that he was suggesting, yes. And, and you said publicly that the payments to the charities should not be drawn out over many years, right? Okay. I said that, I don't, I don't recall the exact words that I used, but basically that he shouldn't use this as an, a novel interest in getting a tax break, that if he wanted to do that and not pay me the settlement, uh -huh. That was fine, but he would have to pay the adjusted amount and not make it, you know, a, a commitment he would not fulfill or try to avoid in some other way. Oh, and that's because you, you wanted that. the entire world to think that you were donating every penny of the seven million dollar divorce settlement as soon as you received it from Mr. Depp. Isn't that right? I think that's no. Why. I was going to be receiving it in installments, and I would be paying in installments. Uh huh. The donations. In fact, you released a statement in response to Mr. Depp's $100,000 donations to the ACLU and CHLA, didn't you? I don't recall. Well, you Let's did. see if we can refresh your recollection. Ah. Could you please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 1260? Okay, let's see it. Let's refresh things. Let's take a look. Here we go. This is an article entitled Amber Heard and Johnny Depp Row Over Divorce Donations. Oh if my God, we're going down memory says, lane, yep. Yeah. I believe it's on the second page. Her spokeswoman responded in a statement. The language Objection. that follows the statement you Objection. released. Objection, hearsay, right. spokeswoman, it's not her. Right. A spokesperson is an exception, you, Your Honor. You want to come forward? Oh, oh, she got her with the technicality. It's a, it's a spokesperson, it's an exception. I love this, I know, man, oh my God. Uh, she looks uneasy as fuck because she knows what's happening. Like, it's obviously fucking over. Like, it was over so fast. Like, it was... Uh, wow. It's just... Will there be a VOD? They're going to be a VOD. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's just not going to happen right now because the fucking DMCA bullshit. It, it is what it is. Don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, they get it up on YouTube, too. Don't worry about that. Uh, I know people wanted to see the rest of it. The closest she's been to crying all, all the way? I, I don't know. We'll see what happens. This is brutal, man. Holy shit. You released a statement. You're through... right, we approach again? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Stun lock. Let's do that. Took four out of five rounds. Yeah, she's trying. Will the verdict be given? Uh, if if the ver When will the verdict be given? 
if it keeps going like this, it's going to be pretty fucking soon. I'm going to say that for sure. This Lyra team seems like Platinum League, while Amber's is more like Bronze 3. Well, it's like, it, it, it's, it's not even that. I mean, like, nobody, whenever you're given her side of the story, you can only polish a turd so much. You, you know what I mean? I mean, you can always... Sometimes, you're just set up to lose. I'll just hand you a copy of this one. I want to see it before you ask. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I, I think that's about right. You see what you did there? Yeah, yeah. You like that? And uh, especially with the bed sheet. Yeah, exactly. I, I hope that... I, I'm, I'm waiting for the poop situation. Like, I want to... Let, let's get to that. Let's fucking get to that. I want to know what's going on here. Yeah. Would you like to see one as well? No, I, that's right. I, that's fine. Thank okay. you. Okay, here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, I love how much evidence they used. You know, it's like, here's a picture. Here's you saying this. Rather than like, oh, well, uh, you know, he said to me that he's sad that I'm getting beat up. Oh, okay. They gave me a redacted, but I don't have the unredacted to be able to see the full redacted. Well, that's fine. Or ask that it be admitted in redacted form. I'm taking away any hearsay, and I'm just trying to lay the foundation that this is a statement she released through a spokesperson. How would I know whether there's more to it that shouldn't be redacted, Your Honor, if I don't see the full document? Nope, here we go. Yeah, she's panicking. Well, the thing is, like, as usual, I think just as, as a general rule, the people that are trying to hide know, the evidence... The witness can testify as to whether this is a full statement or not. ...are usually the ones that are the wrong. Can't do, we, we have the right to be able to see the document. All right. Do you have so a we, document that's not redacted? redacted? We can pull it up on our computers. Okay. Just give us a moment, Your Honor. Right. I can represent this oh my God. The full statement that's reported. Oh my god. The unredacted one. Thank you. And you can see in that paper there's more pictures too. It's not even close to being over. Semantics again. Amber's lawyer is just wasting time. Yes, that is exactly what she is doing. They are just simply wasting time. Uh, they are not helping or anything. They are just wasting fucking time. Do you think the poop will take a stand? Yeah, I think we could see Mr. Hanky show up. Sure. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Amber's head of PR guy is accused of sexual misconduct. Well, I mean, who knows if that happened, but maybe. Yeah, I mean, who the fuck knows? Holy shit. It's like, how do you, like, because, like, she must know what happened, right? Like, why would you even go to court with this if you knew that it was bullshit? And it was just like so easily disprovable in so many ways. Like, you just stupid as fuck. Ego? Yeah, I guess so. It's just, I mean, this, I mean, she is done, man. She is fucking done. God, I, they're probably counting on press headlines. Well, the press did their best, but nowadays people are more aware and, um, uh, they're able to pick up on their bullshit. Uh, I see this more and more. Every article that comes out, people are like, "Ah, fuck you! Ah, fuck so, you! Right. We don't want to hear can your we shit have a anymore." Copy of this? Yeah, I mean, you, you can get a copy of that uh, Happily, la later, later yes. today. Okay. Right. right. I mean, I, I think she should. No, be just for the suit, though. Just, just out reliable witness. We'll, we'll, we'll she take is. care of that. But okay. As of right now, I, I can think we that's. Continue? Uh, we can, Your Honor, but I whenever have she's the main person saying it, I think that does matter. Yeah. Okay. Come forward. If I prove the jury, they're playing nice. Another addition to them trying to look impartial. Yeah, definitely. 2018, it was enough to accuse. Too much influence. Holy shit. Just, because she genuinely doesn't know what kind of image she's presenting to the world and fiercely believes in her own bias. I think that it's just as simple as this, right? Um, she, like, you remember whenever she was mad that Johnny was surrounded by yes men? I think that she is probably also surrounded by people that tell her that she's right all the time too people like that psychiatrist that they brought a psychologist excuse me um that they brought on that uh 
uh, you know, like used like him and her whenever it was things. Yeah, you know, yeah. She's having people like that coddle her and tell her that she's right. And, you know, of course they're going to tell her that. That's what they're getting paid to do. It makes sense. But this is just holy shit. Holy fucking shit. All right. Oh my God. Saying so directing your attention, Miss Heard. It's a U.S. media. Where it says you shouldn't say don't trust any mainstream media. Respond in a statement. Yeah, don't trust any mainstream media. Language that follows. Don't trust Again, them. she can't read it. She has to show. Uh, I didn't misspeak. I meant that. Right. I think they're all liars. If you want to lay a foundation to that. I hate them. Good. You released a statement after Mr. Depp donated $100,000 to the ACLU and $100,000 to CHLA. Correct, Ms. Mm -hmm. Heard? I think so, yes. Okay. And the language that follows is the statement you released in response to Mr. Depp's donations, right? Uh -huh. I don't know if this is this, the official statement. I really, I have no idea. The statement that reads, starts Objection, at Your Honor. Amber Heard. Yeah. That's the only thing I'm going to say. Would you please read that to yourself, Ms. Heard? Uh-oh. Here we go. We're going to read along. Let's see it. Yes. Okay. Did you read all the way to the very bottom where the last word is supported? Well, let's read yes. out loud. That's Haven't we been in the class? Through your spokeswoman, after Mr. Depp made the donations to the CHLA and the ACLU. Correct, Ms. Heard? Okay. I do not recall exactly what my statement was. I don't disagree with anything in the statement, but I just simply don't recall what the statement was we released. That Is would there make anything sense. inaccurate in that statement, Ms. Heard? No. Okay. I'm going to move to admit. Objection, Your Honor, lack of foundation. I'll overrule the objection. Ah. 1260 in evidence. Yep, there it is. Thank there you. it is. Let's get this done. Oh, overruled. Nope. Shut up. Here we go. The statement reads, Amber Heard appreciates Johnny Depp's novel interest in supporting mm -hmm. two of her favorite charities, the ACLU, American Civil Liberties Union for Domestic Violence, yeah. and the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. This is great and unexpected news. Unexpected. And oh, that's cute. That's so, that's so cute. However, we'll sneak this if Johnny in there. wishes to change the settlement agreement, we must insist that he honor the full amount by donating $14 million to charity, which, after accounting for his tax deduction, is equal to his $7 million payment obligation to Amber. And it continues. We would also insist that the full amount be paid immediately and not drawn out over many years. Yeah. Anything less would be a transparent attempt by Johnny's counsel, Laura Wasser, and Patty Glazer to reduce their client's true payment by half under the guise of newfound concern for charities that he has never previously supported, end quote. Oh, my God. And they're going to show him supporting it in the past. Uh-oh. Did I read that correctly? Yes. Uh-oh. Here we go. Thank you. After this, you kept commenting about the donation of your divorce settlement, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't know what you mean by that. Okay. You spoke about donating your divorce settlement on a Danish TV show, correct? Uh, I believe I said I had... Um, I, I believe I said I donated it to charity, but it was already printed or are already commented on and stated in the press i had already released that information in the press i think i just confirmed it on that show okay you appeared on a show called rtl late night right i don't recall it what show it was if we could please play plaintiff's exhibit 346 which is a portion of your appearance oh my god and we would let's ask roll the tape let's evidence see it and it, ask for it, permission it, to publish it. It, it contains it has hearsay it contains other communications with other individuals your honor if we may approach okay. very briefly okay all right here we go they have everything yeah it is just man it is not looking good can't keep up with the lies yeah this just said yeah want to refresh your memory all right here we go 
And this is going to be probably her saying that she's already donated everything or something stupid like that. Yeah, this it's slaughter. I mean, it, this is bad, man. This really is bad. This is so satisfying. Uh, I agree. I think it is, too. I think it's fucking hilarious. So I, I'm... Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my fucking God, man. It's just nuts. I feel bad for this shit. I really do. Like, this is... It, it's... It's just sad to see this shit happen to somebody, right? I mean, to just get... Like, has anybody ever been got on this level before? I don't even know. Like, how is... It, like, I've never seen somebody be got by this on... on like, it's just... Like, it, it's so definitive. You know, it's so like, boom, there it is. It is what it is. I've never cheered for someone's downfall like this. Oh, I do all the time. Do it more. It feels great. Yeah, this is awful. Yeah, the, you and WoW. Yeah, this is like me and WoW whenever I, I go at the end of the mount off and I know the other guy has like 50 more mounts than I do and I get on the three mounts that came out 10 years ago that he doesn't have and then I just keep getting on new mounts that like he has and I'm just like, oh no, I, what's going to happen? I'm losing. That's exactly what it feels like. They call him Chris. Thanks for the 10 subs, man. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. This is just fucking sad, man. It really is. Cheering all the time for Blizzard's downfall. I don't cheer for Blizzard's downfall. I just cheer for certain people's downfall. Like the molesters, you know? Oh my god. This is awful. This bitch really fucking up real abuse victims. Basically a cry wolf scenario. Yep, you are definitely right. Uh, you are 100% right, and that is 200% true. Holy shit. Oh my god, dude. Oh my fucking god, dude. This is just... This is just a, it, it's just a bad time. I think that's really what I would say, is it's just straight up a bad fucking time for her. Uh, spark it up. Thanks for the five good subs. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. It's about time. Men have been crucified for years over this crap. About time women get in trouble for false allegations, what they do. Yeah, true. So if we could please true. play and publish to the jury plaintiff's exhibit yep. 346. All right, here we go. Let's see her talking about and, uh, her doing a donation. All kinds of accusations uh, flying your way when you said all this, and then there was a divorce. That's crazy. I can't believe that. What happened to the audio? Well, I mean, seven oh. million dollars in total was donated to. I split it between the ACLU was and donated. Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. ACLU is a human rights organization. Sorry, ACLU is a prominent um, uh, organization, nonprofit organization in the United States. Yeah. It's called the American right. Civil Liberties Union, yep. and they work on behalf of marginalized communities uh, on the ground and the legislative reform. Uh -huh. right. And well, more power to you because that's that's something that I. I've never heard I wanted of, uh, nothing. Ah! But... This interview was in October of 2018. Ah! Right, Ms. Heard? I don't recall when it was. Look at that. It was in 2018. Right, Look at that. I don't remember when this was done. This was after you had received the full $7 million of your divorce settlement from Mr. Depp, wasn't it? Again, without knowing when it was recorded, I have no idea. The $7 million divorce settlement was paid to you in full by February of 2018, right? That's correct. And when Let's was the show? Let's look at Defendant's Exhibit 14. Yeah, and when was the show? already in evidence. That's what I'm curious about. If all this happened, when did the show happen? Oh my god. This is gosh. the deal point memorandum from your divorce settlement, right, Ms. Heard? Here we go. Yes. October. That's what it looks like. Isn't that interesting? If that we go is down crazy. to the bottom of page four. What? But I thought so that would be after, right? Oh. There's a heading labeled Equalization Payment. Do you see that? Yes. Yeah. And underneath I think in addition to consideration all of the above, Johnny shall pay to Amber some of seven hundred thousand dollars. Okay, yeah. So I don't know why this audio is cutting out. It's annoying, but hopefully it'll be fixed soon. It's crazy now she can just remember all this. Wow. Seven million dollars. So the first payment is scheduled for August thirty first, two thousand sixteen. 
and that's 200,000, correct? Yeah. Yes, that is correct. Mr. Duff's accountant, Edward White, testified that he made that payment directly. Not? You gotta turn on your microphone, Ms. Berterhoff. I not going to hear you. Objection to her testifying to what Mr. White testified to. Them. Okay. She didn't have her mic on. Oh, Actually, my God. Literally testified to it in court. I'll, I'll overrule the objection. Uh, Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Depp's accountant, Edward White, testified that now he I made understand the payment why directly to the, the ACLU and CHLA, correct? I believe so. What is this? Like, why is this happening? They were all made to you, weren't they? Oh, she says that I believe correct. so. And the final payment of $2.3 million dollars is on February 1st, 2018, right? The final payment, yes. And you were here in uh -huh. court when Mr. White testified the payments were all made on I mean, schedule. I'm gonna to object to her testifying to what no. Mr. White testified to. Uh, overall improper. objection, go ahead. Thank you, Your Honor. And mm -hmm. you were here in court when Mr. White testified that the payments were all made on schedule, right? I don't believe they were. Uh, he might have That's testified. That's not my to question, that. Ms. Heard. Yeah. My question was: You were here in court when Mr. White testified under oath that all That's the payments the accountant were made guy, by on the way. schedule. The numbers. I was here dude. every day in court. I I heard his testimony. Yes. Okay. Overall, so yeah, there October it is. October of 2018. This was before Mr. Depp sued you for defamation, correct? Yes, that's correct. He didn't sue you until after the op-ed came out in December of 2018. Right? Yeah. He sued me in 2019. And the op-ed came out in December of 2018. That is correct. So that would make sense. So in October of 2018, you had received your entire $7 million divorce settlement. It seems that, that way. with me. That is correct. Okay. And you hadn't yet been sued by Mr. Depp. This is uh, October. Correct. So in this so October she withheld donating the money. You said that you had, quote, donated oh quote, no your entire divorce settlement to charity right that's correct and in fact your exact words were quote seven million in total was donated oh to, no i split it between the aclu and the children's hospital of los angeles oh quote, no right that's, that's correct i made that statement as soon as i got a divorce and we reached the settlement that's when i wow it right then and you say this because you quote wanted nothing end quote that is correct. That's correct. But you hadn't donated your entire entire seven million dollars. So you lied. At that point, had you? That's incorrect. Oh. Sitting here today, Ms. Heard, you still haven't donated the seven million dollars divorce settlement to charity. Isn't that right? Incorrect. I pledged the entirety no, of the Ms. Heard, yeah, seven million dollars to question. charity, and I fulfilled, oh. fulfilled Ms. Heard, those obligations. Ms. Heard, that's not my question. Please. What Try was to your question? answer my question. Sitting here today, you have not donated the seven million dollars donated, not pledged, donated Oof. seven million dollars divorce settlement to charity. Say it. I use pledge and donation synonymous with one another. Please. So I say don't it, Miss Heard. I don't use it synonymously. That's how donations are paid. Ms. No, Heard, they're not. Respectfully, that's not my question. As of today, you have not paid $3.5 million of your own money to the ACLU. Yes or no? I have not yet. And no. as of today, you have not paid $3.5 million of your own money to the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles, correct? I have not yet, not. Johnny Sutton. Oh. So as of today, oh. you have not donated, anything, paid $7 million of your divorce settlement to charity, oh. right? I have not been able to fulfill those book, uh, those uh, obligations yet. You haven't done it. And that's because you did want something. Yeah, didn't it seems I didn't that want way. Anything, and I didn't get anything. You wanted Mr. Depp's money. Didn't get it. Wasn't interested in it. But you just I did. I love Johnny. That's why I was with him. You wanted praise for donating the money, right? That's incorrect. Oh, then you why did you say the press. it? In general, one. Yeah, of course you did to get rid of yes. the gold digger accusation. You wanted to seem altruistic publicly. Yeah, of course she was. My interest. Um, my interest is uh, in my name and clearing my name. And at clearing the time, my name. I was being exactly. called a liar. And my Holy were being shit. I did see it as important to clear that up. I wanted to make a statement to oh make my sure that God. there was not any doubt 
that I couldn't be labeled these things just because Johnny was a bigger star and had more publicity reach. Oh, okay. You wanted to remind everyone of your claims of domestic violence against Mr. Depp, right? No, I wanted to move on with my life. You wanted to make those claims seem believable. They are believable. They were believable. You wanted them to, to be seen. You wanted to be seen, excuse me, as a noble victim of domestic violence. I have you? never, never wanted to be seen as a victim. Uh -huh. Nor have you, I ever called myself one. That's why you wrote the article about being a victim. You testified under oath that, quote, the entirety of your divorce settlement was donated to charity, end quote, didn't you? That's correct. I pledged the entirety. No. No. Ms. Heard, my questions. Your counsel will have time to redirect you after. You testified under oath, quote, the entirety of your divorce settlement was donated to charity, end quote. That is correct. I pledged the entirety. I'm going to move to strike everything after yes. Uh, all right. No. You know what it's going to be. Hurt. You know what? It's really inappropriate. I, I'll sustain the objection and we'll just move forward. Thank you. Let's move forward. Next okay, question. here we go. Under oath, that statement wasn't true, was it, Ms. Hurd? I'm sorry, I don't follow your question. Sorry. You testified under oath, quote, the entirety of my divorce settlement was donated to charity, end quote. That statement wasn't true. It is true. I pledged the entirety to charity. The statement. When you say you buy a house, you don't pay Ms. for Heard, the entire house Heard, at one time. You pay it I'm over not asking, time. Ms. Heard. All right. Next question, please. Thank you. Yes, you are, you are in a legal that agreement. That statement isn't true today. That's not the way it works. Today, is it? it is true. I pledged the entirety. But you didn't charity. donate. That's a legal agreement. Unfortunately, you didn't donate it. It's a yes or no. I haven't been able to obligate. I mean, to fulfill those. So that's a no, right, Ms. Heard? I am. I made the pledge. I want to be very clear. I pledged the entirety. I haven't been able to fulfill those pledges because I've been sued. You had all of the seven million dollars for thirteen months before Mr. Depp sued you, and you yeah. chose not to pay it to the charities. Yeah. you pledged it to. Is that I, correct? Ms. I Hart? disagree with your characterization of that. Okay, how? Let's look at your sworn testimony from the UK. No, oh, here we go. Oh my God, this is brutal. This is fucking brutal. Who took character? Yep, there it is. Imagine thinking a mortgage is the same as some pledge. Like she signs a contract. Thank you. Oh my God. Bro, I pledge you five gifted subs in a hundred years. Well, I'll hold you to that. Close the shades. Okay. <laughs> just, there's this light coming across. So I appreciate that. It's be probably helpful. good light. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. All right. Because God wanted to tune in for this part, man. He was ready to see this shit. He was waiting for this shit for a while. Look at that binder. Oh my God. This is uh, your third witness statement that you submitted in the UK action, right, Ms. Heard? Correct. Okay. And this statement was made under oath. Here true? we go. That is true. I'm directing your attention to the last page yep. of that statement. That's your signature, right? Yes, it is. So you made this sworn statement on February 26, 2020. That's correct. And directing your attention to paragraph four. Here we go. It says, quote, I remained financially independent from him the whole time we were together. I wonder how. And the entire amount of my divorce settlement was donated to charity, end quote. That is correct. Did I read that correctly? Yes, you did. The him you were referring to is Mr. Depp. That is correct. Yeah. That's interesting because it didn't Plus, the happen. The money that was donated to the ACLU and CHLA in your name came from someone else. Isn't that right? I don't know what you mean by most of. Well, at least $500,000 that was donated to the ACLU in your name wasn't paid by you, right? 
Uh, I believe Elon made a donation in my honor on one of, one of the years. So and no. And it didn't come out of your $7 million divorce. So fund, no. Right? No, nor did it count towards my pledge. And at least $500,000 that was donated to the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles in your name wasn't paid by you either. Right, those were made at the same time. And it didn't come out of your $7 million divorce settlement. Nor did it count no. to my 3.5 obligation. Those $500,000 payments came from your new boyfriend, Elon Musk, right? Uh, he, I don't know if he was a new boyfriend at the time. Yeah. <laughs> you got him to pay part of what you promised to these two charities, didn't you? Incorrect. Because you wanted to keep at least Tesla some Motors $7 gifted million 10 divorce subs. settlement for yourself, right? You're very wrong about that. I think this... Thanks. If your honor's okay, fine, you said this is a good stop breaking point. point. Okay, that's fine. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll stop here for the evening. Remember tonight, do not do any outside research and do not discuss the case with anybody. I know these days are a little longer. Oh, I appreciate my. your patient, patience and uh, your, your uh, taking care of everything here. Please take care of yourself oh, tonight. Oh, my okay? God. We'll see you in the morning at 9 a.m. Simp, Elon, Elon's just trying to be a good guy. He's just trying to be a good guy, a nice guy. And, and and she's do pulling this bullshit on him, man. But she's bringing him into this like this bullshit. Like can't wait, bro. Like this this is bad. Like this is. Since you're still uh, on the witness stand, please do not discuss your testimony. Oh my fucking tries, god, okay? this is All bad. Right, nine like, o'clock tomorrow then. All right. This we'll means she now. lied under oath. All right. Who's surprised about that? Who the hell's surprised about that? She's lying all the time. She a lying ass bitch. What the hell do you expect? What do you think? She's gonna turn it off and on? No, man. This is just a. This is just what she does. Perjury though. Ah, uh, but she's crazy. So they're gonna be able to get her out of it. It's okay. Yeah, nothing's gonna happen. Now, if she does get charged for perjury, that would be really funny. Like, that would be really, really fucking funny. Yeah, lawyers are hugging each other? Yeah, because, like, this is it. Like, they're, th this is, like, you have to understand, like, this is such a high-profile case. Like, that girl, that woman, uh, the, the lawyer, right, her, is never going to have to worry about finding another job again. You understand? Like, she's just like, okay... Boom, there it is. Like, yeah, we want, like, any, like, the next celebrity to have shit like this happen, like, whenever they talk to their fucking agent or whoever, they're like, who do you want to represent you? He's going to be like, I want her. Absolutely. Oh, my fucking God, this is wild, man. Holy shit. It's just an attack on her credibility? Well, it's, a, yeah, it is. But, like, the thing is, is, like, all of her statements are built around her credibility. You see what I'm saying? So, like, you, you like, uh, everything that she's doing, everything that she's saying centers around her credibility. So you can't just say, like, oh, it's just attacking her credibility. Because, yes, you're exactly right. That's what they're doing. But that's the only thing that she has is her credibility. Because there's nothing else that you can tell. Like, you can't go and see, like, uh, anything else. All she, all she has is her credibility. Uh, ironically, she was right about that. Uh, the only thing that she has is her word and her name. And we've seen how valuable that truly is. It's absolutely insane to me to see somebody get roasted on this fucking level, man. Holy shit. It's a defamation case. It's literally about credibility. Yeah, exactly. She conveniently has no evidence for all the really bad things. Yeah, I know. I can't believe Elon is rocket man. That's pretty fucking stupid, isn't it? Yeah, I know. Oh, uh, wow. Uh, uh, Camille got a Always Damage buff for her achievement? Yeah, I know. This is just fucking funny, man. Um, oh, my God. Like, it's just... Uh, uh, this is just... I honestly feel bad for... Uh, Elon got lost in the... No, the thing is, like, Elon was just trying to be a nice guy. You have to understand... Like, look at it from his perspective, right? So, he meets this hot girl. He starts talking to her. She stops talking to him for some fucking reason. And then she comes back and she says she's being abused by her boyfriend. Like, obviously, he's gonna be like, Man, you know, like, this really sucks. Like, you've gotta understand, like, Elon's got a close relationship with his mom. He still takes his mom everywhere to different places, right? So it's very obvious that he has a, you know, like, he's probably a, a pretty soft guy in that regard. 
you know, he's trying to be a nice guy. He's going to be more sympathetic to something like that, probably. And, you know, he hears this and he tries to help her. He does. He tries to help her because from his perspective, he doesn't know what's going on. And of course, he's going to trust her because he feels like he knows her and she wouldn't lie to him. So, yeah, you're right. Um, he trusted her and he was like, you know what? I'll help you out because, you know, this is a terrible situation for you to be in. Uh, exactly. They're going to give her 500k. Yeah, but 500k for Elon is like lending somebody 50 bucks for you. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. Like, the guy's fucking, he's like super fucking rich. It's not a big deal to him to lend somebody 50 bucks, you know? Like, it really, it's less than 50. Yeah, it's not even 50. It's like five bucks. Yeah. Who gives a shit? And this would be a big deal for her. It's going to help. Yeah, it's what he write this off as taxes. This is a win-win situation. What's wrong with that, man? I mean, god damn. The I pledge, I will donate uh, 10,000. I pledge, I'll donate 10,000 subs to you, man. You know what, guys? Hey, who else is going to pledge 10,000 subs to me? Because I I'm going to make sure that Twitch provides this. Who else? Who else will pledge 10,000 subs? Everybody, me? Holy shit. Because now that all of you guys pledged the money, Twitch should just pay me the money now. Because in my in the next uh, the next monthly, uh, you know, uh, fucking uh, amount of money that I get, right? Like, I, I should get the next amount, right? I mean, it makes sense because you guys pledged it all, and a pledge is the same as a donation, and so I feel like that makes sense, right? She's lying about donation. What else is she lying about? Exactly. What else is she lying about? Very simple answer to that. Everything. So she's lying about everything. Uh, she's made all of this up. It's completely fabricated, and that's shown by... Uh, like fucking multiple eyewitnesses, uh, different security guards, um, you know, people in Johnny Depp's past that have known him that, that counter these stories. Uh, also, uh, literally every single bit of evidence, there's that too. And um, I, I, I cannot wait. You know what they're going to get to tomorrow, right? The shit. The literal shit. They are going to get ready for the shit. And that is what I am so fucking excited to see, man. I I'm going to be honest. Like, I am so fucking excited to see what's going to happen. Like, this is just brutal, man. Like, let me see a few more of these uh, uh, of these posts here. I, I got to see what all this stuff is. I'm like, yeah, well, look at this. Uh, I I'll read out some of the posts that people have, uh, have tagged me in and, and everything like that. And uh, let's see here. Um, oh, here's another one. Uh, let, let's read this one. If you ever experienced gaslighting, Amber Heard is currently giving a live master class. She's doing it to the jury and to Johnny Depp. She's abusing him all over again. Yeah, because you've got to keep in mind, too, like, Johnny Depp is hearing all this bad stuff about him. That's going to stress him out, you know? Like, I, that would fucking make me upset. Pickle, thanks for the gifted subs. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. So let, let's look at some more of this stuff here. Let, well, here's one. Amber Heard testifies that her attorneys at advised her not to speak with the police on the 21st of May. Attorneys usually give that advice to clients uh, from incriminating themselves. Yeah, that's exactly right. I think that it's, I don't know if this is a very, very strong bit of evidence because I think usually they tell you to do that regardless, but it's still funny for me to see this. Oh my God. And, and like people are posting other pictures of like what it looks like whenever somebody beats the shit out of you. Uh, it's nuts, man. Wow. I, I, I Oh my god. What, what's this here? Well, let me go ahead. I'm going to pull this up. I, I got to take a piss, guys, and then we're going to look at a little bit more of the evidence, okay? Should we talk to the police out your Yeah, I, I don't think that's... Like, that's not... That's not damning in itself. I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Ah. Uh, since I'm a makeup artist, I have to share this here. Today, Amber Heard was asked about how she applied makeup, and she had a Freudian slip where she, she said, I used a bruise kit. She quickly tried to fix it by saying, not a bruise kit, I called it a bruise kit. She was actually referring to a color corrector, which I don't even think she said at the moment. But she was saying she used it after foundation and concealer. And as a makeup artist, I use color correctors before foundation, but I certainly use bruise kits after or on bare skin. So did she try to cover bruises, or was she creating them? Uh, Dex, thanks for five subs, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, isn't that something, boys? Ain't that just a little bit of something? Wow. That is just... That is amazing. I can't believe it. Well, let's see if we got a few more of these. Oh, man. Like, you guys just keep sending me more of this stuff. This is awful. Um, what's this? Oh, oh, here we go. Yeah, so her complaint uh, was that she bumped her head standing up two days ago, not a concussion from being abused. Wow. Wow, look at that. Holy shit. That is just, that is just crazy. Oh, here's another one. Let's take a look at this shit right here. Amber Heard supporters be like, believe all women, except Amber Heard's nurse and a hundred other women testifying against her. That's right. Like, the only way that anybody can take this seriously from her side is if they cling to some dogmatic ideology that makes no sense and has no respect for the truth. What a bunch of bullshit. You shouldn't believe people based on their gender. What kind of a fucking idiot does that? Let me read a few more of these. Holy fuck, man. This is just, as I said, I think this is just so funny. I do. I do. Because, like, people, they, they keep seeing this stuff. And let's see. We got a few more. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got this. And I've seen this already. Yeah, I, I made this comparison the second that we saw it. Let me go back over and take a look at the rest of it. Oh, here we go. Now, this is, you want to hear about something unnecessary that everybody knows? Here's the definitions of pledge and donate. Guess what? They're two different things. Here's what I'm saying is that here's a really big bit of advice that I would advise pretty much everybody to do. If coincidence and personal gain converge, it's probably not a coincidence. Do you think that Amber Heard, who was clearly clearly fixated more than anything on her reputation that she said she said she didn't care about the money she cared about her reputation which to be to be fair i think that's fair that that's that's something that that makes sense right uh which one would look better would it look better for her to say that she was going to donate the money or that she did donate the money well i think it would make more sense and it would be more fair for her to say that she already did so guess what? That's what she said. So she said the thing that was beneficial to her at the time uh, at the time stated. You make a pledge on Kickstarter, then you donate to fulfill your pledge. I don't know why Amber Heard is so stupid that she can't understand that. You are stupid because you think that she doesn't understand that. You're not really stupid, but you've you've been hoodwinked. You've been bamboozled. You've been fooled. Okay? Yes. Yeah, so please, you're not dumb. I'm, I'm not being mean. But like she knows that everybody knows that she's deliberately misunderstanding things in order to craft a fake narrative that's obviously what she's doing uh king charmander thank you much for the five get the community subs i appreciate that thank you so much thank you thank you thank you yeah you're being ambered exactly and uh wow it's just she's not gonna openly incriminate herself she's gonna deny it forever but she can't she actually can't deny it so, and, and also, like, she's already stated that she hasn't done it. Amber was sitting on that money and getting millions, uh, interest on millions. She was getting the money out of interest and tax breaks. It's all bullshit. Well, it's like maybe she would have donated the money some point in the future. And, like, I, I, will, I will grant her maybe she would have in, I don't know, five years. Uh, Shanks, thank you much for the five good the subs. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, sure. But that's just about it. She's in so, so deep that she can't tell the truth anymore. Yeah, uh, that's basically it. Is that you have to just, you have to bullshit people. Exactly. 
Her getting booed when arriving. Did you hear that? No, I didn't hear that. Uh, I got. I went live a little bit late today because I didn't know it was actually starting at 8 a.m. I thought it was like, uh, I thought it was gonna start at 9 because that's the way every other one had started. Uh, dude, like, and and yes, yes, we had seen this too. We had seen this too. So take a look at this. Um, now I, I want to say like uh, one of the guys, uh, the head of Amber Heard's PR department. Guess what he got accused of? Does anybody want to know? Does anybody want to guess? That's right. Uh, Amber Heard's uh, PR director got accused of sexual harassment. Wow. Well, hey, makes sense. It takes one to know one. Uh, and like, yeah, let's see what happens. And uh, it's just, yeah, not a surprise. Like, obviously, it's an accusation. Like, like, maybe it's not fucking true, right? I mean, I have no idea. But I do think that it's just a little bit too fucking... Uh, uh, a little bit too poetic, isn't it? Holy fuck. No one ever says I'm going to pledge X amount of dollars. You say I'm going to pledge to donate X amount of dollars. Uh, I think that in general that's the case. And like her stupid fucking comparison between this and a mortgage. Like a pledge is not, like she did not sign a legal document with collateral with the ACLU or with the children's hospital. She just pledged that she was going to donate the money. There's no accountability to this. There's no contract to this. There's nothing. She's just making it up. So to compare the two, a, a legal contract with legal ramifications for not fulfilling it, and a, oh, I think I'm going to donate some money. That's completely fucking different. That is completely fucking different. And also the fact that, like, what I found so funny, because like, I didn't know what the dates were, so she had over a year to donate the money before Johnny Depp uh, sued her. So her saying, and this was the only thing, you remember what I said, right? That the only thing that I thought was relatively plausible and somewhat understandable is that she didn't want to donate the money anymore because now she was getting sued. But I didn't know what the timeline was. Apparently, well, 13 is more than 12. That's why I said over a year. Over the year sounds better. That's why I used it. So anyway, um, she, uh, she, she didn't donate the money because she was worried that she was going to get sued and lose the money and she didn't have that much money. And I think that makes perfect sense, right? I, I, I get it. It makes sense. Shad, thanks to the five. Get the community subs. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. So she had over a year to donate the money without the context of her needing to save the money to worry about Johnny Depp suing her. You see what I'm saying? So it was clearly not that the reason was clearly not because of that. She was lying. She was lying and using that as an excuse and then turning it around as if Johnny Depp was the one who uh, who's preventing her. It's like, you see what I'm saying? Like, by extension, it's Johnny Depp who now doesn't want her to donate to the children's hospital. Isn't that fucking convenient? And then also, the press release that came out from her spokesperson said it was unexpected. Why do you have to put that? Like, what is, what is that shit, bro? What is that shit, bro? You're gonna put it's unexpected that he wasn't gonna donate the money or that he didn't care about civil liberties or kids in hospitals. Like, what kind of horse shit is that you're gonna put it in there, man? Oh my fucking god. Like, how does that even happen? That's him protect- yeah, that's her protecting him, exactly. Uh, imagine Johnny got the money out of this and then says, don't worry, I'll fulfill your pledge for you. I think that's what he'll do. I unironically think that Johnny will make a big dick move, take the money away from her with the $50 million, and then donate that shit back to the charities and probably try to do it in her name. You know, or, or like even like that would be fucking funny, man. Oh, my God. Uh, didn't Johnny, uh, what's this here? Didn't Johnny Depp go to sick children's hospitals dressed as, ca dressed as Captain Jack Sparrow? Yes, yes, he did. And, uh, he's done this for, uh, for years now. Of course he has. And, uh, he didn't, yeah. So, what, how, uh, that's actually a very good point. Thank you. Yes, there we go. Um, concerns for charities that he has never previously cared about. Look at this horse shit. Meanwhile, this guy is going in full fucking makeup, in an outfit, and then also in the context of him getting the shit beaten out of him by this fucking harpy, and he's going and dressing up and trying to cheer people up in hospitals. Meanwhile, half the fucking time, he wouldn't even need to put on the eye makeup because Amber did that for him. Holy shit! God damn, bro, what the fuck?
Compared to her, he's a saint? Yeah. And then the worst thing that she... The worst thing that we have about Johnny. Here's some pictures. Oh, it's Johnny passed out on the floor. Oh, my God. Like, I, I, I can't believe. Like, how... How is it possible that we could have a photo? Look at this horse shit, man. Taking a picture of somebody like that. A and then you send it to somebody, this is what I'm dealing with. Like, he's just some d dumb asshole or whatever. Why are you pretending you care so much? You, re uh, you really run out content? You live stream your free content now? Yeah, of course. Listen, man. You gonna get mad about me streaming the content or whatever? Uh, here's why I do it. One, number of people love watching. Number two, you want to know the other big reason? Is because I don't trust other people. I know there's a few other people. Maybe XQC is still watching. You too, man. But I don't trust a lot of other fucking people to watch this shit and give it a fair shake. I don't trust them. I don't trust the media. I don't trust these publications, etc. I don't trust any of them. Because they're full of shit. They've got their own biases, and you know what? I kind of do too. I've had friends of mine that have been in positions like Johnny Depp's, and I make that well known well ahead of time. You guys have to know that. Absolutely, I've had people had like say that have that happen. But the truth is that uh, a lot of other people they don't they don't make that known. They don't say, "Hey, this is you know where I'm coming from." No, they pretend to be objective and then they lie. And so, yes, that's why I talk about it. That's why I give my takes on things. It's because I think that I'm one of the only people out there that can actually fucking give it a fair shake. Because everybody else comes in there with their fucking agenda, and they try to pervert things in a way that's not real. That's why. Yeah, exactly. Take a picture of someone they're vulnerable instead of helping? Yeah, exactly. Let me look back over here, and uh, let, let, let's, see, let's see the rest of this, all right? And uh, let, let's go back down to here, and uh, we'll go down and we'll look at a few more of this. And so this is another picture of him. Like, as I said, I mean, I, like, obviously, I, I think we all know this, right? It's like Johnny Depp very clearly has a fucking problem. It's obvious he's got a fucking problem. Wow, what a surprise. Johnny Depp, who are the people he looks up to? Hunter S. Thompson and uh, fucking... What's his name from Rolling Stones? Uh, like, why, why am I drawing a blank randomly? Keith Richards. It's like, imagine somebody that looks up to Keith Richards and Hunter S. Thompson and then being like, wow, I can't believe this person has a problem with substances. Oh my God. What a shock. Who could have predicted that? Yeah, Mar and, and yeah, close friends with Marilyn Manson. Yeah, I mean, come on, man. It's obvious this guy's got problems. It does. Uh, it is. It is. It's obvious. Uh, I can understand if she took those pics only to show Johnny, but there's no reason to make them public. Not only that, but she puts his entire reputation at risk. She does, and especially this one. Like, what is this? This is totally fine. Like, what is this? This is totally fine. He's literally just asleep. Like, god damn. Like, I've... How many people have you guys seen that looks like that? Yeah, he's nodding out. Yeah, he's just chilling, man. That's it. And, and it's just... It's so dumb, man. Yeah, can a man not relax? No, apparently not. Because she's fucking pulling this paparazzi shit on him. And look at this. I love how he has his hair fucking tied up in the top. I think that's fucking funny. But, like, look at this. Like, if this is, if this is evidence, like, if I had a dollar for every fucking time that my dad fell asleep this way, I'd be able to pay off Amber Heard's pledge entirely. He did this, like, he does this all the time. Like, yeah, my dad does this constantly. And he'll lean over like that, exactly like that. I see at the airport all the time. Yeah, there it fucking is, man. She probably did that while he was passed out. Well, not only is she doing that while he's passed out, but then she's sending these condescending messages to her friends about how much of a fucking loser he is or how how bad Johnny Depp is. That's what's so crazy. Is someone that been heroin at the family? Sometimes you do need to take pictures and show them because they don't believe you the next day. Yeah, but do you need to send it and take it? To, uh, like, it, it's very different. Okay, I I, I think that this is uh, this is contextual. I agree with you, and I think that it's true. And if she didn't send them to a bunch of people, then I would I would definitely be like, okay, maybe she is, you know, not a, a bad person. Because I, I agree with you uh, on, on a fundamental level. But there's two different points that I think make this different. 
Number one is the fact that she sent them to her friends without really a lot of context other than just being condescending to him. And then the other bit of context that I think matters is the fact that he goes and he, she does this and he's a really big celebrity. Like, don't you think that's a little bit, um, I, I don't know, like what the word is for it, uh, irresponsible? to go and post pictures like this of somebody who's a big celebrity and it could be posted up somewhere and make them look really bad. And also, like, even if she didn't care, that's one thing. But it, accu it, it actually contradicts what she had said in the past, is that she did care what he, wh about him, and, and she, she actually wanted to make sure that he knew about this. And how many times did she say in her little fucking, uh, you know, this uh, choose your own adventure game here that she was playing, how many times did she say that she was trying to protect him? I was trying to protect Johnny. I was trying to protect him. I was trying to protect him. Yeah, that's right. You're sending it to your fucking friends who you don't even really know you can trust. And hey, what if you can trust your friends? But can you trust your friends' friends? Well, you know what? I wouldn't even ask her that question because I know the answer to that. The answer is I never fucking thought about that because I don't care. That's what the answer is. It's crazy, man. Yeah, you destroy what you try to want to protect? Well, that's certainly what she does. Absolutely. Maybe she'll use that. I'm sure that's a great quote from a movie, and she'll probably use that one too. Absolutely. If Johnny passes out all the time, why don't you have a single picture of him with coke or booze next to him whenever he sleeps? So he passes out only whenever he's not doing drugs? So not only does he pass out only whenever he's not doing drugs, but there's no other evidence of him doing drugs at all. Right? Like, even this picture here, there's some lines of cocaine, which, by the way, we don't really know if this is even cocaine or not. This is just a picture of lines of white stuff, and we are to assume that it is cocaine. Now, I will, I will grant you, let's, let's assume that it's cocaine, but maybe it's not. And, and yeah, like, everything else is pretty much all put together. There's no, he's not smoking. Yeah, you're right, the ashtray is completely cleaned. Set up the photo. What do you think the odds are that she set up the photo? Because I bet, listen, if, if I don't think we're going to argue here, did Johnny Depp do coke before? I, I think that that's a, um, I, I feel like that, but well, I could assume that he did. Yeah, I could assume that, that he did, absolutely, and um, sure, but how do we know that this is this is coke at all right especially if there's no other it's like it'd be one thing if there was a bunch of evidence in many other cases of like you know him doing drugs like this is him doing drugs with these guys or, or not or somebody else right or, or like even a, a little bit more of it but there's not really a whole lot so like yeah i'm sure he does it yeah definitely but it, it's clearly not as bad as it seems or you'd probably have a picture of it because she's clearly taken a lot of pictures of him. And again, this is something I've said before, is that the pictures that she is providing here are the most damning pictures. Because why would she withhold pictures and evidence that would help her win the case? This is a $50 million case. It's a lot of money on the line. So she would put those pictures out there. So you have to assume that this is the worst of the worst or the best of the best, depending on how you want to look at it. So these pictures here, are the worst ones they are the most uh the most damning uh they are the most uh incriminating and they make him look the worst uh yeah no she gave photos uh they're not provided by the lawyers yet as she's insinuating i don't believe that i i don't believe that because why would the lawyers not provide those photos like are, are they trying to own goal her are they trying to like sabotage her like what is it like so how many people are against her johnny's against her um, uh, society is against her. The media is against her. King Charmander, thing I should didn't get the subs. I appreciate that. Um, apparently her own family was against her because they like Johnny. Um, like, uh, let, let's see. Uh, who else? Her lawyers now are against her. Uh, like, everybody's against her. Oh, come on. Hmm. Their sister's scared of her? Yeah, I would be too. Absolutely. I've done before a straight line telling her respectfully. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Uh, what you're doing, Coke, you usually get grass surface so you can see the residue. Uh, oh, from like uh, like skin flakes and like sweat and like, uh, you know, like any residual like stuff. Like I, I've i never really been around a lot of people that have done Coke before. So like I don't really know what to expect with this. So I, I yeah, I, I don't know. 
Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Our sister that told her how to snort coke through a tampon applicator? Yeah, it's a little bit fucking interesting, man. I'm gonna go and pledge my mortgage payments to my bank instead of paying them. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, that, that's a that's a really great idea. Sure. Um, you should play the video of Johnny visiting the hospital kids. It's very touching. There's a lot of them. Like, I, I don't know which one I would choose. I've seen like a dozen of these things. Uh, different. What if these photos are staged because he's passed out from sleeping pills that she gave him? Well, I mean, I don't... Here's the thing. He's a 58-year-old man. What do you think the odds are that this didn't need to be staged? Like, this this doesn't need to be staged. Like, I, I bet this probably just happened. Like, I bet he's actually asleep here. She didn't need to stage this. This is just what happens. Uh, Cyan, thank you very much for the, uh, the five good good subs. I appreciate that. How come she can't take a uh, picture of it at once or a video of it? Uh, look at the picture, man. It's so perfect. Even the ashtray on the black square. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I really don't know. Uh, let, let's read a few more of these. Uh, conditional pledges are much different than non-donor restricted contributions. A charitable organization cannot reorganize revenue on a conditional prev uh, pledges until the condition is met. The language is not synonymous. Well, I, I know that everybody knows that a pledge and a donation is not synonymous. Every single person except for her knows this in the world, okay? Yeah, it, it's just nuts, man. I'm in my 30s and I nap too. My grandpa used to sleep like that. Yeah, my dad sleeps like this all the time, man. Uh, you've been to opioid use, that shit can happen. Yeah, it can. The thing is, like, all I'm really trying to get out of here is, like, I mean, this isn't a, this is not a case to determine whether or not Johnny Depp does drugs or not. If it is, I think we're all kind of wasting our time here. But I think it's a case to determine some other stuff instead, you know? Like, uh, it's just, it's fucking crazy, man. It really is. It's absolutely fucking crazy. I've uh, slept like that and I'm 26. Yeah, I think plenty of people have. Where is the video where you react to Amber versus Camille? Uh, part B on YouTube? I'm sure it'll be up in a few hours, I would assume. I'm not, I don't know though. And, uh, doesn't Johnny work nonstop? Dude's probably tired as fuck. Yeah, he probably is. I would agree with that. Absolutely. Uh, let me look at the rest of these. Uh, is there anything else really to go over? I, I, let me make sure I, I wrote some things down. Uh, I wanted to make sure about the rest of it. Oh yeah, yeah. Her saying all this bad stuff about, uh, about Johnny Depp and then her being upset that it ruined her reputation. Meanwhile, there's like no even acknowledgement of the fact that like, I wonder why, like, what do you think that like Pirates of the Caribbean, Disney, and also, uh, uh, you know, the people, I don't know if Disney's doing this one too. I don't think they are. Uh, they're doing the Harry Potter thing. Like both of them just decided simultaneously. Yeah. Um, we're going to, we're going to drop one of our main stars. You think this was random or do you think that it was because of Amber Heard? It was obviously because of her. Obviously it was because of her. So it's like she's worrying about what's happening to herself, but she doesn't even realize what she did to him. Uh, it, it's, it's crazy. Uh, cause should the bottle finish stuff? Uh, I, I don't know, man. Like she, he's already meant to be opioid addict under oath. What's the point of the photograph? To make him look bad. That's why. To make him look bad. Uh, would you check out stuff that happened before we started stream? Much stuff about recording. Uh, you're talking about hitting Johnny. I might look at that in a little bit, but uh, right now I want to do this. I, there's so much stuff. She's trying to set up for, she's trying to go for a mistrial due to inadequate counsel. I don't think that she even knows about that enough to even go for it. Like, that's my opinion. I don't think she has any fucking idea at all. I just, I find, like, her getting caught for, for, for pocketing the money is fucking funny to me. It is so fucking funny to me for that to happen. Uh, I, I love it. I absolutely fucking love it. Uh, sin with the 10 gifted community subs. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, Demiria has been an addict uh, for uh, a shitty actor to work with, giving bad performances uh, for so long now. It's possible they dropped them anyway with even out accusations. Maybe that's true. But what do you think the odds are? Uh, I, I think the odds are much more likely that it's because of what she said. It's characterized by Johnny's being some completely out of control of his facilities. He'd pass out and forget things like abusing her. It's bullshit, and that's the thing they're trying. Exactly. Yeah, it's so like his testimony doesn't even matter. Man, like, I I'm gonna be honest, like, this shit is, uh, this shit makes me mad, it does. Like, I, I see this, and it just makes me mad, it makes me frustrated, and, um, as I said, I'm, uh, 
I, I, I've seen this stuff happen before to friends of mine, uh, stories I've heard. And so, uh, yeah, I, I hope this happens, man. I really do. Watch Woodwalker debunks Amber Heard's broken bed testimony. I will watch this video if it's less than 10 minutes, okay? But I don't want to go into a long video. Uh, let's go back and we're going to look at it, okay? Uh, let's see here. This is 20 minutes. Uh, I think this is a little bit too long. Uh, but uh, we might watch it at some other point. I don't know exactly when. And that's uh, like 16 minutes. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's not that not that long. And uh, you can skip it. How about we watch this in a day or two, okay? Because there's a bunch of other stuff that I wanted to talk about today and get into. People are in the room, said Camille cried after being congratulated for a cross. Well, I, I think that, I mean, she should. I mean, she did really well. And I think she was obviously very emotionally invested in this. So yeah, it stressed her out a lot. Skip to the last five minutes. Okay, let's watch the last five minutes of it. Yeah, I, what I'm saying is I pledge to watch this. We're going to watch the last five minutes. Watch a couple minutes and then we'll go from there. Hey guys, welcome to Law and Lumber. My name is Rob Morton. I'm an attorney in Northern Virginia, practicing in the areas of domestic relations litigation and okay. consumer bankruptcy matters. I also have a secondary passion in woodworking and custom furniture building, as you can probably tell from the shop where I'm coming it at you from. It would seem that way. Uh, to those followers that joined after watching me appear on Legal Bites, Nate the Lawyer, Uncivil Law, Hogue Law, Good Logic, or all of the other various LawTube channels, thank you so much for joining in. Without the support from you and the immense support from that LawTube community, this channel quite simply wouldn't exist. Um, on this channel, we're going to tackle a little bit of everything, from legal analysis to building some custom furniture yeah. and maybe a few DIY hacks along the way. Regardless of where the okay. channel goes, we're going to try and keep things fun. We'll skip ahead okay. to the last five minutes. Now, let's jump into it. Many of you might know that I've been covering the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard trial skip. taking place in Fairfax. Let me just Circuit listen. Court. It happens to be just down the road from here. As okay. you might know, by now, Johnny Depp has filed a $50 million defamation lawsuit against his former spouse, That's a whole Amber lot. Heard, stemming from a December 2018 op-ed piece in which, in the Washington Post, in which Depp claims All right, let's that skip ahead. Let's skip ahead. We, we, know, all, we know everything right here. Uh, let's skip ahead to these last, uh, last like, five or six minutes, okay? That Johnny's boots actually caused that break, that okay. this testimony is, uh, for lack of a better term, complete BS and not possible. All right. Okay. So, as you can see here, we have a little mock-up of Johnny's bed. Okay. Got now, it. this is done with 4x4 four four pine which is a little bit smaller, but still the same material that was Johnny's bed. I could tell it was pine. You can tell it was pine because if you look back at those photos, the way it breaks. you can see the width between the grain. Oh, that's how. That gives you an indication that it's a softwood rather than a hardwood. A that lot may... of hardwood you will see will have huh. tighter grain patterns. I didn't know that. So now cool. with these timbers, what you're going to see is that in order he to knows get his the timber, wood. they generally have to cut almost a full tree. Uh, the larger the timber, the larger the tree. But generally, they're all going to be this particular pattern. We're going to have the circle, the very center of the tree, towards the center of the timber. Oh, my God. Now, this is relevant when we start talking about how this is oh alleged God. to have occurred. So we have our two lengthwise uh, posts and then the footboard of the bed. Yeah. Now, per Amber's testimony, if this is the mattress where my hand is right here, yeah. then Johnny's feet are here on the footboard trying to, in her words, gain purchase. Now, the interesting thing about the gaining purchase is it kind of illustrates the problem here. Grain, as we discussed earlier, runs this way. Mm -hmm. These are very tight concentric cellular, or tight cellular structures. Imagine if they were, uh, let's say, mm, call them straws. Yeah. If everything here was a straw running in this direction, and let's say that you wanted to divide those straws. You would actually have to put something in between those straws. I pledged three million to you. Thank you. And wiggle and pry. I'll call your my accountant in. immediately. Now the reason why that's important here is because with this type of wood, and actually with all woods, yeah, uh, you need something sharp to get in between those grains. Right. If you put a blunt object up against here, it's just not going to do anything. Um, for anyone who's ever hammered pine, you know that you're going to dent the pine before you ever break it off because you're hitting it with a blunt object. Right. Let's illustrate what Amber was describing as Johnny doing. Okay. So, Here we go. Now that we've got it situated this way. Let's see it. 
what we're looking at is mattress over here. Right. Johnny allegedly over here. Okay. Hell, I don't have any fancy boots, but I do have work boots. So All we're right. going to try and illustrate what it is that Amber's saying with uh, a Timberland Pro. So we have our work boot. Got now, it. You can see as the work boot goes in, there's no way, given the size of that work boot, that you're going to get anywhere enough pull, period. It's just not going to happen. Right off. Yeah. There's nothing it's ever going to catch. It's because the tip of the work boot, no matter how sharp it is, is not sharp enough to cut into that grain structure. Huh. It's just not going to happen. It doesn't matter if it's a leather soled, skinny shoe, unless it's one of those super spy boots that has a kick out blade. It ain't going to get in between that grain, right? Let me show you the only way that you can get into that grain with a sharp object, like, for example, a knife. Somebody I... mentioned that uh, the edge is rounded and the bed's edges were not rounded, which I do think is relevant. Wiggle a knife in here. You can see that I can wiggle back and forth mm -hmm. and I have what Amber was describing, purchase. There is no grip that I can get either, either with my hand or a boot right. that does anything to dig into that grain that would cause that type of fracture. So it's irrelevant. Let me do okay. One more little thing to show you something. The end is the best so, bit. Okay, let's see the here's end. Here's what we've done. We've taken away the long rails. Yeah, let's just wait and see rest. the end. The only fathomable way that I can see that particular break happening, as described by Amber Heard. Yeah. Is something like this. That's hard to do. Be careful. That yeah, that's that's hard to do. God damn. The sharp knife is the only thing that can penetrate the grain in order to cause that split. Sharp knife and leverage is the only thing that can make that pop. So when you're looking at wood like this, when you have grain running this way, mm -hmm. you see this, that type of break is caused by this, sharp knife leverage. And I'll tell you why that makes me very curious. Okay, let's hear this it. This is why Amber Heard's testimony bothered me that day. Because what I saw was this type of damage, which is what's reflected on that particular bed. Okay. That damage is caused by a knife. Now, I'm not saying what this is. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck that is either. I'll leave that for the judge, the jury, and the trial attorneys to decide if they want to argue that point. But to me... Oh, is that the knife? Know. What do you guys think? Why don't you leave your answers in the comments below? Uh. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you wouldn't mind, if you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing, uh, it really does mean a lot. Holy shit. This community has been fantastic to me. Oh my God. I very much love being a part of it. I wish to continue being a part of it. And the only way I can do that is by your help. If you haven't checked out the rest of LawTube, please do so. Uh, you can reach them via Jesus, any of the links man. that you'll see in Legal Bites' coverage day. of this trial. Um, hope oh, to be no. coming to you guys soon with additional information. But anyways... In the interim, thank you for watching. Hope this helps you guys understand. I am just a lawyer and woodworker, but to me, this is pretty compelling. Thanks. I by any is by I mind. was not you really as convinced, but this one right here, there are very few YouTube videos that have a red line pointing at an object that aren't full of bullshit, but this one certainly seems to be compelling. Really, I mean, it, it, this seems to be quite compelling. Now, obviously, the, you know, things can happen, and, you know, you never really know. You're never really sure. I don't know. But it certainly seems like a little bit of bullshit. You know what I mean? It certainly says, let, let's, get, let's give this guy a like. We'll give him a sub. Why not, man? He's a nice guy. I like his, uh, I, I like his, just like the way he talks and everything. He's cool. Yeah, so uh, I've never seen a video by him before. So uh, that that's all right. She can't be that stupid. Or at this point,
Are you really asking that question? She can't be that stupid. Bro. Surprise. Surprise. Look at that. Oh my god. I can't believe that shit. That's a surprise. Yeah, Amber supporter. There are people that believe Amber Heard. And there are also people that believe the Earth is flat. And I think there are more people that believe the Earth is flat than people that believe Amber Heard. So let's put that into perspective. You know? Let's, let's put that together. So yeah, I mean, sure. Of course they're going to believe that. Of course there's people that believe it. Yeah, uh, I mean, you can't, f you, you can't get all the people all the time. Uh, it, have you seen the SML cold open about the trial? No, I haven't seen it. Uh, have you seen the, the try the subreddit Dukes more? Uh, they're delusional? Who gives a fuck about them, man? Uh, it's whatever. Uh, do you think he nipped down the court, uh, with this info for the Johnny Depp, uh, Johnny Depp team? It isn't too far, apparently. Nah, I don't think they can do that legally. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure they're not able to. Oh my god, man. It's just... Uh, let me see here, but for a manipulative narcissist, you need a bit of intelligence. Oh, she's not- I don't think that Amber Heard- You see, like... I don't think that she's stupid. I just think that she's, uh, she's bad at making decisions and she's a liar. Uh, I, I, yeah, I, I don't think that she's, like, stupid. Does that make sense? Amber Heard in excelled in school, by the way. Well, good for her. I'm glad about that. And uh, Owen Lumber was in the court today, so he could. Maybe he did. I don't know. I have no idea. But um, anyway, I do find it to be very compelling. Like, this whole thing has been fucking ridiculous. Have problem, don't care, no longer have problem. Life is so easy. So, this is actually a strategy I've been using with my problems for my whole life. And it works really well. So, if there's a problem in my house, what I do is I stop looking at it. Because if I'm not looking at it, it's not going to be an issue. Like, I, I can't even see it. Like, who gives a fuck, right? Uh, that's it. Yeah, it's totally okay. Sensor mentality reactions are stupid. Come up with someone stupid. Yeah. Uh, I think a narcissistic person in that way can do things that make themselves look stupid. That's definitely true. Um, Johnny Depp constantly annoys Amber Heard. All right, let's see this. <laughs> the hell? I, uh, okay. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. People are fucking savage, man. Holy shit. Oh my god. What's this here? Uh, let the games begin. What are you- where, why are you here? I thought you were financially stable. And then- oh no. Oh no. God damn. That- that's the pirate- yeah, the fucking ringtone? Yeah, there you go. He's got all those apes. As I said, I feel like everybody knows that shit's gonna go down in value. Everybody knows it's dying. Like, there's nothing else really even to say about that. I mean, that's all there is to it. I mean, it's fucking bullshit. It is what it is. All right, people that believe in that stuff are, are I think, just deluding themselves. And uh, they're gonna waste their money, man. Uh, there's always a question always pops up when you have an anime discussion. Talking about an anime from a rom-com anime. But can he beat Goku? Yeah, exactly. Uh, Amber Heard right now be like... Yep, that's about right. That's why I never let anybody use my computer, by the way. Yeah, exactly. Check the tweet I tagged you in. There's a lot of tweets that I have to look at, okay? I'm gonna get to as much as I can. And after, uh, hour party. Not that anyone cares, but here's my black eye compared to Air Amber Heard's supposedly black eyes. And I, an hour after the injury, um, the whole month after the injury. Holy shit. Yeah, this guy got fucked up. God damn. Did you watch Squid Game? No, I didn't. I, I never saw it. Yeah, yeah, it fucks you up, man. Absolutely. 
Amber Heard lies uh, about always wearing makeup. Miraculous healing day uh, after filing a restraining order. Well, I, I think that she said she's wearing foundation, and sure, she's she could be wearing foundation in there. Like, I think there's a lot of guys, here's my opinion, right? Is that most guys don't know whenever girls are wearing makeup whenever and whenever they're not wearing makeup. Like, obviously, you know, if they're wearing, like, massive eyeshadow, like, yeah, sure. But, like, a lot of guys don't know whenever girls are making wearing makeup. So, like, I, I find this just to be a moot point anyway. Uh, Asmogold is an anime character? Holy shit. Okay, that's decent enough. Thank you. I, it could be worse. Uh, gamers meet in real life uh, at bedside of terminally ill friend. Holy shit. Damn, that's really nice. Oh my god, that is a that's that's a nice thing, man. God damn, that's good. Yeah, I, I, we need to see more of this shit, man. We do. Uh, Asmund, uh, Asmund Gold VTuber model idea inspired by guts and Asmund Gold ball. Thank you. I, I I think this one. I'm waiting for this sword, by the way. I know they have one that's kind of like this, but it's really not the Dragon Slayer Great Sword. Let's be honest. Okay. I also want to talk a little bit about that. Reminded me. That reminded me about. Uh, the whole situation. So we had a shooting happen. Uh, this shooting happened, uh, I think it was a couple of days ago now at this point. And uh, a guy, uh, dipshit, uh, went and he uh, decided to pop off on uh, a grocery store, I believe, something like that. And he shot, I think he killed like 12 people or something like this. And uh, which one? Uh, who cares? Uh, it doesn't matter what his name is. It doesn't matter. And uh, yeah, he streamed it on Twitch. And so he uh, turned on Twitch, he turned on his broadcast. Now, this is not like an affiliate gone rogue, okay? This is a person who had only streamed one time before this, and the time before this was to test to see if the stream worked, and then as soon as that was over, he went and he did the, uh, the shooting on that stream. Now, Twitch did an amazing job, in my opinion, of immediately shutting this down. The fact that Twitch was able to address this and immediately fucking shut it down, this guy didn't even get to 100 viewers. He had only been live for maybe less than an hour. Twitch found this stream in the sea of streams and turned it off and banned the account. Now, unfortunately, that the event still happened and everything like that. Of course, it still happened. Now, there's been some uh, conjecture as to where uh, the motivations for this killer's... Uh, this clown, uh, this person's uh, motivations were. Uh, I, I would argue that uh, he had on his gun, written with like, I don't know, it looked like white out, um, the N-word with the, with the R, with the, the hard E-R at the end of it. I would argue that that's evidence that there's a very good chance that he possibly, maybe in some universe, could be a racist. That's right. Yeah, I think that he was a fucking racist. I do. And people got mad and they said, wow, they're not calling him a terrorist. Well, you can call him a terrorist. I'll call him a bitch. I think both are accurate. So, yeah, some people were unhappy about that. Yeah, he had Nazi propaganda, all kinds of bullshit, racist or a massive. Yeah, what a scummy bitch. And it's always disappointing whenever this stuff happens, right? Because you have people that use a terrible, horrible, awful situation like this, and they turn it into an opportunity to push their fucking agenda. To push some, uh, you know, like, oh, it's it's the website's fault. Like, it's actually Twitch's fault that this kind of stuff happened. Like, it, it Twitch caused this to happen. What a disgusting thing to say. And you know what I think is so fucking funny about this? Is, like, the mayor said this that works in, I think, is New York or whatever. Is, like, you need to look at your own backyard. Uh, I think, you know what this is? It's a very simple example of a displacement of responsibility. This is this guy trying to look and trying to make it sound like it's not his fucking fault that this shit happened even though the FBI had this guy's name a year ago. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that just a wild little turn of events? Didn't that happen with also the Boston Bomber? And I think it also happened with that clown uh, fucking... The, the guy that shot up the Batman movie. Yeah, again, it, it happened again. The FBI. Why the fuck are they, aren't they they doing their jobs? How does this happen? 
these kind of shootings happened long before Twitch even existed? Of course they did. But now Twitch exists so they can blame Twitch instead of their own incompetence. Thank God for that. And maybe now they'll get reelected. It's so fucking annoying. Maybe now they're corrupt. Uh, I think that there's a... It's, In my opinion, why do these things happen? Well, uh, there's a lot of reasons why. Uh, I, I think obviously... I, I do think that in many cases, it is too easy to get a gun in America. It probably is in many regards. I am a firm believer that I think somebody should be able to own a handgun who is trained for self-defense in their own home. I am a firm believer in that, and I, 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 I don't care what anybody says. I think that's totally fucking fair. But we are not talking about that. We are talking about people that are mentally fucking unhinged, getting their hands on guns, parents giving them to their kids. I think this is what happened in his circumstance. I'm not 100% on this, but I think it is. And there are a lot of other cases where this happens. Uh, I think it's a huge problem. And most people that own guns and are respecters of guns know this. And they respect what the power they have is. And I think many of them agree with me. So, number one. Number two. Uh, this also happens because people are constantly fucking inundated with crazy fucking things. Like, you have people on these websites, uh, not just Twitter, but like all over on Reddit, 4chan, and a million other websites that we don't even really know the name of. They're getting radicalized online constantly. Now, I think it's also the fault of the, uh, uh, of the authorities. Because they clearly knew who this person was. How do you know who this person was? see what they post because you obviously have tabs on him and then somehow whenever it's obviously registered somewhere how do you not have a red light that pops up in front of somebody's house or somebody's uh, sorry not house in front of somebody's office in their in their desk in front of their monitor beep 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 hey the family member of this nutso just bought a gun why is this not fucking noticed Ku, thank you very much for the five good subs. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, who the fuck? Who fucked this up, man? It's an AR? Uh, do you own a gun? No, I don't own a fucking gun. And, and so, yeah, it's a good question. Like, how, how is this not, like, an automatic trigger for, uh, you know, somebody figures this out? And, because uh, those agencies don't give a fuck? Well, then fire them and get people that do, because a lot of people do give a fuck. People don't want to deal with this shit. It's ridiculous. Uh, Raising gun access would have done it with some other way. Uh, There's even gun crime, even more places where guns are not illegal. I understand that people that believe different parts of this are trying to play hot potato, and it's like you're trying to play hot potato. Like, oh my god, oh my god, it, 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 it's the it's the guns. Oh my god, it's mental health. Oh my god, it's the agencies. Oh my god, it's this. Everybody should have their hand on the same potato. Everybody here is is liable to this. It, it, it's not one thing. It's not like, oh my god, you make guns illegal, tomorrow this is never going to happen again. No, it's not. That, that's not how it works. Uh, it's Twitch's fault. Yeah, whatever. Uh, this is something that happens uh, because of a lot of different reasons. And, and yes, you're right. And I, I know this might be a meme or whatever, but I think it's true. Um, the America does a very bad job at uh, dealing with mental health. And you have people that are obvious fucking nutcases that are going around. And, uh, you know, you see them in here in chat. You see them here on Twitter. You see them everywhere. And some of them really do fly off the handle. And you have shit like this happen. And there's also the truth that, as I said, I'm not really a big believer in good and evil, right? On an ultimate scale. But if I were to say something was evil, it would be this. And what I would say is that there is always what's considered the mystery of evil. Why do people do these horrible, bad things? Is it the manifestation of intrusive thoughts? Is it because of some other repressed desire? Is it some primal rage? Nobody really knows. Nobody has any idea. So, and uh, yeah, selfishness, yeah. And sometimes people just do really bad things because they're fucking crazy and they're assholes. And that's all there is to it. And you just can't stop all of that. You, you literally just can't. It's impossible. Uh, yeah, it's just not going to happen. We're just a baby back bitch. Exactly. And uh, that that's what I think too. And uh, a, big part of it, a big part of it is uh, neglect. Yeah, exactly. Switzerland's armed to the teeth. Yeah, you don't see any of this shit. I think that we can all agree that it's probably a good idea to be a little bit more stringent on making sure that people that have guns are, uh, you know, mentally sane. I, I think that we can all agree on this, right? 
Now, how do we agree on what's mentally sane? Well, that's the devil's always in the details. But I think that as an idea, even all, pretty much all gun owners even agree on this. I, I, I think so, absolutely. And you should never, uh, you can never regulate a commodity. Uh, I don't know. Let's see here. Uh, people reflect their parents. No, I don't. I, I don't agree with that. Like, um, that's true sometimes, but it's not always true. To say that it's the parents' fault or something like that for this happening is, I think, really stupid. Uh, I, I, I think that, again, it's like probably 10%, 5%, 20%, something like that. Uh, I'm saying that there is nothing in the circumstance of this shooting that is 100% the, uh, like, the cause. You, you, you picking up what I'm putting down here? Are we catching what I'm throwing? Mm. Nothing explicitly caused this to happen independently. It's everything. My parents only played Doom when I was six. Uh, I also know how to shoot a bunch of people. It was fucking psychotic. Exactly. Yeah, people will blame video games. Uh, they'll blame a bunch of other stuff, too. It'll always happen. Now, you can never regulate a commodity. Who cares what that person said? It doesn't matter. Uh, like, I, I, I'm not, like, why, why are you even, like... I know people, and this is what happens, right, is that people get so divided on the more uh, contentious solutions, right? Things like gun control, etc. And, and, like, people always, like, conversations are dominated by extremists. And I think this needs to stop happening. It, really, it, it, this needs to stop happening. There is not, there are not two worlds that we have to live in. There is not the world where every kid has a gun that's given to him on his fifth birthday and he takes it to kindergarten. And there's not a world where nobody has guns and not even the police. Can we please stop living in a world of this black and white dichotomy that just serves to fucking isolate people? It's so fucking annoying. Like, really. Like, let's just be smart about what we're doing. Just be smart about it. People are afraid of a seeking mental health care and fear of being labeled by society and the people around them. Well, mental health is always going to have a stigma, and I think that's always what's going to happen. Sure. Uh, I, I think so, and I think that the big reason why, like, my opinion, I think that you're right, but I think that, like, it's like this. This is your reason, and you know what this reason is? Money. That's the big reason right there, is money. That's the big thing. He wrote about the Great Replacement uh, Theory is Manifesto, something popularized by Tucker Carlson. I think that it's very irresponsible to implicate somebody like Tucker Carlson as directly influencing this person going on a mass shooting. Uh, this is It's very irresponsible to say things like this, and I think it also dilutes the, uh, the conversation. Uh, it, it does. It, it's ridiculous to even say that. It's not irresponsible. I think it is. Absolutely it is. Uh, you read the manifesto, he said it. Well, there's a lot of people that have said a lot of things, okay? That doesn't mean that every other person that said the same thing was a direct reason for why that happened. Yeah, stop spraying dog shit. Yeah, it has nothing to do with it. That's a dumb take. Yeah, I know. It, it, I, I don't know why people keep pushing this. I think it's because people don't like Tucker Carlson, and so they're trying to use this as a reason to get mad at him. Yeah, it, it's ridiculous. Manifesto also said he hated Fox News. Yeah, well, listen, as I said before, people ignore the evidence that helps or that hurts them and people uh, press the evidence that helps them. It's literally that simple. So, uh, yeah, it's like, uh, again, people playing hot potato. This is not like it, it, it's not going to happen. Tucker Carlson's notorious spread of disinformation. Yeah, but people think that about everybody who they disagree with. There's nothing special about your opinion. Like, it's really not. Like, I, I'm not going to debate this with you or whatever. Like, oh, well, he's spreading misinformation. Well, what about the other misinformation? Like, nobody agrees on what's true anymore. And uh, that's just the way it goes. Uh, dude, you're so stupid. Ignore Tucker radicalizes dude like the killers. Well, don't you think that left-wing people radicalize uh, other people as well to, like, burn down places and loot stuff like what happened last year? You don't think that's... How is it a result of Tucker Car? How is this a result of Tucker Carlson? But all of the people that committed a bunch of crime last year and burned shit down, it had nothing to do with what they were being radicalized by. It's a double standard, and that's why I'm not taking it seriously. If you apply it to both parties, I think it's a conversation, but it's not a conversation. You just want to shut up people that disagree with you. So yeah. Anyway, uh, well, I, I don't want to get into like, who gives a fuck about Tucker Carlson? Uh, number one, it, Tucker Carlson's not writing the laws. 
Tucker Carlson's not moving his arms, moving his legs, making him go in there and shoot people. Uh, he's not buying him the gun. None of this stuff happened. This is all like, a, this is an assumption on an assumption. Okay, true again. Thank you for the five good subs. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Uh, too many people unfortunately care about them. It doesn't really matter. Um, anyway, what I'm saying is that I, I think that gamers and, and people like this, uh, it's important to stand together and, uh, and, and shit on people like this. Uh, I hope that the media stops glorifying this type of behavior. Uh, in a perfect world, I wouldn't even show their names. I wouldn't show their names. I wouldn't show their faces. I would just refer to them as a, uh, you know, a, a cowardly gunman or something like that. Like, give them a name that makes them feel like they are a loser. Because in my opinion, I think a lot of people go out, why do you write a manifesto? Think about it like this. Why would somebody write a manifesto like he did? Why would somebody write all the names of like previous shootings like, like there, like he did? Well, he did that because he was inspired by them. He did that because he's looking to get a response. He's looking to get a, um, uh, like people talking about it. He's looking for attention. He wants to be remembered and he will be, unfortunately. But we don't have to remember his name, and I wish that wouldn't happen anymore. Do you remember back whenever Canada had somebody shoot up someplace, and then they, we, I never found out who shot up that place. This was like maybe four years ago. I think it was like a monument or a memorial for like military or something like that. Do you remember that? Was it New Zealand, Nova Scotia? Yeah, it was a mosque. I, I never found out the guy's name. Yeah, I never found out the guy's name. People completely fucking... Just like, we don't want to talk about him. We don't want to have anything to do with him. Fuck him. Let's just move on. And guess what? We don't hear a lot of that kind of stuff happening. Yeah, you know why? It's because people aren't getting what they want. It's kind of like an example of this. It's like, it's like a stream sniping, right? If you give people a way to get their name on your screen, you are going to give them that added reward and a better incentive to try to get on your screen because they can get your name on the screen or their name on your screen and show it to everybody else. But if you can't do that, then there's a lot less people that stream snipe. You see what I'm saying? Just gotta stop glorifying it. it. Well, it's not really, because like, you can argue about like what glorifying is and what it's not, but I think that it's a matter of a uh, number of things, right? It's a matter of like what the media can do, I think they should do is um, number one, uh, they should stop using the person's name. I think showing a picture is generally okay. But just in general, uh, I think that's probably, uh, in general, not a great idea either. Uh, but especially, yeah, don't tell the person's name. Please do not give them an ominous fucking nickname. Please do not do that. Like, really, like, it, like the Night Stalker, the Zodiac Killer. Like, this sounds cool. Right? This sounds like a villain in a comic book. Yeah, what, what, what are we going to have next? The Riddler? We're going to have the Joker, too? Holy fuck. Stop doing this. Yeah, and so that, that, I think those are two things that I'd like to see have happen a lot more. Uh, I, I would. They don't even talk about the issue. It only gives them power. They shouldn't even talk about the issue. It only gives them power. Exactly. It, it's crazy. Now, people don't realize how mainstream media are basically domestic terrorists. No, that guy was a domestic terrorist. Media is not a domestic terrorist. Media influences them, though. You're right. Uh, I, I think that it's important to call things what they are, because if you exaggerate them, then you're living in a state of delusion. Even if I agree with the general point that you're trying to make. You can never live in delusion. Whenever you live in delusion, it, it, everything's all, all, all bets are off. Yeah, everything is all, all bets are off. We should call them shit stain sniffers. I actually had a video. Uh, I, I have a video for this. I'm just going to show you guys. Give me a second. I've got I've to pull it up. Uh, watch later. Okay, there we go. Yeah, and let me pull this up. It'll take me a second. So our government steps in? Oh, well, government should step in in some cases. Absolutely. Not always, but sometimes. Yeah, exactly. Call them bed poopers. Call them Amber Herds. That's a good idea. I like that. Media has huge amounts of blames. Oh, I, I think I, I agree with you, but I just don't think the media are domestic terrorists. That's all. Okay, here we go. Uh, where is it? Yep, here we go. So this is what I want them to do. This is what I want the media to do. Find a group of murderous thugs. Two young creeps, a half-wit with a gun, a false beard, and a turban. A mindless lowlife. 
two vicious morons, two armed and violent mongrels, three stooges, three desperate like and wild-eyed gutless goons, three yeah. vicious apes, two fat women and a man with a gun, this scruffy ah. little thug, this little germ, lunatic scumbag with a steak knife. I'll be looking for more help. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. That's what it was. Uh, and so, uh, I, I just uh, fear to push agenda. Yeah, sure. It cost me two, uh, $200 ATF tax stamp uh, to own and fire my own uh, 10 millimeter howitzer cannon in Love, Wisconsin. That's, that's great, man. I'm happy for you. Uh, okay, so let me look at the rest of this stuff real quick, and uh, I'll make sure I don't miss anything else. Uh, thanks, I hate smokers. What's this? I'm talking about Fuck this fake-ass Rick Ross-looking motherfucker. Fuck this cancer shit, bruh. <laughs> the fuck you gonna do, huh? I'm Ty Raw. And fuck this one direction looking motherfucker. Fuck this cancer shit, bruh. Let him know. Let him know. Fuck you gonna do. What's he doing that for? Smoking his bad, motherfucker. What, do you, what up, man? How you doing? Was that in and out? I'm Ty Raw. And fuck this cancer shit. Nigga, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm Tyrone. And fuck this smoking shit. Bruh. What the fuck you gonna do, huh? Man, bro, Two boxes of cola looking motherfucker. What's up? Honestly? I'm Tyrone. And fuck this fake ass Will Smith. Bruh. Fuck this cancer shit. <laughs> I'm Tyrone. Rico Suave looking motherfucker. Oh my god. Man, fuck that cancer Bruh. shit, man. Fuck you, man. This guy just knocked a cigarette off my hand. The fuck you gonna do, you fake ass Roy Banks? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Tyrone. And fuck this Wesley Snipes looking motherfucker. I mean, fuck your Wesley wife, Snipes. Yo, yo. Yo, oh, they both got I'm on Tyrone. him. And fuck this DMX looking motherfucker. Bruh. Bad, motherfucker. Man, what the fuck wrong with you, man? man? I'm trying to save your goddamn life. Don't worry about my motherfucking life. Hey, new fuck. Man. Honestly, this is. I like this guy running around slapping cigarettes out of people's hands. It's a modern day superhero. Obviously, it's probably fucking staged. Obviously, it's probably fucking fake. But it's funny. Yeah, it's funny. Slap shit He was. I fucking hate cigarettes. You guys know that. Two things I started watching Asmon for the Johnny Depp trial and Elden Ring. Funny thing about that. We'll talk a little bit about Elden Ring real quick. So, a lot of you guys know that I promised that I was going to do a um, co-op playthrough of Elden Ring with an individual. With McConnell. We are going to be starting that. I'm going to have to make sure. But we might be starting that tomorrow. And I, I know that people want to see some gaming content and everything like that. But yeah, well, we're going to do a little bit of that, and we're going to play through the game, and we're going to do all of that. Final Fantasy soon? Exactly. The reason why, listen, I want you guys to understand this. It's People are like, oh, but what about the Final Fantasy MSQ? What did I say? What did I say I was going to do? I said I was going to do it after the trial was over. Right? That's what I said? I know that's what I said, because that's what I said. So, we are doing this as additional content for the stream while the trial is going on. You understand? Because I know some people, like, I want to give people more content. Like, I know people love watching the trial. People fucking love it. But that's not the only thing that people like, so I wanted to do something else too. And afterwards, because people like other stuff as well. Do you guys see what I'm saying? I wouldn't want to make you guys wait eight hours just to have me do MSQ. The trial is not going to go any 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 farther past the 27th. They've already said that. And I think that the way it's going right now, it might not even last the week. So yeah, after that's done, we'll do uh, we'll do Final Fantasy and we're going to do Stormblood. I'm very excited about it. Yeah, uh, that's it. And, and so that that's, that's what it is. Can I pledge a million subs? Absolutely. Yeah, there's no reason not to. Stole his workflow? Yeah, sure. Asmon collecting VTubers like Infinity Stones. Is it just me? Does he have the cutest, most genuine smile? I agree, it makes me want to protect. Wow. Bro, I'm getting the anime girls on my side? This is actually pretty good. I'm glad I did that interview. Yeah, that's great. Holy fucking shit. Yeah, there we go. All right. I didn't know that. NFTs explained. Okay, so there's like a rat. And there's like a, a, a balloon. Okay. And so then the rats are... 
in the balloon. Okay, and then... Th are these the people that will be still holding on to Bored Apes in 2023? Are, are those the people that hold? Oh my god, that's perfect. I love this. I've never seen this before. This is fucking funny. Yeah, the bubble got popped, literally. That's fucking good. I, I think it's great. Let, let me read a few, uh, few comments here about this. Actually, brilliant. Yeah, I love it, man. Why do mice have to be pests? They're so cute. Yeah, I feel the same way. Sometimes whenever I catch one, uh, you know, I want to put them in a little box. Uh, I had this idea where I would have like a terrarium on on the side of my uh, on on the side of my my desk, and you guys would be able. I I put a second camera on it, and it would be like little animals that I catch in my house, right? So you have like maybe a spider, uh, maybe a raccoon. You have to get a big terrarium for that one. Uh, possum, maybe some mice, a rat or two, and you know we just kind of put them in there and you know just ha have a little bit of fun. You know, yeah, but not a wasp. I kill wasps. I hate wasps. But all the other ones, yeah, absolutely. NFC is failing uh, in the same examples like Pop. Uh, Pop can without peanut butter over the bucket of water. Eventually, the mouse hops on the peanut butter and it spins them into the water. So they struggle and drown to death. Ah, it's the way it goes. That analogy also works well with playing World of Warcraft. I, I, I mean, okay, okay, I guess... World of Warcraft is wow, wow. Hey guys, is that, is wow bad? Hey, wow bads, right? Wow bad, right? It was wow bad. Yeah, we fucking know that. Holy shit. Okay, let's see here. Another day in Asmund's basement. True. What's this here? I actually saw this. Look, take a look at this. Team four. This is the Overwatch team. Uh, this was about the innovative diversity space tool. That's right. If you thought you were black, you're not. You're a three on the scale. If you thought you were a woman, you're not. You're a two on the scale. If you thought you were disabled and in a wheelchair, uh-uh, you're a four. That's right. Thank you, Blizzard. God, I swear our own company tries so hard to slaughter any goodwill the actual devs who make this game have built. Overwatch doesn't even use this creepy dystopian chart. Our writers have eyes. The artists have eyes. Producers, directors, etc. As far as I know, also all have eyes. So this isn't a surprise. Okay. Um. So let's let's look at this one right here. I don't know what the fuck that was. Uh, Overwatch is the most diverse set of characters in almost any game and genre. They did it with all all the bullshit. That's because the thing is that, like, like for example, like whenever I was uh. I, I was like in school almost everybody had a bunch of friends that were not the same race that they were like it was just normal that you just had friends it's like you have some friends that are like black some friends are hispanic there wasn't really a lot of asian people in my school maybe a friend that's asian or something like that sure like it's just it's normal yeah it, it's just fucking normal now if you go to a school where there's like 95 percent of like one group of people then it's a totally different dynamic but i went to a uh you know generally more working class school and um you know we had a lot of different people in there and the truth is that we always got along with everybody and it's like in our group of friends yeah like we had it was very diverse it wasn't diverse intentionally these are just the people i was friends with I, I feel like most people were like that back in the day. And like all of the, uh, you know, constant awareness about it makes people feel weird. Yeah. Do you have any friends from the Middle East? I, I do now. Yeah. Uh, do I have any friends? Did I have any friends back then? So I went to two high schools. And in the first high school I went to, uh, I actually had a friend. He's like one of my only friends actually in, in that high school. Uh, I, I fucking hated it. I didn't like being there. And uh, I told my dad that I was going to uh, uh, fail every class if he didn't put me in the high school that I wanted to go to. But uh, before I left, uh, uh, I, uh, I, yeah, I, I had a couple of friends there. And yeah, I had a friend who's Middle Eastern. Sure. Absolutely. You have me? Yeah, there you go, man. You didn't need a diversity chart to pick your friends? No, all we needed was Super Smash Brothers. Uh, let's see here. Um, I got confused about the entire premise. Yeah, it's just weird. It, it really is. Uh, it's a solution presented by Activision Blizzard. I think it's a reason for people that work in the company to find a reason for them themselves not to get fired. You guys don't imagine how boring all this stuff is to me. Yeah, exactly. I think it's fucking obnoxious. Uh, the fact is, that, like, what really is bad about this 
is like Overwatch is going to be affected by this more strongly and, and, and more directly than a lot of other games too. But I think all Blizzard games now are going to be seen through the lens of that chart. Am I wrong about that? What do you guys think? Yeah, what, what do you guys think? Because that, that's the way I feel about this. It, it, it's like, I feel like, yeah, everything is going to be seen through the lens of this chart. E everybody's going to see it this way. Yeah, it, it's going to be fucked up. Exactly. Yeah, uh, it absolutely is. People forget quickly, just like they did with Hong Kong, right? And they still bring it up all the time. Now, does it really matter? No, but it's basically a meme. And I think people look at it the same way here. And so now, every single time that Melissa comes up with a new character, they've got to worry about a bunch of people on the internet making memes about fitting that character into the chart just to own Blizzard and make her work more circumstantial around something that she didn't even have anything to do with. It sucks. It fucking sucks. Uh, they'll help diversify the Overwatch FUDA. Oh my god. Uh, memes never die. That's very true. It's confirmation of what folks already suspected so people won't forget. Yeah, people never people never forget being proven right, okay? Let's be honest. And uh, can we get a uh, OTK Smash tournament? I, I think Ludwig's doing all that for us, right? I mean, Ludwig's been fucking popping off with that. Uh, so I, I, I don't know, like Ludwig and, uh, and Charlie, like they're, they're doing really well. I don't know if we're ever going to do a Smash tournament. But I'll tell you one thing. Uh, if we ever do, I'll be involved with it very strongly. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Smash. Uh, I've probably put collectively 10,000 hours into Melee over the years. And uh, other than that, I played this new Smash a little bit. But uh, honestly, whenever they nerfed Marth and Brawl, I stopped playing the game for like ever. <laughs> and I only came back recently. So yeah, Melee is my favorite. Uh, I, I love Melee, but I think the new Smash is, is unironically really good. Yeah, I, I think it's unironically really, really good. Uh, make a team. Maybe one day we'll see what happens, okay? Uh, I, I don't know yet. I thought when Asmon and Iron Mouse talked about their servers. So for anybody who didn't know this, uh, Iron Mouse is on Cacton. So there's a good chance that you guys will see me and Iron Mouse doing Final Fantasy content together. Straight up. Yeah, I, I, I we'll see what's going to happen. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I think it's going to be badass, right? That's awesome, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so we'll see what happens. Uh, it is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. That's about right. Uh, McConnell watching Asmon play Elden Ring. Helping your friend. My friend in there. Congratulations. Oh, where's the mercy? Okay. How many times did I die to uh, uh, Margit after I leveled up? How many times? Literally zero. I, I fought him a couple of times whenever I first started the game. I said, I'm going to get a little bit better gear. I'm going to come back. I came back. I beat him on my first try. Meanwhile... McConnell sat there on Margit for like eight hours and then he had like he had uh, bro I'm so worried I, I I'm worried that if we make McConnell the host of our co-op games we're never gonna kill a boss yeah like we're gonna be stuck in Limgrave for the next fucking week we're never gonna play Final Fantasy it's gonna be over how many tries for Milena? McConnell one-shot Melina, and he didn't even need to hit her, if you can believe that. It was crazy. True and real. Yeah, there we go. The TV, the Halo TV show. Oh, my God, bro. Like, do I even want to watch this? Oh, my God. I don't, like, I, all right, all right. I, I, I cannot watch this today. I cannot watch this today. Like, my heart cannot take this. I, I will not watch the, the the TV show from Halo. Like, I'm not going to watch it. I heard Master Chief has sex and he shows his face. That's enough. I'm done. I don't want to see it. I don't want to hear about it. That's it. You'll get depression? Nope. That's it. Uh, Bitcoin explained. Oh, hey. Hey, I just throw one in. I get two back. Oh, wow. What the hell? Oh my god! I got. I'm a. Wait a second. Hold up. Hold up. Let me. 
Let me throw some more shit in there. Money? Wow, look at all that money. Holy shit. Oh my god. I'm getting rich, bitch. Oh, it's my chain and the money. And all this. Gary, here you go. It's going to close, isn't it? <laughs> yep, there it is. That's what I fucking thought. E exactly. I agree. Yeah, that's great. It's just whenever you think, just whenever you get too greedy, that's what happens. All right, one more. And uh, then I want to uh, talk about some other stuff, too. Started playing WoW. For the first time with my boyfriend today, I guess I don't make a very good healer. I'm upset because I'm telling you how to play the game, and you're looking for anything but that. As as a healer, your job is to keep the tank alive, so follow them. Well, how about instead of me following you, uh, you tell me where to go. You, uh, you go where I go, since your job literally revolves around your tank, which I am. This sounds stupid. I don't want to read it. Alright, let's look at the next one. Yeah, this is stupid. Uh, Alexandra, our class congratulated Tyron, he, and Denisha for being black teens. Man. Man, this is, uh, it ain't that something, man. Uh, it's just, it's really special. It's a really special word. Yeah, they're so happy. I bet I bet they're happy about this one. Absolutely. That's a four on the chart. Exactly. Yeah. It's a Blizzard award. Yeah, the, these two people now uh, work on the diversity team at Blizzard. Exactly. Let, let's see here. I'm going I'm to scroll down here. Uh, I don't like to get political, but it's vain this guy and what he says, even though his team uh, said in court, any reasonable viewer wouldn't take that serious. I cringe. I need to close the stream. Oh, this is a person who's mad about one of my opinions here. Let me show you what I do with this. Give me a minute. Okay. And uh, we're going to put this right here. We're going to uh, add him to the band list. And that's it. And then we're going to remove the post. All right. So anyway, uh, relaxation music for stress in memory of little Stanley. I've seen that before. Amber Heard says Warner Brothers wanted to cut her Aquaman 2 role entirely. Well, you know. <laughs> Yeah, you didn't do it. I don't want to hear that stupid bullshit, man. It's just annoying. Free speech, by the way? I don't give a fuck about that. Someone's just being obnoxious. Like, I cringe. I had to close the stream. He said something I disagreed with. Shut up. I, like, it's not worth my time to try to go and argue and debate this with a million fucking people that already have their mind made up. They've already decided that I'm wrong. Why am I going to waste my time with this? Amber Heard says Warner Brothers uh, wanted to cut her Aquaman to roll entirely. And thank God for that. Gauls does it again. What happened? Now, I saw this. This is obviously very popular, but I don't know what it is exactly. Uh, Final Fantasy has a bot. A uh, serious bottom problem that people don't know about? What? Bots can clear ultimates? What the fuck? 707k. Yeah, he had a crazy amount of viewers. So Square Enix is mad about third-party tools. How strange when you know that modders and plugins do Square Enix's job by providing quality of life mods and plugins. Maybe we would not need to use XIV Alexander if the latency in the game was not so shit. I mean, what do you do with all the money you get from the Mog store? Oh right, take the money from your money maker and release flops after flops. <laughs> Sounds like a good idea to me. I understand that the cheap plugins and add-ons such as Cactbot and Sloth Combo should be it's banned, a three minute but video. being able to monitor our DPS is the best way for us to progress. This gif went viral on Reddit not long ago. As you can see the player has a tool that predicts the AoE for them. For people okay. wondering, this is a private Chinese tool for a CT they are currently experimenting so in the a, second phase of the Dragon Song Ultimate. All Maybe right. in a few months it will be possible to completely automate it and clear it with 8 bots. It's nothing new, there is a machinist profile for a certain bot that can play and clear the Epic of Alexander Ultimate. 
kinda hurt that to know that a bot plays better than some of us. Actually, the team behind the that bot made some progress better. apparently since it's now available for pretty much all jobs and all ultimates except Dragon That's Song. That's why TAS runs for now, better. For now, you would think that They're these add-ons are expensive. Wrong. They are super cheap and actually it could explain why there are so many ultimate legends that can't perform better than a NPC. Now try guessing how many add-ons this bot provides. 10, 20, wrong again. There are right now 234 add-ons. 90% of them are paid. So what do they do? Well, everything. They can level your jobs, your crafters, grind a relic weapon Holy for you, shit. clear raids and ultimates, help you out in PvP, bought the market board to make you rich. Not that the game's currency has any God value damn. anyway. I tried the leveling add-on on my alt account and while I was sleeping, the bot leveled my warrior from level 1 to 50 while also doing the MSQ and blue quests. Isn't and to be honest, incredible? I have no fucking idea how it did it. A week later, my alt account is still up and working. No bans or anything. In my okay. last video, some people called me out because apparently, I was talking nonsense. Well, think again, dumbass. This is a clip of me <laughs> running a Shadowbringer dungeon while using one of the bots available on the market. Okay. I'm not doing anything. I just press start and it did everything for me. As you can see in the clip, the bot resolves mechanics by itself and does proper rotations. Not enough for you. Take a look at this. This is base feature of the tool. I'm not really good or used to it as you can see but I can He's imagine flying. this shit does wonders in the hands of a soulless huh. bot. Anyway, my point is not to showcase this demonic tool. I want once again to show people that Final Fantasy has a serious cheating and botting problem. Why would they ban streamers for using a CT and quality of life plugins when there is a bot easily accessible with hundreds of features that can turn the most dog shit player into a god? Doesn't yeah. Square Enix have the power to step in and sue that bot provider? Yeah, they, they do. take legal actions against data miners but yet don't give a fuck about botters and bots. The big player debuff plugin won't clear a raid or ultimate for you. Yeah. But that bot that's will. True. If they really care about the player's gaming experience, why aren't they doing something useful? Hold on, they actually did something useful. If players must make quality of life plugins themselves it just means that you, as a million dollar company, you failed. We should not have to use third party tools to make things such as debuffs or the cooldown numbers bigger. Not all of us have a perfect eyesight yet you want to take away from us what makes the game enjoyable and, in some cases, playable because your spaghetti code game is full of bugs. And by the way, making an example of streamers by banning them won't do you any good. Fix your shit or don't reprimand oh, players who take from their own times to make plugins just to fix your scuffed game. That's it guys, pray for the fallen streamers. And as always, subscribe or not I don't care, I have a real job anyway. Action. Okay, this video was kind of obnoxious, but I think he did make a good point that I think Square Enix should shut down the organizations that are selling botting areas. Like, I, like most of what he said is just like, it was like obnoxious, like bullshit, right? Like, but, but, but like, yeah, there's a video right there. And uh, I, I think that's the only thing that I would, I would get out of the video and say like, this is, this is relevant it, is like, it's obviously bad that people are able to do the orgs are Chinese. Yeah. And, and there are some cases where you can't get them shut down. Sometimes you can try to get their, their web hosting shut down. Sometimes you can try to, it, it depends on what country they're in uh, or anything like that. Uh, he's disliked into oblivion. Uh, and before the angry bald man reacts to this would be nice. Maybe Square Enix would do something then. <laughs> Yeah, it seems that way. Um, the channel is speaking sense about the game because of what it will get no views. Instead, angry Lee Bald Man will get all the attention. What, what's this all about me? What, what, what are they? What are they thinking and talking about me for? Maybe they mean Zeno. I, I don't know. Yeah, maybe maybe it's Zeno. I have no idea. All, all I'm saying is like, yes, I, I think that they should shut this stuff down. And it does seem to be silly that Square Enix, like in terms of priorities, would care more about data miners than people that are actively selling bots to cheat in their game. But at the end of the day, both of them are bad. Uh, that's about it. You were in the thumbnail? I was, actually. So you've got to keep that in mind, too. Okay, let's see here. Anybody know why Craigasm is banned in the chat? I can answer this for you right now. Uh, it's because, uh, I'll see if somebody in the comments answers it. Chat was being creepy towards some female guests on Allcraft a long time ago to the point where Asmon uh, where it felt extremely uncomfortable. Asmon felt bad and banned the emote since. Uh, exactly. And uh, that that's basically it. Obviously, it's a little bit more to it than that. But I think that is the general, that's the general deal, right? I mean, that that's pretty much about it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, give war back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I think that they just need to do, they need to figure this shit out. Like they do, it, it, it does make them look bad whenever people are able to get bots like that. Uh, for sure. Did you know there's ads on VODs now? Oh, there's always been ads on VODs now. The thing is, like, here's the reason why I do this. It, the reason why I do the ads on VODs, or not ads on VODs, sorry. 
what was I even talking about? I totally forgot. Oh, the Craigasm thing, right. Um, the reason why is that I don't want a, I don't, like, here, here's an example. Like, I don't want to do a video where I'm, like, reacting to, to some girl's video and, like, everybody in the chat is, like, just saying how much they want to fuck her. There are a lot of girls that would have no problem with that. But I think there are other people who it would make them uncomfortable. And because of that, I try to remove that stuff from my channel because I think that it makes it, it not only does it make me look bad, but it makes us look bad because it's assumed that like everybody in the chat feels this way. You see what I mean? It, it, like it, it gives it a label. And, and so like, yeah, it, it and like, I know that like a lot of you guys are just memeing or you're just trying to be, you know, you're respectful. You're respectfully looking and respectfully using the booba emote, sure. But uh, that that's kind of my, my thinking on it. And uh, yeah, makes sense, especially since you're talking to so many different people on stream nowadays. Yeah, exactly. People only remember one asshole in the th uh, among thousands of good ones. Yeah. And it's like, the, the fact is like, we have so many people in the chat that like, it's impossible for any mod team to get to extract every single message that's negative and so we try to just stop uh you know commonalities i guess just like triax's emote i think that we might be able to unban tryhard semi soon i don't know yet but i'm not going to unban tryhard until it's not black person on screen equals tryhard because i think that is so fucking stupid it's so annoying and I, I, that would make me uncomfortable if I was a black person. I, I, I don't know. It would just, it'd just be weird. So, yeah, maybe one day I will. But uh, it's going to have to be whenever that's not the theme. You expect a lot from Twitch chat? Things change over time. Remember whenever people used to always call the streamers dad? And, like, that happened for, like, six months or so and then it went away? It's fucking tacky. Yeah, it's fucking tacky. That's what it is. And that label is so funny, and only one person out of 100 watch your VOD from time to time. A lot of people do. Yeah, a lot of people watch my VODs. I'm going to tell you guys right now, um, obviously I have an OTK meeting in a little bit. Here's what I want to do. I'm going to play a little bit of WoW. I'm going to just relax, do some mount runs, and just chill with you guys. Run some ads, hang out, and guess what's going to happen tomorrow? We're going to go back, we're going to do some other stuff. We're, we might start Elden Ring co-op tomorrow, and just chill, guys. So, I, I want to say, everybody today was just debated. We'll do- we'll do one Gmod run, okay? Okay, Jibu. We'll do one. And, uh, why not? And, uh, yeah, let, let, let's do that. We'll have a little bit of fun, and, uh, I'll just relax with you guys and, uh, and hang out for a little bit, okay? And so, uh, yeah, we're gonna do that tomorrow morning. I'm gonna try to be live earlier. Uh, I didn't know, like, is it starting at 8 a.m. tomorrow again? Yeah, is it 8 a.m. again? Ah, oh, fuck, it is. Shit. Uh, 9 a.m. EST? Yeah, but that's 8 for me. Oh, man. Oh, God. That, that's a lot, man. That is a lot. Okay, yeah, I just, I, I, it's 8 my time? Yeah, that's okay. Will I be playing V Rising by chance? I actually have a sponsorship to play the game I was gonna get. I, I don't know if that's still gonna happen or not. Uh, it's certainly not happening tomorrow. Um, I don't know. Um, I, yeah, I'm not sure. This will be done by Friday. Well, if it is, then, you know, we'll do something else. Uh, 1490 honing stream win. That actually is one thing I do need to do. Maybe tomorrow I do the honing stream and the day after I do the Elden Ring thing. That way people have a little bit more time to look forward to it, you know? Yeah, that could happen because I, I have, like, all of my resources and everything saved up and I want to be ready for Vaulton. So we're going to have that happen. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Vaulton on Thursday? Yep, there we go. Oh, Va Vaulton will be on Thursday. Uh, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to organize it. Yeah, you're doing vaulting hard? Absolutely, I am. Yeah, I'll do both. Uh, I'm hopefully going to get my other character to 1415, but it's going to take a while for me to get there. All right, uh, Jibu, let's go ahead and do this. Give me a second, let me turn that shit off. All right, Jibu, just made the group. Let's make it happen. Bless your YouTube editors, by the way. I know there's a lot of you guys that have missed out on uh, on a lot of the, the, the trial stuff, right? Everything like that. And uh, you guys want to see it. Uh, the VOD uh, on, on Twitch will be available as soon as I uh, end my stream. And you guys will be able to watch that. And uh, also, if you want to watch the edited down version, uh, my editors, as you guys know, are gods. And they probably already have half of it up on YouTube already. So, yeah, it's not going to be an issue. Wear your hair like Johnny Depp. Want to start tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, maybe we'll do that tomorrow. But I, I do want to do the uh, the Elden Ring thing because I know I've got a lot of viewers and a lot of people that really love watching Elden Ring. 
And I do feel like I didn't get to do enough content with Elden Ring uh, to where I'm, like, satisfied. So, like, we'll probably do a little bit more with it, too. Yeah, so, uh, uh, absolutely. Final Fantasy next week. It could be that early. Uh, I'll let people know at least three days in advance whenever I'm going to do Final Fantasy, okay? Because I know, obviously, people do want to know what's going on, etc. And uh, I plan on one-tapping Stormblood, and I'll go through all the raid content, same as I did with Heaven's Ward. And then after that, I might play another game, or I might just go straight on to uh, Shadowbringers. Uh, I'm just not sure yet. Or Stanley Parable. Maybe I'll play that at some point in the future to like figure out all the rest of the endings. But I feel like that's a one tap game. You know, we did pretty much everything in the game, and uh, there's a few little nuances that I'm sure that I missed out on. But for the most part, I think that we uh, we got our fill and we had a really great time. Yeah. So so that's it. Honing stream and vaulting. Yeah, yeah. Gushing games. Yeah. Uh, I, I've been trying to stream a lot longer. Um, you, you guys know, like before my break and everything, I. Uh, uh, I started streaming, and I would end, you know, like after like sometimes like five and a half, six hours, and, and now I'm I'm pl spending more time on online and, and playing games and everything like that. It's something I'm going to continue doing. So yeah, um, it, it's been a lot more, and uh, same with like being being live today and you know watching everything early, etc. So uh, yeah, I I put a lot more hours in, and uh, I'm I'm glad to do it. You missed 80% uh, of Vanilla Stanley Parable content? Wait, really? Holy fuck. God damn. Uh, Vampire Survivors win? Well, when there's new content, I've cleared literally everything in Vampire Survivors. I have done everything in that game. Um, there are a few, like, little small things that I haven't done. Like, for example, I haven't done, like, a no-move challenge or something like that. But other than that, I've done pretty much everything else. And so that's why I haven't really played that game too much else. Did you finish Witcher 3 uh, DLCs? I feel like uh, Izzy and I were playing that together uh, for a while, and then uh, we stopped. Uh, I don't know uh, if I'll play it again on stream or not. I I've tried to play it twice now. You pledged to do it all? Yeah, right. I pledged to do it all, which, as we know, doesn't mean anything. So, yeah, I'm going to run some ads, just hang out, and uh, then we're going to figure some other stuff out. Also, I wanted to say, before I mentioned, I, uh, I do have the OTK meeting and everything today, but we also still have, I think today is the last day. And we have a handful of the different stuff here. Uh, can somebody link? Well, I don't even have the fucking link for it. We still have the shirts and the hoodies for the OTK drop. Uh, we, we've sold pretty much all of them, but there's a handful left. And so if people still want them, let me link it to you guys so you can actually see it. Because people have been asking about that and they're wondering. Okay, great. I have to use my own fucking link for this. Let's see if I can get it to work here. FOMO? Not exactly. Uh, we're going to hopefully do more of these in the future, but this is the one that we've been doing now, right? So we've got a number of these different things here. Obviously, some of them have been sold out. I think that my audience has bought out all of the... Um, uh, my audience has bought out all of the other stuff, right? But we've got uh, plenty of these, uh, these hoodies here and uh, shirts as well. So if uh, you guys want to get one of those, I know a lot of people ask me, especially about this one. I love this sweatshirt. So yeah, you guys can get any of this stuff. And I think today is going to be the last day for now because we're almost uh, sold out of everything. So yeah, there you go. Is that Belle Delphine? No, it's not Belle Delphine. Uh, there we go. Can't wait for the OTK shorts next time. Me too. I I'm excited. Uh, we'll see what happens though. I, I, I don't know 100%. Shipping in Serbia? I'd check with the website and see for yourself. But uh, yeah, I'm going to run some ads and just hang out. But uh, there you guys go. Um, OT now, OTKnetwork.com slash collections. And uh, you guys will be able to uh, uh, get some yourself if you want. Why well, have a complaint? Why is 3XL the largest size you have? Probably the truth is that we are still in the market research phase of releasing merchandise where every merchandise drop that we do we learn so much we don't know how much of that to stock and how much of that not to stock so each time that we do this we're gonna be better at bracketing in how much demand and how much supply we need to have obviously with the first release of the merch it didn't go very well because we had a lot of people who wanted one of these hoodies here and they ended up not getting them. But uh, now we did a little bit better. We got a lot more. And so uh, we're able to almost fill all the demand. Uh, I think you have enough, order more. I I'm not sure. Cause like then you have to pay for them, right? And so it's better to sell out like, uh, you know, just like financially, it's better for us to sell out than have extras because we have to pay for them. Uh, but it depends. It, it's about how close to that margin can you get. Gmod run? Yeah. 
Can we pay with crypto? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure. Uh, uh, yeah, you have to look and see for yourself. Maxi merch? Yeah, of course. Uh, let, let's see here. Do pre-orders? Can't you do pre-orders? We might do that in the future. We're probably going to try a, uh, a drop in the future where we do something like that. Uh, we're gonna, again, like, we're trying different strategies for each time. Uh, just to be completely honest, uh, this has been our most successful merch drop we've ever had. Uh, I think that the reason for that is primarily because the, uh, uh, the stuff is the best stuff that we've had before. Uh, but other than that, yeah, it's, it's been pretty much the best one. And so I'm happy. Uh, I definitely am. And so, uh, we're, we're learning, we're trying to do as, as well as we can. Can I pledge to pay for it? Yeah, sure. Um, okay, let's see here. Can we pledge the payment? Yeah, 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 whatever. Are you allowed to release so much money uh, from sales and drops? Uh, I don't even know. No, but I actually am not sure. Uh, because we haven't finished the uh, the campaign yet. So I, I have no idea. But it's a good amount of money, yeah. I mean, of course. That's why everybody sells merch. Duh. Uh, consider uh, reservations. Yeah, uh, like pre-ordering. Do you guys want to have a GameStop bonus, too, for your pre-ordering a shirt? We can just do that, too. Uh, but no, I, I, I don't know. I, I think we might do something like that in the future. But yeah, um, it's, it's a good network. Uh, today should be the last day. And so there's still a handful of stuff that we haven't gotten to. But uh, everything else should be uh, should be good to go. And uh, we will have uh, hopefully more in the future. But for now, like this is going to be the all of this stuff, uh, I'm assuming. Apparently, raid split for some reason. Tell the raid to summon people in. Okay, yeah. Um... Uh, whoever is in front of the boss starts summons. How about that? Whoever's in front of the boss starts summons. Okay. Just to make a small amount of uh, merch, create illusion of scarcity, charge FTP for, or strike in a book. Oh, no, no. We, we, we try to understock. We don't want to... We want to sell out. Like, this isn't like a big secret. Like, you're not smart for understanding this. It's true that we want to sell out because we buy the merch ahead of time, and so we want to make money on the merch obviously that's that's what we're doing like you're not smart for figuring this out like it like I, any any reasonable person would w would do this yeah I, like that that's yeah that that's what we do uh that's all you don't want dead stock yeah exactly and uh let's see here which country is the uh, merch produced i'm not sure uh, i'd have to look into that anyway let me run some ads and uh, just relax and uh, we'll do a gmod run and uh just chill yeah what the fuck you sell merch to make money we do actually yeah we do so there you go. All right, and uh, I will be back online on uh, uh, tomorrow, uh, very very early. No price to sell out. I want to don't buy them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You still watching Attack on Titan? You're the most. You're the worst dishonest salesman ever. Um. I am. I, I think that I'm pretty good at selling things. I, I, I do. I think that I'm pretty good at selling things because I don't bullshit people around. But at the same time, I, I, I try to emphasize like positives, right? I, I do. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've, I, I've been trying to sell shit ever since I was like five years old, right? So I've got a lot of, uh, a lot of examples uh, of how to do that. And uh, let's see here. Mount Grand's tedious. That's right. Yep, that's fucking right. If I merch, I'll get a small size or extra large. Well, we can't get out. We can't make it to everybody, and that's why. So, like, for example, every single time that we sell merch, we get data of how many of each size to stock in the future. And in the grand scheme of things, we've only done a few merch drops, right? All things considered. So we don't really know how many to stock. But we're getting more and more data every single time. And I think that every time we do get that data, it's going to help us even more with being able to not have a situation like what you're mentioning. Probably all XXL and above. Shut up. No, that's not true. All right, let's see here. Uh, 2XL, second one live uh, the other day. Yeah, there you go. Why not pre-orders, set a cutoff, and then have numbers produced? We might do something like that in the future. Uh, I think as long as the stuff is available for like at least 24 hours, uh, I think that's okay. Uh, but we don't want to have things sell out. Like, make no mistake, it was uh, 
it was not like a positive for us to have them. We wanted them to sell out, but we didn't want them to sell out that fast. That was crazy last time. Like that shit was on eBay in less than an hour. And so we, we did stock a lot more this time. Absolutely. I'm talking about, about the business. Well, the thing is that you should never like, you should never misrepresent things and you should never try to like, a lot of people try to go with like the uh, used car salesman technique, right? And they try to like bamboozle you and hoodwink you, right? I don't, I don't really do that. It, it's obvious what's going on. And uh, I, I think if people don't get that or whatever, then that's their problem. You have to have confidence in, in your product. If you don't, if you have to lie about your product, you have to lie about what you're doing, then maybe you should do something different. It's my opinion. When I do custom, well, listen guys, everybody has their own opinion on how we should do it. We're trying different stuff. We'll see what happens, okay? Yeah, that's it. We released the Asmon Bald Beanie again? I fucking hope not. I really do. I fucking hope not. All right, here we go. You should sell gaming merch, like keyboard and mouse, like PewDiePie. That's a good idea. Let's see what happens. Pledge to not run ads. It's too late, I already did. Yeah. Can you just make one size that fits me perfectly and fuck everyone else? Yeah, I wish. It's weird trying to figure out what people will buy. Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, it's, a, it's a learning experience. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let me go back and, and double check actually on something. Um, Just making sure. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna go drive over there or not. Uh, figure it out soon. Curse Forge official API send on clients not live for add-ons. Goodbye third-party add-on updater. Uh, great. Uh, I'm happy for them. Uh, there's a lot of add-on developers that were not happy. Wait, when when are we doing the boss? Yeah, I, I was just curious, because, like, we, uh, we've been here for a while. Running around for, like, ten minutes? Yeah. Okay, all right, now we're actually starting. Wait, we're getting big news? Uh, yeah, everybody come down here, and, uh, let's get the, uh, oh, everybody's here now. Great. All right, let's do this. Did I miss the intro? Yeah, you did. It only lasted for, uh, nine hours. Did you ever drop merch by yourself? Oh, do my own merch? Uh, I don't know. Maybe in the future. Um, I don't really know what I would want to do. Like, there's a lot of ideas, and, like, I'm... Like, I, I've, I'm probably gonna... Like, we're obviously gonna talk about, like, the merch stuff and everything today. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Was there a trial today? Yeah, there was. Okay. Uh, you should brand an electric fly swatter. That's a good idea. Aspen gold body pillow. Yeah, just like sell something really stupid. Hmm. As well, shirt needs to transcend as well as a streamer. Yeah, I agree with that. I don't want to have uh, that kind of stuff happen. I'm not about that. I'm not into that. It's not my thing. Hmm. Protein powder. I don't. I think if people saw me, they would. They would want to buy. They would want to spend money to not have my protein powder. Aspen Gold body pillow. Oh my god. Okay. Um. Let's go ahead and get already summoned in here, and uh, we'll do one run. How much time do you expect to spend on Diablo Immortal? I will probably play Diablo Immortal for three days. 
if I get more than three days of content out of the game, it will be well worth the $10,000 that I will inevitably spend on it. Uh, who's here? Let me uh, turn on the music and everything. All right, we're all here. Let's pull the boss. You face the pinnacle. Yeah, shut up, bitch. I don't have time for your shit. Loot boxes, except every box is empty. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I will absolutely play Diablo Immortal on, on launch. I think a lot of people will. Uh, now, am I going to play it and uh, play it constantly? Am I going to be a Diablo Immortal streamer? Uh, I, I wasn't planning on it. Yeah, I, I really wasn't planning on it. So we'll see what happens. Whale hard. I, I will whale on the game to see what it's like. Uh, I, I think that, like, generally... I, I think it's better for me to do it than not do it. Because if I do it, then number one, I can write the money off my taxes. And number two, uh, you're going to you're gonna see what actually happens. You know what I mean? Rather than just, like, hearing it from somebody or trying to downplay it or whatever. Like, I, I'd rather show it and, and, like, you can see it straight up. This is what spending money gets you. This is me spending money. This is what you get. You see what I mean? Play free to play, then whale to compare. I might not have time for that. Like, realistically. We finished Raid from yesterday on another channel? No. Uh, we did... Uh, Heroic Sanctum, Mythic Sanctum, and uh, wiped on Painsmith for, like, three hours. And uh, ended up calling it. Okay, here we go. Give me the mount. Come on. Just give me the fucking mount. Just give me the fucking mount. Come on. I'm so sick of this stupid shit, man. Like, I'm so sick of this dumb fucking game. Like, I, this game's so fucked. Uh, I'll do some FAMU kills. I might as well while I'm here. Yeah, maybe I'll do, like, the honing stuff tomorrow. Just get that out of the way. My Amber glared at the jury today. Had me worried for their safety. Ah, uh, no, she's just a crazy bitch. I wouldn't even worry about it. Uh, it's not a big deal. Grinding this shit looks so depressing. Ah, it's just something you do to kill time, man. Like, it, it, it's it's fun if you don't take it seriously. That's my best advice. Next mount off, when? Uh, next mount off is going to be... Uh, I don't know. I think I'll give it, like, a couple more weeks, and then I'll do a mount off. More Alt F4 coming, or are you actually done with the game? I'm unironically done with Alt F4. I don't want to play it again. Like, it was a way... Like, I, I, I didn't... Like, I, I, I don't want to play it again. It's a waste of time. Why? Uh, the level's too hard. It takes too long. It's boring to watch. That's why. Trio Knights uh, took Alt F4, Dark Souls inspired? Yeah. Same with Jump King? Yeah. Oh, nice. He's up. Wait, am I going to try and solo Famu? Like, this is. If I have to solo Famu, this is going to be a bad time. Uh, I'm going to try and do it. Okay, we should have enough people here now. Honestly, just two people is more than enough. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't think I can kill him on my own. Famu is quite powerful. Okay. Yeah, we've only got two people here. 
Uh, I've got a long way to go. I, I, I can use like a bunch of CDs and shit, so it should be fine. I know it might look like I'm low, but I'm actually good. Maybe I should use a uh, fucking this this thing here. Okay, we should get him here. Give me the mount. Give me the mount. Fuck. That's 248 attempts on Famu right there. 248 dicks in the ass. Let me do it again. Genshin stream when? I don't know when. What's the next charity stream? I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Oh, give me a second. Okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and get on this character for now. Crazy bro, I got in three, and I was with you. Must be nice, man. Must be fucking nice. Uh, best content, Stanley Parable? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Uh, it was fun. Charity stream for ACLU, because Amber Heard can't. I feel like ACLU has been, uh, it, I think it's, like, too politically one-sided nowadays. Like, they're too much, like, making, like, political statements. And, uh, uh, I don't really support the ACLU as much as I used to. Uh, it, it's disappointing to see that. Anybody has fam up on, if anybody has FAMU up on their server, let me know, and I'll uh, I'll join the group. You you donated you you pledged seven million to the ACLU today too. Damn, that's crazy. Did you watch Creator Clash? No, I didn't. Did you get the mount? Civil liberties are too political. That, that's obviously not what I mean. I'm gonna ban you for saying that. Um, yeah, I just need to get a uh, a group for this. Yeah, just just ban. Just want to deal with that. Family up asthma. You got war mode on, bro. I can't do it with war mode on. It's got to be with war mode off. Yeah, that's not why I, I didn't say that. All right. Do you know if Miskiff is fine? Yesterday he just ended his stream without a word. He's dead. It's been something we've been working on in OTK for a while. And um, we finally managed to figure out a way. And so, uh, yeah. Thank God. I know. It's... Hey. All right, let's try this one. Yeah, very funny bash cutter. Now, as far as I know, Ms. Kiss chilling. Okay, we're good. Let's do it again. The pledge I make is the Pledge of Allegiance. Yeah, we used to do the same th the same shit. Like, did you guys ever like uh, have to stand up and like do Pledge of Allegiance at the start of uh, uh, at the start of your fucking like uh, in school? Like, we we did that like every day. Yeah. Only a Japanese class? <laughs> what, so you didn't get converted? The fuck? Let's join this, come on. I never stood up. I, I stood up every time. Like, it's just, we had people who didn't, but... It's like, I, it... I don't know, I think it's just silly. You could choose not to do it? Yeah, yeah, of course you could. Yeah, you didn't have to stand up. All right, here we go. High school teacher, we still do that? Yeah, I, I think they still do. Sure. Are we pledging your life for your country? Uh, yeah, kind of. All right, it was kind of weird. I never really thought about it. Like, I feel like, like nobody like really cared either way. It was just like, oh, this is just like this thing we do and like who gives a fuck, right? 
Yeah, nobody really gave a shit. <laughs> Here we go. No. Oh my god, when's this shit going to drop? Do you have any protoform synthesis mounts? No, because I don't want to farm out the Genesis mounts. I'm being, I'm being a lazy bitch. We didn't care when you did it in the 70s either? Yeah, we just did it. Like, it's whatever. This, this next one's going to be 250. You only pledged the flag? I didn't donate to it. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have to every year. I wish that was true. I get food soon, too. Was looking at something. Do you have Blanche? Yeah, of course I have Blanche. Taco Bell Wendy's. I think today I'm gonna get Torchies. I'm not sure yet. Like I, I don't know. Zach Palin first character. It was my bank character, and I had my bank character at the top. That's why I just always had it that way. Why am I even looking to make a group? Okay. Famu one load off. We good. Let's do it. Have you ever cooked on a stove before? Yeah, I made myself a steak yesterday. Uh, I only know how to cook one thing, that's a steak. And so basically I never need to learn how to cook anything else in my whole life. I, I, can, I can make myself a steak and that's all I need to know. Texas fast food, yep. Twitchy shrimp taco, so good. I, I never get shrimp. Uh, I usually get beef fajita and, and uh, chips and queso. Do you eat anything with a steak? Yeah, I eat baked potato. I eat baked potato with steak. Every 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 time I have a meal, it's a baked potato with steak. Or it's a steak with baked potato. That's right. That's it. That's all. That's all I need. Had an RFU trolling? No, I'm actually not. Like I got like a potato. That's a potato. I'm not rolling. Like, I actually, that's the only thing I eat. I just eat steaks. Don't you get bored of it? Why would I get bored of the greatest food in the world? No. I don't get bored of steaks. Absolutely not. What cut? Uh, I just get like a, uh, I got a pack of uh, two steaks yesterday uh, for five bucks. So that kind. I ate one of them yesterday. That's a cheap steak. Yep. I got cheap steak. Yep. 250? 251 for sure. Have you had expensive steak like Wagyu before? Yeah, I have. Uh, actually, uh, I think Twitch took us out uh, to like this one steakhouse. And <laughs> so like fucking, uh, they had a, a, a Wagyu tom tomahawk steak. Steak, and it was like $250, right? s fan orders an extra steak to go, and that's the one he orders. I'm not even kidding you. Because, <clears throat> like, they were paying for it, right? So, like, we do whatever. It was funny. They're amazing. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I just had a small, like, filet mignon. But, like, I, I've had other steaks, too. Of course. Is this when S-Fan got banned? No, no, he didn't get banned. Yeah, steak sauce or none? Uh, I got. I usually use A1. It's right there. <laughs> the man, the myth, taking five hundred dollars out of Bezos' pocket. Yeah, there it is, man. There it is. All right. Let's do another one. Hopefully, we get another tag here. Ah, it's too bad. They just killed him. I have to try another one. 
Red Pryo, yeah. Mm. Go to Ruth Chris, spend 200 dollars on a stake, cover an A1. I, I usually, whenever I, I go and I have a stake somewhere special, I, I don't use any stake sauce on it. Yeah, I don't use any steak sauce on it. I usually get it done like, uh, I usually don't go well done. I'll usually do medium well. I don't like rare steak. I don't like the mouthfeel of it. It makes me nauseous. I, I, I'm not a fan. I don't like it. But uh, that that's usually what I'll go with. Medium well? Yeah, yeah. It just doesn't taste good to me. You ever had a Sharma? You like Velvet Taco? The fuck's a Velvet Taco? The fuck is that? You saw playing with Gear Vendor Season 4? No, I haven't. Uh, whenever it comes out, I'll look at it. Good quality Australian Wagyu's online for literally 20 bucks. Yeah. That's probably a kangaroo. Where's my mount? Where's my mount? Come on, let's go. Next transmog comp win? Maybe in a couple weeks. Do you like Mr. Beast? I hate him. I hate him. There's anybody in the world I hate more is, is, than Mr. Beast. I, I don't know. Yeah, same? Yeah, I hate him, man. Oh my god. He just gives his money away. He never gives the money to me. What the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? What, 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 when's my turn? Yeah, his burgers suck, too. <laughs> I don't. I don't never had a Mr. Beast burger. My friend Jeff had one. He said it was good. Last transmog was won by default. Yeah, that shit was stupid how it got messed up like that. That was disappointing. Mr. Beast only YouTuber ever from a five year old from watching. He's on Balls Deep with that Minecraft shit. Really? Like, I actually think this, like, uh, on the real, like, I think, I think Mr. Beast is great. I really do. I, I like Mr. Beast a lot. I really like what he tries to do. I think that he, uh, he's like, uh, he's like, a, the, like, um, he's like the model content creator, you know, never gets into drama, never gets into controversies. All he does is he makes content and he shuts the fuck up and he just lets the content speak for himself, uh, spreads positivity, supports messages that are generally, uh, agreeable and, um, you know, things that are just like universal positives, like the ocean stuff. Uh, and I think that's great. Uh, I really think so. Yet, as far as we know of, oh, I, I mean, your best friend could be a serial killer, but that's as far as you know of, right? Like, I, I like, what do you mean by that? Like, what do you, like, what the fuck? Yeah, he seems like a nice dude. Is this music from WoW? Yeah, it is. My best friend doesn't even know who I am. Oh my god. Constantly playing uh, Alt F4, uh, getting over. It's really fun to watch you. Nah, see, like, the thing is, like, I don't like playing games where I get mad. Like, I don't like getting mad. Uh, yeah, I, I don't like getting mad. Because, like, getting mad is not something that I choose to do. And I like being in control of myself. So I, I don't like to get mad. I don't like to be upset about stuff and fucking, like, why, why would I want that? So, like, I don't want to attract an audience of people that like watching me to, like, watch me be unhappy or angry. You know what I mean? I find that to be, like, an unhealthy way to, to grow a channel. So, the man on Mythic Painsmith yesterday? Yeah, but I wanted the transmog really bad. Get mad? I mean, you're passionate about the game? Not really, no. It just means you're mad. <laughs> Plenty of people get mad about games they're not passionate about. Did you kill him? No, of course not. Well, we'll probably make another group next week. Do it again. No League of Legends? Maybe. I don't know. 7%? Yeah, 7% in the last phase is like 50% though, realistically. We just couldn't. Like, people kept dying on the transition, man. Like, just don't die on the transition. Just fucking like... How do you die on a transition? Just don't. Just fucking don't. And, like, if you know you're gonna die on the transition, why not just, like, channel a fleshcraft or something like that? And, and like... 
just just stop, man. Stop dying. Stop dying. I play single player games like God of War. Uh, it's like, do I like single player games like God of War? Um, not a whole lot, but I'll probably play the new one. Might as well. Ah, damn. What's a group for Famu? There it is. Let's do it. Give me the mount. All right, boys, here it is. Please just give me the fucking mount. I don't want to have to do this shit again. Just give me the mount. Please give me the mount. God, I hate this fucking game. Let's do it again. Oh my god, I hate this fucking game. Uh, are you gonna go for Tower Ranger? Yeah, I will. We got two of the ultra rare old men drops. God damn, that's crazy. You just started farming that too. Have I tried Doom before? No, I want to play that at some point. I got two more shots today. How many tries you got on this mount? You sound tired? Uh, I didn't get a lot of sleep today, you're right. Yeah, I, I didn't. All right, let's see what the hell this is. Do you think Shadowlands has too many mounts? I think they got, uh, it does have too many mounts. Like, I, I don't think we need, like, that many recolors, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's like, it's, I don't think it's, like, making the game better by having that many re uh, recolors. Did you have fun trying Painsmith, though? No, like, why would I have fun waiting for somebody to do something wrong, to not do something wrong? Like, I, I figured the fight out pretty early on, and then, like, the rest of the time is, like, I just have to wait for somebody else to figure it out. And then you have people leaving, you have like a fucking like AFK, it's like, oh my god. Fuck no, I didn't have fun. I only have fun when I win, and when I get the loot. The thing is like, uh, that's why it's not fun to raid, yeah, yeah, like I already figured that shit out. Was dying on the intermissions? Yeah, of course, because the intermissions aren't hard, like, holy fuck. The landscapers show up? No, they did not. People leaving killed us. Too many had to relearn what we knew. Yeah, exactly. The, the thing is, like, I don't want to do, like, in WoW, like, there's, like, a lot of, whenever I did the raid, let me just put it with you like this. We did the raid for, like, six hours, and probably only three of those hours were actually playing the game. And I can guarantee you no more than four were actually playing the game. So we spent over an hour just waiting. Like waiting for somebody to show up. Waiting for somebody to run back. Waiting to have everybody res. Like running back to the boss. Like having to rebuff. Summoning a new person. Like it was just like... Holy fuck. It's always been that way? Yeah, I know. I think like just playing games like Lost Ark and Final Fantasy made me feel like... Like I I'm less tolerant of it now. And I think they need to get rid of it. Yeah, it's not that bad in the guild. Not that bad isn't not th isn't that good either, though. Yeah, it's just I I don't like I don't like having my time wasted. And that's what I felt like I was having happen. Like I didn't feel like. I, I didn't feel, I wasn't learning anything or anything. I was just like, I, I don't feel like we should have to run back to our corpses. I think we should just respawn right in front of the boss. I think food buffs should persist through death like they do in Final Fantasy. And I also think that there should be more classes that can summon because I don't like having to bring only a warlock every single time to summon. And it's like such a massive raid utility that just saves time. 
that I don't think it should be assigned to just one class. It's just annoying. Like, I, I don't want to have any of my... I don't, I don't want my time wasted. Make the game easy mode for casuals? That's not easy mode for casuals. Painsmith is hard. I want Painsmith to be hard. I don't want getting a group to be hard. That that sucks. Like, wh yeah, why why would yeah that that sucks? Like, why is that good? Would removing abilities from these classes make them feel weaker overall? Oh, I don't know. It depends. Holy shit. Plus the LFR loot can be asked at times. Well, it's not about the loot. I miss a lot of the guild perks. Have group will travel was fun and great to have. Yeah, it was amazing. Looks like it's a great DPS, yeah. I don't think it should remove their summon. I think they should just give it to other people. But yeah, just like in general, I uh, I, I don't like it. And so, like, just, I, I don't see, like, for example, I don't see it adding anything to the game or, like, making the experience better. Like, I, I don't feel like my experience in, in, in the raid is improved by having to, like, wait to summon somebody or run back to my body. I just feel like my time's getting wasted and I, I don't want to do it. That's it. You enjoy WoW still? I enjoy it. Like, it's a very relaxing game to play and just relax. I think that's what it is. Causes friction between players. Yeah, exactly. And, and I think, like, people, like, what's weird is, like, people always use this as, like, an example of, like, oh, well, you just want the game to be easy. Like, well, I mean, like, if you consider difficulty, like, being having to run back to the boss, and, like, yeah, I do want the game to be easy. But I, I just I want the fights in the game to be hard, not the logistics of it. I think like making logistics part of the difficulty just sucks. Like it, it, all of the logistics things are just, uh, you know, uh, failures in quality of life. You want the game to be a game? Not sure. Yeah, exactly. Elden Ring showed how removing all this unnecessary friction is a godsend to the game. Yeah, Elden Ring removed a lot of that stuff. It was fine. Some people are deluded that wasting time is a social experience somehow. Well, I think it can be for a lot of people, but I just don't think it should be mandatory. You know, players not being in the world, I think it's easier to move uh, about the world as no. People complain about players not being in the world, but like, why are players not in the world? Players are not in the world. Like, is it good to make everybody have to run to an instance because it makes players go out into the world? I, I think absolutely not. I feel like there's a lot of, um, as I said before, like these like theoretical values that old MMO players have that actually don't really hold a lot of weight or water in my opinion. And I think that they serve more now to uh, restrain and hold back development than actually empower it and make it better. Yeah, it's like this is not helping the game. It's not making the game better. It, it's it's making it worse, and it's making it worse at the expense of some like ideal that's intangible, that a lot of other people don't share a value with. All right, let's see if I get it. Fuck. All right, I got one more shot. Because outdated ideas were okay twenty years ago. Yeah, it's like I, I I'm sick of like trying to like live, uh, you know, have have the game developed in the context of what was popular 20 years ago. Like, please stop. It's just so exhausting. Like, I don't care what was popular 20 years ago. 20 years ago, people didn't even have smartphones. 
Like you didn't even have websites to look stuff up. There's no YouTube. It's just so annoying. We should be out in the world because of content, not just traveling to avoid the content. Yeah, exactly. Some of food complaints are niche, so people probably never heard of these complaints. I don't know. Having lived their lives in a Mario game, game overs would mean you have to start the game all over again. Yeah, in some cases. There's too much content in retail now. Uh, they're not wrong, they just want a different game. Well, I think that they are wrong to... I, I actually, I do think that it's objectively a bad decision to look towards the past for answers to the future for, for games nowadays. And I think that's what a lot of uh, a lot of developers, a lot of players want to see developers do. They, they want to see developers reprise old ideas and, uh, you know, go back and make it the way it used to be. But the way it used to be is never the way it's going to be. It will never be that way again. And trying to make things with that in mind is just, uh, it, it's, it's just stupid. So it's just bad for video game developers. Yeah, it is because like those people don't really know what they're talking about. And I think in many cases, like they don't remember it as well as they think they do. People remember a feeling, they don't remember the fact. Oh, it's gonna hit me, I think. All right, here we go. Fuck. All right. Those are one more set of ads. I'm gonna go. Bunch of horse shit that is, man. This out just one of the most dangerous things around. Yeah, it can be. Class was popular because a lot of the past strategies they build off solid foundation. The systems work well. Do you think Classic was popular because it cost 50 gold to respec? Like, I, 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 I disagree with that. I don't think that's why Classic was popular. You know, press M to click Fight Path Raid and Teleport System? Maybe. Here my first gold. Wow, yeah. Classic felt like an adventure. It did. I think there's like a lot of good things to learn with that, but I wouldn't look at classic as a solution to like the current game. Mm. Like for example, one thing I liked about classic and I generally feel is was better back then was I like how raids were progressive. Like you went from one raid to another raid. I, I don't like just doing the same raid over and over and over. I think it's lame. Yeah, but like respecking, for example, like the reason why I don't play TBC as much is because I have to respec. Like I want to play PvP and I also want to play PvE, but I'm not going to pay money to do each one of them. It's just a waste of my resources. Why would I want to do that? Uh, I'm ready, bro. Let's do it. Oh, respect cost? Yeah, exactly. One instance of bad system, many more positive aspects of it. No, I, and that's what I'm saying is like, uh, uh, I'm saying Classic WoW was not really popular because of a lot of the arbitrary restrictions that it had. And also, like, if you look at, like, for example, resources and consumables, I think Classic WoW and, like, participation in Classic WoW fell off really hard in Nex because people realized how much time they had to spend, like, just farming resources. But w why would anybody want to do that? Okay. McConnell wants to try this one thing. I, I don't know if this is going to work or not. Oh, oh, we're probably going to lose this one. Never mind. Just, uh, I don't even know what's going on. A chance to know I'm going to OTK store always suck? I'm not sure yet. Okay. 
Well, I want to try and win this one, McConnell. Come on. Uh, I, I don't want to AFK out. Let's try to at least win. If we can't kill him, we can't kill him. It is what it is. That's good. I'll fear him out of this. Bopped. Breaking this. I don't know if I can kill this guy or not. I feel like I can't. Dude, I hardly get healed at all. Ah, uh, that's it. It's over. Yeah, dude. Like, I really don't think we can do this death wish thing, man. I, I really don't. We're gonna collect white and gray items for Dragonflight? Yeah. Stop, I was right. Okay, alright, 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 alright. Um. I guess I'm gonna just use, uh, I'm gonna just use Slaughterhouse. Like, McConnell is convinced that if I use Deathwish, we're gonna be able to win the games. Like I, I, I think it I think it's a bad idea, but he wants to try it, so whatever. The stacks re yeah, the stacks reset. But we'll we'll see what happens. One thing you hope they do really well in Dragonflight? Uh systems. I think systems is what matters the most. What do you guys think about this one? That's kind of cool, actually. I, I actually like this. This is a good set. BM, Hunter, and Resto Druid. We're going to have a hard time here. Okay, let's get here. I do like one game. I got to get my food, man. Clean your Atama or you'll lose all the weeb viewers. I, I will play that game. I will. I already said I will, but I will. Did you like the Dark Viper video? Uh, Dark Viper made another video. Uh, it was like negative about... What do you want to go on? You want to go on a druid? Like, I'm down for that. Like, I just don't know what you want to do. Okay. Just like, I, I can't maintain all of this all at the same time, man. It's just not going to happen. Like, I, I don't... I, I don't... Like, I'm down to do, like, actual games, but, like, I don't want to play... I don't want to play Death Wish, man. Like, it, it's... Like, I'm already GCD capped to begin with. Like, there's no room in my rotation for Death Wish. Like, I'm not going to do this. But yeah, she's in Death Wish. Okay, okay, so he left the group. Yeah, it's just not going to work, bro. Like, it's not going to work. Here's in, in two socks. Why is McConnell tank? He's throwing. No, it's not a big deal. Like, we, we just wanted to try something out. It's not, not a big deal. Oh, God. You just flesh craft? I, I just, like... Whenever I'm streaming, like, I'm already thinking about, like, a bunch of other things. I can't do arena and stream at the same time. I can barely even do arena, period. Like, I, I just streamed for 10 hours. Like, I, I woke up at 8 a.m., I'm not gonna 
you know, do it your rotation, stay at the game with a pillar to build stacks. I just don't want to do that. It's just stupid. You try any TBC arenas? No. Just go an easy 15. No, I, I need to do 15s, but like I already have. The thing is, like, ah, oh, fuck, I don't have a box for tomorrow. Maybe I should do a 15, but then that, if I do a 15, that means I have to do a 15. Oh, God, I don't want to do a 15. I mean, it sucks. You have to de dedicate, like, four hours a day to learn the intricacies. It's really hard to get into WoW Arena, and I think the game is way too complex. I, I do, but it's, like, that's part of the appeal of WoW Arena. So, like, what do you do? I think, like, there's a lot of things that I would want to see, like, changed. Like, for example, in Arena, like, neither of these need to be shown. Like, just, like, removing or giving players agency to choose what debuffs they see and don't see is really important. Because, like, it's obvious that it's hard to tell what debuffs and buffs people do and don't have. Because if they don't, if it wasn't, then you wouldn't need an add-on to tell you. You get 15 done, 10, 20 to 25 minutes. 25 minutes, oh my god. In fact, it's very selective. Uh, can be advantages. Yeah. Game isn't playable without fly point. Yeah, I just feel like there's a lot of... Like, playing, playing the game should not require any add-on. You should not need any add-on to play the game. Yeah, and I feel like, especially with Arena, people have, like, so many different resources that they use. And it's like, if you want to say, like, the game is, like... Because you're never going to get new players into Arena. Like, somebody's going to do Arena a few times and they're just going to get fucking destroyed. And they're never going to do it again. Because, like, you're playing against people that have 10 years experience. Like, what the fuck? Especially at low brackets. Heroes of Nia grid the entirety of the game? Yeah, maybe. That's me 100%. Yeah, exactly. Imagine you bought Elden Ring, need an add on to play it. <laughs> yeah. PvP slowly dying out then. I think that PvP has. I, I think PvP in Shadowlands is probably more popular than PvP was back in BFA. Why is that? Um, I think PvP is better in Shadowlands than it was in BFA. Like, in my opinion, I think PvP is demonstrably better in Shadowlands than it was in, in BFA. I think BFA was literal garbage PvP, and it was just so badly designed. There were so many different levels of complexity that, like, they could never balance for all of it. It was really, really bad. Now, Season 1, like, Dread Gladiator was lit. Everything else after that was dog shit. Like, I hit, um, I think I hit 3k, yeah, I hit 3k MMR. If I had played to my MMR, I would have got rank 1 with like SSDS and Dizzle, but it ended up not happening. I was being a bitch. Alright, let's see here. Gentlemen, we had a good time today. Had a lot of fun. Thank you all very much for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, I'm going to be back on tomorrow morning in the very early morning. I'll see you guys later. Peace.